that all of a sudden it's a minority bill. That's a ridiculous argument to make. Well, it actually is, uh, you know, what it is. Take, for instance, Philadelphia recently... No, I don't want to talk uh, about Philadelphia. Why are, you, why are you sidestepping? Here's an example. I'm just using an example. Since uh, you pointed out a different example, I'm using my example. Okay, Philadelphia recently, you know, they criminalized uh, putting up fucking glass barricades, bulletproof barricades in stores. And their argument was that it was, uh, ooh, you know, it was it was kind of bad to have, you know, Chinese businesses in black neighborhoods put th these things up because it encouraged uh, people to, to sell drugs outside. You know, that was the argument. But all the people sponsoring that fucking bill are social justice groups. See, the idea is that Chinese businesses or Asian businesses that operate in these locations in these black neighborhoods are being kind of racist by having those barricades up. So, I mean, wh what do you think the motivation is? Do you think it's about preventing, you know, the, the sale of drugs or something outside? Or do you think it's a, it's a race issue because everybody sponsoring the, uh, you know, the legislation happens to be of a certain cause? So there's the same thing here in hey, California. Uh, hey, hey, guys, could you go back to yelling at each other? That was much more entertaining. Uh, that was pretty fun, right? Well, I oh, would. Guys, I was enjoying that. Uh, source. Hey, Jim. Oh. I, I hear you're talking about the HIV legislation, the changing to a misdemeanor in there California. Was, there was yeah. that. But by the way, Jim, I don't know if you caught that, but apparently uh, Steve's well, come no, clean just, on that. A 15-year-old chick. I, we got it, dude. It's in there. It's no, uh, I, I just had a quick thing to throw on that because uh -huh. I'm surprised nobody nobody brought it up. Uh, Scott Weiner, the Democrat, uh, tweeted this out when the bill was passed. Uh, the Senate just passed my legislation decriminalizing HIV and moving away from a discriminatory era of fear. HIV isn't a crime. Hashtag LGBT. Uh, and in a news report uh, about it, at the bar, previously reported, Wiener and Assemblyman Todd Gloria, both Democrats from San Diego, uh -huh. uh, both gay men introduced uh, the legislation oh. at a news conference for the San Francisco AIDS Foundation Health and Awareness Center for gay, bi, and trans men. Oh, Steve. Steve. Yeah, that sounds like oh, a good man. argument. Yeah, no. I'm just having an orgasm right now. No, Jim made it. Why couldn't you make Why didn't you know this before? Okay, you so you're, you're wrong, right? Steve. Can you do us so all a favor and say you're wrong? <laughs> I never said I was wrong. I said that I hadn't seen evidence. No, we need you to say that you're wrong yeah, now. He really does have everyone by the balls, huh? Uh, no, yeah, and yeah, if you, you guys want to... Uh, yeah, you should be a journalist, dude, because it sounds like you're good at finding sources and shit. Yeah, you back the argument If, if you want to look that up, that's up in the uh, Bay Area Reporter, uh, volume 47, yeah. number 52 from December. Ooh, lad. Yeah, you get yeah cool. Nice job. Uh, well, I didn't because you wrote an article on this and you didn't even know this, but... <laughs> So, I mean, so far, so far, just to make wow. sure, you've been wrong about what you were arguing about for the past 30 minutes. So you've been proven to be wrong about Only not sending minutes. around a... Well, for definitely the past 30 minutes, but what Jim just <laughs> came in and said. Uh, he was wrong earlier <laughs> about John Tron. You were wrong about the shit where you were lying about sending the 15-year-old girl's picture. Is there anything yeah. else you would like to bullshit through Pretty much today, lie about man? everything, Tonka. Yes, you're, you dude, fucking do, you little piece of shit. You're at the adult's table. You're earning it, dude. Keep going. Do you Steven, need a high chair to get Steve, to the adult table, Steve? No, position of ignorance. I mean, you call me ignorant for not being able to cite the specific quote that uh, that Jim just. I got. saw yeah, the press you, release that they released and the the rationale yeah, that's given there. That's what you fucking read. You read yeah. a press release and and that was all you the went press with. Press release you, and the article you made all these surrounding assumptions it. about medication and medicine, and here we are pointing out how that's clearly not the case. And that no, you, you haven't pointed out. Whoa, no, it. you calm, haven't pointed that out. Calm down, Steve. Don't get so triggered. You've just shown that the. Um, you've just shown that there probably was a big LGBT backing initially for the inception of this bill, which it sounds yeah, like based on what it. you contested well, I, I, Yeah, because I asked you for the evidence of that because I hadn't seen that. But Jim well, just pointed out two really good examples. I read of part of it to you. I read part of it to no, you. No, you didn't, Ian. You didn't do anything. I Jim said, just saved your ass. Ian, you have no, no idea what you're talking about. fucking disgrace, Ian, I, You don't know the difference between told, a federal crime and a state crime. Multiple Ian, organizations co-sponsored No, he did. You're bullshitting again, Steve. It doesn't matter if an organization co-sponsors the bill. Notice that Jim didn't come in and say, hey, this organization co-sponsors the bill. Jim brought up the person that wrote the legislation, and he pointed to a tweet that showed that he was doing it um, in, in accordance with uh, an LGBT agenda or whatever, that he was trying to pass things to help the LGBT community. That's I like how it's tweet. pretty obvious you won't take it unless, like, you do the source post thing. It's not a yeah. source post. Like you're asking for any yeah. whatsoever. It's, it's and, actually and your pretty idea that, like, if somebody co-sponsors a bill, if somebody co-sponsors a bill, that means that that's 100% who the agenda was sent by? You're it's anti ridiculous. Do you think they passed that shit? Like, your reason that you gave was really fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Brittany, please, you're, just you're no just, uh, you're contrarian for the sake of being contrarian. I'm not That's being a contrarian. Doing. I'm going by the press. We can read the whole press release if you want. 
I mean, even knowing that it Why was passed. Why are you out the fucking press release? Like, even knowing Jim already slaughtered you. It's like, I gotta argue. Like, that, that's even how he is. Knowing, awesome. Even yeah. knowing that it might have been passed I mean, by people that were supporting a, an LGBT agenda, the rationale for it is still seems to be good. They're closing a legal have common loophole. sense? I mean, I'm just asking you for real. Do you have common sense? What do you because mean that common seems sense, dude? No, common, common sense is a tautology thrown sense. out by people that can't argue their positions. What the fuck are you asking me? Do you have common sense? Yeah, it's like, it's like, hey, is the sun hot? And and you're like, well, pr well, prove it to me. But take a thermometer out. Oh, it's like, do I really need to? Like, Anytime you appeal it. to common sense, it's like the saddest form of like, I can't argue what I'm talking about. So just assume it's true. You could always just make up a lie about how you didn't do it. Like, Good job, Tom. Yeah, you That's could just make it. up a lie, which is a thing that you do. Back to the corner, I mean, buddy. No, it's true what he said about you. So then, do you think that the HIV crime should be different than spreading right. all the other STDs? You think that that should be classified differently? What does that have to do with anything? Well, because that's what the bill did. It, recla it reclassified H the transmission no, of it HIV. it shouldn't be reclassified. It's a fucking STD. Brittany, it's STD, dude. Okay, you Ian, so what I'm asking why is, should it, Wait, why yeah, should it kill people? You do you disagree that it. HIV kills people? Eh. Um, what I'm asking is... Well, yes, it does. Sorry, it kills sorry, a lot of poor people, yes. Some really fucking the Ill, the so HIV sorry. mortality rates have dropped significantly. It's worse to have, like, diabetes now than it is for HIV. Um, what is it? Like, we're at, like, a... So that should be reclassified? So you should be able to give people crabs, too, Destiny? Well, you can as a misdemeanor. I don't know if crabs count as like an S. Do you really think giving a person HIV and forcing them to take medication for life uh, is the same as getting crabs? Like, no, but no, no. What but I'm he's saying you, like spreading. Ian, what I'm asking you, Ian, what I'm asking you is, do you think there should be a different penalty for HIV than every other STD? Do you think that deserves it kills people? Yeah. Okay, herpes can kill people. Um, HPV can kill women uh, by ovarian cancer. I know syphilis can kill people too. Yeah. That is not. It just doesn't even scale like that. The reason they do that is because. Can you, Brittany, can you just please stop talking? Oh, no, she's. Let her please explain. Stop talking. Oh my God. Yeah, let her explain. Every time I try to get closer to Ian, like you're just like babbling in the corner. Woman, Can't you go join Tonka in the corner and you guys can like play with her? That's even. That that seems really off. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you should let a woman speak, right? Yeah. You no, think? it's true. Like it basically, right? It's the it's the transmission rate, and HIV is pretty high. And that's why it's uh, HIV transmission rate. My point was it, the, the reason why it's LGBT at all. thing is because it probably wait. Hold on, no, Ian, you wrote an article on this. You think that it's easy to transmit HIV through oral I'm or, or PIV sex? I'm talking about anal sex. Okay, only anal sex. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Do you think it's easier to transmit HIV than any other STD than herpes or gonorrhea or syphilis Ooh. via anal sex? Um, I don't know. Okay. Right, what does that have to do with anything? Well, because you said you made it sound like the reason why this needed to be a felony over a misdemeanor was because it's transmission. Yes, because it was an epidemic. Is it an epidemic now? Mm, among gay people, yes. Do you so, yeah? Do you realize that it's LGBT thing? They're saying that they're like, whoa, that whole community's like, whoa, we can, like, yay, they can spread, they can spread it now. It's because it's a higher percentage for gay people mm -hmm. to get that because of the way that they're having sex anally. Okay, they're so spreading easier. They're, and they tend to be more promiscuous too. Like you look at gay, okay. like you look okay. at gay guys, and they just like tend to like go to gay bars. Like I'm not saying that people straight people don't go to bars, but like they're they tend to be promiscuous and they like spread yeah. it around, and that's what happens. It like shows. It's a, it's a it's a major problem in the uh, oh. LGBT community. Yeah. Okay, so if their rationale for passing this legislation is that by making it a misdemeanor, they think they can get more people to come into hospitals to to get a diagnosis and treatment that would reduce hopefully the, the spreading of HIV. Do you think that's a bad thing, or do you think like they just passed part. it because they just want to make it easier for gay people to give HIV to other gay people? Do you really think a lot of people are still going to go to hospitals even if they make it a misdemeanor? God. Um, so we I would hope let so. people. I mean, I can you would envision. Hope people, so, yes. But I can also so, envision. I, I, you're, you're, you're posting whatever they do. I can post you. I can post you the opposite. Holy of the shit. Do you think there are people that won't go to a hospital because they're worried that if they get diagnosed with HIV or some shit, they might be on like the the they might be um they might be on like they might be undateable. Like a felony yes. or something? What? It would be undateable. Yes. No, 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 not undateable, but that they could be um, on the hook. I'm sorry, on the hook for like a felony in the future if like something ever fucked up. That somebody could point to that and say, "Oh, well, look, he's got a HIV, and he knew it in the past, and since somehow he transmitted it, now you know I'm gonna fucking take him to court, and he's gonna have a felony and shit." Yeah, let's decriminalize murder while we're at it, so that they go and have a better chance of confessing. For real. Are you and Tonka having fun over there? <laughs> no, she's got a point. Oh, okay, yeah. No, she, she really does. Like you why, can laugh. Why did it, it get and... so quiet in here? I, 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 I like everybody was screaming like an hour or two ago. Yeah, and now and, Andy just... was pretty high strung earlier. No, was I, I was yelling Does quite he a bit. That the crime Tonka, is Tonka, 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 in the corner right now. No, no, no. I, I've, I've, I've resigned. I've resigned myself. 
I HIV something. knowingly. That's the whole fucking point. Yeah, you don't really get charged if you do it on accident there, Destiny. It's, it's a nice bullshit yeah. point there. Well, you, yeah. no, no, you don't. That was oh, the whole sorry. point. The whole point was that in order to charge if you did it by accident. You don't get charged if you did it by accident. It's doing it knowingly. And now they've even taken the penalty away from that. So but the you thing get was it. that you if you thought that the, the legal hoop loophole was that if you thought you had HIV before, as long as you never got tested, you can give people HIV and you can never get in trouble for it because you're not it's tested. Not gonna get tested. What? That's the thing. They're still not going to get tested because they would make them undateable. Well, no I one wants we'll to see. date a I guess yeah, we'll, then, I What guess was we'll... the point before about oh they don't want to do it because they'll be on their record? Now it's going to be on their record anyway. That point doesn't go away. Well, now that yeah. it's on their record, they're not exposed. The idea, the idea, the idea. I can't believe this is. Yo, what's up? Can y'all hear me? What's up, my boy? Yo, how are you guys doing? Oh shit! Never mind. I don't know who this is. Yo. Yo. What? Is your boy? Like, come on. Um, He's okay. Zach, sorry, whoever you are. Yeah, but you guys can hear me, right? Yeah, wait, yeah we is can this, hear you. Okay, wait, is that cool. Asm Gold? Yeah, yeah, what's oh, up, dude? Oh, fuck, okay, your thing said Vex. I didn't know if you were like another edgy fucking no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay, no, so no, the no, whole the point, the goal of the law, okay, was that there might be people that won't get tested because they're ex they're afraid of exposing themselves to felony charges by removing the felony charge when a felony charge carries a, a lot of consequence of that I think I don't think you're allowed to vote in elections and shit um, it remains on your record forever yeah. that by removing that felony charge maybe we can get more people who think they have HIV to come in and get tested for it that was the stated reason it's still gonna be on their record you realize because but it's a that communicable was just disease proven. why are you wait still no 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 saying? I'm, I'm sorry when I'm talking about record I meant felony own. record why are you conflating these I'm talking about felony record uh, they, they they don't want a felony in their record not just having HIV. So that was the stated. Now, maybe in the future, maybe this doesn't help at all. And we don't see an increase in people going to the hospital. Or in that case, maybe we reclassify it back to a felony. I don't know. I don't know if it's appropriate to have HIV classified as a felony and every other STD TD classified as a misdemeanor. That seems it's strange. Transmission. Yeah, you know, I, I, think it, really I, I think it might be a I guess someone disease doesn't get a slap on the wrist. Like having yeah, having an a STD isn't bug chasing. Ethical bug STD. chasing, bro. But I mean, like making it, like decriminalizing it from like a felony to a misdemeanor. Like it, it depends on like what's that re what that really is going to do, right? Yeah, and, of course. Yeah, it's a data driven answer. Yeah, uh, exactly. And so you can't really look at it and say like this is some kind of a hidden agenda from the gay community because it's if it was a, hid a hidden agenda, it's not a hidden agenda. agenda. It's pretty really open one. Oh, okay, so it, it was literally a... backed by the LGBT. Okay, like, calm it, down. it can fucking come up with hashtags all over it and you won't accept it, and then you accept it for like five seconds and you just go back to what you're saying. Okay. Holy yeah. shit, you're dense. You just want to lean left no matter what you fucking do. Your assumptions will be on the Brittany, left no matter what they are. Down, and that has please. shown throughout this whole conversation, even when you're proven can, wrong. Look, do you need to lay down? Just like calm down for a minute, okay? Relax. Oh, she's right though. She's you right though. Tell your like, buddy you, over you there just goes back to the same point. It's not. No, tell your buddy big. over there to relax Why because you this get whole so thing mad? he was getting angry. You're like, if frustrated. this is the gay community hidden agenda, what is the gay community? It's not about a hidden agenda, it's an open agenda. Okay, if this is the gay community open agenda, if it is the open agenda, what would they get out of that? Uh, because they can fucking, they, I just told you, they can go and they can go and fuck whoever they want without any consequences. Why mm -hmm. would you not want that? Would you not want less laws? There are consequences. It's still a misdemeanor and there's still consequences. So, so there it's are still consequences. Nothing compared to the, what there was before. Don't even act like that. Uh, it, it's different, yeah, and it's not as bad, yeah. But I don't really see how the gay community would have this big agenda that would potentially put more of them in harm's way. I mean, doesn't that seem a little bit counterproductive? Um, it, it is counterproductive. That's the thing. It's not well thought well, out. Why do you think that they're doing it? If it is counterproductive, like what, what makes because you think they, that they're doing it? Because they thought it was bigoted against them. They're being politically they, correct. And people so don't this know is exactly like a, okay, so this, So properly. what you're saying is that it was a political... They were doing yes. it for basically political power. So they could right. remove a law that they thought was designed to hold them down or something like that. Correct, right? yeah. And that's exactly what the, the guy who wrote the bill said. I, I mean, that, that seems like... Well, where did he say where that? Where did he did say... They, yeah, that, that's a little bit... That's a lot. Well, that's, that, that was in the... Jim had the quote. Uh, yeah. Well, where, Wait, where is the you quote? Wanna, he called the, quote he called the law... You know, the and and law. also, he, I think Anthony Weiner is more people. interested in like young girls. No, 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 not, not, it's not, an, not, not Weiner, Weiner, dude. Right? It's not Anthony Weiner. It's Scott Weiner. He was the person. Oh, it's actually the Stephen bed. Bono, but continue. Okay. <laughs> Back to sleep, Tonka. Back to sleep, buddy. Don't, 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 don't. That's pretty funny. 
I, I, I just don't really see like what they would really have to gain out of that. And also like the yeah, argument you don't that... see it, and I don't see it. Nobody sees it, but it's a political thing. Okay, well, people if don't. Nobody make sees calls. it. Maybe it's not real. What? So them putting hashtag LGBT is just it's just not real, right? Well, I mean, it's if you want to go through Twitter, you can find up. people that think all kinds of stupid stuff. What the but fuck are you talking about? We're talking about the guy who wrote the goddamn bill. Like, I, I was how, talking about how, the agenda of people as a whole, and then because Bernie it goes was little using by hashtags little. You as push one little thing, and then you push another, and then you push another, and then you so, push so another. So this is like oh, okay, it's yeah, I, I see what you're trying to say. Yeah. Um, I don't really see where pushing HIV to be decriminalized or not decriminalized, uh, you know, defelonized is a step towards some sort of like gay world dominion, right? I mean, that, that, that seems... No one is arguing that. Then what is, well, it, what is the next that's step? What are they that's, arguing that's, towards? That's what the assumption is, right? Is that no? this is one step closer to a, a sense of control. No, that, that's what Brittany kind of just said. I don't it think is. So. is that it's not what you just said? And pushing a little bit okay. more yeah. and so more and more because they, what, they what the are by Brittany? the oh I feel oppressed thing, so they feel like this is What's unfair the end goal, right Brittany? for them because now they can freely spread their well, disease. Well, wait if a they second. Want I mean, like if, if they're oppressed, like, they're like, spreading it like that's themselves. fucking like I said, that's well, why, why are we telling them what they can and can't do? If this oh, is yeah, a problem, we should, this, yeah, we can't tell them they can and can't do. They should be able to spread bugs to everyone. That's right. LGBTQWRTYKYS. Uh, I don't know why she got brought in here. Fuck. Well, do, do you see what I'm saying, right? It's like I, I don't want to have certain people going around and moderating and making laws around my life whenever they don't have to deal with the Right, so you for think it. it should be okay to spread bugs is what you're saying? No. When did so I say we that? Shouldn't, we should not. You just said that. No, you just said that because this law affects. This is my life, asthma gold. People who by the don't way, dealing with these people, uh, under, you know, people who don't ask for the bug, people who don't realize that the person they're having sex with has the bug. They're going to be affected by this, and because of the law, that person's going to be able to get away with it. Do you, do you understand yeah, why it's a bad law? Yeah, get away with it, dude. Okay, there's two things. How do you, how do you people could have get away well, with it? Yeah, people could have did the same thing before. This could have been ha this could have been happening. Yes, and they would have gone yeah. to jail for it before. No, now, felony doesn't necessarily mean you go to jail, Ian. You don't know anything about the U.S. legal system. How long it was a felony before? before. Slap on the wrist, it doesn't right? matter. So first, it was a felony before. It doesn't Hello. matter. There's no guarantee that they were getting prison. Yes, there's no guarantee, but there no, is not. a huge chance that they there would might go be a to chance. For, okay, but misdemeanors can carry. Now there's an even smaller misdemeanors can carry. But the, will the big, to them. if you were going to sue somebody, the big thing would be damages that you would pursue in civil court. That that's still completely open. If somebody wants to yes, take and now because it's decriminalized, they can't really have a case now, can they? Wait, why can't you take somebody to civil court? You can sue somebody in civil court for anything. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you can't. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you have a strong case. It it's it's not a fucking but... felony anymore. Who you cares? Whether uh, something well, just because something you can say in court. Uh, uh, every guys, single I, civil... I care about people's feces. I can tell. Um, what I was trying to say is that obviously you can take anybody to civil court for all kinds of stuff. Now, whether that, like the what happens with the judgment is up to the judge and the jury. So I, I don't really see what the point is of like making like what, what does yeah, that really have to do? Everything. If it's decriminalized, you know, it's decriminalized. Everything that doesn't have court. anything to do with it. Nothing being is civil. decriminalized. Don't know why you keep saying that. No, it, like you're basically arguing for a system where nothing's a crime and everything's just handled no. through civil no. court. Never well, said that. Did I say that? Uh, well, if if he was arguing for a system where nothing was a crime, then wouldn't he be arguing for decriminalizing it and not uh, defelonizing it? Because it's just one uh, step felony. in that direction. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he'll oh. say. Well, do you think that Destiny thinks that transmitting at uh, STDs and HIV? I don't know what he thinks. I don't know what he thinks. I only know what he says. Okay. Right. Well, what do you think? What I think. I mean, I, I mean, I, spreading HIV is bad. The goal of this law is to get it so that less people spread HIV by making it so more so people aren't disincentivized from getting tested for it. That was the stated goal of the law. If that's how it pans out, right? And again, we agreed on this. It's a data-driven answer. If that's how it pans out, that more people who think they're they going to get tested for it because they're not going to face a felony charge in the future as a result of getting tested for it, then that's a positive. I would consider that a positive. Less people having Wait, HIV guys. is always a good thing. I should I should pull one of you. I should pull one of your fucking stuns. What fucking data? What data do they have to support that? Oh, it's they'll still make them want to go to the doctor. Yeah, that's that's, that's the, the idea. For it. Uh, it, it's like I don't even entirely like. I can see what the argument is. For no, I asked him. No. No, 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 I asked him. What are you asking me? Mr. Source, why don't you, like, you're talking about, like, oh, if the data supports it and everything, which is, which, like, you can't use that for every fucking thing in the world, because I know, because I love by the data-driven arguments, I'm sorry. Everyone seems to unanimously agree 
that that's fucked up. This is another case where it's fucked up. Where is your I, data I to support this that. law? Because yeah. it's a, because even if you pull up data to support this law, they clearly admitted what their fucking agenda was publicly. Mm-hmm. Who 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 clearly the admitted? Destiny, the, person, the person the person that wrote the law, the person that authored the bill, tweeted that um he was doing this to help uh, alleviate discrimination against. That's da- yeah. that's data. That's data that shows evidence that'll do yeah. that. That guarantees me by them possibly spreading fucking AIDS. Well, that wasn't what we were talking about. Yeah, Brittany, I actually no, just no. gave something that supported your argument, but you were so yeah, triggered that you didn't even hear it. Yeah. You okay, buddy? No, I'm crying because <laughs> Donald blew me the fuck out. You can pretend you're crying now, I guess. But um, <laughs> I mean, you don't. Okay, so there's a there's an actual study. Talking about da- he needs the data as long as the data supports. Yeah. There's no data backing <laughs> this fucking one. That's not what it's based off of. No, right now it's there's based a, off of a legal loophole. We're trying to patch a, the legal loophole. There's a study at a, yeah. at, a, at, a, at a Rutgers School of Nursing that, that talks about uh, gay men and the intentional pursuit of HIV, and there's a large, you know. Yeah, it's sort of like percent. poison pilling or something like that. That's like a fetish, right? For like gay guys. Yeah, it's poison. Yeah, yeah they I, do I don't that. really they think that. Uh, I, I mean, like, yeah, that that's true and that's bad, and I think everybody agrees with that, right? And I think if you're doing yeah. it intentionally, I, I I think that there's a difference, like doing it kind of unintentionally or without malice versus doing it with malice. I, I feel like if you are doing it with mal it with malice, I mean, that's kind of like that's a whole other different like level of, of things, right? You you're doing something. Yeah, unfortunately, the law doesn't somebody. see it that way. The law, you know, like I said before, well, it's a hammer. It, it affects everything. It says that, uh, oh, now intentionally spreading it is fine. Wow, if only right? there was a terminology for judges being able to exercise judgment at the time of... If only there was a word for that. Oh, fuck. Are there any lawyers... Yeah, now they can't call it a felony. Oh, uh, fuck. Can't call it a felony, felony anymore. versus a misdemeanor where one is less than one year and one is more than one year? You mean that? Because the judge would only, only be able to do it based off the law. only there is like some discretion law. that people can provide at every dis- step... Yeah. I am. Wait, oh wait, what? Every, what were you like, saying? Wait, yeah. it, that exists as a concept? You you mean I've judges are actually? Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. Would not be able to rule it as a felony because it's a misdemeanor now in California. Well, you there are it. other felonies that could maybe be associated I, with that. Yeah, like sure. If you're you could bring additional charges. Other- yeah, sure, there are other charges that. besides that. Right. So, like, you just because be that is the charge. charge that they're leveled oh, with, this guy will literally defend anything as long as it's so, pro-PV. The irony yeah. of this is that the first time what? I've had I've had two conversations with Asim and Gold before. The first, the one that the last one I had was when we were brought in uh, on that Discord um, with yeah. Mitch or whatever. The one that we had before was arguing for like an hour and a half on Trump versus Hillary Clinton, and we didn't agree with a single thing there. We were completely at ends with each other. So, this is the person that you think is like constantly sucking off all of my opinions, Brittany. Well, he comes here to like help you once again. Well, like I, I'm not for dog calling on someone. I'm just saying it's good karma because you did the same that, that's thing. That's all. I just feel like I never representing what he's so saying. So I'm just saying I never problem. dog pile people, but Brittany. That's why I'm always the one in here where you in need three help. Of he seems you guys. to be there. Brittany, can you um, show me where I've ever dragged one person into a call like this before? Where I've got two friends that are gonna sit here and dog pile on every no, single No, Destiny, but I can point out when you jumped into the fucking call where no one fucking invited your ass. How did well, I get in here? I, no I'm not even me, really Brittany. like I'm not just blindly agreeing. I'm not talking about in here. You know I'm not talking about I'm you. I'm clarifying the argument. Like the more fucking than debunk that to get back to my original plan. I don't like your shady fucking tactics. You're always shady. Okay, always well, using people to talk to me. I'm sorry, if you Brittany. want to get into like the sides and everything, aren't there like three or four other people in here that disagree with them? And I didn't even just like her. how in the other stream, there were all his friends, including you, against me. Dude, having to Mitch invited me to that, and everybody who defended me until after got there. I, I think a lot of people were yeah, sympathetic he's, he's to you. Radical argument. centrist, bro. Brittany, I think everybody disagreed with me in there until Asma Gold showed up. Yeah, Are you I, I, I think that, yeah. No, they, no, Destiny, they're your friends, and they tried to shut me up when I mentioned the 15-year-old thing that you admitted to. They tried, they were like, oh, whoa, 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 and they tried to shut me up. They're yeah. on your side, clearly, because they- I don't think we even talked about that last time. That's the 15-year-old thing? They're your friends. Well, they know each you, other. You all know each other. What are you talking about So with don't come here complaining thing. about people here against Brittany? when you did the same thing. Don't Brittany? throw stones in a glass A long time ago, Asma. So in 2012, I was talking to a group of friends about how there's a lot of fucking jailbait in the esports community. Yeah. And don't there was a chick that to make you look good. Destiny. That's not, that's not, that's not in this conversation. A chick sent the conversation's picture, right here, and that's not what's in. And I showed the picture to the other guys in the chat, and I was like, "These people are crazy! Like, holy shit! Like, this jailbait is insane." That was. It's weird how you remember this shit so well now. It's well, just yeah, because I regret it now because you're like throwing it in my face for the past two fucking hours. Yeah, well, because so, you so fucking what is that, what does that really do? Like, it's, apparently, I'm a pedophile that the, wants the to fuck children. That, uh, Brittany, the reason that I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Brittany, Destiny's you, friend, shut the fuck up. Shut the, the fuck up, yeah. Destiny's friend. Uh, okay. Can hey, I just, Jim. Can I no, you can't do anything. Shut the fuck up. I'm not interested. Well, what are you going to do? Jim. What do you have to say? Jim. Yeah. 
What the fuck? Hey, I just want to watch you guys uh, sped the fuck out. I mean, I'm enjoying the <laughs> shit out of this. Let him go. So, so I, I just wanted to come in and see if we can get that, that fire stoked again a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, uh, is this oh, going to okay. be a video? Just curious, Jim. Is this this one? No, this is just be? my fucking entertainment while I have dinner. Oh, this, is just, this is just the afternoon today. Okay. So the reason <laughs> that I probably interrupted Brittany is because defaming other streamers, uh, regardless of if it's true or not, is against the TOS of Twitch. Oh my god, you're gonna pull that? You're gonna try to get me? Oh my god, defame. He talked shit about me on stream when I wasn't there, and people were sending it to me, so I dare you to try something. I fucking dare you. I um, didn't defame what, anything. What real no, quick, wait, wait, wait. Real does quick, that this have is, anything to do with no, this? Listen, this is really, really important. You're, you're doing, I have, I have doing something. Wait, wait, wait. This is really important. Before, Brittany, before, before you go into this, not be just so I can make sure that you understand what I'm saying. I've said everything that has do been back and me? correct. So don't you even try that because you know I've been banned for two years. Don't you fucking try. Are you done? I'll t I will t try me and I will take you down with me with facts that I have. What? Because it's been a one way street. Whoa, what? relax. He said shit to me first. <laughs> relax. No, you're gonna. You want me to relax, and you're really threatening my livelihood. Wait, you want how am I threatening you? Relax? What are you talking about? I'm threatening you. How am I threatening you? Threaten trying you? to threaten me, saying that's against the TOS. Whoa. What's up with Twitch admin's dick? Go. Are you done? Well, she. Okay, so sentence. what I was trying to say, could you please like correctly articulate my argument, just so I understand that you know what I'm talking about? Uh -oh. No, with you, it's always, do you know what I, you don't know what he's saying, you don't know what he's saying, that's what always gets <laughs> well, pulled yes, up, and I, I just, I simply disagree, and I give my reasons why, you? and then when that happens, it's, oh, you just don't understand the argument. Well, no, I'm not asking you if you understand it, I'm asking you No, now you, you want to be Mr. Nice after you threaten my livelihood, fuck right. you. Right, and so, okay, so that's no, wrong. fuck you, you I'm not going to be again? nice to you. You think I'm going to have a nice you little conversation nice after you threaten my livelihood? You just, you, you, but I would like you to be correct. Your buddy Destiny here talks shit about me and slanders me on his stream? What does that have You're to do with what I just said? Had a conversation I don't even, like, what do you, like, I don't have, like, uh, uh, an encyclopedia of everything that's happened in your life. I don't know what people have said. No, but you have an encyclopedia, things. apparently, because you, you clear, clearly, I'm right? You have an encyclopedia what do I have of now you know? Now you don't? You want to fuck with my livelihood? Now you don't know anything? Let me, let me go ahead and uh, just, just re-clarify something. I have no intention to, uh, quote, fuck with your livelihood. I no, like have... you want to pull up, oh, it's against the Twitch TOS. I'm not streaming Is on it? Twitch right now. I am on a YouTube stream. I am not on Twitch now, right now. Now, if you want to Firstly. use another example of that, is that you are on a Twitch website, and there was another user recently that was banned for defaming Oh, yeah, just like, a but I'm not, website, I'm not threatening you. Even though they weren't on their own stream. randomly drop this so information. So using that as an example is yeah, actually I bet that, very, And I bet very... this will look really good when you're just you're just subtly threatening me on stream. I bet that'll look really good on your part, um, too. Try how am, What am I threatening you with, anyway? You're oh, so it's not threatening when you're sitting there saying this is against the Twitch TOS. Now that no, I was saying it in minute. regards to actually Mitch and right? not you. But what that's about your buddy? That's you who breaks the TOS all the fucking time. He shows Ice beside on stream. That's a banned streamer. He fucking shows him on his stream. He could get fucking banned for that ASAP. Do you want to actual clarification of that? Because no, I've actually talk talked to Twitch the about TOS. that. You want to go there? Uh, well, if if I would want to go there, I would explain exactly why you're wrong. But if I was able to do that, you would just interrupt me. So what I'm trying to say is that the reason that they interrupted you in the previous conversation wherever you started saying those things about Destiny is they might not have wanted the liability of having their channel attacked and get actioned and not your own. No, that's incorrect because the whole stream okay. went by of us talking about that topic. But as soon as I mentioned when he does that, and he's the one who admitted exactly, to it. Exactly, because do you know, it's, no, do and you he know admits who someone like, named Gross Score is? Suddenly it's, oh, hush, hush, Brittany, don't let them know. Don't do let know, them know, Brittany, you better not say that. Hush, hush. I won't hush, hush. I can tell. Um, but listen, do you know who Gross Score is? I know who Gross Score is. Why, why, okay, yeah, so and Gross Score threw an accusation with no evidence. Everything I've said has evidence behind it. Everything I've He's said trying to point out that Gross Score has, has had two, evidence. And Gross Score's previous two warnings well. happened off platform. I think is what he's getting at. Uh, yeah, Gross Score. So you, no, no, no. So you want to be Destiny's little fucking goon? Let Destiny do <laughs> threatening himself right fucking now. I, this isn't have anything to do anybody. with destiny. I'm just no, no, no. You want your little TOS fucking goon to come in here and threaten me? Yes, to act like Why do you think that I'm threatening you? He wants Brittany, to act like a little bitch. Brittany, How about you I've been dealing with. I've been dealing with. Why do you no, think I'm one? I've been dealing with a three on one for like two hours, and I get one guy in here that's not dogpiling me, and you're this triggered. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Shit down. Come to me directly and talk to me. Stop being a pussy. Come at me, bro. Can you just calm down? No, he's still not speaking. 
Go, can you yeah, just, he's sitting no one can why speak you over you right now. Guardian has Guardian a pretty good uh, a live chat. He just said, I just said, baby Bonnell. He, he's why making fun of Beck here, he says, or Zach, whatever his name is. He says, I'm not threatening you, but let me just get you to shut up because you're saying too much about my favorite Twitch streamer. Doesn't matter no. if it's true. Asmund Gold was no. explaining uh, why I was explaining wanted Mitch's yeah, actions. I was explaining, I was explaining course, Mitch's actions. Like could, have, could have been true, but he had no evidence to back it. I have evidence to back everything I've said. I have not <laughs> said anything that God, has not been backed lost. by something Destiny has said. So if Destiny looks bad, it is on himself. So don't you go and try to threaten me. What, uh, what, 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 Brittany, 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 what evidence are you talking be on about? YouTube. About what Destiny, what are we talking about exactly? I'm I fucking love child porn. porn. I don't even know. It, He's talking about I don't even know. I I was was wait, can I start? Let me summarize this. Let me summarize this. Real quick, okay? and, and then, then, then you make this about yourself. It, it's not. It's true, and I have evidence Brittany, for it. Brittany is let Brittany, Brittany answer the fucking question, you little manlet fuck. <laughs> Which one is the manlet here? I'm, I've lost track of the manlets at this point. Take a guess, Steve. Up, Shut Jesse, the fuck up. Guess, dude. Is that directed at me, or is that him? I don't know. I thought he was talking to Brittany. But Ian if you have to question me, whether or not you're a manlet, man shut your fucking dick, liquor. Let her fucking finish. Yeah, let her that finish. Your mouth. Okay, that's so good, she dude, she was good. the key manlet. Okay, go ahead. Good, dude. Okay, looks like she doesn't have anything to say. That has been backed up by everything, and he's okay. calling out everything Brittany, I've said. That has been backed up. Brittany, and shut up, Steve! Really titled him a pedal Brittany. apologist. And he admitted it to it on the other stream. Oh, okay, geez. everything I've said two? has been backed yeah, holy up. Shit. Everything has been proven. We, everyone here has been like, Destiny, is this true? Destiny, is this true? And you say, yes, but, okay, everything has been proven. It's not slander. It is true. Brittany, the, what Asmongold is it's saying is... Please, shut the fuck up. No, you shut the fuck up. You want to talk over me and tell me shut the fuck up again? you please, Brittany? you have to look up to me and talk. I'm going to be like... Can you do one thing? I can speak over you in a literal sense. Yes, I. we can all see that. Um... Can you please he articulate? Can't, he can't see past me. <laughs> oh, oh. Brittany sees all sorts of things. Have you seen the eyes on that motherfucker? <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, but um, I thought you were anti bullying people about how they look, Destiny. You made how can you bullying. how can you look I'm her eye to eye without a you. fucking high chair? Well, well, you're, you're here's a pretty good comment by Kai Owen. Your bullshit, Destiny. And, uh, a fucking widescreen <laughs> set. Here's a here's a pretty good comment. He flipped that motherfucker all the way up to 180 on the fucking character creation screen. It's ten pounds. It's I'm pretty sure it's sarcastic. It says, "Britney, shut the fuck up, cunt." Okay, the manlet is speaking. The manlet of the stream is in charge now. This child porn will speak. Will be shut down now. You cheeky whore. That's what he said. Is that what you wanted to to say? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know. So Steve, anyway, can you um, squeeze in was, a few more fake laughs at your own jokes real is quick? That all, all I wanted you to do, Brittany, was just articulate what I was trying to say. A and you keep mis misrepresenting what I'm trying to say. Misrepresenting after you just subtly tried to threaten me for your because your goon squad? Okay, well, I just said that I wasn't trying to threaten you, and I have no intention. No, you were. Yes, you. I'm pretty sure everyone here would agree that you were just. Are you a mind reader? You were just trying to throw the Twitch TOS in my face. No, are you just trying to throw the Twitch TOS in my face. No, are you just trying to throw the Twitch TOS in my face. No, are you just trying to throw the Twitch TOS in my face. No, are you just he was explaining that Mitch wanted you off the stream because Mitch was afraid that the TOS would be violated. He's not threatening you. He's saying that Mitch didn't want you to talk about these on stream because he didn't want to jeopardize his stream. Because you might say that you have all the data to prove that I fuck kids or whatever, but Mitch doesn't know that. It's not Mitch, data, bitch. And Mitch, you said it yourself. And that Mitch all. doesn't but want to risk his Can you see the stream. argument that, you that Destiny's yourself, trying to Mitch, say? You're the one who came out and said you did it, and you're, and you're going to tell me I should be silent? No, Nobody has said that you, you should be silent. I, I did not say anything that was going to break the TOS. Mitch doesn't know that, Brittany. Well, How can Mitch know that? Nothing was Do you broken. understand nothing somebody being end, risk adverse? I didn't say anything that broke. Okay. Okay. Believe me, after being so by being risk adverse, you shut a person down. Us, like, it was on his uh, stream. It's his right wait, to broadcast what, were you what saying? he was. After being banned, what? What? Yeah, that's why he was the only one to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everyone in the fucking place just just go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shh, shh, don't, don't say yeah, that. Yeah, that's because they didn't want you know, their stream to be a place for somebody to be potentially defamed and have their stream. And he wants me to call me. Articulate it, like me, so he can be. Any way he wants to, he can just say can and threaten me. Until he silences you. Imply, no, imply. <laughs> no, it was no, on another nice. person's stream. He has the right to have whatever nice content he wants. He wants to play nice with me suddenly. I'm not I gonna could play. silence you right now on my stream I... by muting you. It's my right. It's my stream. Mitch, you can I, mute, I, no, you can mute me, but you're not gonna tell me to shush. 
You will not I'm tell me. I'm talking about telling you to shush. We're just saying that Mitch didn't want you to call I, I think that on his stream because he was nervous that he would get a TOS yeah, violation. I mean, because he's, he's, he's gotten in trouble before and he doesn't want to get in trouble again. That's why he he didn't want you to say that stuff. Like, oh yeah, I'm sure that's the reason. That's the that's it has to be the better reason, right? It can't okay. be because they don't want well, they don't want things getting out about destiny, right? Because that's well, his I, friend, I mean, right? It has nothing to do with that. It's like whoa, 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 right? Best friends with destiny, like they are friends, but we're barely friends. That has nothing to do with right. That has no bias. And I'm not. I'm. I don't think I've ever spoke to Greek. One on one before. Like, do you right. think it's I am? Like, just... It's out of the realm of possibilities that that could be a possible reason, right? It has oh, to be the reason shit. that you're well, saying it, it's, it's because a, it's the, the reason that makes sense, threatening me, right? right? So it's just because of that, right? That's why you mentioned slander. That's why you threw in the word um, slander because it was about that. There was no slander on Mitch's stream. There was zero fucking slander. You yeah, brought in that word. No, no, no. I like, call you out on it. You want to act like that's not what you were doing because no, you're a pussy. Uh, I, I'm going to tell I'm you not... what you were doing because I know what you were doing. You pulled out the word slander like I was saying something false. And I wasn't. And I have mm -hmm. not. How I did said Mitch, everything how that would Mitch know up. that? How would Mitch know that? So you bring in the word slander? You're just like pulling well, shit out of your that ass. Was oh, 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 it, it was his stream, and he made that decision to, based no, on the information that was available. Based on the false and information that, that own it. Own it. Own it. Own what? What am I owning? Own what you did. Don't come here and fucking lie. What did I own? False about? accusations. He wants to sit here and say that he that he didn't mean anything by saying the word slander, that that's not where he was going. It's pretty clear well, where you were going once you brought in the it. word slander. It had nothing to do with Mitch's stream, so now you're trying to save your ass when you get called out. What am I What am I saving myself from? You know, everybody in uh, Tonka's chat is calling you Des uh, Destiny's bitch right now. Yeah, he is. He's Destiny's bitch. It's like, is he that really he does what his you want to be? Destiny hasn't even had to talk this whole time because uh, he did it before him half the fucking time. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not sad, really dude. about that. But um, anyway, notice how no I one's really spoken about that. I just don't have any nuts right left. Now. It's pretty pathetic. Sad, Grown ass men can't do that. Yeah, I, like I don't uh, need someone else speaking for me. You know, why does Destiny need you to speak uh, for him? Uh, I'm not. Destiny, I'm not Destiny, speaking for Destiny. Oh, Daddy, I was trying Destiny, to explain. Oh, you're trying well, why, to explain why? something. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah, what, and he was involved in this. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Again, bitch, do you? You haven't even been talking because you're going doing all I your fucking dirty work. You dirty work, you dirty work, time Destiny. like a fucking six year old. You're in the height of one. Why are you yelling? I'm taller than you by like five inches. Why are bitch, you, you keep lying about me? I'm what? Six. Are you really that you proud of being taller than a girl? Are you six? I'm not proud. I just don't know why she's calling me a manlet. It just seems weird. Holy shit! She's calling you a manlet because you're a manlet. You're fucking tiny, He's lying motherfucker. about his height, dude. Okay, he but her buddy in here, again her buddy in here, height. Ian, is one inch shorter than me. Like, why is it so important to you guys to talk about my height all the time? It's because you're little. Seems important to you. You seem to block everyone that talks about it. About to be a little guy that have a little brain. Brainlet Bonald, sit the fuck down. Um, Booster okay. seat Bonald, take a fucking seat. I, I I don't know why, like, I mean, so... I, I just wish that you'd understand what I was trying to say. Yeah, I just wish you would own up to what you do. What do I do? <laughs> what do Sorry. I do, Brittany? You forgot to tell him to laugh for you, by the way. So laughing you're for yourself, Destiny. I'm sorry. I've we, me and Adam are communicating uh -huh. in another private messaging program. I keep telling yeah. him. I'm actually uh -huh. typing everything he that I want him to say. I That's why my microphone is just muted. I feed him lines. Like it, it's not like uh -huh. Destiny and I are like completely aligned. Like I, I just, I, I just want to. Come okay, so you and... came in here with no intentions of helping your friend Destiny, right? You came here with no intentions at all, right? It wasn't You're really about helping. I have not seen you associate with a single person here. Okay, I could be wrong, but I have not seen you. In I follow you on at Twitter. All. I have not seen you associate with them at all. You're here because Destiny's here. That's a. Yep. That's how it yeah, is. Yeah, but I got, Brittany, I got like it's only fair that he can come in and do this. I mean, it, it has been you and I and against Destiny for the last like two hours. Thanks, Jim. I but the thing oh, Jim, I didn't know you were against me. But what the, the thing fuck? is, Jim, he did this to me in the last stream when I was trying to talk to another streamer because he had invited me on his stream. And then Destiny decides to crash it and come on when no one invited his ass. I was invited. How do you so think no, I got He goes there. on the server and then Circle Jerks with Asmongol over here that's talking. Mm -hmm. And he goes to Circle Jerks with his friends and it's 4v1. And then he clipped it and called it a fucking uh -huh. debate and uploaded it on YouTube. So it's yep. only fair. This is karma. This isn't us dogpiling on him. He did this to me. I it's didn't well, dogpile you. I was invited that, 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 uh, in. Go ahead, you, you said that, yeah. Okay, Brittany, you keep saying, uh, I, I don't know this Twitch shit, man. I don't follow this crap. But yeah, you're okay. like, so you were on somebody's stream talking about this shit. They told right. you not to talk about it, right? 
Well, no, what happened? Just, can, I, I, can I just explain what happened? We're not talking about destiny at all. Yeah, Brittany, 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 we were talking about seconds. a different can situation. Destiny sees me and he happens? decides to jump on, and then it turns into that kerfuffle, Brittany? and then it turns into a fucking four v one. And then Brittany, he called. Can you allow me to explain what happened? Can you allow me to have your own version of it? Wouldn't you? And you can you can interrupt me if I'm wrong. Is that okay? Proceed. Okay. So basically, Brittany said that Destiny had a conversation or said something sexual towards or about uh, a 15-year-old. And then Mitch Jones, the person whose stream it was on, interrupted her and told her not to talk about that. Uh, I but said Destiny's that it was... one that admitted to it. It wasn't really just me talking about it. Destiny was the one that... He shushed uh, me after Destiny answered. Oh he didn't God. shush me while I was asking about it. He only shushed when it made Destiny look bad. Um, That's where you're incorrect. Yes, um, exactly. Okay, so and, and so can, I, can I continue? Yeah, so I, I believed that the reason that he told her to not talk about that was because Twitch has a very, very strong rule about not defaming other streamers and slandering them. Now, at that point, I don't think it's that Mitch slander, had all of no. the information. It's not slander, exactly. it's true. And that's what I, exactly. But at that point, I don't think Mitch had all of that information, and I'm almost certain that he didn't. So in order to be risk adverse, he asked her not to talk about that to not put his stream at risk. That's untrue. That's false. Okay. Because if that were the case, he wouldn't have allowed me to ask questions and said not to talk about it then. He only did that after Destiny had answered. So, Brittany, isn't the simplest solution to this then is just circumventing Mitch? Why don't you host your own Twitch stream and talk about it? Yeah, I can. Well, she right? didn't, she wouldn't ever, she didn't ever want to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. She was always like, too oh scared God, to do it. It's going to happen in the future. I'm well, saying no, that's no, what had happened. Like, just, just if you want to like talk about this and you, it's not slander and it's true, because the difference is, Jim, Twitch, I've had to read Twitch's rules so much because I had been banned for two years. I read them like the back of my fucking hand before I had gotten banned and afterwards. So I have to know all the rules as a streamer because they tend to be like a little bit selective with certain streamers about breaking the rules. Um, they yeah. sometimes have unfair treatment towards one streamer to another on what they'll okay. let them get away with. Now, if I talk about Dusty on my stream, he, he'll try to claim that knowing the person he is doing the DMCA takedowns, he'll try to take down my stream. But if I'm communicating with him and I'm talking to him on DMCA. stream, then that like can't that? happen because it's not slander. It's a conversation. I am talking to him and he is talking back. That slander is why I can't can necessarily be a conversation. Do that. Okay, Brittany, how about this? I I've got a dead Twitch channel because I don't do any of this gay gaming shit. Um, wow. Why don't I just host it and you can say whatever the fuck you want on it because if they burn the channel down, I don't care. That no, they would still, still be uh, liable by proxy. They, they, they don't do it by hurt. channel. They do it by person. Yeah, they would. The weird to, platform to sounds to like ban. shit. I don't know well, what just you're talking hey, about. Well, if you try to ban them, they'll just ban you again. Yeah, what so. you just said is really important. You said the platform sounds like shit. A lot of people are scared about getting banned yeah, for shit I'll, like this. This is why. That, that's why I mentioned No, and I agree that some people are scared about getting banned, but they did it after you had answered. Please, Brittany, for two minutes, just stop. When me and Brittany went on to talk about um, the child porn shit, the same argument that we're having now, there were a ton of times where Mitch interjected in that, where he's like, whoa, can you guys talk about this here? Whoa, I don't know if you guys should be talking about this. Yeah, yeah, he tried to tone it down. Yeah, because he was just worried about his channel getting actioned by exactly. Twitch. Exactly, and so th there's right, not but it any... wasn't the shush until Destiny had admitted to it. Well, right? it happened later on with things that were it's not related to right? Destiny too. So I feel like both all of that evidence as well as the TOS and everything makes me believe that it had nothing to do with Mitch trying to protect Destiny's reputation and more to do with Mitch trying to protect his own channel. Really? So that's why it was everyone going like, oh no, shush, shush, shush. Yeah, I, didn't, it wasn't even just I, I definitely disagree I mean, with your assessment there. Bitch, exactly. sorry. Okay, um, how do you disagree with that? <laughs> Dude, he has no, there's no reason. He doesn't know anything about any of I, watched, I, I mean, how do you disagree with it? Yeah. What, yeah. Make, like, uh, yeah. what makes you disagree? Brittany explained everything, and then afterwards, everyone was like, whoa, 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 you, you sound like fucking Crash Bandicoot. For God's sakes. Is that what they said in the stream beforehand? Because I wasn't there beforehand. I'm just hearing this secondhand. Uh, is that what they said during that stream? Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. Okay, and so what happened? I just explained what happened. So she said some stuff, and then they said that she sounded like Crash Bandicoot. Is that right? No, no, no. Oh, my God. I was saying everybody sounded like everybody was telling her to shush. Oh, okay, so people asked her to not talk about that. Like after, after. Like after she'd ask, uh, asked the question, after she'd answered it, you know, all that stuff. When all the facts are available, that's when they made her shut up. What facts like, were it, it available? It seemed like a fucking bullying session. What okay? facts were available? Uh, the chat log, for example. Uh, well, there wouldn't be a chat log because it was verbal. So what, what chat log are you uh, talking about? You guys are talking about two different things right now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah we're talking about two different things right now. 
Sorry, I, I, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. Dude, not... like, you're, you're so caught up in defending Destiny that you have no idea what you're talking about. It's so sad that, like, Asmongold and me have no relation to one another. I've never, I make fun of Asmongold all the time for his you video. Know, you know, I believe, you know, I, I, really can't believe you. I can't believe you, but the guy is sucking up to you. You right have now. no He's relation to him, just but did you send him party the just, like, observing I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain it. Hold on, like, you have no association to him, did you, are you the one who invited him to come in? Um, I didn't even technically. People, I sent him the link, tweet, but okay, that's yeah. an invite. People were you tweeting. Are, people are were tweeting at. People invite. were tweeting at. People, shut the fuck up, Tonka. No, you were shut the fuck up, saying, Steve. Hey, no, you shut the fuck up, Steve. You dishonest little pussy. You dishonest little pedophile pussy. You dishonest little pedophile pussy. You dishonest little fucking pedophile. Don't fucking talk over me, little man. Get in your high chair. Back to the corner, my dude. No, get in the high chair. Get in the high chair, little man. Get in the little high chair. Get your fucking binky out. It's time to cry have, because you, you have, got you busted extras? fucking with little kids. For Ian and Brittany too, it's because buddy, you or? got busted fucking with little kids you again. Fucking you got kids. busted Ooh, fucking with little kids. You sent him the link to join <laughs> the, the chat. You are. Yeah, I did, like, but I, it's not like, I didn't go searching. I didn't go searching like, hey, Asmongold, can you come in? You're and not fucking Okay, here, then that's okay? an association to it, you fucking goof. Anyway. Jim, okay, earlier, well, yeah, he so directly Asmongold, lied to your face. Shut your associated. fucking <laughs> cocksucker, Steve. We're so heavily associated. Shut your fucking Asmongold, cocksucker, you go Steve. Tonight, Steve, shut the fuck up. Steve, shut the fuck up. Steve, shut the fuck up. Jim, earlier, he lied to your fucking face. Told you all this shit about how he had no idea about this 15-year-old girl. Couldn't remember a fucking no bit about it. no idea about her? What the fuck are you Made up about? some bullshit Ooh. story. Made up an absolutely bullshit story that's now been proven to be a billion percent fucking false. Do you have any thoughts on that, Jim? Wait. Well, is my this... thoughts on this are were uh, Asmigold, is that your name? Yeah, what's up? Are, are you in the esports scene too, like Destiny? Uh, I mean, not really. I just stream on Twitch. Okay. Uh, you were you ever involved with like Pro WoW or anything? No, I suck. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, do, can Can you give me any information? Because Destiny doesn't want to be the brave man forward to crack uh, the uh, esports Weinstein story. Yeah, Dorito Gate uh, is uh, apparently. About, uh, which about story? apparently, because uh, as he had claimed earlier, there seems to be a bit of a. Uh, underage girl fucking going on in esports. And he just uh, yeah, can't. Well, I mean, I, I'm like, are you re are you talking about like in regards to Destiny or like in general? No, no. He said that esports was somewhat. Uh, I, I don't want to misquote here, but uh, rife. You know, with uh, a lot of. A lot of uh, about he said that. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Like as I said, I don't really follow. Like I'm not like a really big Destiny fanboy or anything. Like I just came in here. Well, I don't think I'm you like, are. I just didn't know if you were in esports. I didn't know no, if you'd heard. No, no, and I don't know it. anything about that. I have nothing. I I've been to like literally like two or three events ever. I Do you see no a lot idea. of kids when you go there? Uh, I mean, actually, not really. Like the the youngest kids. Like I'm 27, right? So mm -hmm. like I'll think people who are like 18 might be like 15, right? Because I'm just like a a pretty good amount older than they are. But gotcha. um, there actually aren't really that many very young people that go to those events, especially like the bigger ones, because a lot of those events are held in certain places and you wouldn't really see kids that would be able to actually purchase a ticket and then have their parents come. I did, did, you, go, did you ever go to any of the early MLGs, Asmon Gold? No, nah, no, nah, no, I didn't. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Um, but like whenever I was, I went to BlizzCon and there were some like parents that kind of came up to me with their kid and I like took a picture with their kid or something. And that was like one thing, but it wasn't like there were just kids roaming around. Uh, no. Okay. Well, did you ever see like any kids getting like you know dragged off by a COD player to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, no, thank God, no, I did not. Okay, Steve, you need to come forward. We need the information. Children are dangerous, Steve. Don't worry, I'll work well, on I, that. I'm idea. sure that the uh, you know the the scene has evolved in a lot of ways, right? Yeah, Obviously, this is what like, I said. What was, that it's way different than what it was, was happening in 2017 is probably very different than what's happening in 2012 or whatever. Uh, but I, I mean, I'm well, not Steve saying that's really it happening or not man. happening. What, do what? You said what? Well, Steve did say he was a changed man since 2012. He would do yeah, that well. in 2012, but never now. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I, I don't really know. I have nothing to do. All the time. You like, got yeah, it. I have nothing really to do with esports, those organizations. So I, I have no idea. Well, most people who aren't fucking, you know, Destiny aren't in esports, but that's neither here nor there. So great, so great point. Good contribution. Is like in esports because he's like dumb or something. No, he's in esports. Or esports because, is dumb. No, it's because he's destiny. That's that's why. Oh, he's in esports because he's destiny. Yeah, because he's fucking four foot five. <laughs> couldn't get a I woman <laughs> in his own fucking size. Has to get a fucking high chair just to look Britney in the fucking eyes to have this. So for starters technology. on this conversation, as well, this guy didn't it's know. Got his back. Don't worry. Between North and South uh, Carolina. This I see, anyway, I said I'm gonna head out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hope you got your entertainment, Jim. I'm gonna head out. It's been fun blowing. It's been fun, Brittany. Thanks. Thanks.
Thanks, buddy. Br no, no, let me do what you did and, and call you a little fucking man like like yep. you did. You tried yep. to insult me before yep. you left, right? Like, little. Good job. Yeah, get your last word in. Go, go, go. Like, get get your little yep. last insult in. Nice you job. Like, yeah, it was good you. talking to you, Brittany. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry Thanks, that you Brittany. perceive me as somebody who I hate to, but I, I don't. Like, you don't need to get angry and, and hate me. Then don't then don't go defending him and denying what you do. Your intentions are kind of clear. And I will defend ideas that I agree with. That doesn't that mean that. That's it's okay to defend your ideas, but you don't need to. You can. He has his own mouth. He can speak Bye, for himself, and you don't need to like threaten people. Well, I'm not threatening anybody, and I never would. <laughs> on a on a technicality, but ultimately, yeah. Bye. How's everybody doing here tonight? Are we having fun today? I was yeah. enjoying the shit out of the stream for the last uh, couple of hours. It's fun it's stuff. Yeah. It's a fun stream, Steve. Yeah. I mean, I was I was going to probably play XCOM or something, but, you know, this is more fun. Jeez. You know, uh, Ian? Is it Ian or Ian? Ian. It's Ian, yeah. Ian, yeah. I, I mean, he did kind of pull you the fuck out there on your article. I know. <laughs> I right? know. Like you have to, you have to admit that. I mean, that oh was yeah, I do admit that. Yeah, I, I wrote the piece and I wait. Really? Because you just said that I got totally owned earlier. Yes. Yeah. By um. By no, Jim before did. Jim came in, you said that you totally owned me on every topic. No, I got you on a few. I got you on a few. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I won't push it. I don't. Yeah. Like, just take the win on this one, you know? Like, What's, we what's weird, take... though, is that yeah. Ian's willing to say that he did, in fact, lose, whereas your boy over yeah. here still trying oh, to... I, admit, I, I, fuck up, dude, yeah. I will always admit fucking up. My whole life is on the internet. I can't not admit fucking up. You, cool, so you what's with I the pedophilia, Steve? What's with the pedophilia? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not a pedophile. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It looks that way to the outside observer, Steve. I don't know. So, because yeah, I shared a picture of a chick that I said, look at this hot jailbait, that it's makes me pedophile. Weird, dude. Look at this Why hot jailbait. Yeah, I know, it's dumb. And I said it was dumb, and I wouldn't do it again, and I shouldn't. Jeez, I probably shouldn't have done it again. Like, seriously. Like, I mean, we're having fun to man. Like, and I'm not talking man to man look here. I'm saying man to man. Why would you do that? That's fucked up, dude. Sure. People do fucked up stuff all the time. Like, I don't really, like, I don't really want to. People don't share fucking pictures of little 15 year old girls all the fucking time, brother. People don't do that. Like, what do you, what do you think I'm agreeing with it? I don't care if you're agreeing with it. I did, I don't care what you think. I don't know who the fuck you are. Well, you're responding to me, so it seems like you do care a little bit. Well, you're speaking. What is he supposed to do? Jesus, fuck these simple I don't know. I would do what I've been doing with him, is ignoring him. You've been responding to me too, you fucking goo. What are you doing? Uh, what is a couple this of game? times on accident. And you just right. did you're it again. You just Wait, did what it did you again. just call him? You just you fucking did it again. call him a goof. Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear that last yeah, consonant there. No, no, he calls people goofs. That's what he does. Okay, this I was a little thing. worried there for a second. I thought I was. Oh, in a you, with you should you shouldn't be worried, Steve. That's something you like to call people no, all the time. He, isn't it? he can't be racist. He's Native American, so yeah, it's you only know. racist if it's in StarCraft, not League of Legends, right, Steve? Yeah, yeah I think I said that before, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> nice fucking goof. There, nice That's quote there, bizarre. dude. Like, how do you come up with that rule where it's like it's okay if it's in one game but not in another? I didn't say it was okay in one game or another. I was refuting a claim. Somebody said oh, that I God. call people N words all the time in StarCraft. I said, show me a log where I've called somebody. No, you the said to yeah. show where you did it. Jim, you've seen these screenshots. In Star in your in opinion, shut the, Dude, shut the fuck up, Steve. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. No, shut up. Picture, you shut up, bitch. Are you no, serious? No, you're the dumb in motherfucker saying logs. There's in no logs there. It doesn't say logs. Picture. There's no logs. Oh, okay. No logs. That's not what's written. I've seen. Does he owe the money? I think he called somebody a gook in a game. No, he called somebody a nigger. StarCraft too. I did that a lot. No, he called somebody a nigger. Over here. And, well, and I saw I, I, I saw a couple of comments on uh, Twitter, not not in StarCraft, calling a couple and then in of my own in my Destiny chat. Yeah, my Destiny GG chat. I say tons of fucking shit. You can find tons of fucking shit I've said on there. Yeah, call, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's someone that's important though, Tonka. That's not the bet that's important. Steve, you still owe a midget charity in the UK a thousand fucking dollars. When are what you do I owe that? a midget charity for? What what was this? Bet? You asked somebody to find you a quote agreeing that you mentioned that you wanted to carpet bomb Mexico. And they Jim, fucking I found never it. said we wanted to call they it out found it. And the transcript of pay. that conversation, it's so obvious. Come on, dude. Really? No, no, no. See, this is what you do. You're like, find exactly. me a quote. And then when they find it, you say it's sarcasm. But there is no you quote where I say, okay, well, that money. If we, if we, if we, if we want to be dude. like literal, I never said, let's carpet like bomb Mexico. Goal so like, no, it has you said this, you wanted to treat it like Iraq. You said you wanted yeah. to treat it like Iraq. What happened yeah. in Iraq? Carpet bombs, you fucking retard. Who? Calm down. Are you okay, buddy? Okay. I'm just fine, little fella. I'm just fine. I'm not the one who's busted. 
The conversation oh, we were talking about is where we should direct our international or foreign efforts. And what I said was we spend all this time fucking around in the Middle East. We Why wouldn't we like look Iraq. to our border to the south to see if we can, and I specifically said, if we can work with the Mexican government to do things like eradicating the cartels in Mexico. I never said we should go carpet bomb Mexico. That's a horrendous. I, I specifically <laughs> asked you carpet bomb. And you're like, yeah, let's run. Yeah. You said, let's run sorties over Mexico. Possibly. But this was after, <laughs> after I clarified that we'd be doing it working with the Mexican government. So so does the quote exist or not, little fella? No, Come on. The, the quote fucking exists. Bombing Mexico is ridiculous. The quote fucking, no. no one said anything but indiscriminate bombing, oh, dude. Like, God. does the quote exist or not, Steve? The quote exists. Yes or no? See, I, 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 back to the corner. Back to the uh, corner. I, I, I do want to ask one other back thing. Like, yeah, what's th up? This is one thing I noticed with you. Um, uh -huh. When we had a discussion about Mexico, yeah, and I, you know, I was bringing up the wall and using the locked door analogy, and you're like, no, you know, we should give them financial aid, help them rebuild maybe some military intervention with the Mexican government. Mm -hmm. And I'd said to you, it sounds like what you're telling me is if you just give people everything you have, they won't steal it from you. And then today <laughs> when you're talking about um, child poor ethical ch ethics and child pornography or whatever dumb shit you guys are going on about, mm -hmm. you're like, well, if we give CP to pedophiles, they won't molest anybody. It seems like your approach to like social situations or criminal activities or even world politics is just pure appeasement. Mm -hmm. Not really, because appeasement carries with it a different... The little chamberlain here. Let Such me know what you're doing, buddy. Okay, Jesus, don't talk about anything related to history. You don't even have the current timeline correct. What so when about? we talk about when no, we talk about a, dealing, when we talk point. about when you're we like talk about Chamberlain, you're all about appeasement. When we talk about dealing with people, um, typically I'm for ways of reducing um, bad things happening. Right, is is looking at the ultimate effect. So, but but economics itself isn't like a zero sum game. So looking at your particular example, okay, when you talk about comparing giving people at the wall financial aid or whatever to giving people shit that come to your house, if somebody comes to your house and steals something from you the act of, of them stealing is a bad thing that we didn't want to, we don't want to encourage that um the act of like building up another country financially is something that could be mutually beneficial in a lot of ways i'm not saying that we should just siphon money off of taxpayers in the u.s and throw it towards mexico the idea is that you would find some way to stimulate programs in mexico that cause the economy itself to become more self-sustaining would be the idea this, I think this is like this is things. like Rome or China saying, you know, the easiest way to get the Mongols to stop raiding us is just to give them tributes of gold. How did that work out for them? But that's yeah, but that, but giving really somebody well. tributes of gold just to try to appease them so they don't come and like fucking rape your well, people. Well, I'm sure they sold it to the Senate as something like, oh, well, you know, this is for them to build up infrastructure. Yeah, but, well, but you're, 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 looking, you're, you're looking at a difference in motivation. I don't think Mexicans want to come and destroy the United States. I think most people in general just want to have like a happy, healthy family with opportunities available to them. The only outlet through which they can do that sometimes is they feel is illegally immigrating to the United States. So if you create the, the average Mongol felt the same way about, you know, China and the but wall. That, but, that, that, but that's different. A Mongol or a Mongol, gonna, whatever the fuck, wanting to go and rape a Chinese person is something that we can classify as a moral wrong. We don't agree with you jumping aboard to go and rape not someone. all of them wanted to rape people. They just wanted the wealth that the Chinese had. Okay, well, stealing from people are things that we would consider moral wrongs as well, right? But They're we're not, not owning so why does you, America can you owe stop? No one's. Wait, it's not about owing somebody something. It's that if Mexico, and this is inarguable, if Mexico was as stable to the south of us as Canada was to the north of us, America would be better off for it. Mexico is one of our largest trading partners and also one of our largest, um, uh, uh, one of our largest entryways into the U.S. of illegal immigrants. It would be good if Mexico had their shit together better than they do now. It would it would benefit us in terms of crime and terror. Would terrorism. you trust the current government to handle it that way? To be, uh, you know, yeah, if we gave, if, if America gave them money. Do you think they would suddenly stop being corrupt? Why are you so one-dimensional about all of this? Well, it's not about one-dimensional. I'm, I'm, I'm being realistic like, here. Let me see if I can talk for more than 10 seconds. I'm, I'm being so the idea, realistic here. No, you're not. Like, you're so being idea, optimistic. Yeah. I'm being so realistic. The, so the idea isn't just that, like, well, let's just ship off $10 billion to Mexico. If you do that shit, it's probably gone to corruption in, like, two That's what Obama days. did, okay? Like, okay, Obama gave that money to Iran, and then... You don't know anything about the Iran deal. Please don't talk about it, okay? Please North Korea. He gave them, what, $2, $3 billion to to build their infrastructure, and he started building the nuclear program. How do you think that the idea would be? the idea would be that we would try to find targeted economic or political programs where we could funnel money into it to help Mexico become a stronger country. That would be the goal. Yes, now, if I'm those sure programs all going to go where you want it to go. Mm.
<laughs> okay. Well, if we just keep ignoring Mexico, we put up a big wall. <laughs> all the immigrants are going to stop coming over. All right, there's Why your the position. Why the fuck do you like think that America region. has to fucking fix up Mexico? Why are you so gung-ho yeah. on well, that? Because it's, it's part of our problem, whether you like it or not, my dude. No, that's so, not our it, problem. That's not our problem. When illegal immigrants come to our country and they commit crimes or they steal jobs or whatever the fuck, they take jobs at less than minimum wage. That's our problem. Are, are we are we allowed to do something to illegal immigrants now? Can we keep them out? Are you cool with that? Keeping out illegal, yeah, we probably don't want illegal immigrants coming in here. Yeah, okay, it's probably so, a good thing. So, and then the wall, what? what the wall probably won't wall. stop wall, illegal immigration. Probably won't. Probably oh, won't. God, dude. I, I don't know. I mean, like well, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. Depends on how it's guarded. Depends on if they have drones, etc. How much money but, we want to throw at it? Yeah, exactly. But I, I mean, like besides that, there are a lot of things that you provide a lot of jobs to Americans for one thing. Uh, building jobs a wall is not an argument it. for a government program. That is not uh, true. You do not create yeah, jobs it, for it, Americans by installing right. government programs. Yeah, because you're taking tax money and the, yeah, you know, and it's, it's you could you could create any right. arbitrary government program and give people. Sure, jobs but you're, you're an argument. arguing no, essentially that the money that goes to the wall should be given to Mexico. So what's the difference would you rather not give that money that's going to be because spent if we anyway get, let's say if we give it to mexico, to, uh, mexico becomes a stronger country we see returns on that in the form of less oh, people just like north korea yeah, is a, is a stronger I'm sorry, country i didn't know we america shared one of the largest borders in the world korea. with north korea so three billion dollars Clinton that gave happen? them three billion dollars and guess wow. what they did with it they yeah build an infrastructure we share a border with north korea huh that's crazy well, i didn't well, you know have that. to look at things from a more multi-dimensional perspective like that's impossible with these people yeah obviously if they take the money and then they build a nuclear program maybe that was a bad idea and maybe that was done it was badly. a horrible bad idea but, yeah but I, I don't know anything really about that honestly so i don't want to get into that too much but just on base level on anything happened to iran do what anything happened to iran uh well what i'm saying is we didn't give iran just because it, one example of a bad deal isn't really proof that all deals are going to be bad and what about two what two deals <laughs> what, what yeah. was the second deal in Obama? He points to. Iran? He thinks that Iran was a big. He probably believes in the Iranian. I thought we were talking about the same one. No, I'm talking about two different issues here. I'm citing two examples. You're you're saying, oh, like, let's just take the billions of dollars and give it to Mexico. Well, now, why wouldn't it be no a bad deal? Just whenever, whenever Mexico. I said, Holy whenever shit. everybody says give the money to Mexico, and this isn't really something even that I'm uh, agreeing with. I'm just saying. Then why you're arguing for it? You know, that's Destiny's because argument. Because you're misrepresenting the argument. <laughs> and you are his bitch boy. I get it. Oh my god. Well, uh, Steve, in our conversation, yeah. okay, let's say we went with what you wanted to do. Let's uh -huh. be multidimensional about it. Let's say sure. we gave billions of dollars to Mexico and it worked, mm -hmm. right? Illegal immigration, maybe it's not gone, but it's decreased a lot. Yeah, sure. When I talked about building the wall, you said, well, it's infeasible. People could just take a plane over it. People could tunnel under it. People could take a boat. Mm -hmm. So what happens if all the Central and South American countries think, Hey, shit, America just gave Mexico a billion dollars to rebuild its shitty infrastructure. All we have to do is start shipping people to them like the Cubans did in the 80s, emptying fucking asylums and prisons. And we'll just ship them all over there until the Americans get tired and decide we're going to give you a billion dollars, too. The implication here is that the government is choosing to make people leave. That's not what ha that's not what's happening in Mexico. I don't think a, I don't think a Latin American country could coordinate that type of effort. That sounds pretty racist, Steve. You're so stupid. Holy <laughs> shit. You're so stupid, no, Steve. So Why can't anyway, the Latin Americans do that? Why can't Latin Cuba Americans did it. Cuba it? did it in the 1980s. He just cited an example. Cuba is also 90 miles away. Yeah. And it, they came But it's a Latin, Latin American country. It's a Latin American country. About boats and planes. Mm hmm. So if the wall doesn't work to keep them out, I mean, and they can just come over in planes and boats. Because, because getting an international flight is a lot harder from Latin America, probably, than into... It wouldn't be an international States. flight. Well, I mean, I mean flying airplanes fly and flying private airplanes. <laughs> you fly low, so it's not international? <laughs> what does that uh, No, like, you're talking about airports. <laughs> We're talking about... It. Nobody's oh, going to airports for this. Do they, do they fly? Like, this is, like, how do you... Do they hop on a bunch of drones? How do you think El Chapo... Why uh, are you bullshitting? You know, oh, oh, drugs. Man. So you, you know what's basically, being talked Jim, Jim, Jim. The idea would be that, like, like the idea even, is that even they would people from Latin America didn't want to whatever, immigrate through Mexico, go through the even border, if, you know, underground, like so using people, whatever fucking methods they can it, to get in. It's not even hard. If, even if people from uh, Latin American countries did want to immigrate illegally to the United States, one is they would probably be heavily disincentivized because they would just illegally immigrate to Mexico because Mexico would be an economic powerhouse where they could go and find jobs and do all the bad things or whatever illegals do in the United States. This but two, weird. that journey. Mexico, wait, no, Mexico mm -hmm. has a wall. 
Oh, like uh, a like a big wall of the south, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, well then the there you south. go. Well then I guess Mexico doesn't have to worry about it. Well, I guess the wall works, huh? Should we should we should build one? What is the size of the border? Uh, what is that size of the border compared to the size of the U.S. Mexican yeah, border? Kind of walked oh, into geez. that, dude. Fuck. What is the di what is the difference in size between the border? Take the L, little fella. Take the L. Big deal. No, I'm curious. Does anybody know? Oh, I really I, want to make I, a height joke know. here, but I want to Let's keep go. it on track. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like the easy way out. Okay, I get your point, but. I just feel like you're incentivizing other nations to take advantage of that sort of generosity. I think building our own infrastructure would probably work. You say great works programs don't uh, help the American economy, but FDR did this, you know, post the Great Depression and during World War II, where we put Americans to work using taxpayer money to well, fucking no, restart the He's very generous no, no, no. with other people's Shh, money, Jim. Please, stop. What I'm saying, first of all, it's my, I pay more taxes than you do, motherfucker. Shut the you fuck up. You don't know what I fucking pay, money. you little you bitch. Don't you don't pay shit, little man. You don't You don't know what money is, little man. You don't know shit, little man. You don't know shit, little man. Don't fuck. Don't talk about my money, little fucker. I'll buy your little ass. Can I, I can't use it and insult back at him, can I? Because it'd be really, I don't think I can say that. You can try so you to insult me, me and laugh at your own dude. little joke. I can't. I can't go back. I'll buy you and set you in a little fucking high chair, go, put a bib on you, on and face you fucking little ass. You found the one area that I can't attack you on because I'm an SJW libcook, so I would never make that joke. Good job, dude. You got me. Um, I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about. Something. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, blow you out so bad, we fell no, out. Oh, about yeah, you got it. No, no, you're, you're talking about using money. So the reason why, in general, we don't use jobs as an argument for why you should start or not have a federal program is because you could take any arbitrary job. So, for instance, the government could say, we're going to put a ton of people to work um, hugging trees, right? And then somebody says, we're going to funnel $10 million or $10 billion in that program. And then somebody goes, okay, well, wait, why is that a good program? And you go, well, it creates jobs. That's technically true, but it's never an argument in favor of a program. When you talk about like FDR's programs and whatnot, a lot of that probably involved rebuilding infrastructure, things that you could make strong arguments for outside of the fact that you're just creating jobs. Just creating jobs using government money is not a good reason to create jobs. Sorry. Okay, yeah, but point. they're not they're not hugging trees. They're building monuments. They're building dams. In this case, they'd be building a wall. Yeah. Well, so the argument is whether or not well, that the money... protects America from crime. No. So the argument is from whether legal not... immigration. So the argument is whether or not putting money towards that wall would actually stop immigration from the South, assuming that the conditions in illegal, Mexico... illegal immigration, legal Compared immigration is totally fine. Okay, there's a difference. So the argument, you love yeah. conflating illegal immigration with legal well, immigration. I, I, like, I don't think that's really conflating it. But, no, I know. He's, it's just his thing, dude. It's just what he does. So the argument would be oh, whether or not building a wall to the South would stop illegal. Thank you for correcting me, Ian. Would be stopping illegal immigration coming from Mexico into the United States. And I don't know if that's been demonstrated, firstly. And secondly, if any equivalent amount of money or even more money could be used to build Mexico into a stronger nation, that's things that would have demonstrable positive effects across the United States as well, because Mexico is such a huge trading partner with us. You could see that in the form of cheaper cars because we get like 20% of our manufacturing done in Mexico. You could see that in the form of cheaper food and cheaper, like there's a whole bunch of other benefits that we could glean from Mexico being a strong Do you not nation. realize that the price of the cars would actually go up if they became a wealthier economy? Like they would charge more for the production of cars but and it would no that, longer be a cheap price to manufacture things. true. Don't make, don't do it. You don't want to do economic arguments. Are there no, any other countries no, you true. think should take on the burden of every other country around them, Steve? Yeah, I, no, why I, is it America's In position? general? You know, well, why is it their responsibility? Because it's our border and they're the country to the south of us. But in general, I would argue that, yeah, most countries should be concerned with the countries around them, whether you like it or not. And I know how much it triggers some of you guys. I didn't say concern. I said world. give them money. We live I'm in not a talking about concern. world I'm where about we have money. to kind of take into account all the people around us because geopolitical issues are impacting everybody these days. So you That's why in the United States in 2007, when our huge fucking CDO, MBS, all that bullshit blew up with, with the housing market, the entire world felt the economic impact of that. We're all kind of connected. So whether we like it or not, we all kind of have to look out for so so who threw us money when that happened again um we threw ourselves money what do you mean we yeah. threw us money okay mm -hmm. yeah, we're the largest nation so, in the world we can do that so, yeah wait that but why doesn't anybody else throw them their because own they money? can't afford Dude, it as much as we it. can this but is why we, I can, we can afford is, it for them but yeah, we need sure. to work on ours yeah okay, this is called gotcha. being a compassionate human being i know this is hard for you okay but somebody how generous you are with everyone else's money somebody like me might be able to afford a slightly higher tax rate to pay for somebody like yours children when they go to school because i know that you don't have as much money to pay for it i'm okay with a higher personal tax rate because i can afford to pay a little bit more because I make as much that money where like somebody like you over might reels, not be. Bro. It's that's not a feels over reels. reels. No, well, it has to do with margin. It has to do with yeah, margin utility reels, income. Too, it has to do with a, there's a ton of different things. If you want to talk economics, we can do there if you want, my dude. I thought you were feels over reels with your compassion now. No, Steve. I'm real. I'm reels over feels, my dude. 
the well, real, my dude, real my dude, my dude, my dude, my dude. The real impact of Please, compassion is that when you're class. compassionate towards other human beings, they tend to output more positively in society. You oh, can so so, so is compassion impact. a feel? Is compassion a feel? Let's. Can I get a quick poll of the people inside the room here, Jim? Is no, compassion, compassion well, has nothing to do with a feel. It has to do with being concerned with how your fellow is, man is, is compassion. Is, is compassion okay, so got to go. do with feels, or is that a? Can we? Can I mean, we I can make all of compassion. I can make every argument I'm making. Can we get a stat on compassion? Can we get a stat on compassion? Well, here's the thing: is there's an elemental. I'm not talking. Uh, there, to a... you. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Well, I thought you said you were polling the room. I said Jim first. That would be yes, the beginning of the room. Is your, is your name Jim? I is your name Jim? No, it's not. Sit down, kid. Jim. <laughs> is compassion something we have stats on? <laughs> Uh, we're doing just a purely numbers argument here. Uh, Destin, are you going to do pure economics? I mean, we, yeah, I can argue the economic He's reels over for... feels. Yeah. That's what he said. But his argument for this is compassion, my dude. <laughs> well, go for it. Let's hear the economic argument. So the economic argument is that countries that thrive around you tend to be tend to have higher production that you can take advantage of via trade is the argument, right? That if we had a country to the south of us that was more economically viable, that we could outsource different types of our production chains to them, that they there's just a ton more interaction you get between countries that are more stable and uh, more economically uh, viable, I guess, or whatever, that you can't take advantage of if the countries have a lot more problem. Problems. Okay, but doesn't this that assumes. benefit usually isn't that benefit usually generated from the status of the nation? I mean, even if we're not talking yep. third world, we're talking second world. Lower wages, worse working conditions. You build the infrastructure up, you've created a first world power. Now they're yeah, not they building cheaper cars for you. Exactly. Um, oh, I don't know. They That's really the dust. So that's a really interesting argument. I'm not entirely sure what would happen. I mean, as automated factories become more and more popular, it seems like we're moving really far away from just having like those manual labor jobs. Yeah. So what's um, the point? You can just build it in America. I'm sorry, we don't build automated factories in America. Those are being but built you can. in China. But then instead, why of, you know, instead of outsourcing through, through Trump, uh, Trump's uh, policies, you'd uh, be subsidizing American economies, you know, rather than uh, you know, giving the money to some other fucking government. So you want to pay more money for your... You want to pay $2,000 for a cell phone instead of like 800 bucks, or...? No, it wouldn't be the case because uh, everything would be built in America. If America becomes a manufacturing center of the world, then it wouldn't have to depend on other countries. So you Everything think that the labor that we pay in America is going to be comparable to the labor we pay in China? No, you'd you have just... automation. You'd have automation. You just said that. You just mentioned what? automation. I'm, okay, I'm just using would... your okay, example here. If, if China can do it cheaper, why would we want to do it in the United States? Because why would you want to help their economy when you can help your own? Because if you build their economy up, oh, okay. eventually it's is, going to I'm sorry. Expensive. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, economics is let's repeat this a million times. Here. No, no, economics, no, 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 no. You don't understand. You're economics is not. Again. I'm, I'm condescending like, because you're missing is, fundamental economic points. If they become a first world country, Please, if they become a first world country. <sighs> Economics is, not a zero sum is game. economics is not a zero-sum game. Economics is not a zero-sum game. There are people that can benefit from your transactions, and you can benefit from those same transactions. So we export, when we export parts of our supply chain, like our manufacturing, for instance, to China, we send a lot of dollars over to China for them to do our manufacturing. Now, somebody like you might go, oh, no, we're building their country, blah, 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 blah. But now Chinese sit on a ton of U.S. dollars. What do they do with all that USD? They bring it back to the United States, and they invest in businesses and infrastructure structure here this is the this is how international global trade works it's not just a simple oh we gave them money and it's gone these are two-way exchanges the phone that you spend a thousand dollars on doesn't cost three thousand dollars because we've exported part of the supply chain to another country that can handle that manufacturing at a cheaper rate than the united states can yes ideally and then in a real no world not situation, ideally in detroit. practice in you have practice. detroit hello detroit yeah manufacturing that's, that's left detroit. Detroit. yeah it got fucked all yeah. these people jobless that's, okay. that's globalization, so you think dude. Every single person in the United States needs to pay more for a car to subsidize the existence of a city that couldn't modernize? Is that your argument? Mm, I'm saying that outsourcing everything is not the solution here. Okay, so typically, I'm a free market guy. Maybe you're a socialist or a communist, or you no, want to. I'm a free no, you're not. No, stop. Don't say that because what you just said is the most anti free market thing <laughs> in the world. You're a fucking you're globalist. About, There's a difference. No, I'm not. I'm talking markets, my dude. This is the beauty of the fucking free market. market. You modernize How is it, how is it a free market when China controls their own market? How is it a free market? How is it a free market? Mexico how is it a free I want to build. The price of oil. I want to get a car built. If I want to get a car, if I want to get a car built. Fucking free market. You're not trading with free markets. You're oh trading God. with fucking rigged markets. It's not well, a free yeah, market. If we trade, if we trade with a rigged market, that's a benefit to our economy. 
If China, if China wants to rig their market by subsidizing their industry, then American producers are the ones that are taking advantage of the Chinese government subsidizing their industry. If I can build a phone for $2,000 or I can get it shipped from China for $1,000 and their government is pouring money to them, I'm literally having China subsidize my product that I'm going to be selling to a consumer in the United States. These transactions are nowhere near it. as simple as you seem to think they are. To afford it. What? Who won't be able to afford it because you won't have a job. So what's the point? You're making Chinese people rich. You're not American, making any Americans rich. I don't know. Americans have had more access to things like luxury goods than they ever had in yeah. the history of the fucking mankind. We've All had these problems. Trade agreements have never benefited Americans. Dude, okay, you, not the you, average you, American. It might have benefited some fucking American corporations. But you, have, you can buy a phone right now that's manufactured in another country that's more powerful than computers that existed even like ten years, even like maybe what's seven or eight years ago. What's the point? The point is that globalized practices have given us access to things in econ economics that weren't previously possible. The ability to export a supply chain to another country so that people can create our shit for so much cheaper than we ever could here to sell products that we would never be able to sell. That's an amazingly beautiful thing. That's the free market at work. The Sweat idea shops you wanna... are beautiful. Sweatshops yeah, are sweatshops a beautiful are thing, nice. Steve. You know, those places don't even glorious. have standards. Yeah. Where do you think they worked at before the sweatshops? That's not, that doesn't Where matter, they, Steve. Hey, You're the one who says it's beautiful. It's so beautiful, Steve. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, right? Where did they work at before the sweatshops? 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 What about Americans? What about Americans? Where did they work at before the sweatshops? They worked, they did fucking subsistence farming. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, so no. Oh, wait, what? Are we going to pretend that the average Chinese man was a software engineer? No, and go ahead. Go ahead and say, just say the sentence, Steve. Just the say the sentence. Oh, Sweatshops no. are beautiful. This isn't, just this, say. Isn't even a good, this isn't even a good argument because you could still advocate for better conditions of workers being treated in other countries while also taking advantage uh, uh, of, um, of, tr of trade deals and whatnot being done in those countries. Um, there's a specific word for it. I don't remember what it's called, but. So, like, these aren't even mutually exclusive positions. China, if you look, go, you can Google it right now. We can have numbers based on it. Look at the median wages in China. Look at how much they've increased over the past 15, 20 years. It's fucking insane. So sweatshops um, are beautiful. No, but they're better than subsistence farming and they're leading to something better than sweatshops. That's the whole point. Ugh. So, but Steve, if they're not right, sweatshops, yeah. mm -hmm. if they're not sweatshops anymore and the workers are getting paid more mm -hmm. because the standard of living has increased price. because we invested in infrastructure instead of them subsidizing it, Mm -hmm. Doesn't that, in the end, make our products we're importing from them more expensive? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. It's possible. Like, what, what would be the long-term, like, the super long-term economic impact? I'm not sure. We haven't seen that yet. That's the immediate um, economic impact. It's not your, well, then why don't people just make their shit in the U.S., dude? You're totally out of your depth here. Please stop. No, you're out there, of your question, fucking depth, and you're making of, shit up. There's a question of what are the long-term economic impacts of anything. We've had this discussion recently um, amongst economists talking Here's about things like... Here's a reason like, why. Here's a talking reason about why, things uh, like GDP. America still right? makes shit in America. It's because of free trade agreements. You know, American product now, costs more American, to make, you sell it for more, American, Steve. That's very simple. You know, you can thank Americans for that, for creating free trade zones uh, all across the world, you know, like NAFTA. Americans efforts. don't it's make things in America anymore. In Mexico. Americans don't make shit anymore. We don't have standards. It costs more for us to make it. That's why yes, we don't make why it do anymore. That's it why it goes to sweatshops, Steve. Because yeah. America, there's a lot of reasons Americans have ha higher standards there's of living. There's suicide Americans nets expect, outside of them, Steve. Our yeah, suicide nets are beautiful, too. Why people trade killing themselves it wouldn't on the, be so expensive. The people, the people who did the substance farming, they didn't have to kill themselves. They just fucking starved to death, my dude. Please, fuck off. My, my, my dude, dude, my dude. Like, you're the wow, one who like said that you. they're beautiful, you cringy little man. I never said they were when beautiful. I said that they were probably a necessary step You said it's beautiful. You said it's beautiful. That was your word. Your word was it's beautiful. Why do you always just say Did you or did you not say it was beautiful? Beautiful, Steve. You said I that said it's it was beautiful a necessary that we can step do that. to the no, next you day. No, said it was that. beautiful. Don't he lie. Didn't you even said say beautiful. That. You just said that to yourself no, over and over, and you then said you told it was beautiful. That he said it. You said it was beautiful. That was your wording, Steve. Did you say that, Destiny? I said free markets are beautiful. I don't think I said no. You said that what we're able to do because these places are willing to make these things for so cheap for us it, you know not using the word sweatshop but you know anybody oh, will have a brain knows that's what it is want, sure. they, a lot of them are sweatshops. go ahead say sweatshops are beautiful sue said i don't know. i mean they're yeah, better than so subsistence farming and they're probably violations. a step to the next no okay you keep saying it's it's not as badass that's not what i'm asking because tell me you that want that's one beautiful. dimensional ultra fucking it's not retard. one okay, dimensional you you're no, the retard who said that it's beautiful you're the retard who said it's beautiful steve keep saying things that didn't happen you're the one who said it was beautiful. You I'm said sorry, wait, that. wait, real quick. Can I just answer Jim's question? So I don't know what the long-term longevity of this type of economic thing is. A lot of people have Run, questions Steve. about like, 
for instance, when we run into things like the next big thing we're coming up to in the United States is going to be the automation of driving, which is an inevitability at this point. And that's going yeah. to impact one of the largest sectors of the U or, or I'm sorry, the largest sector of employment in the US is yeah. automated trucks. And um, this is a huge conversation we've had in moving from a uh, moving from a, a production economy, a manufacturing economy to a service economy. And whether or not this is sustainable in the ultra long term, um, I don't know. That's a really hard question to ask. Yeah, There's I, different I paths so. forward for like how that could work. I don't know what the exact Beautiful answer path. is. Um, but but beautiful yeah. indeed. But, but the idea here's, that here's right an now, actual statistic. Okay, oh here's a stat. God. Oh yeah, hit me up with a stat. factory too. worker would need to work sixty hours a week for six months to afford an iPhone X. Who does? Yeah. Uh, a, a Foxconn factory worker. You know, the people who make the iPhone. Uh, They'd have to work for six months. For? I don't know. I'm dude. just pointing out it's a fucking sweatshop. Well, it is shit is a sweatshop. And, and the, the I mean, what else do you want there? And you call it beautiful. You're completely like, right about the suicide. It's a nuts. horrifying thing. It's a horrifying prospect. So, wait, okay, wait. So, what's your solution? We should well, just stop trading with them. What does that have them? to do with us? Nobody, I mean, like, nobody. You're the one who's saying it's this beautiful thing and championing this bullshit. I'm saying the free market. Why do you yeah, keep you're saying, saying giving that. them jobs. I like and Marcus. Well, 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 you guys so are bad. anti free market. Listen, ContraPoints just put up a great video on the evils of capitalism. If you want to watch her video on it, you can. Jim, did anyone say this shit that he said that they're saying? What? Yeah, you guys are arguing against the market. You're right asking now. me to referee this. I, I got to call. You're it the only one here who's not in it. I'm you. Oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm okay, fine. okay. Then if you want my honest answer, you guys said you wanted statistics and you wanted them to talk economics, not feels. So mm -hmm. I don't care if they're throwing themselves off the building. Fuck it. He's talking economics. No, no, definitely. But I just did. He not say it was beautiful. It's beautiful. That, that I, I, I literally didn't catch yeah. because it nobody. Goes back yeah, to because so nobody much. said it. Oh, you just it said happened. it to yourself it a will, bunch of no, times it will be thought it was out. real. Don't worry, it'll be clipped <laughs> it's out. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay, Steve, if I clip that out and you use the word beautiful to describe this situation, would you be glad to give me to that thousand dollars? To provide sweatshops? If I said it, I misspoke. I don't think no, you didn't use themselves. the word sweatshops. And no, don't say you misspoke. Okay. Are you well, willing to say Do you say not care that... about what I think? Or are you just trying to do... It's funny Ooh. because people accuse me of doing this all the time. You've been not playing gotcha Steve. moments for the whole stream. You seem like to not really care what I think at all. I don't... No, I don't care what you think. I don't like you and I didn't want to talk to you. I'm glad. So if I said sweatshops shops are beautiful. I shouldn't have said that. I don't think that's necessarily true. I don't think I said it, but if I did, I didn't mean to say that. Um, the markets are beautiful, and I think that China's sweatshops now are better than the subsistence farming that existed before, and I think that evidence of a growing Chinese middle class means that it's probably headed in a very positive direction. That yeah, would be my full statement. For China, for yeah. China. Well, and for the United States, too, as we take advantage of, high, uh, we can export more of our supply chain to them for them to do more manufacturing. They've got more services available. It's good for you as a consumer because now you have greater options for products that you can purchase from other countries as well. Like, um, yeah, I mean, th there's... It's, it's, um, it would be so much better if we could just enslave them and we can get it real cheap, right, Steve? <laughs> None of these are involuntary transactions. I don't understand, but okay. N nice point, dude. Really good guy. They're the only jobs that are available on the market what you know what what's they're not the there? only jobs if they want to they could go back to subsistence farming like they were doing before why do you think they choose the sweatshops they instead? don't do subsistence farming in, in those places they anymore did before man yeah because they do manufacturing now <laughs> no shit. no i don't disagree with his economic point it's but the, this is the whole foundational he, concept he of comparative it. advantage that some people can do things better than other people can. If you've got a country that excels in a certain thing, like the United States excels in things like software, that's why we have people like Amazon web hosting services and technology, that's why we have people like Intel and Apple and whatnot, then we should focus our economic resources on excelling in those things as well as we possibly can. Why don't, we, why don't countries... we throw some money at the sweatshop places? And then we, do, we trade with them. If other countries like China are so much better at competing with us or, or Mexico are better at competing with us in things like manufacturing, then why would we waste our money and resources here when other people can do it. Now, you can make arguments that certain parts of America lose out on this deal, which they absolutely do. People in West Virginia, people in Michigan got fucked when manufacturing left the United States. And this is something that the Democrats never talk about. And it's a huge problem. There are people that lose out on global trade. These, these people and the injustices, if you want to call them that, to these people have not been adequately addressed. That's why you have a hugely yes, disconnected own party. Yeah, yes. this is why you have a hugely disgruntled um, base uh, of people in the United States that were working some jobs that are no longer working them. However, the problem is that people like Trump promised to bring back manufacturing, where that's never going to happen. Economies don't move backwards. If we brought manufacturing back to the United States... It's not about we, backwards or forwards, it's lateral. 
if we brought, there is no lateral movement. You're either moving forward or you're stagnating. If we brought manufacturing back to the United States, do you know who would get jobs at that point? on that one? Sure. If we brought manufacturing back to the United States, the people getting the jobs would be software developers who were programming the robots. The people in Detroit, you think the guy that was working for the United Auto Workers making cars at $60 an hour, you think he's going to find that job working in a factory again? No, there's going to be a robot that replaces 150 of those guys with one software dev that's overlooking them. Those manufacturing jobs are never coming back. What we need to do is figure out how to take the people who have been fucked in the United States the most by these global policies, and we need to find some way to either retrain them or compensate them or do something so that their lives aren't fucked from the trade that all the rest of the United States is benefiting from. You know, I agree with you. Yeah. That's great. I'm just citing like the, the economic consensus in the field. There's not much to disagree with. Well, th- yeah. this has been fantastic. I, I have to jump. Uh, the yelling has stopped, so my interest is waning. I, Tonka, yeah, you there? I, I'm still. Uh, you, you're, you're hosting a stream uh, with Andy for uh, Harmful and V, yeah. Well, V is uh, V's pulling well, that's, out. That's that's what I wanted to talk about. Listen, you know, Destiny was in here with a lot of people yelling at his ass, and he seemed to stay. He didn't run away. So, V, if you're listening to this, don't be a fucking pussy, man. You got you got. It's just one dude you're going against. I mean. What the fuck? That's a bitch move yesterday. Oh, uh, yes. A lot of people. A lot of people watched the show yesterday. It's fucking. It was a great fucking show. Um, <clears throat> if uh, by the way, then, if Jim wants on, uh, just hit Andy up. He can. He can bring you in because this guy's a busy motherfucker. Yeah, yeah he's extremely busy. busy but everybody says that I, I'm not very inviting. So I'm like, D- Jim, the door is always open. To hey, the D- uh, hey, DM me, Jim, if you're down for just swinging by, say hello. <clears throat> but uh, so. I had that stream with the thing yesterday, and then a bunch of people DM'd me. Actually, one person in particular DM'd me a shit ton of videos, dude. So it went from uh, him talking about how he was planning a murder with a bunch of people to Ooh. murder a guy Ooh, Steve? and his father. Hmm? Steve? Fucking Steve. destiny. I have videos. So by the way, everyone, I will be doing a holy fuck destiny stream. All right, and he, he he'll be he'll be down he'll be available to to join if he wants. All right, uh, he did that. There's the pedo shit of him talking to certain girls of underage. Uh, also him talking to his daughter. There's a video of him co- saying, "Now how do I tell my daughter that incest is wrong?" I saw that one. I don't know if I can. What? Tell that to your daughter. Your moral grandstanding because a guy fucked a special needs chick. All uh, right, yo, but he does one on. All right. I stepped away at the wrong fucking time. Who fucked a special needs kid? This is a very weird story. Uh, the JF thing, it's not, I don't know if it's special need or she's just autistic. No, she was autistic. She yeah, was she's autistic. autistic. Well, you know who, well, you know who we're lucky could never fuck a child. Wizard of Cause because kids take a look at him and just run and scream the opposite fucking <laughs> direction. At least we don't have to worry about that fucking guy doing it. All right, he, he, yeah, he has some time. He'll swing on by. Okay. We all love Medicare. By the way, fucking Medicare's video. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know how that shit, Kilroy. by the way. Yeah, the Kilroy stuff, I, I got know- educated. Yeah, I, well, I didn't know about the fucking, the ex-Muslim who was threatening, like, the, the video she posted. I didn't know about based mama fucking cunt. I fucking, you know, I was sort of like, what, like, what a scam artist. But now I will go off on base, mama, no matter. I, I don't care anymore. She's saying, oh, oh, well, we're going to have actual academics, not these YouTube fake academics. You fucking dumb whore. People pay tickets 250 to meet me and other YouTubers. Imagine, Tonka, imagine you pay 250 You're like, oh, I want to meet fucking... You know, mundane Matt. Just joking. No one ever wants to meet mundane Matt. Uh, hey, hey, I want to meet Andy Worski. Let's just say that that you don't know me, right? Mm-hmm. You pay two fifty. You make it to the fucking VIP party. Who's standing there? Some ex-Muslim who was an ex-terrorist supporter and fucking based mama and some guy in a fucking tie you never heard of who's a lawyer. Get the fuck out of here. And then. Medicare fucking busts out the ending about the, which I brought up. He showed the clip of me. I didn't even like when I was saying the clip or or that thing about you know you, you, you sound a little bit uh, you sound a little bit heated there, Andy. Medicare base, base, base mama was telling the truth. You're just a fucking liar. It was her idea for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I sent Medicare, I sent you a DM. I'm like, dude, what the, I didn't know half the shit. I was mad for a week and everyone's like, chill on the drama. I'm like, all right, fair enough. Let's move on. Watch yeah, your it's, fucking it's video. drama until it affects them. It's always drama until they're knee deep in the shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, they, they just want to brush it off. But speaking of drama, because I fucking love it. <laughs> let's talk about the Destiny pedo shit that's going around right now. Yeah, enlighten me. Enlighten me. I'm I'm down with it. Real quick, Some, Somebody sent out a link earlier uh, to, uh, <laughs> I can never say his fucking name, JF. The guy the guy Destiny debated last night. Yeah. Okay. Saying they've got chat logs uh, and other shit showing that Destiny and his Twitch stream, or his Twitch chat, or whatever the fuck it is, were involved in grooming a 12-year-old girl to get her to do streams personally for them. What? And then on top of that, Brittany Venti tweets out, that he admitted to uh, almost, or he either admitted to doing it or almost doing it, uh, jacking off to pictures of 15-year-olds, even though he was aware of their age and had their chat logs that confirm this. What? Well, Brit Brittany mm -hmm. Vinci's just mad because she's got the fucking body and mind of a 15-year-old, and that could be a threat to her. <laughs> she's got to go to witness protection. I understand. <laughs> yeah, a little man wants her on the stocking. Yeah. I, I, am not, I am not friends with that girl in particular. Like, oh. Wizard Cause and Brittany Vinci are like the two people... On YouTube, like I actually do have real beef with. I'm surprised they both came up in one show. Uh, you know what I'm surprised about? Uh, you know, aside from the uh, grooming a 12 year old accusation <laughs> and the jacking off to 15 year olds, is the plot to murder somebody by buying a gun and plotting out where they live and contacting their family uh, and then saying you're going to kill them when they're a 15 year old boy. It doesn't sound morally righteous to me, wow. Destiny. <laughs> you know what he said too? He's like on that clip. I don't know if you saw it, but he's just like, you know, I was gonna murder him and his family, but you know, I, I was I was just gonna murder. Him what and is his he gonna father. murder people over? What what the fuck is all this? I'm doing research uh, right now. I was saying I, I can tell you the backstory. So the kid uh, was fucking with him. So every time Destiny would stream, the kid would uh, packet bomb his fucking router or whatever and knock him offline. <laughs> so every time Destiny went to Twitch stream, the kid would fuck with him. So Destiny goes nuts after like two months. And plots a fucking, he comes up with a murder conspiracy to find this kid and kill him oh. and talks about it on stream. Like, I'm going to <laughs> fucking murder this child. And there's a video of him apologizing for it where he's like, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't follow through with killing him. <laughs> savage. Fucking savage. But well, I, I, I did not know about the... Uh, Maybe too I, savage for a 15-year-old, though. <laughs> <laughs> So I get like I, I just I guess I don't get it. I've heard some of this stuff before. The twelve year old shit was new to me, uh, and the the fifteen year old stuff like there people are saying that there are picks involved. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but oh. I think you might have to do. I, mean, I think you might have to do round three with JF and Destiny. Uh, uh, I'm setting has a that up. I think you may have to do a little time if that shit's true. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm <laughs> doing a little time with it. <laughs> I'm setting that shit up, Medicare. That's done. Holy fuck. Oh, and I'm looking forward to the uh, the harmful opinions and uh, V Monroe debate. That is going to be fucking amazing. How yeah, the we're fuck doing, did you uh, get that book together? No, uh, yeah, because I, I messaged you, Medicare, and I was like, hey, hey, do you know harmful? Because I don't know him. And then he's, mm -hmm. yeah, you set it up, right? Uh, but, well, I, I, I know that uh, because they've been having a Twitter spat about, uh, like, we're talking about Kraut Server, right? And uh, V and him were arguing about another group of people prior to this that uh, might have been doing something similar. So I think that's what the conversation's gonna be over. You're gonna hear a lot of candid discussion going on. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we're doing a, a Monday, January 1st. Is it Monday? Is it a Monday? Oh, uh, Monday also, while I'm on your stream, if I could just put out a challenge. I mean, this is blood sports here, right? Oh, it mm -hmm. is, it is. A Monday, Matt, I hear you were talking some shit in a stream about me, buddy. Oh, uh, no. I, I am welcoming oh, you. Join Yo, in the arena. Monday Matt versus Medicur. Medicur just threw out a challenge Kumite. on the Kumite. I, oh. I would super chat that. I would super chat that. No, I'll throw. I'll, I'll throw a hundred bucks on the ring for you, Matt. I'll throw a hundred bucks to Matt <laughs> right now to go on stream with first Medicur. Hundred Americans. I'm just, I'm just looking to have a discussion. You know, like he's saying some of it was just joking, but he was defending base mama and Kilroy. So I, I wanna I want my chance. I wanna have a little discussion <laughs> with uh with Matt about this. Oh, Matt was tweeting <laughs> just a bit ago. Hey, Medicare, do you like right after how you posted your video and Monday Matt changed all of his social media from Monday Matt to Matt Jarbo? <laughs> <laughs> I caught that. Yes. I'm fucking Matt. Oh, dude, that whole ego thing. Everyone's doing this for ego. Everything's, everyone's doing this for ego. And then on the Kumite... 
Uh, how about Sargon? Huh? <laughs> uh, no, nah, him, I'm not sure. Go yeah, fuck yourself, man. That was beautiful. Massive. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, oh, oh, Sargon, what's that? No, no, Sargon's made of fucking rainbow farts and unicorn dicks. No, like, he's we cool can't guy. say anything. Yeah, we can't say anything about him. He's great. No, I love Sargon, not ego there, but everybody else, fuck all you guys. You're all just <laughs> egotists. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, Billy Bong says, Matt will only come if there's an NDA to sign. <laughs> oh. With these guys out here, man, it's not about the dicks they've sucked. It's about the dicks they haven't gotten to suck yet. <laughs> They're whores, man. And so guys was like, Sargon, he ain't going to go with Sargon because he hasn't gotten to suck Sargon dry for as many fucking subscribers as he can get yet. Yeah, but he's sucking his dick and Sargon isn't isn't doing anything it's like these people are like afraid to call out anyone or say anything bad about anyone with a little oh, oh you know what Fuck it. as long as i'm on kumite i got another challenge to throw out uh, to Jeez. a passive aggressive little bitch that's too afraid to ever directly say anything because mm -hmm. he's a woman which is funny because he's an mra you'd think he'd you know live up to the title <laughs> men's rights activist and yeah. act like a man but he's too much of a bitch to directly at me uh, Dr. Randomer Cam, you puppet-loving Kekistani fuck. Oh! If you'd like to show up on stream and talk about why you're such a weeping pussy, oh. I'd love to do it anytime you would. There's so Stop. much blood on the mat oh. here in the Kumite today. It's filling up the room. Jeez. 2018 It's like they're shining out here. I'm so Jim happy has thrown out that. two fucking challenges for the fucking Kumite, so I have a weird feeling that he may be back, guys. Don't be I am a pussy. willing to do it. And I've offered this guy a challenge before. I was like, you can come on stream. I think the reason he's afraid to debate me about anything is because the last time an MRA friend of his debated me, Dean Esme, I made him cry so fucking hard he turned into a Muslim. <laughs> oh, damn, his tears got so dry, he, he ran so dehydrated from all those tears, he became a sand person. Oh. Uh, that's not even a joke. Literally, after I debated him, <laughs> after he stopped crying, he became a Muslim and stopped with the whole atheist skeptic thing. Oh my god. Uh, Yo, Dr. Now. Random Cam, I'll call him out on my show on Monday as well. I'll make sure that. Oh yeah, by the way, it's a uh, it's a a crossover show. It's called the Warsaw Arena, where it's Takasa. And well, I, here, here's the thing that gets me about Random Cam. Maybe you know this type of person. I'm talking like real passive aggressive. He thinks he's like a puppet master, which is ironic because he fist puppets on a daily basis. <laughs> but he likes to make statements that are very vague, but they're directed at something, and then act like. Oh my God! If you if, if you think that applies to you, I puppet mastered in uh, you know uh, you into thinking that he's just a bitch. Don't be a little bitch. I met Dr. Randomer Cam. Just just show up. Be a man. You're a men's rights activist. How are you going to defend those rights and be an activist if you're too much of a bitch to step into the arena? At a party we were at uh, at VidCon, this guy we, we all met him. The most passive. He just sat on a couch by himself, not talking to anyone the whole night, and I was like. Who the fuck is this guy? Like, why is he there? And they're like, oh, you don't know Dr. Randomer Cam? I'm like, no. And this guy just like was at every party, just sitting there, sipping a beer by himself. Just alone. In his little Yushenka, the little yeah, fucking he, he, hat he wears that he never he, takes off that smells like ball sacks. He probably be, smells like a male locker room. Be, like careful, be careful about motherfuckers that listen too much and say too little. No Wizard shit. Of Cause, no fucking the shit. Wizard of Cause, fucking mundane Matt, fucking Dr. Radnor Cam. Stop hiding, you fucks. Uh, real quick, I'm there are a few it. signs here that may be pertinent to some topics. Elusive Lady Cat for $5. So according to Destiny, retards can't consent, but kids can. And incest <laughs> is okay. Of course, yeah. Makes sense. It's a brilliant fucking guy there. Bronson Tolliver, hey Tonka, I'm still on that Molly. I, I'm glad you're gonna die. Uh, Arizona Raspberry for five dollars. Jeff's story still has an one? ominous slant to it. That situation is shady, but Destiny's argument on age are weird, considering past debates. Hail Medicare. Uh, no. The Guardian. This one's directly at Jim. Uh, the Guardian is saying, "Oh God, I've lost the fucking chat." Of course. But the Guardian wanted to know if you enjoy the shitstorm that he has caused, because this is the evidence that he had brought up to the Naked Ape for the, his video that he made a few. I don't know, it's probably almost a year ago at this point. I, I love a good shit show, like, the internet's on fire, that's always entertaining to me, but I'm, I'm getting real fucking sick and tired. Like, you know, I, I made a few jokes in the crowd thing about, like, internet intellectuals and academics, please respond, because that's cringy as fuck. Yeah. But there, there's some people on the internet that are taking themselves way too fucking seriously, and it's it's getting a bit old. The fart-huffing activist bullshit. It's getting, God, yes. getting a bit fucking tiring. Actually, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying, since... Honestly, after all this shit started happening, I'm loving what my channel has evolved to, how Tonka Sog, like, 
also blew up like the fucking actual debates and the fucking blood sports is better than this intellectual fucking bullshit like just reading just science how long, how long ago uh, did you get tired of listening to youtube eight months ago pretending that they you know were eight in middle ago. school debate class that just, almost how, a year ago long? yeah about eight. a year ago the election did it for me yeah it, I, I was i was fake i was doing like i was just I, I was doing what i thought my audience wanted right and i was depressed for a long fucking time and then when this shit hit the fan and i did it and i realized people enjoyed watching it and then you know obviously people hated me uh, I hate me now. People are DMing behind my fucking back. My quote unquote friends are now all fucking unfollowing me or talking shit behind my fucking back. Um, so I don't care though. I don't care because they were never my fucking friends. Did anyone DM me? Hey, Andy, how are you? No. Oh, did anyone suck my fucking dick? No. I don't give a shit. They snatched no. up your convention. So I, I don't even care anymore. Yeah, yeah. I no, wait, hey, guys, get your facts straight. It wasn't his convention. Clearly, Base Mama had this idea three years ago. Um, Andy doesn't know what he's talking about. I was um, in. That was wild. I was in two of the beginning, uh, what do you call it, uh, a private hangouts with Dave Cullen and Base Mama because it was my and like everyone at that table's idea. So she invited me on the initiate, uh, on the first hangouts and then slowly just stopped messaging me stopped dming me and then i threw out my comedy panel idea for offensive where the line is and then and then uh um who's that guy that was running the uh, the other comedy panel foxy or something or fox or yeah something foxy like something yeah yeah how many fucking subs does he have like a thousand I have 260,000 and I promote your event, sell the most tickets. And he yeah, but Andy, that's that's the thing. You guys, that, that was the whole point of the video. You guys got hustled. You were wagged out, you know, dangled out in front of an audience to get all your followers to be, you know, blindly obedient and buy tickets because they thought they were going to meet you. They had no intention. They used all those YouTubers, all of them, and the right wing people too, just to make the money so they could fund some academic bullshit panel. You got fucking hustled by this woman. I was an advertisement, basically. Yeah, That's you were a fucking walking billboard. She thought so little of you. She thought you were such a stupid fuck. She was going to use you as a billboard and then try to make you eat shit and smile by telling you, oh, sorry, Andy, the panels are full. Sorry, I couldn't get back to you. You're lying about not getting emails. Oh, my God, Andy, stop talking about the drama. How it is you haven't torn this bitch's head off in a fucking video dedicated to her yet? He's I will. Oh, oh, dude, dude, dude! I'm planning it. Don't worry. I'm I'm collecting some clips right now. I'm just waiting for the a new year to be over. And uh, oh, oh, oh! Believe me, dude. I I have something in the works right now. Oh, and, and Andy, the craziest thing is, I left some shit out of that video because I was under such a time constraint because people wanted it out. Mm. But Sister Danger uh, said something that really caught my fucking attention. With the, those NDAs weren't standard. Different people got different NDAs. And the oh. sister Haram chick who deleted her Twitter put up a Twitter video where she says the NDAs aren't to protect us from the audience. They're, pro they're to protect us from YouTubers attending. What? Here was the thing with her. I, did, I didn't know much about her. The Harambe dessert lady. She deletes her Twitter. <laughs> by, the <time> even, <laughs> by the time you even put your video out, her, her Twitter's gone. What the fuck was the deal with her? Like, she seemed to be a fucking lightning rod for everything fucking wrong here. She, she's a fucking friend of, uh, she's a friend of Base Mama who's organizing the event. She was a featured speaker at the event. When they were flagging JF's video, the tweet that I showed was actually in response to Habib, the admin of that server that was flagging JF's video. So he was bragging response. about it. Yeah, she was bragging, he was bragging about it, and she said, yeah, I flagged it too, and they joked about it back and forth. So you've got Crouch Server doing all these weird, fucking dirty, underhanded shit. Both the people c related to this event are doing weird, dirty, underhanded shit. It's like a story that doesn't end. It's like everything connected to this fucking server branches off into all these different things. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Kilroy is in any way connected to Kraut directly. I'm just saying motherfuckers that were in that server were pulling some shit on YouTubers to sucker you fuckers out of money, to sucker you for your audience, and they had no intention of doing shit with you. And, and the only I, ones I, that I signed know. those fucking contracts were the ones that were milk toast and middle of the road and weak little fuckers that would sign on with the exception of maybe one or two who got bilked and tricked into it. But if you knew all this shit and now you're signing a contract, fuck you because you're an idiot.
I got. Hey, I've got to pause you right there, man. I've got. I've got to go. I got a date with a ghost. Hey, Pete, and I got to break out of here, man. All right, you have a good date. Hey, hey, hey medic, I actually have a. I have a question for you. Okay, so throughout those streams that I did, it was the all the information was being leaked out slowly, right? Throughout uh, uh, those whole th streams, Jeff was on. We're finding out things slowly, and I believe that those four to five streams were important to exposing everything. Now, what do you think about all the people who just kept saying, Andy, stop with the drama? Listen, like half of the fucking quotes and half of the direct statements about what was... Kilroy was... Okay, let's establish first that Kilroy and Base Mama were bad at getting back to people, right? Everybody was bitching about that. Like everybody, not just right-wingers. Like everybody was saying, well, I'm not getting emails or I'm not getting direct responses. So the only way to get information was to have them directly show up and talk about it or to have people related to the event talk about it. So mm -hmm. yeah, if you didn't do your streams and Sister Danger and Based Mama didn't talk about these things or talk about them on other streams related to the the drama, you wouldn't have these you know contradicting fucking uh, statements coming day after day after day. I mean, shit, Andy, in one stream, you caught Sister Danger lying to you literally minutes later. We, we got rid of Baked Alaska's because we had no room. Then later on, she says, no, we did, we're we going to invite 90 new guests or some shit like that. And you're like, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Didn't you just say that? And she looks at you dead face and says, no, I didn't say that. I never said that. Yeah. She literally lied to your fucking face, and it's caught on the same goddamn stream. And that's the thing I was trying to tell people. I was on the phone with people who were all talking shit or unfollowing me. I'm like, guys, if I didn't do those streams... All this information, or, or or half of it, wouldn't have been caught, and no one was talking about anyone's concerns until my like third or fourth stream when they were forced to finally talk about it because I was making such a big fucking deal about it. So fuck everyone who goes drama, drama. You know, yeah, it was drama. That caught a fucking scam, motherfucker. Oh, so mm -hmm. pissed that people do. I'm like done with like so many people. Fuck it, that. It's really fucked up. I'm going to run through a few signs. Hydropreneur, all hell, Jim, press one. Lost wingman for $2. Alua, Met Alua Mediker. Uh, Boober Lee uh, for $2. Almost 900 people here. Love the Kumite. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, fuck Wad for $2. What the fuck did I miss, Tonka? Why is the internet on fire? It's, it's been that way for a minute, man. It's been that way for a minute. Uh, suit yourself for $5. A Kumite exclusive. I'm going to play that at the end of the show. That'll be our closer. Mark the uh, mark the question for two dollars. Lesson of the day: Don't be a mark for yourself. Not wrong. Worst item I'd ever for five dollars. The fact that Chris pulled out of Kilroy before Andy is proof that IQ and race are related. Asians are smarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Reclusive dunk for five. Jim, do you think Random or Cam is still pissed about your Rick and Morty vid? Well, let me answer that one. I, I because I, I don't know who's watched the shit that I put out, but I had a I did a video about Rick and Morty, and I might have done a, a parody. Of a drooling idiot in the Yushenka with uh, puppets on his hands with a Mensa poster behind him because he thinks he's such hot shit. So maybe, maybe he's a little salty about that. But again, you know, that's directly after a challenge. If you want to talk shit, you know, here I am. I'm, I'm ready to throw down. Be a man. Very accessible mm -hmm. channel this one happens to be. Mr. Wicked for $3. AP, teach me the ways I want the, uh, I want revenge on Prince of Queens. AP, uh, he'll be back on Twitter in the soon and he'll be glad to teach you. Yeah, Medicare, you have to listen to that later. Like, Razor blades AP. and lemon juice, Medicare. It was fucking nasty. <laughs> You're 45 minutes straight ripping Wizard of Oz's asshole out of his fucking body. Yeah. Oh. Destiny for $2 here says, Jim, peace be upon him, is the only true prophet. Oh. How many more parts, uh, Jim, by the way? Uh, I was going to do two parts, uh, but I, I... You're on a I crunch. Go You've got to... one fucking day, brother. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, you know, I, I want to just fucking go back to covering people who shit in diapers and do crazy shit. So yeah. I'm going to combine the two parts into one one uh, one part. So probably like a 45-minute video. Nice. Shitting in diapers and shitting in Discord just aren't the same, are they? Uh, no, it isn't, man. It really isn't. And uh, uh, just be done with it because uh, it's just uh, the, the big thing, like the shit everybody wants to talk about is coming up. The nipple clamps, the dick rippings, the emotional connection, getting cucked. Um, uh, Coach Red Pill and the, the doxing, you know, all, all the shit that people, you know, are really, really interested in. So that's going to well, end with a bang, right? Nice. So I'm going to end with a bang. Go, go with the big shit at the end. Uh, yeah. This is a question that's been thrown around a bunch from the crowd a couple of times here in the past week since you've been showing up. 
What are your feelings on the Kumite and the idea of just getting two people into a fucking stream and just letting them fucking talk? Just fuck all this debate shit, middle school debate. I, I love bullshit. it. You're talking to a dude that used to watch shit like Donahue and fucking Maury Povich and <laughs> Harry Springer. How, how did me? you feel it. about uh, Morton Downey Jr.? Morton Downey Jr., before he drew a swastika on his face for sympathy, he was pretty good too. Yeah, that thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, Richard Bay. You ever see Richard Bay? Well, that's mm. one a lot, a lot of people know about. He used to uh, have a soundboard, so when fat chicks would come out, he'd play oinking noises. That was fucking amazing. Glorious. Primetime TV at its best. See? That I, I, had a, I had a feeling this was up your alley. A few months ago, uh, people kept sending me a tweet that you were wanting internet blood sports. I had it, but with nobodies. That you had no idea who they were. Now, for some reason... People with giant names have decided to start showing up here in the past week, and it's become well, monumentally well, well, I have promoted it. Like, it's almost like a meme at, a, at this point on my channel. Like, I bring it up, like, five times a show now, and I love it. I'm glad. Hey, I, hey. I, I dig it. I dig watching people just tear into each other. You know, it's uh, let's be civil about it. Hall's a debate. Reddit tier shit. Oh, oh, fuck off. Go, fuck fu yeah. go, go huff fart somewhere else. Let's see some real blood getting drawn. Oh, goddamn right. I, had, I, was, I was thinking you were of that mindset. Hey, how do you feel about uh, a Jeff Holiday today uh, posting a video and he's, he's and down, like, banning any <laughs> negative comments? <laughs> he's down two hundred and like like eight subs, but when you hit the live, he drops like forty more subs. I, I have oh. not been paying attention to uh, Holiday or Wizard of Cause. I, like I, this last part was just fucking took it out of me. Uh, watching, uh, I, I had to go through like. 30 hours of streams to get uh to get you know like salient points from based mama and i, I feel like drinking bleach at this fucking point because i i can't listen to that shit anymore it's uh so I, i've missed all the other stuff that's been going on the last three or four days just a lot of defi it's more or less the fallout like you're covering the nuke the this is essentially all the fucked up trees on fire afterward it's it's sad man there's people who can't admit that it happened. Like, it's fucking recorded. People can listen to it. They know what you did. They just can't. They just I can't sent you that. Away. I sent you that, 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 uh, back and forth between me and Jeff Holiday until he was just like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm shutting down my Twitter. <laughs> well, no, who was, who was the dude? Uh, it was AP that had an issue with Wizard. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So why don't you guys set up a uh, Andy Worski and AP versus Jeff Holiday and Wizards of Co or Wizard of Cause? Like they a won't two do it. Tag they team. won't do it. Uh, they won't do Jeff it. Jeff Holiday had no problem coming on my show 15 minutes before everybody knew what he did. He was on here defending the shit that was happening and saying that none of that happened. Oh, that was not the case for two days fucking straight. Well, and see, then as soon as shit dropped, to, uh, he didn't show up. I, I can't speak to Wizard of Cause because I never really heard him in like a throwdown stream. Mm-hmm. But Jeff Holiday seems like a, like I'm I'm thinking back to that Coach Red Pill shit, and uh, when J Coach Red Pill was like uh, fight me in real life, and he just he just went into him because it's a cringy fucking thing to say, and Jeff made him look like an asshole on that. Yeah. So I mean I think it'd be balanced out, right? You know you got you got a little more kind of quiet and reserved Wizard and Andy, and you got a little bit more Firebrand uh, AP and Jeff. I think that's a good fucking. I would watch that. That'd be a title I'll, match. I'll I'd pay them do. here. Here, people tweet them out. I will pay Wizard and and Jeff 150 bucks each to be on the show. 150 each and I'll split super chats with them. Oh, that's that's some fucking money being thrown and that's that's, will, uh, that's yeah, a nice that's, purse. That'll be a lot of fucking money for them. So guys, come on. Everyone tweet them out. Stop being fucking little pussy ass bitches. All right, guys. Wizard fucking they're all on their high horse on this fucking old like like a, a way better than everyone yet when they're called out they fucking hide like fucking scumbags what is that real quick question the metal gear reference in your in your video did you get that from another video that was kind of going around that was memeing this group on the the you're talking like the opener for the first one yeah uh, no actually i just I, I thought it went well because kraut had all these quotes where he was talking about going to war like i haven't even played them all there there's some older clips oh. uh during the aiu thing where where kraut is like quote he has like quotes like i'm going to find you and stomp your body in the gutter like just going on and on about shit like how he's gonna murder and destroy people yeah there, there's a lot of there's a lot of fucking comic book supervillain complex with these people <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's going on, man. Mm -hmm. I, you know, at, at the very least, after this shit show, my recommendation for crowd, you know, like, 
it can't get any lower than this. It's all, it can only go up. You may as well just come back as a troll. You may, you may as well just come back as a troll and just mm. go full force into that shit. Hey, 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 by the way, just real fast, Rutherford fake out just said, yeah, because I've seen this around. Jeff is saying that Andy is trying to make fame off of him. And yes, and it's working. So fuck you, Jeff, you cunt. He's a sh you fucking goddamn cocksucker. You, yeah, you, you attack people's fucking, like, like who they are, um, a, a based on their ideas. You lied to me completely. And by the way, Medicare, I like, you do know people have leaked DMs to me that I haven't leaked out of, of pictures from a private Skype group, not the discord group. A, they also had a private Skype group. But this dude begged me to not release this. Yeah, careful, um, careful now, Andy. You're starting to sound like you're starting to sound like harmful opinions, because harmful opinions made some similar claims about groups of people and Skype groups, uh, saying some things and doing some things. You don't want to. You don't want V to challenge you on that debate Monday. Oh well, I did. I, I did screen share with a few people privately, so just so I could be like, right, <laughs> Andy, I love. That. Thank you for reminding me never to send you anything in confidentiality. <laughs> Hey, somebody sent me something super sensitive. I don't want to share it except that time I no, shared it no, with a bunch of people. Okay. Sent it to <laughs> the dude who sent it to me is cool with me. Uh, I'm asking my friends about it and proving that Jeff Holiday is actually a scumbag. He just said, don't leak it and don't leak my name. So I, I told it to Geek, a geek Thulu because I, I tell him everything. I, I ask him for his, his advice on that shit. Uh, real quick, so okay, oh, okay. well, I mean, you're in for a penny, in for a pound, buddy. I mean, you, you, you the blood sports, right? What did the uh, what did the leaks say? You don't have to show them, but what? Give us a gist. Give us a rundown. A, I'll give a you TLDR a, a on gist, that. and I won't say the names of the people besides. Yeah, that's Kraut fine. And Jeff. Just call them pers yeah, person A, person B, however you want to do it. So, so Crow is talking about the tactics that they're going to be using that were pretty much the ones that you mentioned in your video, right? So, essentially, fucking. Uh, making fake accounts and all that stuff. And they're just talking back and forth about this. Uh, and then Trout goes, eh, in a few months, these guys will be fucking selling magic beans on the side of the road and begging for mercy as we destroy them. And the buddy who, who, who leaked this to me, uh, he goes, dudes, is this really a good idea? Is this something that we should really be doing? And it was just on and on. It's him pretty much explaining... Like, what our point of view is. We should attack their ideas. Like, why are we doing oh, this? Oh, Andy, Andy, let me stop you there. If you're ever going to leak information again or talk about leaked information, you just sold it. He, now they know who he is. Because you just said what the guy said in the chat. God They're going to go look through that and be like, now we know who I've this is. I've said it already three is. times. He doesn't care. I, I, I talked to him already. I talked to him okay. already. All right, all right. I hope he doesn't fucking care. Uh, I don't shit. Good old Andy. <laughs> Get some shot. Nice stuff. The fucking nice wall is crumbling down, down here, Andy. I, I've said this before. He does No one cares. He he doesn't care anymore. So it's all good. Don't worry. Because um, this is like from last week. By the way. <laughs> it's all good. A week later, we're gonna hear about some missing skeptic, and they're gonna be milk cartons with his fucking face. <laughs> <on. laughs> God. No, no. Uh, this guy hates them. Uh, anyway, then there's a video that's that's dropped uh, from Jeff Holiday. Uh, that's him going, "Hey man, this is what we have to do." Uh, stop! Stop trying to stop this. This is how we have to take them down. Okay, it's like a like a video from his phone. And yeah, that was the leak, pretty much. And it's just him berating the guy who's asking him to stop this. And then the guy, now him and I are talking with a bunch of other people. And then there was this anarchist communist who I spoke to the other day, who's like, I was on the Discord and. While I didn't dox anyone, I, I saw everything that was happening, and I found it amazing because I want to watch them all burn. I, I already know who you're talking about. Yeah, people were asking me, they're like, oh, this, this, guy's, this guy's involved. This, guy, this guy's involved. He knows more than he's saying. He, he's obviously involved. But he's always openly been uh, saying shit like, I hate these fucking people. You know who you know, it is? So uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not surprising to me. Yeah, of course he'd want to be involved. He hates them. I just find it interesting that even though, you know, he corroborates what a lot of people say with his statements. Like, yeah, he did see it, and yeah, that shit was going on. Because mm -hmm. yeah. he has no horse in the race. He fucking hates everyone. Yeah. And and to be honest with you, all the, all these people who have been DMing me and leaking shit to me, they're all fucking happy this is all exposed. They're all like, yo, thanks for fucking... Uh, but everyone's afraid to say it publicly because no one wants to rock the boat because they lose access to these bullshit people with their bullshit channel. 
And uh, yeah, a yeah, lot of people. You know, are, are that's right. By the I mean, way, it's it's networking. You guys, you guys trapped yourself with networking. You became so close to each other and so like intertwined that when something gets fucked up, nobody wants to rock the boat, like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's all, like, all cross promotion shit, man. You gotta you gotta keep your fake, eyes open dude. for that. It's fake bullshit. You know, there were so many times, dude, that I would speak to Jeff. Like okay, at the teal deer incident, when I I I, I straw man teal deer and then I apologize the next day. Then Jeff, uh, he 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 uh, DM'd me. He's like, "Why are you apologizing? Stop apologizing!" I'm like, "Dude, we fucked up." He's like, "He's like, fuck teal deer." Like every time I've confronted Jeff about like, "Hey man, we shouldn't be like doing this," or "Or hey, what are you doing? You're, you're taking this too far." He always like, oh, 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 wag his finger at me. No, 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 Andy. Andy, like, stop it all the fucking time. And then I get fucking all these fucking screenshots from people of him talking shit behind my fucking back, like, saying how stupid I am, that I won't, I won't figure it out. Fuck you, Jeff. That's why people are like, why are you, why are you saying all this drama shit? Because I have other stuff that people have sent me um, that, like, prove everything and make it even worse. So Jeff, look, he's already down. His social blade is bleeding. There's no point in beating him while he's still down. That's why I'm not like saying anything else or, or releasing anything else, rather. I don't care. So fuck him and him fucking spazzing out on Twitter just makes him look like a fucking little bitch. Some harsh words there. I think fuck you guys him. need to let, need to settle it in the ring. It's a 150. I, want to right. I I'm offering him. 150 for him, Wizard of Cause, and half of Super Chats. That's what's that's what's really bothered me about Jeff the whole time is that Jeff came on the show two days in a row for hours straight, lied to lied to Andy and Baring, who he's much closer with than me. We're not really that friendly. But he came to this tiny platform. It was very tiny at the time. There were like forty people fucking watching to spread some bullshit. I've already he wants to say, uh it, when he finally did respond to me after going quiet for so fucking long, the only thing he said to me was mute. He just, he just huh? muted me after all that shit. That's the only thing he ever said back to me after he got called out for all the shit that he did. And then he That's wants to go. To, yeah, he goes to his fucking Twitter and tries to say that I'm a whore for all this stuff. And I'll go ahead and tell you, Jeff can have every fucking penny of the super whoa, chat money that came whoa, in in the past whoa. week if he'll come on the fucking thing. That, if someone's just like, I love Andy, but Jeff would kill Worski and shit talking. Get the fuck, yo, ban him. Talk about ban him. him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> who is who? <laughs> what is that? Jeff couldn't. Fu- he stinks. Jeff he's, stinks. Look at him. He he's leaving Twitter because I responded to him. He's now leaving. Andy. I, I got to be Fuck honest him. here. Uh, Jeff Jeff is pretty good oh, at shit talking. Oh. Are you sure you're up for the challenge? Uh oh uh oh. By the way, Medicar. Mm-hmm. Is Monday coming in? No. Oh. Who did you start off with? Who did you start- Randomer you- Cam. No. Was Randomer Cam coming in? No, 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 uh, okay, after that. Uh, no, no, even before that. Come on, guys. Monday, Matt. That was Matt. No, Destiny. Oh, is Destiny coming in? Bring he, him in. He, he just Skyped he just Skype me. Hang on. Yeah, I, I want to ask him about this because I'm dying to know what the fuck is going on. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh, get the fuck out of here, fucking Destiny. He's watching right now. Give me 30 minutes today, Andy, one-on-one with you. Um, I with haven't. Me or with Andy? I no, with me. But I'm not the one who's done all the research on on your past. Destiny. Well, no, no, no. If you got him on Skype, really ask him. Like, genuinely ask him. I want to know an answer to this. What What is the deal with this? Uh, this Destiny uh, involved in grooming a 12 year old in the Twitch chat? Shit. Just ask him that, and then read off his answer. Yeah, he can because I've in. never seen that before. Somebody just posted that today. I've legit never seen that shit before. Okay, I I said, oh, uh. Oh, I, I just wrote, wrote, are you watching right now? He goes, I didn't even know you were live, damn, uh, um, on Tonka's channel. So let's ask him the question now. I tell him to come in. I what? won't say shit. I'm good. Just let Do him in. Let him and Jeff have the chat. by for one second? For one sec? All right, let's see what he says, guys. He's not watching, so he has no... Oh, uh, sure. Medicare. Beautiful. Get, Get it your, to him. Get, it Get to your him. OPSs ready. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Okay, Here it goes, fellas. Yeah. Let me grab the link. Uh, copy link. All right, here we fucking go. What's the channel name? Uh, Tonka. So. All right, so everyone, get your fucking uh, fucking OBS is ready for this shit. 
Ooh. Ah. All right. <laughs> Ooh, this is bad. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe this is happening. This will be fun. This is entirely just, too big for my channel, but okay. He's just getting on his high chair. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Andy. Andy starting with some banter before anything even got. What you it's doing? all that kumite and he can't, he can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing in here? What's up? <laughs> What's up, bud? I just woke up, dude. What's going on? Hey, man. Hey, hey, what did you uh, first want to talk? Like you said, hit me thirty minutes with you. Oh, what's up for that? Do it here, I just, just wanted to chat for a little bit. Oh, if you want to do it after, we can. But hey, we Andy, can I, I actually, I actually wanted to ask uh, Steve a couple questions. Oh, uh, sure, man. Uh, dude, are you are you looking at Twitter? Have you checked your Twitter uh, today? Yeah, I woke up with like four thousand responses or whatever. <laughs> All right, yeah. So this guy, I, and I've legit never seen this before. So I really want uh, to get your your thing on it. Yeah, sure. Uh, dude put up a bunch of screen caps saying uh, Destiny's little gang were involved in grooming a 12 year old. Oh, yeah, and the baby Mickey shit. Yeah, so. So, what is that? Like, what's the story on that? So, basically, we ran into this weird issue. I don't, it, it said 2015, but I thought this was long ago. But we ran into this issue where there was somebody in chat claiming to be like a 12 year old girl. Um, we've had people do this before where they like pretend to be like a little girl because kids are into fucking Lollicon or some crazy fucking perverted shit. I don't know. But, um, we thought that um, it was a fake at first. Like, there's no way that this is actually like a 12 year old chick. Um, so I, I think a couple people like go to her, like, oh, like get on Skype and stream a game or some shit. And she did, and we found out, oh shit, it's actually like a 12 year old chick. That's really weird. And then my community went through like some really weird shit where we had to decide like whether or not we should ban this person or not. Um, some people were making the argument that having like underage girls in the chat was really weird and that we should ban them. But then other people were making the argument like, well, we have like 13, 14, 15 year old guys that view our stream. Do we just ban somebody just for being an underage girl? Um, so we, we went back and forth on that for a while, but then there were like chat logs that were getting leaked that were really fucking weird where people were like, I know that different people have different interpretations of what like the word grooming means, but people that were too old that were talking to her in ways that weren't like outright sexual but were just really creepy so i think at the end of the day we just nuked we ended up banning like perma banning a, a few people and then we just banned her because there was some really weird shit going on with her too no they they said that the uh, uh she got banned the milk or whatever the fuck her name is yeah but they said that a uh, mod later came in and unbanned her well she got banned and unbanned a couple times i think originally my main mod banned her and then i think i unbanned her because it it just seemed weird to ban somebody just because they were a 12 year old girl and then i don't know how many times she got banned or unbanned because we went like back and forth on this for a while but then ultimately because <laughs> because of just weird shit that was happening we decided to ban her the the weirdest part and i actually it's funny because i don't think anyone on twitter even caught this um the most scandalous or weirdest part is that she released like a this is why I think this happened way long ago, because I think on Ustream, she released a video where she was like moaning into the microphone or some shit, and it was just way too fucking weird. And I didn't want the FBI like trolling around in my chat, like looking for shit. So we just ended up banning her and then everybody that we thought was like heavily involved in the grooming. Yeah, because I saw comments where they were like, hey, you know, you better do this within a few minutes. You better stream for us or else. Uh, did you ban the people that were making the demands grooming her? Um, mo most of them. I don't know if I banned those people. Um, I would have to go back and look at the time. Like I said, in the beginning, the whole point was just, um, a lot of people didn't think it was actually a 12 year old girl. We've had a few people in my chat who, um, pretend to be, or like people will fuck around and pretend to be like underage chicks or whatever. So I think most of the people that were driving her to stream just wanted to see if it was actually a girl. So I don't think we banned those people, but I'd have to go back and read specifically. The people that ended up getting banned were the people that were like, that had really long PM histories with her and were saying things in chat that were just like, not like outright bad, but just too creepy for like a way that a 19 year old should be talking to like a 12 or 13 year old, like getting a little bit too close. I don't know how. Else so this, it. this wasn't you then like you weren't the one making her do streams and shit. No. Um, okay. if, I, if I, if I mean like applying or not to be me, but like applying common sense, like if I was forcing her to do anything, those logs would be out immediately. Yeah. There was another thing too, uh, Brittany Vance, I'm sure who's your favorite person on earth. Uh, threw this up. Um, did you admit to jacking off or almost jacking off to pictures of a 15 year old that were sent to you? So uh, they said their chat logs confirming. Yeah, so that. there's a chat log a long time ago that got leaked after I basically I was a huge asshole to some chick. I called her ugly. Um, I shouldn't have. It was a mistake on my art. 
on my end. But basically, um, in the course of this chat log, I was talking with a bunch of other esports guys, and we were basically talking about how crazy the fucking jailbait is in the gaming communities. It's ridiculous. Um, or at least it was back then. I imagine it still is. And in the purview of that conversation, I think I said something along the lines of, like, there are 15-year-old chicks that are, like, hot as fuck that will, like, try to send you pictures to, like, fuck you at events and shit. And it's like, you have to be really careful when you navigate that. Um, I've never sent pictures of 15-year-olds to somebody, and to my knowledge, I've never gotten underage pictures. I say that because I don't know if, like, an 18-year-old chick or 19-year-old chick lied and is 17 or some shit. But to my knowledge, I've never received underage pictures, and I've never passed around underage pictures. Of so what is the admitting to jerking off to 15-year-olds, then? What is that in relation to I never admitted to jerking off. I think I just said, like, this... Um, I think the log is something like, this 15-year-old chick was trying to send me... Or was sending me pictures of herself, and she's hot as fuck. It's, like, really hard to, like, turn down some of these people. I Wait, think how I said old some, was she? Um, she said she was 15. So you did get sh uh, pictures from a 15-year-old? Not nudes, though. Sorry, I should specify. Okay, but yeah, because you just said that no, you didn't get pictures from people. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Not that you knew. I, I, I meant, I meant to. Um, I'm, I'm talking about nudes when I'm talking about pics. But yeah, no, she's. I know what she looked like. Like she sent me like her Facebook profile, and I think a couple pics of her like at the beach or some shit. But um, in swimwear. Yeah. yeah. So you're getting swimwear pics from 15 year olds? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. This shit is fucking. <laughs> yeah. Shit is fuck. No, it's fucked, dude. I totally fully. That is fucked up. It's hey, fun. hey, it does. To but, me. But, but, but again, like I've never fucked around with a fifteen-year-old or anybody underage. Like if that shit happened, you better believe that shit would have been leaked when I was in the StarCraft community. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just got two. I got I got two quick follow-ups to that because I yeah, heard the, the JF the JF stream last night. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you initially heard uh, when I asked him about that on Worski stream and Worski's brilliant response of how retarded was she. Which is fucking monumental. No. <laughs> how, 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 that's how autistic. It's a, valid, it's a valid question. That's a valid question. <laughs> but um, yeah. Okay. So I, like, I I get what you were trying. Like, I get the tact you were going with on that one. But you. you brought up um, his prior marriages and children. Mm -hmm. I, I just want, and I I don't want to pry too much into your personal life. I'm not asking for names or ages or any of that shit. Yeah. But you have kids, correct? I have one kid. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you're in a relationship right now. Uh, not really. No, not at the moment. Okay, so you're not with the the mother of the child. No. Okay, so why was it such a big issue, or why was it such a subject of contention to bring up that JF had had prior marriages that failed, and that he had a child with somebody? Um. So, I don't like to get into like the the personal like c comparisons or whatever. But um. So my relationship with my child's mom, our personal relationship, was really bad. Um. Towards especially towards the end, but we were together for like three or four years, I think, before we had a child. And our relationship today is really good. Um. I get my kid uh, four days a week. Um. And not even get him. Like we can trade him back and forth, whatever. We don't have a formal custody agreement. I see the mom almost every day. Um. We trade uh, Nathan back and forth. Sometimes we go out together. So my relationship with the mom and my kid are, are really good. I, I see him tons of times during the week and all that. Um, the reason why I brought it up um, with JF, it's really not the marriage thing that that kind of struck me as odd. It's that um, this is kind of shitty, but it's like when you put the whole picture together, I think that JF ends up looking like he has some sort of mental thing going on or just has a pattern of really bad, um, not bad, but really creepy behavior. Um, all of this self-admitted on his end. So like, he, he is 32 years old. He says that he went up and down the East Coast fucking tons of girls. He says that he wanted, yeah, well, he says that he wanted to make every single one of them pregnant, that he was in love with every single one of them. He's been married three times. He's His last wife has a child. And according to the court documents, that last wife... Um, it doesn't want him near the child because she claimed that he was obsessed with making babies and was um, a har harasser or really aggressive or something. I don't remember the exact word that was used. Um, and then now you've got JF trying to get another girl that he's lived with for three weeks to have babies. Like it just it makes like a pattern of like very strange behavior that doesn't yeah, seem very healthy. I, I, I guess you know I, I follow that up by asking mm -hmm. you this. I mean, do you think that most divorces end amicably, or do you think that there's usually going to be contention between the mother and the father, or the husband and the wife? Um, it. Uh, I don't know. That's a really hard one to answer. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, come on, Destiny. Come on. Well, I, I guess what I mean... Well, no, no, it, so, like, in fairness, general. like, there's probably a lot that, like, fizzle out. I mean, like, I'll admit that, yeah, of course, some probably end really bad. But there's probably, like, a lot of older people that get divorced who just, like, fall out of love and don't care. There's probably a lot of, like, really fiery divorces between young people um, fighting among children and whatnot. Like, I don't know what the exact split down or the exact split is, but yeah, I'm sure. So, I mean, w would it be unfair, then, to maybe extend the courtesy that perhaps the divorce that JF had or the contention that he had over his child... Uh, was one of those that just like many others and that aren't amicable. There's there's that contention so is, there. 
So this is really shitty. Um, so inductive reasoning is, is the idea that we can take facts and put them together in such a way to form a conclusion that we don't actually know, that we don't deductively know. So when JF says that he goes up and down the coast, chain fucking girls to make babies, that he finds a girl and in my way, in, in my opinion, in a very obviously predatory way, tries to lure her to North Carolina to have babies with her, has been divorced three times, has admitted that he's had seven different women make claims of harassment against him. That's really fucking weird too. That when you put all that's a, of that's that a together, new one. Wait, wait, wait. I, I hadn't heard that one. So what is yeah, it? Yeah, so JF on a stream, if somebody actually in my chat has the link, they can probably throw it real quick. Um, JF on a stream admitted, he's like, oh, like, was he, I think he was talking about Trump, but it might have been somebody else. But he's like, oh, yeah, women do this all the time. I personally have seven different women that have accused me of sexual harassment. Like, no, I, I was saying a story. I, I said the story about my friend, uh -huh. uh, how he was like, accused, and mm -hmm. then that that women do that all the time yeah and he said yeah. seven different women so like i want to be really clear here um being divorced isn't a marker of being a bad person or being like people shit happens and being divorced and your wife hating you isn't even necessarily a mark of a bad person because like um like you said jim i mean like shit can happen at the end of marriages it's just that when you look at all of it together this is an extraordinary picture to paint that however that however uh, uh uh i say a uh, mr Medicare, you you should watch that part for jf's response because like, well, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me only move one. On to, uh, Andy, let me move on to my last question then. Sure. Um, okay, so your main point of contention was he got into a relationship online with a girl that wasn't mentally capable, like the age set of what was the court document, not, like 10 well, or 11? That's not even my thing, actually. Like, I, And I know a lot of people take issue with this, but I actually almost think the mentally retarded part is irrelevant to him being a sexual predator. It definitely hurts his case when you add it on on top of it. But like when you well, look at- how would he be a sexual predator then yeah. if he's in so, when you look at relationship? So when you look at classical abusive behavior, the, the primary strategy of somebody that's being a predator is to isolate the victim. And when you look at the way that JF conducts himself, it, 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 he pretty much follows like all of those classical patterns. So he contacted a girl online. This girl is somebody that, ignoring mental whatever, she, she's very clearly still a child. Now, when I say child, I mean that she has never worked a job. She's never paid any bills. She's never lived independently of her parents. Right, um, though, so... Sure. That doesn't mean anything, though. She's never worked a job. She's never so, lived independently so of her parents. She's never paid any bills. And she was never in a relationship before, and she was a virgin. Okay? So no, very it's much my understanding, though, mm -hmm. that she uh, graduated high school, that she had a driver's license and attended college. Exactly. Yeah, so she graduated high school, which is fine. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it was a special needs high school or not. Well, um, how many 10-year-olds do you know that graduate high school? Mm. Well, so when you measure somebody's like cognitive abilities or decision making abilities, this isn't necessarily correlated to whether or not they can graduate high school. Um, as we, the court document said, like, I think she had the mental and social skills. What about um, college? Co well, college, she went a couple of years. So, I mean, anybody can go to college a couple of years. Yeah, that, but not a 10 year old. Yeah, sure you could. Do you know if she oh, passed her Oh, my God. Wait, wait, Andy, do you know if she passed her classes? Huh? You know if she passed her classes? Well, if she I, made it a few years, she probably got a few. Okay, well, if we're talking about cognitive ability and decision making, you need to have those to drive. Otherwise, no, you're going to yeah, get no, no, accident. no, no, you absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so I mean, again, like I don't, I don't know. I, okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. I, I don't know like where you guys are from. Okay, I'm from the great state of Nebraska in the, in the Midwest. Okay, like if you go out onto any farm and people have kids, you'll find basically as soon as the boys are old enough to, or, to like see over the fucking uh, driver's seat with a phone book, like they'll throw them in trucks. Like kids drive all the time. Um, a 10, 11, 12 year old, they'll drive track. You'll see them driving tractors at young ages, even younger than 10. Um, oh, and you'll see them tractors old. don't but have the horsepower. Like, that's but, not. But from what it that's sounds Nebraska, like, it, we're technically, about, she's from Texas, isn't she? Yeah, city driving is different than up 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 in the boonies, dude. Sure, but I mean, just because you can drive doesn't mean that you have the cognitive processes of an adult. And I think according oh. to according to the court docs of the psychiatrists themselves, they said something along the lines of like she's capable of driving, but if she ever got into an adverse situation, the only thing she can do is call her parents because she would be completely lost. So, so she do, you, do you agree then with the state intervening to protect what you see as at least in her case mentally as a child? It's not really appropriate me for me to make that call. I mean, the, the judge saw all of the evidence and he decided that it was a problem. Well, I mean, I, I would have to. He's in a position. I mean, basically, he, he was given the um, they, they initially pursued a temporary guardianship. Now, I've got a couple of lawyer buddies. Um, I, I don't know if they, they don't. This isn't exactly their line of work, but they tell me that getting a temporary guardianship over an adult is very difficult to do, that the bar for that, you have to pass a really high bar to actually, because you're pretty much like taking over another person, right? You're saying that like you can't, you're, you're mentally incompetent. You can't rule yourself. Like we're going to take over your autonomy. I've, they I've heard many times in debates. Well, they, 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 initially, just, 
appeal to authority with a judge. Well, so. No, not necessarily appeal to wait, authority, wait, wait, but I've heard, many to authority times, <laughs> I've heard many uh, times. I've heard many times. I'm just asking if he agreed with the judgment. That's that's well, all well, I wanted to know. I mean, all I know is that they went for a temporary guardianship and they were awarded a permanent one. That two psychologists made similar claims that she was incapable of making these long term decisions for herself and that she herself did not contest this guardianship at any stage whatsoever. So, I mean, it seems like the judge made the correct decision. Um, and then based on the facts of the case, that she would up and leave her family without telling a single person to go and meet somebody that she'd never met physically before to live with them for him to put a baby in her without any idea how their financial. So what, what is her, it, it just curious is an offshoot question. What does her future look like? Is she going to have state enforced celibacy for life? Um, it depends. I, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, but like, if she so, wanted oh, to date on, her. Does he have to meet the guardian ad litem? Like, how does that work? Yeah. Well, so like, this is kind of the weird binary that people that Andy was also presenting. Like, oh, does she have to be a virgin forever? Like, if you wanted to court somebody like this, there are really appropriate ways to do it. And it actually really bothered me, Andy, that you went down this route saying that you'd worked with mentally disabled people before. Is it like if if so? Let's give an example. Let's say that I wanted to date somebody that I knew was like mentally incapacitated. I would be making every effort to interact with this family so that they would know that things on the up and up because mentally incapacitated people are taken advantage of all the time in the United States. It happens to old people that are losing their mental faculty when they go to old person's homes, and it happens to, to mentally retarded people um, when they work normal jobs or, or when they get out into the real world that people will take advantage of them because of their reduced mental faculty. The fact that JF never contacted her family a single time and tried to remove her from her family without ever talking to the family, those are all huge red flags to me. Okay, and my last question, and this just relates to shit that's going around right now, but I, I think it's a fair point to bring up. You're talking mm -hmm. about patterns of behavior. Yeah. Um, you had a bit of a tiff. I was trying to explain this to them. I think I did it as best I could. You mm -hmm. had a bit of a tiff with a kid that was knocking you every time you'd go on stream. He'd you know packet bomb you or whatever the fuck he was doing, and he'd knock yeah, you off. Yeah, a kid that I wanted to kill. I still stand by that. Fuck that dude and his family. So this okay. is the story. This well, is no, the story. No, let, let, let me yeah. set this up. Though. I mean, we're talking about, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about JF's character, and you're bringing up past yep. incidences to try to paint a picture of him. So far, you've admitted you've gotten bikini pics from teenage girls, and you're talking about a murder plot against a teenage boy. So, like, what if you meet somebody, I mean, should somebody say, hey, wait a minute, you know, that Destiny guy, he got some uh, racy pictures from a kid, and that Destiny guy, he wanted to kill a kid and talked about a murder plot because it was interrupting his internet video games. <laughs> That's fucking yeah, rough. So um, so firstly, I mean, anybody can send anybody pictures. I never pursued anything with any 15 year olds. I mean, I could email you pictures of, I could go find 15 year old pictures. I did mean, you, did you contact your parents and say, Hey, your child's engaging in dangerous behavior that may put her at risk with predators? You should contact the parents, Destiny. I could have swore somebody said that a minute ago. Fuck that shit. I'm not going to get into that. I just stopped talking to her when I found out she was 15. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going oh, to mention like, Hey, by the way, now. I'm an you adult. Hey, whoa, whoa. Stop what? the car. Stop the car. Jim, did you hear that? What's that? What did I hear? But I, I, Destiny talking. said he was talking to her before that, and he stopped talking to Wait her. Wait a minute. Yeah, Destiny, you, you said you weren't talking to her, now you're talking to her. She didn't what? send pics, now she sent pics. What's going on? Wait, what do you mean stop? How would she send me pics if we weren't chatting? Oh, So no. you were chatting with her. Yeah, so we were chatting when with her. When did she inform you that she was or whatever? And then after we had talked for a while, I was I think we were talking about like um some event coming up and she mentioned that she was 15 and I was like, "Oh, holy shit, you're way too fucking young. Never mind." And then I we pretty much just stopped talking. Yeah, as soon as I found out she was 15, that shit was weird as fuck. I didn't I, know she was 15 from the original picture she sent. Destiny. Mm -hmm. so original then, picture. Wait, 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 wait. So, uh when did you stop talking to her? The timeline between that and her sending you that picture? She basically she had like um I don't remember we were chatting originally and she had sent me some pics or whatever to prove that I don't know that she was who she was. I don't remember. This is like fucking five or six years ago. And then after we had chatted for a while, she had revealed that she was like fifteen years old. And I was like, Oh, okay. And then we just stopped talking because I'm not see, that sounds like a horrible fucking idea. I'm not gonna get involved in that shit. Fuck that. But you didn't masturbate to the photo at all? <laughs> No, I have porn on the internet. Why would I masturbate to bikini photos? You never, you never had dirty conversations with her because you said you didn't know how old she was. No, so she definitely not. You no. never jacked off of that picture. There are no chat logs of that. No. Of you saying that or bragging about that? So she just, Wait, no chat she logs. just why sent a swimsuit picture? Chat logs of me. No, why would I jerk off to swimsuit pictures? I, I, I don't know. People are saying their chat logs of you talking about girls sending you pictures and bragging about it. So I'm just saying, like, there's no chat logs out there. Of you. We were having a conversation about how fucked I mean, up it was. It wasn't like they really the, the, trying to, like, fucking jailbait you into, like, fucking, like, destroying your life, like, an event or some shit. Do you have, do you have these, uh, do you have these screenshots on hand, Jim, or do you want me to there go should and be, see if I can find them? You don't need screenshots. There should be a pacement of the entire No, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking him. Uh, but okay. go ahead, back to your story about killing a teenager. Okay, so, like, this is, so this is the, this is the story with all of that. 
that, okay? So basically, um, at one day my internet drops out, okay? And I don't really know what's going on. And this this ends up becoming like a pattern of like my internet fucking up over the course of the next like few months. And I call the uh, internet service provider to my house. I get trucks rolled out probably like 12 times within like a three or four month period because it seems like every time I'm starting to get into my stream, my shit is starting to get dropped. And after a few months, some kid contacts me, Jacob contacts me on Skype and he starts making fun of how he's DDoSing my shit. I was like, okay. Um, the way that he messaged me and everything was really stupid. I pulled his IP off Skype. We did a whole bunch of fucking homework and we eventually found um, all of his information over the course of like the next month. We found out everything about this kid. Um, so to, to, to set this up correctly, so I know that a lot of people are like, um, you got really, uh, yeah, well, yeah, of course. Um, a lot of people, what? No, I was just, I was just saying, okay, I was, I was you. Oh yeah, of course, full docs. Yeah, no, if somebody's DDoSing, I'll dox the fuck out of you. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'll dox it and release it publicly. I honestly do not give a fuck about these people. So um, this kid, to set the story, a lot of people are like, oh, you wanted to kill a kid or whatever, blah, 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 because he was interrupting your video games. It's not my video games, okay? I have a child. I have a house. I've got bills. I have a life. Like, this is my job. And it, it would, like, the equivalent would be, um, you know, people laugh like he's just DDoSing. The equivalent would be, let's say you drive to work every day. Let's say some guy runs outside every single day and slashes your tires. Like, it's literally that. Um, so I was but losing. You, but you did want to kill him, though. Yeah, you wanted so, to kill him, and then you yeah, of course, him. hell yeah, I did. So let me get uh, to the let him lay, let him tell him. Go ahead, sorry, yeah, man. Go ahead. So basically, after a few months of this, I find all the information on him. I'm really happy because I figure I just give a call to his uh, dad, and after I call the dad, you know, I, we'll get everything squared away. So I call the father and I say, "Hey, your son is involved in some really fucked up shit. He's fucking my shit up. You know, I can't work. I've lost thousands and thousands of dollars. Like we're getting into the five figure range of revenue lost. I can't do my job. I've got a kid. You've got a kid. You should know what this is like." After having this phone call with the father, the father sends me the most condescending email I've ever gotten in my entire life. Basically, he said, um, actually, I can actually, do you want the email? I actually saved it. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. I want to hear what he sounded like. I'm kind of curious, to be honest. Yeah, and then sure. I want to hear how you would have murdered them. No, while, while he's grabbing the email, the uh, chat logs read, I have so many fangor. I had one that was 15. She wanted to meet and hook up. Uh, what was uh, the next thing he said? Uh, dude, she's 15. What the fuck? But she sent me pictures. That made it so hard. And someone said she's huge. So it, it Wait, feels sorry, like somebody say... saw something there because that someone said she's huge. Yeah, these chicks are hot as fuck. <laughs> I can't wait, 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 Hold on, but it says she's huge. So did you share the picture no, no, right no, there? No, no, no. The she's huge is referring to a different girl that we were talking about in the conversation. That's oh. the one who originally burned me why these oh. logs are leaked. Okay, all right. Um... But no, you said she sent me pictures that made it so hard. So when you saw a 15-year-old girl, you were sexually attracted to her. Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, like, what do you want me to say? Like, there are 16-year-old chicks that are really fucking hot. I was like 23 or 24 at the time. Like, so yeah, you were an adult. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you, like, <laughs> you were an oh, adult at the time. I have never, yeah, of course. I was. I'm not going to okay. sit here and lie to you and say, like, oh, no 16-year-old girl has ever been hot. Definitely. No, of course. Well, uh, in so Steve, not, not 16, 15. In Steve's 15, own yeah, words here. After you've banged more than like three chicks, banging hot chicks who suck in bed is not fun anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, that's, some life, that's some life shit right there, yeah. I was so disappointed with Mia, I'll never fuck another porn star again. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, dude, esports is a crazy time in my life, all right? Can we, let's, uh... <laughs> all right, you got, the, uh, you got the father's email? Um, yeah, hold on, I'm sorry. If, if you don't have it, you can just sum it up for us, that's fine, man. Mm. Oh, hold on a second, uh... Here's a thing. Someone says, uh, yeah, you forget that 15-year-old, obviously, but then you said, Pam, no, those aren't fake. What aren't fake? I don't know. I'd have to see the log. Oh, someone... <laughs> so oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. The, uh. Those aren't fake. Could they be referring to her tits? They're talking yeah, about maybe, the 15-year-old girl, and he says I those I aren't fake. I think it was about the 15-year-old, but yeah, it might be. I mean, like, I, I don't have to, like, look at the logs to know that I never saw a naked picture. But what would they time. be referring to if you hadn't shared the picture with them for them to be commenting upon here, Steve? Oh, then no, then it would have been, it would have been the other girl. It would have been Nicole. But they're talking about the 15-year-old. I mean, they can't be. I mean, you could show, or you could show me the basement. I never sent pictures, because I deleted this chick off my Skype, and I deleted anything that she had sent me, like, as soon as I, um... As soon as I found out she was 15, so there's no way that I could have sent any pictures to these guys. Cause yeah, because that would be anything. that would be real bad if you're sending out uh, you know exotic uh, or semi-erotic pictures of a girl you know is 15 to other people in a group. That would be bad. Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the best of looks. 
Okay, so here here is um, one of the emails that Wayne, the father, sent back to me. <laughs> so this is the dad of the kid. <clears throat> this is the dad of the kid, okay? All right. So basically the problem was after our first phone call, his son continued to harass me. He, nothing's changed, okay? Um, so I think at this point, I think his son contacted me on Skype, and we had like a little back and forth on Skype where um, I was just insulting him or whatever, just some shit. This is the, uh, the father's email to me. Stephen, I do not wish you or your family any harm either. However, after I spoke with you the last time, you promised to back off on my family. You did not. I suggest you withdraw all web posting, videos, or anything derogatory information about me and my family ASAP. If you cannot take them all down, then I expect you to do full retractions on the sites where you made the accusations. Otherwise, I will keep good to my promise to take this to the authorities. And my lawyers say that I have an unbeatable case for slander and defamation of character against you. I also asked Jacob to stop his activities. However, I do not think this Zach, this is the other person that was helping him, is a friend of Jacob. Jacob is a highly intelligent 16-year-old who has skipped the ninth grade. Sometimes he does teenage things out of boredom. You would do better to befriend him instead of attack him. I think he really admires your talent and has many things in common with you. This was the email that he so sent. The father me. and the son sound like a cunt. I agree with yeah. you on that. So, like, um, the big problem that I was basically running into is so I had three independent interviews with the FBI, um, one in Florida and two in Nebraska, where I basically, you know, called them and told them what was going on. And they were like, okay, well, we'll come out and chat with you. I don't know why. The FBI doesn't give a fuck about anything related to this. After three interviews, they did nothing. Um, I try. I think I tried calling the, um, I want to say, North Carolina is where he lived. I think I tried calling the North Carolina um, police force one, but I don't think I got anywhere with that. And then I tried contacting the father. So I was basically completely out of options. Um, so pretty much at this point in my so life- So you went my, with the next option, murder. <laughs> well, I'm curious. So I'll spin it to you. What would you do at this point? Would you just quit your whole career and go do something else or? Well, okay. I mean, here's my train of thought on this, right? Just follow yeah. me on that. To, to, and then just to be to be clear, I, I yeah, don't think I was like legitimately like planning to murder him. I was just incredibly fucking frustrated to the point where like you I keep I saying you I, were though. I, I got that. I got that. But okay, yeah. you, you've got this. Let's just make it a hypothetical so it's not you. Yeah. yeah. You've got a streamer who's admitting that he tracked down information on a miner to find out where he lives. Mm -hmm. That streamer owns a gun and he's shown that gun multiple times on stream. He's made numerous statements that he had a plan to follow or kill this child and that he isn't remorseful about it. My question is, how the fuck did the FBI not not come to talk to you about that rather than the kid bombing your stream? I don't know, my dude. The FBI. I mean, you're making death threats against a child on the internet, and you're a gun owner. It shows intent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy to me that. Well, you showing do that. intent and all of that is really difficult because of my because of the way my job works. I guess not like, when really you record weird. it and post it on the internet, Steve. Well, no. So, well, the reason why it's so confusing, um, because I spoke with a lawyer about this shit too. The reason why it's so confusing is because um, when you become a public figure and when your job is entertainment, you have like um, actually Alex Jones used this defense. Do you remember when um Alex Jones' defense against I was it against defamation and slander? I think he said that. Well, I'm an entertainer, so obviously. Yeah, I'm but did Alex entertainer. Jones dox a child to find out where he lives and then make death um, threats? Well, so this is like a really weird thing. Doxing isn't actually illegal at all. Not to no, say that it's morally right. No, but it shows that right, you were but... interested enough to pursue where he lived. You had knowledge of his house, who his family was, where mm -hmm. you know where he's located. Um. Yeah. Man. I don't know. I guess maybe the state decided. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't know. Okay, so it, this brings me back to the JF thing, though. Like, uh -huh. I, I get it. He said some weird statements. He's done some weird shit. But when you're talking about his past actions, setting him up as a predator, if I were to talk to somebody who has no idea who the fuck you are and give it the most neutral way I could explain this stuff, even throwing in your side of it, mm -hmm. people are going to be like pics from fucking underage girls bragging about it to his friends, threatening to kill a kid after he doxes him. They're going to be like, holy shit, this guy's fucking unstable. I mean, yeah, I guess if they want to think that, I, I mean, I but, can't. But do you see yourself I mean, like, everybody, as unstable? No, of course not. I mean, everybody so, in eSports, being honest, right? I mean, I can yeah. and lie to you guys, but I don't I don't give a fuck. I'm too old and I don't care anymore. Like, everybody's gotten picks and more from underage chicks, depending on what you are. <laughs> no, 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 let, let me finish. In, in the eSports community, okay, everybody has been involved in that shit, okay? Um, so, and there have been people that wait, have wait, 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 if, do, you, that. do you know huh? people in the eSports community that I'm have not, underage? Yeah, but I'm not, going, I'm not going down that road. There's tons no, wait, of no, 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 wait, wait a minute. Oh. If you're saying you have knowledge of a crime and you're not willing to bring it forward, doesn't then that you make only you bring it up if you lose a debate to someone? No, because it's all fucking hearsay and shit. And I didn't bring this up. JF was the one that Richard brought this up. That's the only reason we're talking about this shit. Um, but no, but I'm not going to go. Be, be, a lot how, of it is based on hearsay. How many esports is it? How many, how many people in esports have pictures of underage girls? <laughs> I'm not, not going to get it. Come right. on. No, it's, Destiny. It's, it's a huge, listen, like people have been banned from Twitch for making these accusations and shit before. I'm not going down this road. But, okay. but, we're not on um, Twitch. We're on YouTube. I'm on Twitch right now. I'm always fucking hey, streaming, Destiny. man. It's my hustle. What? Hey, but, but you always go after people and their characters and the 
no and that's the, not the true past no, they've done not, yes you have. that's absolutely not true don't don't lie to me like that the only reason this is all this jf started okay just real quick responding to things like so a ton of people gotten pics of shit from 15 year olds i've never pursued anything but i'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say like oh you know like 16 15 14 or whatever year old like there's a the caveat ages. in there it's esports normal people don't get naked pictures yeah or sure well normal pictures. people don't get pursued by fucking shit because you're fucking normies dude come on um so <laughs> wait your definition of not what? being a normie is child <laughs> pornography that's no, a Definition. Normie is not having like tens of thousands of people that are like constantly watching your every fucking move and like underage chicks hitting you up all the time and like scamming fucking people like hitting you all the time like this shit is fucking crazy. Oh, uh, I'm not. I'm not denying you guys got to watch out for getting scammed. I don't blame you. I'd be paranoid as shit. But it just sure. surprises me if you're willing to bring the thunder down on people like Jeff. I'm sure you disagree with people like, uh, fuck, what's okay. his name, Milo Yiannopoulos. <laughs> all the shit where. So, do you remember the stream where Milo went on and said? I went to Hollywood parties where they had underage kids, but then he mm -hmm. wouldn't name any names. Or when he went in front of an audience and said, I'm willing to talk about Hollywood, and then said, no, I can't. Washington told me I can't. Like, you'd, you'd come down on that kind of shit. But he actually um, did no, come no, down on no, that no, shit. He no, did I, I would never come down on that shit. I, whoever said that, that's not true. No, so no, I, no you I, came no, down on that particular the, interview. You're telling no, me, though, that esports has an on issue. I came down on advocating for underage gay relationships. That's the specific thing I can do. I don't know what else But, dude, like. you just told me that esports has this issue. If you know that shit's going on, shouldn't you say something? Well, people talk about it, but, like, I don't have the means to go and acquire the evidence to, like, find, to like name names and name victims. Break and, like, Dorito fun. gate right now, Destiny. Come on. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> this is not my Come on. Listen, okay, I'm gonna be frank. I'm not gonna suicide my fucking career to go on some I'm fucking like, vendetta I'm against a bunch of fucking video game guys, okay? This is not my life, all right? Someone else can take up this fucking mantle. It's not all my right. shit, all right? Okay, you know so, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay. back to so the you're, you're, Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, One wait. last thing, Destiny. Okay, so, you're, yeah, willing to let, you're, you're willing to let kids get hurt? No, I didn't say that. If you know what's going on and you won't so do anything, you're, you're willing this, to let kids get hurt. So you're presenting this view right now that I could go and expose people for sure and that I could you expose You just said them. you had information on it. I didn't it. say that. I said that there is a ton of hearsay about particular people, but I don't have logs or proof where I could come and drop bombshells. Is the hearsay if, going through communication? Like, is it talk or is it logged in Skype chats or something? Um, It's like, it would be like ambiguous logs and like tons of different chatter. But like, in terms of like, is it actually true? Um, Like, I would have to, I would have to make an effort Effort to go out and do research to figure out what's Come on, true, Destiny, what's this true. is your calling. You could be it's the guy. absolutely not my calling. I would you rather argue about pedophilia and sport. incest and talk about how hot 15-year-olds. I would rather do that shit a million times over before diving into, like, exposing people in fucking esports. Fuck that shit. Ryan hey, is way hey, too big a company. Hey, have you heard of uh, a quartering and what he's doing right now? He's actually exposed the Magic the Gathering community for having like a ton of pedophiles. Well, you can they've be been, the hero, Steve. They've been busting people left, right, and center. Wait, is this the MTG headquarters guy? Mm, yes. Oh, that guy's a fucking idiot. I don't care about what that guy does. That guy's beyond fucking retarded. I that guy is so stupid. He exposed okay. like eight pedophiles who were judges in the card community. So you're, That's, you're I don't know. He, I, all I know is that everything I've seen of that dude makes him. And the conversation that we had on Twitter, he seems like an idiot to me. But if he's doing that shit, that's cool and that's great. You can be simultaneously an idiot and do some good stuff as well. So good for him if he's actually done that. Um, okay, real quick, going back between the the fifteen year old shit or whatever. I'm not gonna lie yeah, about no. any of that and the DDoS shit. Like. I have a very low, like, I know a lot of people get, like, sketchy as fuck online about being too mean to people or whatever. If people are DDoSing each other, I have, like, a zero tolerance shit for that. If people DDoS and end up getting doxxed or some shit happens, and like, I have no regards for these types of people. Doxing and swatting are two huge problems in online communities that there's absolutely no recourse for and no repercussion for. So, like, if you're somebody that gets DDoSed, you don't get shit for it. Nobody's going to pay you a fucking fine. Nobody's going to help you with anything. And if, um, and the other person doing it oftentimes suffers absolutely no consequences. So yeah, like I saw the people, spotting thing uh, phase went through where yeah, the guy sure, got that, killed because of the wrong address. That's fucked yeah, up. Sure. But but that's even that's not even the mo like that in and of itself is fucked up. But any swatting is fucked up. But the fucked up part isn't just that people do it. It's that people do it. They do it over and over again. They get away with it. And the people that get swatted have no recourse. There's no nothing they get in exchange for that. It's just their lives are massively inconvenienced. And then in this case, you know, a guy's fucking killed over it. Um, yeah, so so yeah, so like if somebody wants to say like, oh, mentally is Destiny is mentally unstable because he got so fucking mad, he said he was gonna kill a kid that was DDoSing him for six months, and even after contacting his parent, he didn't do shit. Like, I mean, yeah, people want to judge me harshly for it. Like, that's fine, I guess. But like, well, I, I mean, but Destiny, uh -huh. in all fairness, if you contacted the FBI and the police and they mm -hmm. didn't find there to be any legal recourse, what are you getting upset about? 
if they think that he didn't break the law and weren't willing to pursue it, it well it's not that, that he didn't break the law it's just that like that kind of like online stuff they just don't care about it at all they just really don't give a fuck maybe it's changed now in the past because i think this was like five years ago again this was like some 2012 shit um maybe they um maybe they care about it more now but but i mean like how can you ask me as i'm losing thousands and thousands of dollars um how can you ask me if i don't care about it Oh, one one, one last question, uh, yeah. and then I gotta, then I got to bounce. This is a real serious question, though, honestly. Uh -oh. So give me a no bullshit answer. Okay. Um, with the esports stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking like the Korean shit where they're doing, you know, fucking whatever they do. I'm talking like American esports, you know, MLG shit. Are those attended? Do a lot of kids show up to those events? Um, they used to, when you say kids, you mean like under eighteen? Under eighteen, yeah. Probably they used to. I never really. I don't like. I don't hang out with under eighteen. I've always been kind of older in esports compared to other people. Like a lot of people get in like right after high school and in college. So the crowd of people I hung out with was usually a, a bit older. Well, I'm um, not asking if you hung out with them. I just mean audience well, attendance. Yeah, well, so yeah. So I only say that because I don't know. There might have been way more, or there might have been not as many. But I just wouldn't have seen that. But I think there used to be like a fair amount. But audiences of like esports and shit have gotten a lot older. So like if you were to go to an esports event today, the the average age of somebody is going to be way older than going back to them like in 2011. Like I'm sure that back like in 2011, 2012 and those MLGs, there probably were, but it's just, it's really hard for me to say, because I can't tell by looking at somebody like, are you 15 okay. or 18 or, you know? Okay. And then my follow-up question to that is, do you think they should hang a sign over the door that says, warning, your child may get fucked by a competitor? I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that's all I wanted. I, I got to jump, guys. Uh, it's been it's been fun. Thank you. Love you, Thanks, Medicare, Jim, Goodbye. Awesome. Oh my God. Hey, uh, yeah, because all there was like mm -hmm. so many tweets sent to me going ab about like about last night. The mm -hmm. like. So, yeah, basically, anytime I get involved in anything in the internet, there's always like these one or two or three things that will come up that people try to throw at me over and over again. But like, this shit has been public for literally fucking five years. Like, there's, not, there's nothing new to say here. Like, people pretend that they're like dropping bombshells and shit. But like, I've I've gone through all of this shit literally in like 2013 before these kids like even knew what YouTube or any of this shit was. You know, as 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 fucked up as everything is, uh, hey, at least you were answering it and didn't do what like Jeff fucking holidays do. Afternoon, guys. Fuck you, Billy. No, hurtful. <laughs> Good morning, hurtful. Billy. Um, morning. I'm gonna have a little bit of a uh, uh, Mike Cernovich lisp because uh, I had some dental. I had some dental work done today, so oh, if I'm if I'm slurring. I'm not. I, I I've just I've gone full uh, McGill Gorilla mindset for this <laughs> fucking call. Uh, now, Billy, do you have thirty six thousand uh, dollars to help uh, uh, Kilroy get to its? Uh... Well, yeah. Let me just let me run out in the backyard and shake my fucking money tree for him and get him their thirty six grand for their their little ball pit. Also, are you so, willing to volunteer? They need some volunteers. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I want to put my time into is volunteering for this shit. So I, I heard mention somebody. I was promised that there's a wizard involved in something. <laughs> yes, did the, someone the, say a wizard? Here comes Bill. Well, well, here's a, there, here's a Twitter in the side chat. That that that's that is the wizard himself, Philip Schlicker. Uh, you know, autistic extraordinaire. Um. Let, let me let me go ahead and get you his YouTube as well. Um, this guy's an interesting character. Uh, he he believes a lot of crazy shit. Um, he uh, what was it? He talked to Legion. You, you know who Legion is, right? The biblical. We're talking about the demon. Is yes. that what you're saying? Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar. Yeah. 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 Uh, in, in, in Legion was possessing a boy, and um, well, Legion was interested in Phil and was like, Phil, you're an interesting character. For you being such an interesting character, I'm going to let this boy go. Go, But first, but first, I am going to have to show you my power. He, he, then, he then shoots up, makes him feel tiny, very tiny, and, and shows his power. Later on he, in his life, he, he ends up summoning a giantess into into uh into his friend's house which i think is kind of rude because you never know so is know. this the kind of dude that like browses x and is uh posting threads about how his tulpa wants to gangbang him and shit like that is that that's a feeling i'm getting already with the giantess shit no no he he it's not like some weird sexual thing it's like, well, you just described Legion said that he he shot up and made him feel tiny, and now we've got a giantess involved. Uh, does this guy have like a? It, this sounds like a fetish. 
No. Already. No. no. Any other size it discrepancies? And his occultic uh, magic arts? Any other uh, I'm shrinking and getting eaten? Maybe he's hanging oh. out with V in a snake's oh. stomach or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. No, he, 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 he legitimately thinks this is real. Um, let me find, uh, let me get, let me get his you now for you as well. Um, I, I just want to make sure you have a, have a lot of information to, to just kind of peruse, uh, you know, at your leisure. And, and, and he decide. said that he had cast spells for, for the election. He had cast a spell yes. on Joyce Sparkle. Well, no, 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 he didn't. He didn't cast a spell. What he did is he critiqued the spell. That someone was casting to influence the election, the the uh, Donald Trump election. He gave spell, what is that? Fucking consultations on spells. Yes. Okay, yes. okay so we got a fucking magician. So let me. Is he a millionaire? I mean, he must he, be. He is, he is a wizard, sir. He is a wizard. Oh, he uses oh I'm that sorry. Word. Let me use the correct terminology. Is yeah. this wizard a millionaire? Is he using his magic? Is he super rich and famous and fucking uh, models he's every day? A, no, but he's a government. Goals. No, he's a government experiment super soldier that is half demon because his dad's not his real dad it's a demon oh oh, oh i'm sorry i didn't realize that uh he's a, a half spawn hell beast all right i i also uh posted his you now there for you as well um i mean you can you know i, I thought you said this was a dude not a teenage girl yeah, why, why are guys using fucking you now that's what i said well I mean, you, you know how they can randomly just throw people in? Uh, I think that's kind of the reason why he goes there, because nobody actually wants to fucking talk to him. They just kind of fall into talking to him, much like a rapist. So how did this guy come to your attention? What What's the angle that the wizard got introduced? Okay, so he, he used to be a, a longtime friend of Joy Sparkle. Uh, BS. Um, and and uh he uh he decided to do an expose on uh on joy he had this long three-hour autistic rant about how joy is a criminal and how how she's doing all of these illegal and immoral things uh also making fun of the fact that she was an indigo child once or she believed in that shit um meanwhile he he believes in summoning a giantess and talking to talking to a coalition of demons um and, and frequently talking to gods as well um because the you know they're very interested in him and, and, and think he you know he's an interesting dude you know fucking philip schlicker i mean magician extraordinaire oh i'm sorry wizard wizard um well okay let me ask this then uh, i don't know what you guys maybe you guys are friends with her or not but i all I know about Joe Sp or Joy Sparkle is, uh, didn't she have some weird thing where she said she could cure cancer and shit and well, I, made a lot of bizarre statements like that? So I get that he's making fun of that. I'd make fun of that, too. Is this just two, is this two lovers fighting each other? Is that what you're introducing to? Actually, according to him, his anti, uh, because his soul is split between a human and a demon that was... Uh, from from accounts uh he it was he it was created in, in like a super soldier type thing his dad used to work for the military his dad has a higher uh, security clearance than the president of the united states um but uh he he has this half demon soul and it's called the anti sometimes the anti gets out and sometimes the anti does bad things uh of which he has no control of um so his anti actually caused joy's cancer of which she cured with pizza toppings uh for, for do you realize how insane both of these people sound oh yes he gave her cancer and she cured it with pizza toppings what the fuck are we talking about this yeah. morning no, that's, that's why i said if you wanted internet insanity like live yeah here, here you go you can have that enjoy billy this is what <laughs> <laughs> so are are these two fighting each other? How did you come across this? Um, well, I I, uh, I originally did a, a video uh, criticizing Joy Sparkle's involvement in uh, Daddy in the Daddy O Five drama. Uh, I I felt like some of the some of the language she, she was using, given that uh, that she she's saying, "Oh, I'm in contact with Tim Conlon, the lawyer, and Rose," and, and I've heard her say things like, "Oh, you guys should let uh, um, uh, I can't remember Heather." Uh, it's the the stepmother to those kids. Uh, let let her her business know what she's up to when she's not on the inter 
or when she, oh, what she's up to on YouTube. And I was like, ah, that's not a good thing to do. That could hurt Rose because then it could look like you're you're uh, doing this on behalf of Rose, and then that could be brought up in court, and that could further complicate her case. Uh, and there were a few other things that you know I I, I, I criticized her about, and then eventually uh, I, I saw she was, she was streaming on EU now, so I was like, oh, you know what? Uh, let let me let me click on that. And so I clicked on clicked on the link from her Twitter, went to the you now, and uh, and she saw me in there. She's like, "Hey geek, hey geek, I want to talk to you, motherfucker." And then we got on there, we had a nice conversation, and and uh, I was just like, "Like, look, you know, I I don't give a shit about any other thing. I I just that's my only concern, and and I feel like I addressed them, and, and we talked, and everything was fine. Well, apparently I didn't get the memo, but I was supposed to hate her. Um. So because I didn't hate her immediately, uh, I, I had all of these uh, crazy people that uh, all the all the psycho people that, that hover around her orbit that decided they hated her. They all now hated me. So <laughs> so they in this Philip Schlicker guy, uh, the wizard, uh, he is he's sort of like in, in a guy who kind of stirs the pot against joy because he has a lot of personal information about her he, and he shares it quite frequently uh, to 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 these people in order to try to you know destroy her character and, and attack her for things that are are in the grand scheme of things pretty meaningless outside of uh, she's weird and quirky and thinks she could levitate back in the day misdemeanors exactly you're you're a fucking weirdo I got it but for, it's it's not. The crazy shit that they end up trying to throw at her just because she kind of, you know, told him to piss off because he wanted to be with her. And the wizard. And, and, uh, an ominous tweet uh, from Philip Schlicker as of approximately one minute ago. So it seems the smear campaign is progressing further. All right. <laughs> I'll just start with the Katie video then. Time to show the world what she. Why don't you guys bring him on? Yeah, Phil can come on. Won't come on. He won't. He won't come on. Bring Phil. I want want to hear what he's got against Joyce. I'm I'm curious. I'm legit curious. Yeah, Uh, Billy. Billy's pretty fucking impartial and will just fucking take a flamethrower to anybody acting fucking stupid. So you have nothing to fear, Phil. Come on in. I, I, I've 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 offered him multiple times to come on. He he he's uh, basically he he was going around. Uh, he he was telling everybody I'm a doxer, um, doing uh, trying to defame me as best as he can, just making up really crazy shit about me. And normally, you know, oh, he's a cuckoo guy in the internet. Who cares? But uh, it, it irritated me a bit. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna mess with this guy. But wait, wait, Sticks is in the audience. Oh, you know, holy shit! It would be fucking fascinating to get Sticks and this guy to talk to each other. Because Styx is into all the occult shit, and this guy thinks he's like a demon baby. So I'd love to listen to Styx <laughs> shit talking. That could be if we can get him. Sure, is it, if if we can get uh, if we can get. Him I mean, he wanted the line out there. I'm putting he, the line. He, he wanted right, a girl. Thanks, I feel this is a great opportunity for his channel. Yeah, he wants to grow his channel. Mm-hmm. There's a uh, one and a half k people having a peak right now. Yeah, How's I mean. Time? Um. By the way, once again, fun, fuck uh, Joy Sparkles for refusing to fight me in, in real life. I think I could have taken her. You're going to win one <laughs> back for the men. <laughs> the, that what you're going for? Uh, has, he, has he responded at all? I mean, if he, he tweeted a minute ago, he should be on then, yeah? Yeah, he has uh, to be hearing that. Yeah. Oh, he, I, I, I've offered multiple times for him to come onto my channel and, and talk because he, I... When when uh, when he was going around saying I was a doxer, I, I asked him a question. I was like, "Hey, Phil, uh, care to explain why you're calling me a doxer? Uh, I, I'd be curious to see what your evidence is." And he immediately blocked me, and then began to talk a, a, a whole bunch of shit and just making up crazy things and and stirring up the crazies that hover around his little orbit. Real uh, talk, if I can get this into a fucking wizard battle, like a fucking, they start throwing magic missiles at each other, and I'm gonna be so happy. That would be the most amazing uh, coup yet. yet. Joy, Joy just sent me. So good. Joy just sent me in the DM. She says it wasn't cancer; it was just tumor. It's a tumor. Well, 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 I'm sorry. Let me be real specific about this. You cured a tumor with fucking pizza toppings. Okay, let me get that out there. Let me. Uh, I, I, I don't think I don't think it was pizza toppings. I think that it was sort of. Uh, 
I think that was hyperbole. It was more like she used like garlic and it just, I know like, I know what she used. She used yeah. the fucking spices. Let's be realistic Still. here, all right? Uh, I know I've known people with tumors that couldn't uh, cure themselves because they put a little extra oregano in their food. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm just being straight up with you. It still sounds wacky to me. Like I, I, st- yeah, I yeah. think she's been fucked over, but I still think some of this shit sounds wacky. Yeah, she's yeah. She's a weird I mean, girl, not a bad is. person. Yeah, there, there, there's not this malevolence that that everybody associates with her. Um, but uh, yeah, so so he ends up blocking me. He's, he's talking all the shit, uh, and uh, and and he was like, so apparently I am a reptile. And I'm like, no, I never said you were a reptile. I said you fought the reptiles because he fights the An- Anunnaki in his sleep. Uh, that, that's what he calls, I think, dream dream work or, or dark time or something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's when he goes to sleep. He, he's he, going for a walkabout? What is he, like a fucking aboriginal from Australia? What, what He's entering he, dream time now? He's banishing the dark. Wasn't that what you call yeah. it? Uh, uh, starving the dark. That's what he, it is. Yeah. He, well, no, that wasn't. That was in a, a message uh, from Joy, where where he was talking about like uh, doing a what was it a worldwide spell? Reading these messages made me want to fucking kill myself. Knowing that this is this is real people. And and, and it, w- what's funny is is like the responses that Joy has. She's like, "Oh, that's nice." Um. So, uh, it's good to see you're working on yourself. <laughs> like, it's like, how do you respond to that? What does he say? I, uh, yeah, I, I just, I really want the guy to show up, and then I want Sticks to just join in, and I want to hear, I want to hear a crazy person say he's a demon baby, and then hear Sticks, who who studied occult shit and understands it, be like, "You're fucking retarded." This this would make my day. Can we make this happen? Apparently. Apparently he can't come on because he's too busy editing a book, which is fucking bullshit. Because you're in the chat, he's you're editing in the chat a for book. Leaving shit. Yeah, that's what he says. He's ed- bullshit, editing a know. book. He can't make it. Yeah. He he's working on his spell tome. He, yeah, he's editing. <laughs> he's a book working on his grimoire. Fucking, he's fucking strip posting in the fucking chat. No. You're you're in the chat. You're not t- you're not editing a book. You're writing in the chat. Get in here. What the fuck? Go, yeah, go to your closet, put on your Someone jacket. Someone is get calling you a wizard demon baby, motherfucker. Come on. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Who, who, who's the person working on their book? No, Six is working on his book. And okay. then Philip, Philip Schlicker, what is his name? Is the demon baby, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Philip I thought you were talking about Philip. Philip couldn't do okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was confused. confused. Yeah, I thought we were talking about Phil. I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, we were talking. We we're talking about sticks because uh, Jim just mentioned sticks. Oh, and, and also, uh, uh, all right. Here, here's another challenge: sticks. I'll fight you in real life. Uh, I'll one v one me. Gee, Wizard combat. Yeah, Magic missile time. <laughs> Failure's just trying to pick fights with like the easiest. He's like, "I'm going one and zero. I don't care who I got to beat." I'll, 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 I'll let you use all your fucking spells. You could fucking bring fireballs and all that shit. Also, I, I've dropped in the side chat uh, the, the the fill file. Um, the fill there's file. A, there's a fill file. There's you a have a file on fill. Yeah, it's kind of broken down to things like supernatural <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just, do you have a pedophile? <laughs> yeah, I'm walking over to you, get it, Peter. <laughs> so what? What is in the uh, what is in the fill file? What what magical uh, accomplishments well, we, does he have? We, we we have in the fill file. We have uh, things broken up into supernatural stuff. Where we have uh, five points here: uh, supernatural comments at Blade Gash, Disquiz comments, Shadow Person and Lucid Dreaming, Ley Lines, Chi and Energy, Meditation. Uh, then we have asshole stuff. Things that where he don't look so good, uh, like suicide thread, follow up on suicide thread, military, 9-11 is fake, complaining at Blade Gash, attempting to get mods to block someone, attempting to get mods to block someone, attempting to get mods to block someone, uh, going to be a drug addict because you change your username. Uh, these all sound like, like greatest hits. Uh, rants about religion, cult. Uh, Tales from the Fedora blog. Jason and Andrew, seriously? I don't know. Uh, Tales from the Fedora blog. One last huzzah, a condemnation, and a statement. Uh, the, and then there's some, there's some really good ones. I mean, there's uh, funny stuff like his deviant art. Uh, uh, his plenty of fish dating profile. What's what's on the deviant art? Oh, 
God, I knew Jim was about that. As soon as you said Deviant on, I said, "Oh, link, here we link go." Me to the Deviant art. Link me oh, to the Deviant Oh, hold on, hold on. Is this is this no longer? Oh no, the archive is not good. What is going on? Oh no! Just send me the uh, URL of the uh, DVD. I, 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 I sent. Oh, okay. Okay, Today is another disappointing day. We have another. First, to start with Destiny declining to come on. There's, no. the, there's the archive link of it. Uh, no, no, this guy's declining to come on. Not found. Well. He pulled down the archive. I'm not. I've only known two it. other people to do that. I've only known two other people to go through the trouble of doing something like that. Who were they? Uh, Just so we have an idea. Uh, one was Haberman. When he wiped Medicare from the face of the internet, he contacted every archive site and uh, just erased it. And there's nothing that's left unless you have a screen cap. And this other was this 13-year-old furry uh, that was getting a bunch of shit uh, because he put up some art that was uh, interesting uh, that involved poop eating. And uh, people archived it, and he got, he got it pulled down. I like I like, I like that Medicare guy. He makes some good videos. Oh boy, yeah. It's, uh, they're not bad. But uh, Habiberman... Uh, the Lord of the 24-Hour Ops, who originally started the forum, is the one that pulled all this shit down. Uh, yeah, no, I need the uh, I need the URL for his actual DeviantArt, not the archive link to it. Uh, I, uh, let me. Uh, I'll see what Just I can find out. What is, Talk is, amongst is, yourselves. You know, you know that Billy's got got to see that DeviantArt. I, I know, I know, I know. I should have been better prepared. Ho- hopefully, hopefully, uh, mm. I can I can wrangle it up. By the way, not only is he declining, but he said he's making a three parter video, which uh, I, I can't take. Zeff said he was going to make us a fucking three parter video, and he never fucking delivered. So I, I, I don't take it. Okay, so the wizard's making a three part video. Mm-hmm. Uh, a three part video on what? Well, well, first it was going to be about me first. Um, he managed to get me permanently banned, IP banned uh, for uh, what was it? Uh, uh, hate conduct, um, which I, I, I've never. Oh used wait, the- IP banned from where? The Twitter. <laughs> for hate conduct? <laughs> yeah. What What was the comment again, Geek? This is gold. Oh, what do you mean? What was the comment again? You're a wizard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, apparently harassment uh, uh, in the hate speech, I guess, was your wizard. So what? And, what? What magical invocation did he use for that one? Was it abracadabra admin abuse? Like, <laughs> you know, like what was what was the spell for that? He saw he summoned the 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 god Report. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm I'm trying to hold on, hold on. Right. I've uh I've been graced with the mm-hmm. deviant art. Did oh, you, you, got did it, you get got a failure? It. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you yeah. got it. You got what I got. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah. That was the next one I was going to type in, Azrael of Windia. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at? Azrael of Windia. <laughs> you, you need to full screen this for people. <laughs> I no, am. All right. Is there anything is unsafe Wait, here? No, no. How old is he? How old are we talking right 37. now? The yes. fucking thirty-seven years old. He's got a oh, bowl cut. To, you have to screen share this with your chat, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm letting them see. I was just making sure there was, you know. This you is know this is a shit a fourteen-year-old draws when he's bored in detention. Like, what what is the thirty-seven-year-old man drawing this for? Well, he he's really into D and D. Of course. He is. So so uh, yeah, um, a lot of this has to do with his little D and D campaign. Or, no, no, no. Or, are we sure or, about that? If if you click on one of these pictures, is it going to be this is a demon that fucked my mother? Uh, Fuck you, Billy. What, what have you fucking created? You fucking what? What art have I created? I don't. Uh, if you can't draw, don't draw. That's a simple Boom. rule to live by. I think. There you go. Can't, don't, please. Hey, you, you know what? You're like, hey, <laughs> this is why you don't hear me singing. <laughs> or drawn because I'm not going to torture people. With the, the thing that I'm really curious about is uh, a third row down, second one in. Oh, what the fuck is that? Looks like a chicken lady. What are this? Scroll down. I want to. I want to read the description for this bad boy. And the no description. It's just there, the there's no. There's no comments added either. Oh. Uh, can you look up who he's following? What art he looks at? Hey. Where do I find that shit? I don't, I don't uh, go to his profile. Go, go to his profile or profile tab, right next to gallery. All right. Uh, and then scroll down a little, and it should it should show some stuff. 
Uh, show some watchers. Uh, shows this artist stuff. Clarification. Wait, he has he has a, a website. I, I don't think it. Uh, uh oh, no, it's Land of Windia. I mean, he is the wizard. Well, of Land he, of Windia. he didn't have another one. All right, there it is. Oh, yeah, chaotic it is. dreams. Oh, oh God. God. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Are you adding God. that into that on the play? We're Cut there. Off failure. It's gonna destroy the story. We're there. <laughs> failure. Failure. You hit, you hit the clicker for God's sake. Failure. 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 <laughs> Dude, you need to turn uh, Halo off so we can fucking read the website. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is that the website? Oh, yeah. this is beautiful. 1,930 visitors. Uh, does somebody want to read that amazing poem, Chaotic Dreams? Uh, I, I, I guess I'll, uh, I'll get. Can I'll you can it. you do it in a voice? Give him look just just for just for funsies. Give him Uncle Paul. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> what was once and yet was lost, now all begins anew. Ever changing destinies. <laughs> I like that guy. Who knows <laughs> what's false from true? New horizons, worlds yet formed, and those still yet to be. Glory and riddles and time. Sometimes time goes too far, especially with children. As surely it ought to be. That's well done. That was nicely done. Thank you, you, Billy. I've always really liked you. You, you just like me because are... my avatar's ten. <laughs> I know what you're doing, Paul. <laughs> and also, you're not a telltale. I, 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 uh, I know how to keep a secret. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> my lips are sealed. <laughs> What is this? Uh, okay. Wait, no, stop. <laughs> what is wait. this? Look at the top. Oh, this is even better. It says message boards. He has a fucking forum built in this. What? I don't get why you guys are being haters. Are just being hey, haters. there's a chat room. No. <laughs> what? what is this? I, I, I would like to also let you know that sometimes I visit his Minecraft. So. Oh, no, there you go. It's the second link. The uh, Yeah, there you go. Oh no! Oh, we're on a fucking little magical adventure right now. Oh no! <laughs> I feel like we've just left the Shire, don't you guys? We got the ring in our pocket. <laughs> we're taking a journey. Yeah, watch out for them ring rays. Oh god! You gotta get across. Oh, there's a lot of me. conversation going on here. Oh let's see, let's god! See if we can find a good area. <laughs> I'm not ready. I was. I did I said it's gonna be a short episode. Let me scratch that. Where, where do we go? Uh, how about we we look a little bit off topic, maybe? Off topic. I, I, feel, I feel I feel like we're I th I feel like I'm eating into content from my Fildo zone. Mm. Uh, maybe some wish list. Wait, does that say know. mom talk? Am I misreading that? What, that, what? Is that, what? <laughs> is mom, that mom, mom talk? talk. Oh, oh, I thought like it was mom talk. talk after what is mom zone. talk? <laughs> that sounds like a Star Trek character. I am Montauk. <laughs> what is the Windy and Times? Does he run his own fucking newspaper by his well, LARPing? Okay, so uh, the, uh, what uh, his uh, he, he's got, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, uh, something of Windy, uh, whatever it is. He's creating his own uh, role-playing world and, and designing his own uh, basically D&D uh, &D type uh, role-playing system. Well, let, let me ask this first, then. I mean, it's funny making fun of him for being a wizard, but is this all? Is he just really into D and D, and this is all D and D related, or is he really believed right. that he's a demon baby? He really believes right. it. Right, so I think you're, give, give give one of his one of the characters. That, that was my question too, Billy. I, and I, I had to see go. some messages, and when I saw these messages where he is directly <laughs> speaking about all this, it's mind fucking let, 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 Billy, let Billy's, Billy's choice. choice. You, you choose Billy. Which which character do you I, want to learn? Really Let's go with uh, Terra Lumina. Damn it! <sighs> Race angelic. Tilly well, it's Law. It's good to know that Terra's female. Yeah, went on a pack <laughs> around oblivion. Pack packed around oblivion. Oh my god! 
Oh my god, her first lifetime. I wonder if these people use the term summer child and mean it. Oh god, <laughs> I'm getting the feeling from this place. Well, he's already doing better than Kraut. Uh, he he, has, he doesn't have any spelling errors that I've seen so far. <laughs> Yeah, it All looks right. like the message board is just dedicated to their D and D shit. Uh, unless you want to go, is there like a social area that's not dedicated go, go to just the, characters? Find this uh, yeah, the the off topic, the off topic, I think would be a good. Uh, what about members? Okay. Well, yeah, uh, go steel. off topic. What's arg? What? Oh no! What is arg? <laughs> arg. <laughs> no, I read the forums while well, you're wrong about that oblivion. We're reading it right now. <laughs> hey, you got you know, 1,500 people reading the forums. Hey, hey, throw throw the link to that in in the side chat. I, I think I think uh, I think people oh, should be able to go read this at, at their leisure. Oh boy, I don't I don't oh. know what the contents of the website are just yet. I have, I have some uh, elements of. Well, no, 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 no. We're just talking about the boards. Maybe yeah, I, I think people should be able to check this out. You know, it's like I, I think it's fair that they that they take a look and make sure. Well, that I'm going to call it we're... right now. I think the message board is pretty much dead. We should probably go back to the main website and see if we can find more magical things related to uh, all of this there. Yeah. Well, it's, it's Active Look 2010. Members HQ, introduce yourselves. Wait, uh, did you say 2010? Yes. Yeah. Five replies in eight years, really burning shit up. <laughs> no, <laughs> like well, in here. one one reply in eight years. The oh no, I was of... looking at the first one, the WCCT exclamation point thread with the whopping five. That's yeah, that's from yeah. November twenty ninth of twenty ten. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hi. Whoop. Holy <laughs> shit! You can tell this is. Holds up Spork. Oh my god, Caddy's oh, a no. member. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. this is the type of shit most people delete when they get a little older because they're like, holy fuck, was I was I gay on the internet at one time? I need All to right, get right. rid of this immediately. This needs to go. This yeah. person Yeah, I, this I person had a poetry is... book that I legit burned. Yeah. <laughs> Back. This person is now 31 years old. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm sure they left this. What, what is that? No, 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 no. What, what does that bottom line say? I enjoy chopping up raw meat and arranging flowers. <laughs> uh, missing dragonfly. Oof. So, uh, what do you mean chopping up raw meat? As in, what, what does that just mean? Non sequitur, you know, shit. <laughs> what does uh, that fucking mean? Guys are just being judgmental. We're be yeah, we're just we're being bully jerks right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> I like the second one, Oblivion. What is this insolence? I know not who you are. <laughs> Do not include me in your messages. Uses. <laughs> Sakura style. Wow. Sakura style. Teleports behind you, m'lady. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Will you RP with me, colon three? Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. People, our people just start fighting with each other in the chat. Just throw fireballs at each other. And throw <laughs> start start uh, RPing in the chat. Everybody, find yeah. your waifu in there. Tiger, uh, uppercut. Oh, oh, okay. Would, fa fa would you do me? Th would you would you go back to the main the main website? Go back to there was a giant I, I list of shit there. Likes the music. I, I What's on the upper left? What do we what no, do we have for defenses options? explained? No, go back. I want defenses. What the fuck does that mean? Go oh, back. it's the Valamon School of uh, of Dark. Uh, what was this? Dark Art? Oh, oh, oh! We, oh. Got, we got something here. Oh, this teachings so of right. heaven. Oh, holy shit! Final Fantasy, really? They got a fucking thing for that. Okay, this is like turning. Anime please, please don't let this go down the same road as the last Final Wall Fantasy Wall forum I heard about, with that fucking. What was it? Uh, oh yeah, this this one. Uh, there's a oh. lot of crazy shit. Um, hold on. This let better me... not be like the Nyberg Final Fantasy forum. I'm oh, not ready. I, I'm 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 gonna hit hit you guys up with something good. Ooh, these these guys like some Mega Tokyo. Nice. You kill me, failure. <laughs> Go back. 
All right. You sure you don't want to see the member's picture? Oh, no, yeah. Go to the member picture one. Maybe that one is worth taking a look at. Uh, where, where, where's the... Where's the shit? Seems like a whole where's... bunch of we rethought this. Some <laughs> I just wanted to post, where? but I didn't want to actually show my picture. Where, where, where's the pictures at? I can't see no pictures. Give me some fucking pictures. All right, maybe... Let me go to the end of the thing. Yeah, no, there's no. Oh, you, know, you know, I gotta go with Tonk on this. I'm kind of curious what defense is oh, explaining. Oh, somebody has the MySpace. Failure! Fuck off! Go back to the fucking <laughs> website. <laughs> All right. Defenses what explained. Was... What the fuck does that mean? Uh, fuck. Where, where uh, is try, it? From try, the bottom. Try, try going to try try going to that link. See if that works. <sighs> oh, God. oh, this is going to be good. This, this oh, is God, weird. this is real. It is, okay, this is him really, oh, God. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Well, this is all for his role-playing game. Yeah, yeah. no, this, is, this looks game-related. Once you get to <laughs> use a defense, it goes into SP. using your body. You, oh, uh, no. I'm telling you, oh. click that link that I just put in there. Oh, scroll guys. down until you hit Azrael. Guys, there's there's lightning bolts in the chat. There's 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 forks being thrown around. Oh shit! We, we got a wizard that? battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what do you want me to click on? Uh, click on that? click on that latest archive link. Down at the bottom right latest. in the uh, chat screen. Is it okay chat. to screen share it, or is it some lame? Uh, no, 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 it's gonna be good. It's okay. gonna be. Good. So go to the, the thing, yeah, the one. The I, I mean, this stuff is, it, it's funny, but it's all related to his gamer D&D. I'm looking yeah. for the crazy shit. Yeah, I, I want to see that that, crazy shit. Yeah. Now, um, <clears throat> go ahead and look at the topic itself. And, 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 uh, and, you know, we see here, anyone believe in the supernatural? I I know, I do raise a zombie. Zombie, go rob a liquor store. Hey. Now, scroll down till you hit Azriel. Mm. Or Azrael. I just want to keep. I, I just want to go in a, and get in the car and keep driving until I hit a tree. That's a, that's a, that's a... Ah, oh oh there, God there go. damn it! Yeah, oh, it's always good when they have a in the first sentence. Where do I begin? Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna, you that's know you're gonna dealing be. with that fucking guy. Hmm. Where do I? Where do I start? Oh boy. Sit down, laddies. It's lecture time. Uh, oof. should I read this? Who who wants to read this? Can my we, my can, brain's mush. Hold on, I was gonna I, I was gonna ask Uncle Paul to pull it. Do we got an Uncle Paul? Oh, oh man, come read. on, come on! You're killing me. Okay. <clears throat> all right, get it, get Edgar to read it. By the way, go sub the geek Thulu for doing all this Uncle Pauling for you. My brain is mush because Tonk has kept me up all night. Talk, talk talk. And, and enjoy. Tonk, uh, why are you doing that to him? I, he I, he just likes to blame I, people. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, 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 oh, no, no. Do I'm doing. I'm doing it for the fans. Uh, <laughs> hmm. One of my favorite topics outside. You know. The <laughs> I know quite a lot about supernat about the supernatural. Where do I begin? Demons attacked one. Attacked by one at three years old. At least that's what the psychiatrist told me. <laughs> well, that's what the psychiatrist told you. Yeah, yeah. He said uh, he, he was a demon. It wasn't your uncle. Shut up. <laughs> He's like, stop tattling. Uh, plagued and followed my family and probably still there. Burned the house down. Unfortunately, that's what Nightmare on Elm Street was based on. And cause various malicious acts. I don't worry about it no more because it's still at the old house. God damn it, this art. <laughs> but they're pretty bad. And you'll find the majority of them on the plane of dreams. Werewolves. <laughs> God damn it, man. This is all. <laughs> well, take, take a breather. Let's talk about the demon part first. Okay. So is there a police the report out there with this guy's family name on it where the explanation for why the house burned down was demons? 
I, w- I want to see the psychiatrist report where he's like, no, 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 he doesn't have a mental disorder, lads. He has. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was attacked by one at three years old, right after the house burned down. Okay, all right, that's good. We so got that. Oh, wait till you get to ESP. Holy shit! Yeah, I, I've 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 read a little forward. What 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 are you doing? What are you doing, failure? The hell? Are, did you screen save us? <sighs> Second worst producer ever. Turn off your game. I gotta play my clickety clack again. I know he's Fucking killing clicky me. Fucking clicker over here, he's Jesus! Killing me, failure. Now on to the werewolves. Oh, tell us about the werewolves, Uncle Paul. Where did they I, touch? I you? show up, Billy. Come sit oh. on my lap. I'll oh, let me hop story. over. All right. <laughs> Thank. Oh, your your bum is real warm. Uh, the beast of Gladendon uh, killed over a hundred and five people in olden England days, including women and oh no, children. You don't do that, werewolves. You gotta kiss them. You go, come here. That's how you get the children. Uh, before being hunted down, killed, and decapitated, I once had a problem like that. But good thing I had my uh, athletic shoes on. I was able to get away. Its size was a little larger than a tall man, Ew. and possessed by invulnerability to most weapons used. Uncle Paul, you want to tell us about the vampires now? Tell us about the vampires, Uncle Paul. I like a spooky story. Tell us about the vampires. Sure, sure, sure. Vampires. My great-grandmother was from Yugoslavia. I kind of sounded like stuck a patty there for a second. <laughs> and she was deathly afraid of them. According to her, they existed, and it... And, uh, I can't read it. It is, it. It's my age. Uh, according to her, they existed, and at the name of Tepe's Dracul, she would be deathly afraid. I don't know. That sounds scary. Who is Tepe? Did did he did he put he put sticks up people's butts? Right. Yeah, kind of like when he babysit. Except they're not sticks, are they, Uncle Paul? <laughs> no, we got, we got. God damn it! You, you're making me break. You're making me break, oh, man. No. Don't fuck up, Paul. Uh, oh, hurtful, hurtful. hurtful. Uh, yeah, let, let's just jump ahead. I, I want to cover the aliens in the ESP. Uh, aliens. <laughs> I've seen UFOs several times, including so at a sorry, security job I'm at a job slow. site. I know you're a little too slow, Paul. You got to keep up. Uh, okay. They exist as ancient paintings, shown. mosaics, and etc. Et have shown. References in the Bible which refer to them uh, from God may actually have been visitations. My dog is now. Thank you for that. He just puked on the rug. Lovely. Uh, ESP. <laughs> as a, as a, I guess I guess Philip cast a spell on my dog, or maybe Damn tried it. to aim it at me and hit the dog. He, he rolled a, again. He, cro- he rolled a critical failure. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, get it all up there. Just fuck that carpet up. All right. Uh, ESP. As a child, I uh, I with my mind alone pushed a series of bars out of my crib. The act of which was caught on camera, and I still have the pictures. I can't do it anymore, though. But I am highly empathet- or, uh, empathic and have high occurrences of deja vu and clairvoyance. You know, when you put the ESP story together with the demon story, do you think he burned his house down? He's talking about getting out of his crib. He was attacked at three. Maybe the attack came from the firefighters trying to stop the toddler from burning the fucking house down. He, no, he he was trying to burn me in my sleep. He didn't like it when I touched the bottom. Oh, nobody likes being babysat by you, Uncle Paul. It's a creepy experience. What? I got all these warm chocolates in my pocket. Oh, yeah, that's not chocolate. Those aren't chocolate bars. They don't taste anything like chocolate. So what? I put a little... I, I dip them in some Robitussin and make you all sleepy. So, okay, so our, our wizard Azrael... Uh, I, wait, how was he attacked by demons if he's a demon baby? Well, he, he he's sort of I I guess he's kind of like the he's like our Doctor Strange I guess I don't know, you know. I call him Bumbledore, but um, I mean he he is he's our protector of the realm I guess. He also has another name that he goes by Valamont. 
Well, see, I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm interested in the crazy shit. We're dipping our toes into it. Uh, Tonka, you said you read messages where he goes off the rails. Uh, can we see those, or the private, or what are they? It was uh, uh, geek geek solved. It was uh, scrolled through. Well, I, I think you really should read read that dreams part. I mean, th th this kind well, of uh, I, well, uh, you know, allow me to. Let's talk about okay. our, our Aboriginal friend here doing his walkabout. Uh, dreams. There's a separate world in between waking and sleeping. I've stepped in it many times. It has its own faces and notorious people, good and bad, and dangers. I've come back with marks and injuries as well as feathers. Wait, I'm sorry. Did I misread that? I've come back with marks from injuries as well as feathers from a fey encounter. They looked like angels but called themselves fey. I'm confused. Dreaming in that sense, it seems like you're moving like normal, although you move there, but there's no movement on the walking world. You can get hurt. And from what I've heard, death is more like a comatose status, or state, permanent. And it all branches out into a lot of places in politics. Some crazy stuff. But it would make for a good book. Lol. So he's he's bringing back... I, I The fair fairies. I don't remember ever seeing a depiction of fairies with feathers. Do you think no. he's like sleepwalking and attacking owls and shit in the backyard? Oh no, no, he would never dare attack an owl. Owls are his favorite thing. Which it, once you peruse his uh, his uh, his YouTube channel, you'll see he had an owl for a bit. Um, now, I I would I would uh, I would like to probably say click on uh, the next page and kind of follow this whole threat uh, from this point on. It, it, it gets it gets it gets good. There's more? Oh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, he's one of these people. Holy fuck. <laughs> Fucking God, it's like eight paragraphs. <laughs> he, he tends to be a bit spurgy. He's a little verbose, is he? I'm getting that verbose. feeling. Yes, yes, yes. I think You I forgot think to I... add dot .com failure. That's going to bring you nowhere. <laughs> there you go, dot .org. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. Uh, basically, Ard Ard had uh, say uh, in 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 the most layman way possible, nigga, you crazy. There's so much shit here. This is such a, this is like female levels of attention try, uh, getting kind of shit. Well, yeah. Like this feels like it came from a teenage girl. Why is a 37 year old man writing this shit? Oh wait, this is from 2002. Yeah, 2002. So that was, holy fuck, 16 years ago. He would have been, well, he would have been 21. Still sad. At 21, I was doing my best to go slay pussy, not dragons. What the what? fuck is this? But I got lucky I was pulled out, felt like someone sucked me up into a vacuum sweeper by a lady who thankfully looked human. She called herself a watcher and greatly scolded me for being where I should not be. I explained everything as I knew it, and she told me that she was confused at this, but I was really lucky. How much do you want to bet this guy who reads comic books? The Watchers are watching. Uh, is there any more from him? Anything that's maybe in digestible chunks? Uh, let, let, let me take a, a looky-loo. Uh, let's see... Because, yeah, it says he put up 618 posts. Uh, I, I'd imagine there's crazy shit in this somewhere. Oh, well, here, here, here's a... Jim, if I sent you something, could, could, could you tell me why this may show up in the Google results whenever I type this in for it? <laughs> well, it depends what you want. This sounds like a setup. What are you sending me? I'm not failure. Don't Fuck, fucking Jim worried about someone setting somebody up. <laughs> hey, let me send you this uh, key phrase. I want you to Google for me. No, Tell no, me no. Don't FBI Google it. Don't for. Google it. Don't you Google nothing. I took, a, I took a screen cap just of what came up when I Google his fucking his name and gimmick here. You type into the search bar PTHC. I don't know about that, but that may be a road you want to go down one day. So that's just. Oh. Are you sending that? Oh, Not unless you want that Chris Hansen fella to stop you. Holy shit! What? I I know. I don't understand 
There again, this is all into this is all kind of rolled out to me and explained to me yesterday. But in yeah. Yeah, if, if for the chat wondering if you if you were to google his username, uh you get a result for Virgin Sun has sex. <laughs> Virgin Sun has his first sex with hot stepmom. What? We getting, we, do we have a little bit of fanfic thrown in here somewhere? Uh, it's, uh, I'm getting uh, I'm getting the feeling maybe somebody's getting into a little bit of kinky stuff. A little uh, colon three, if you will. Well, he's RPing with somebody. <laughs> I, I, I want to hear about these private messages now because that sounds like there's some the, good right, bits you... in that. I I really well I I don't have I don't have access to them right now. Um, I mean maybe there's someone Joy's who does, around. and they are is around, it... but it is Joy Sparkle. Who he had had these well, messages with. Well, Tonka, can you give us an idea of what was discussed in these uh, private messages? Fucking well, super soldier, I'm half demon, and I'm a wizard. Also, I can help you, and you should pay attention to me, lady. Yeah, he was in a, a Facebook... Uh, he was in a a, a Facebook uh, messenger, and, and he was talking to Joy, telling him about his exploits in in his dream work, and and uh, how he fought uh, the Anunnaki uh, in his dream, and uh, he cost one an eye, and he's a bit he's a bit uh, wiser now. Um, the, the the Anunnaki, he he was a great warrior, uh, but he got away, but he's missing an eye. Uh, then he talks about his great uh, spell that he's gonna. The, the world spell that he's going to do. Um, oh, he's casting a world spell. Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that right? That he's is He's casting correct. his own enchantment, is he? Okay. What's yes, uh, he the is. world spell going to do? Uh, he doesn't get too specific, uh, other than it's going to, uh, you know, make a lot of changes. Uh, he, he doesn't really say. Oh, uh, see, he, I wish he's still, still working on the energy, the energy work, or, or something like that. He's developing. Is, is he still in the? Uh, is he still in the chat? Uh, I, I'm fairly certain Sticks would back me up on this, but isn't the size of the spell and the effect of it when you cast it? Doesn't the cost go up drastically? So, what what is he giving up? What is our little uh, Edward Elric giving up to cast his world spell? I wonder. What uh, punishment awaits him for attempting it? Uh, he the real hair. We probably show a picture. Someone's electrocuting uh, the tentacle guy. No, that's oh, a, no. that's a leg spell. Has been cast on you. <laughs> a leg spell was cast. All right, he'll be he'll restart. He'll pop right back in. So how how is this rolling out so far, Billy? Is it almost? Oh uh, well, up? I mean, if it's if it's just D and D shit and it's some crazy oh, it's potion like D &D eighteen. Shit. No, no, I'm just giving you, like, how, if it was just D&D &D shit, and if it was just, like, cringy posts from, like, 18 years ago or whatever, who cares? Yeah. But if he's really, if he really um, believes he's magical and a demon baby and is going to cast world spells and a super soldier for the CIA, that's crazy town. And I love that shit. That's money. As, as of 10 months ago, he he summoned, uh, he was talking about the story where he summoned a giantess and where he talked to Legion. You're, you're cutting in and out. I think uh, I think somebody's you? put the. Uh, it's a guy for buy that mess up my internet. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, a little bit, but how is Cthulhu getting bitched out by an internet wizard? Come how on. is this going down? Yeah, what the fuck? Aren't you supposed to be on a level above that? I feel like I'm being trolled. You're an Eldrick or Eldrick? Eldritch? I don't know how you say it. Horror. Shouldn't you uh, not be able to be fucked with by leg spells? Net neutrality. <laughs> Net neutrality. That's that's the one thing you can't ward against. Okay. <laughs> exactly. You can't get in the way of progress. But no, uh, yeah, it, it's entertaining. But I really want to see the private messages about the super soldier shit, because that's amazing. Have we have we stopped the joy? Uh, you want joy? I can get joy. We can do. We can do it. All right, guys. I mean, if this guy's gonna call her crazy and shit for the cancer thing, I think she should at least be able to say, "Well, this guy's nutty as fuck too." If he's a super secret government agent, demon baby. Uh, yeah, she she's ready. Um, All right, yeah, I'll give her. A, I'll give her the line. It's happening. It's fucking happening. Here we go. Give her a minute. See how this goes. Uh, she's got the link now. Uh, someone else has sent me uh, other messages that they were having with interactions with the fucking. Oh guy. really? Yeah. Oh good. 
Uh, are they insane? Oh, they're insane. They're fucking nuts. Uh, let me go down here. Uh, well, let's see. Demons run from me, and the Anunnaki have left me alone because I'm more annoying to mess with than to pester. 2004, I was part of a group that took a Moloch, the ancient, and took him out. Yes, dead. Off the Bilal. Went through 27 different incarnations of Beelz. Oh my god. Oh, okay. okay. There's I feel no like way. Have... There's no way you're gonna believe that that's what he fucking wrote. So I've got. I'll. I'll show you that. There's no way that anyone would believe that somebody said that shit. He fucking the said demons, that shit. The demons, they run from me. They're afraid of me. Yeah. Here. He fucking said that. That's real. That's fucking real. Like, you, I threw it over. The, you you peep that on your own leisure there, Bedeker. I'll, I'll give you that mess. And like, they sent me a giant pile. But this one enough. This Just this. This is good. This is good. Uh, well, well, let's see. Demons Run for me. Uh, 2000, uh, the group. Uh, wait, in 2004, I was part of a group that took on Moloch, the Ancient. And took him. Oh, he took out Moloch in 2004. Well, I was unaware of that. Oh, it's good to know. Bilderberg Group's going to be a little upset about it, but it's good to know that Philip Schlicker took him out. Oh, he offed Belial. Oh, he didn't just kill Moloch, he killed Belial, too. Yeah. Went through 27 in different incarnations of Beelzebub. And then got dumber by the replacement. Face down Legion. Well, he's, he's just murdering every demon that anybody would ever hear about from Wikipedia, isn't he? Yes. He's going down the list. Apparently, he oh, hangs oh out my with god, Egypt. he's a, he, he, he is, is he the last earthbender capable of four elemental combinations and manipulation that was thought to be impossible? A manipulation of gray energy. Oh, it's a lot better than black or white energy. It's gray in a safe manner that is outright considered flat out dangerous to wield, let alone use. This guy is fucking nuts. Told you. <laughs> There's more, but that one, that's the most insane one that caught my eye out of the giant one that I've let's, got. Let's just before. recap some of the things we know about him now. At age three, okay, well, let's start. His father is a demon. At age three, he was attacked by demons, but he was able to use, use his ESP to escape the crib. The demons, angry about that, burned his house down. Later on, he refined his skills at using elements uh, and combining them into gray energy. Which he used to kill Moloch, Belial, Beelzebub, Legion, among a host of other demons and gods. They're scared of him. He's a powerful individual, and now he's working towards his ultimate goal of casting a world spell so people will respect him as a super-secret Twitter agent. <laughs> it's, uh, it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds completely sane to me. Does he glow in the dark? I do not know, but these messages are nutty. Whew. They are a little out there. Uh, Joy, have you have you touched down yet? Can you hear and we hear you? Hi, dolls. <laughs> How's it going? Okay. Oh, God, please tell me you have messages from this uh, amazing individual that are on level with what we've been reading so far. I, I'm just I'm just going to ask you a question, uh, Billy, just just to start this off. Now, yeah. if if somebody says, "I do not know anything about magic," I am not. Uh, inclined to any of the occult things. I don't believe in any of that shit. Now, if you saw this person's name and you saw these words, now what would you think? What, what, okay, what would I think is somebody who's uninformed on magic? What are you asking me exactly? Well, would, would you think that this person does know a bit or, or is at least interested or... or, 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 or this, this guy or knows what he read from D&D &D and Wikipedia. First off, Faze don't right, have right, right, fucking right. feathers. Right. Well, okay. I, I I wasn't going that that route, but but you would you would see him as someone who thinks he knows and, and is putting himself out there. Like that. Well, that's why I use the term LARPing. It it sounds like something you'd like read from like a thirteen year old on their DeviantArt. I'm not even like just saying that to like shit on DeviantArt or thirteen year olds, but like this is the sort of shit you would run across on like a a forum or something from the age we were looking at, like two thousand two to two thousand ten. Um, where people would put out really just dumb shit like this and get laughed at by other forum goers. But uh, no, I don't believe that he is... I, I do not believe that some 37-year-old dipshit on the internet has killed Belial. And no, I, I, no, I'm not asking if you think it's true. I'm asking if you, you think that he believes this. If he's repeatedly telling people this, yeah. I, 
uh, uh, like I, I'm putting aside all the D and D shit. Whatever. I know people really love that game and get into it. That's cool. they're fine. That's fine. Yeah. But like, if he's telling people this shit and he's he, and it's repeated to different people and different His conversations, is long as shit, man. Yeah. Uh, no, I think he. I think he believes it, which is probably the first sign that he's a little, a little off balance, a little, uh, uh, a little, you know. Somebody uh, done stole the fucking marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms box. It's fucked up in here. But uh, Joy, um, did he send you any shit like this where he told you he was a demon slayer and he needed to watch out? He did. Also, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Metacron. I'm a big fan. So I'm sorry. Oh. I'm fanning out for a second. No, he he did. I have I have years of messages. I haven't gotten through them all, but <laughs> I've got years some gems. of messages from this no, guy. Not, yes, ten years. You've yes. known this dude for ten years. Holy shit! That's I well, I have. We're, we're internet friends. We have met one time. Um. So and there were years we didn't talk. So it was on and off. You know, it's not like we were super super close. But yeah, we somewhat knew each other. And the the story goes. Anytime I would ask. You know, how are you doing? I would get a diatribe of craziness, and I never knew how to respond. I was just like, okay. Oh, so <laughs> well, he, he was telling right. this shit just over and over. So this isn't like a new occurrence. He's been talking this shit for a decade. Correct. And and what what the issue I have now is that um, he, for the last year, has been harassing, and it's not just like oh my hurt feelings. You know, this is like legitimate. Just he's constantly pulling up. He's doxed. He's 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 been a part of help doxing me. He's done interviews on Lil Cal and given out information on former exes, former friends, did interviews on anything he could think of, and put out uh, that I have herpes, which is not true. And he put out a bunch of private messages to try to prove his point. Um, he's done a lot of stuff, and the reason I'm speaking up uh, is just because it's gotten to a scary point. Uh, this was in the last, what, week or so? I went on GeekStream. It was the first time in a year I had said anything, because he's a, he is a former friend. I don't like to talk shit on, on former friends. Um, and the reason I'm speaking up is because now I'm getting nonstop threats from him. What, like, the, the, one of the last ones was, I'm going to crush your skull with a tire. The, and every, this, <laughs> no, this is not a joke. Like, this is, back that up. Back, back that one up. He said he was going to crush your fucking skull with a tire? Yes. Like, I'm sorry. I know I'm laughing, but this is a nervous laugh. Like, I'm to the point now where this is really serious and I'm scared. And I've asked him repeat. Like, this is the second time I'll do this now, Phil. I'm sure you're listening. Stop. Stop. You have to stop this. I This is scaring me. Like, I'm not okay with this. Now he says, like, at, he says, there are tweets and I'm paraphrasing. Like, every time Geeks opens his mouth about me, she's going to pay and she's going to suffer. Some of them are just thinly veiled, and some of them are are pretty direct. Um, he's like, and this is breaking laws at this point. Um, he's one of the reasons I deleted my channel. There was a lot of conspiracy theories. It's because people like this scared me, and he has also been working with people to put out my information. Like they they have a, in his Discord server, they have these nerd groups and these nerd meetings in their war room. Where how can we ruin her life? And the people he'll work with will say, "We're not going to stop until she's in prison or she's dead." So what I'm concerned about. He, to me, seems like a pussy, but I'm now at the point, I've never seen this guy this unhinged. I don't know how far he's going to go. Is he going to show up at my house? Is he going to send people here? So this is why I'm speaking out, because I'm at the point I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, sorry, that's kind of long, do, but... Do you have, like, and in the, no offense, but I don't fucking know you, so sure. you could be making it all up. Do you have any screen caps, any of this shit, or any of the messages saved? Absolutely. Can we, can I have can we every... see some of this shit? Um, what would you like to see? With what like, give, I'm sorry, there's a lot. <laughs> uh, he's, give he's give me a, a, a sampling of his crazy shit, uh, a couple crazy messages and maybe some threatening messages so we can kind of see what he sounds like. This is a highlight saying. reel. Absolutely. Now, here's here's my only concern. Literally, it's perfect timing. I, I got a dog and she's barking to go outside and I have to take her out. Um, I do have stuff and Medicare, if you want, I can send you all of our messages. I can just download the file and send it to you. You, know, you can download from... Uh, from Facebook. So if you guys give me like five minutes, I'm going to get her out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can hear why. Go, go ahead and jump out and then pop back in when you're ready. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah. Give me just, I'm sorry, guys. I hate to be rude, but I, I don't want to let her, I don't want to let her this, sit here when she has to go. Is, this is a good opportunity because I actually, uh, I found one more gym and I shot it to Jim. Oh, well, let me take a look. I'm fucking, I can't, man. This is, this is internet people. <laughs> I can't do internet people. Like, this is your forte. I laugh at this shit, and I can get worked up over this shit, but I don't understand these fucking people at all. Well, okay. Uh, holy cow, what a wild and windy day. The weather is excellent, but the winds are pretty strong. 
a lot of tents got blown all over the place. Thankfully, mine is weighted down enough from the padding and such that it's staying put. Still, this energy, I have my suspicions. I would not be surprised if someone else was doing this. The weather is fine, so the wind should not normally be acting in this manner. Clear skies, no real changes in direction. That's all right. Two can play at this game. I have no, I know I've done or felt this before. In fact, I'm sure of it, which means I can beat it. And then somebody responds, I know a couple of weather witches. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I know a couple of weather witches uh, if you need help. And he responds back, sounds like a plan. We need a weather shielding that will take this energy out of the attempted weather manipulation and convert it into positive energy over the area attempting to be affected by the weather change. Sound feasible? This is uh, weather witches, huh? I didn't know. Uh, I, I did not. I did not know weather witches were a thing. Gooey glued, gooey, gooey glued. Gooey <laughs> glued. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know. Chat, uh, uh, is there any weather wi or weather witches in the chat today? Could you could you press a one if you're a weather witch? Weather witches. Uh, we may need to use your energy later on for the battle that's coming. You share your energy with me. It's fucking Dragon Ball Billy. Always get a spirit bomb the shit out of the weather witches. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Well, it appears we have a few. Oh, we've got a fucking coven. Look at the amount of weather witches in this fucking chat today. Weather witches, please respond. I'm loving it. Mystics, oh, is, please respond. This is amazing. Okay, yeah, see, now this is getting interesting. Now now, I, now it doesn't sound like it's just D&D &D shit. Now it sounds like he's legit really into this. This is a guy you'd run across on X. This for... Oh, it gets better, too. There's more. <clears throat> it's... I, I had titled this Internet Insanity Live with Mr. Medic. Is it living up to it? Is it, is it getting there? Is it a rabbit hole sufficiently yet? Well, if, if Joy comes through and she's got some really crazy shit, we might have some fun with this. Good deal. Um, uh, I got, it, it feels like this is the kind of guy that would have a blog where he talks about this kind of stuff. It feels like there should be a blog account somewhere, maybe a live journal, e maybe e a MySpace, a live where he e writes about his magical e adventures. There's something on Amazon exactly Fire, you know it. He's, he's actually, it, it appears what he's trying to do is he's trying to hide it. And uh, hence the reason why my Twitter is now IP banned. Um, because he doesn't want people to know it. He doesn't want people to dig into it. Uh, because he's criticizing Joy for being the indigo child or believing that shit. So it's kind well, of I mean, hard. That's, that, that's fine. If you want to make fun of her for that, that's fine. But like, it's hard to... If you're gonna cast those stones, you better not believe in weather witches. You know what I mean? Right, right, exactly. That's that. Nice that's my glass point. stilts you're standing on there, buddy. <laughs> right. I'm just amazed that he specifically said Moloch. That that really caught my no, attention. No, he Back named in names. Woo. Well, what, what's he ironic? Isn't names. isn't Moloch uh, its physical manifestation an owl? Uh, well, yeah, that, that's why when you were like uh, earlier when we were talking about feathers and you said his favorite animal is an owl is kind of weird, right? Yeah, he must have been torn up trying to fucking kill Mole. Like He's just like, I don't know what to do. It's like an old yeller moment for him. Um, Yeah, no, I don't remember the Bilderberg people ever saying, our God's dead. No more wild parties in the fucking forest. <laughs> you know, or whatever, whatever group it was. I can't. I haven't watched enough Alex Jones lately to remember what crazy fuckers uh, were out in the woods worshipping Moloch. I, may, maybe it wasn't Bilderberg. I can't remember which one it is, but it was some pol uh, political rich people group that did that. Yeah, I'm sure Chad can help the, us. The Weather was, Witches uh, can help us. It was the Bohemian Grove. So yeah. Oh, there we go. Bohemian Grove. There we are. Yeah. Holy shit. Is he the reason? Oh, maybe he, maybe he really is responsible for Hillary not winning. If he killed her deity, <laughs> that would explain no, why she didn't win the election. You know, you you went way deeper with that than I ever would have. It's fucking, I would have never even. I I ever. love crazy shit like this. It's fucking great. It's good stuff. I I, it's, I thought I thought you might like it. I like it when you do it. I I don't like to have to be here in the crime scene with you. Like it stinks in here and shit. Well, yeah, but I mean, like. <laughs> I mean, my... if, I were, if I were going to do a video on this, I'd need way more. I mean, that's the problem. You'll come across stuff like this occasionally where you oh, get like a few oh, crazy more. tidbits, but I need, there has to be, I refuse to believe that there's not, there has to be a blog out there somewhere 
the amount of writing this guy did on that forum, he's got a blog out there somewhere where he talks about his daily witchcraft activities, and I need to read this. Well, his Facebook oh. seems to be quite a catalog. As I slept, I died. As I awakened, I'm alive once more. I suppose <laughs> that this is what the ancients were referring to last night. All that remains is to ascertain where things are going from here and then to act on it. How very curious. Yeah, there, there, there is, a, there's a lot more. Yeah. And like, I, I have a, uh, I, I have a, I have a huge catalog of stuff because I've decided to do the Fildo files. Um, so, or, or the Fildo zone. Uh, um, but like it's amateur hour Medicare that I'm doing basically, you know, just taking the piss out of this guy. Um, well, it's it's not an original idea on my part. People have been making fun of idiots on the internet since the internet's been around. So, I, I don't have like that. That's not like a, a genre I have cornered. Feel free to do whatever you like. But yeah, he also I, I'm telling you, there has to be a blog. You really need to dig because there. I know it's out there somewhere. I fucking know it. He also has the Occupy Nashville blog as well. He was part of Occupy Nashville. Um, I, oh, I think well, we all remember how successful Occupy Wall Street was. I'm glad they had the wizard on their side. They accomplished everything they wanted to do. I, 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 I think, I think uh, the the response to th that that one tweet about the the weather witches is when he was out doing the Occupy Wall Street or Occupy Nashville. Oh, you know what? That's that actually. Let me let me double t let me take a look at that picture, and we'll see if we can line up the timeline. That's a good observation. That might be. Uh, Chad, I know that uh, we've kind of neglected being able to talk to you a bit here, but you're getting kind of an inside look at what it looks like when Medicare sees something crazy. This is what it sounds like. This is what it looks like. Holy shit, you are correct, Geek Thulu. Oh, that, that is related to Occupy Wall Street. He was using weather witches during Occupy Wall Street. Holy shit, nice catch. <laughs> what? <laughs> We need to look over archival footage from November uh, after uh, uh, Occupy Wall Street was up and running to see if we can capture like an individual out there in like a you dark robe. You think he actually did it? You think he landed it? I, I, no, I'm telling you. I bet there's a, a there has to be a video out there somewhere of some dude in robes chanting to the sky, telling people that him and the weather witches are going to clear the way. Well, uh, from what I understand, um, he actually had a sign. Uh, where he was saying "end slavery now" or, or "free the blacks" or something like that, or "free, free black people." Uh, I can't remember what it was. You'd have to probably get that info from Joy. I haven't sourced it yet. I just got a lot of information recently, so I haven't been able to delve through everything. I've just been kind of going through through it piecemeal because I just started this little series like a week ago, so I haven't been able to fully. Uh, for, uh, for the chat listening, uh, geek, what uh, maybe somebody will be a better detective than we're being right now. Uh, what's his user handle? What what's the main user handle he has? They might be able to look up something and find that, like a blog. He, he's got a he's got a few that he goes by. Uh, let me actually pull up because I don't remember how he spells his uh, spells uh, his his one character's name. His because he, uh, he, he kind of looks at, him, at himself as this person called Valamont. Um, <clears throat> I just need to remember how to spell that name. That's fine. Yeah, take your time. Let's get a quirky spelling. All right. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'll put it I'll put it in the side chat and I'll just copy and paste the rest of it. So that that's uh oh, oh, okay. that's like a character's name and then the Does he thing... use that to identify himself on forums, though? Like, we, we were looking at the uh, Azaziel or whatever the fuck he called himself. A that... As Azarel? Yeah, but it, it was... Azarel is he... another one. Uh, how do you spell it? Spell it for us. I, it's A-Z-A-R-E-L, I believe. Uh, okay. Let me, and then the let other one verify. was Valamont uh, chat, which is V-A-E-L-E-M-O-N-T. So, Azrael and Valamont, which are pretty generic to be honest but <laughs> if you hear an account with those usernames talking about weather witches you're on the right track as a as a rel, let me make sure yeah yeah i spelled it right um <clears throat> what was the other one what was uh uh i think those i think those are the two that he goes by and then of course you know you've got your your standard philip schlecker Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I guess uh, his Twitter handle it's uh, T H A T F A R P H I L L I P S 
guy. So uh, that Phillips guy. Yeah. I think there's another one. Oh. So I'm going to. But I mean, if, if he's invested in it, uh, was there a number after the Azrael thing? Was it like somebody said Azrael 13? Was that what it was? Uh, I think that was that. I think that's like his Yahoo email address. Oh, I, I'm looking for like usernames. If he's had like a consistent one for a decade, there's well, probably uh, good Stud, Stud Puffin in here uh, has. Uh, oh, where was it? Stud Puffin has uh, Damien Shadow 88. Damien Azrael. Shadow 88. Yeah. Damien Shadow 88. Is that, is that um, Damien as a uh, D A M I E N? Or how is it, how is here, it spelled? Right. I'll put it in there. Those are the, the other. So D A M I. Okay. See, those will be way easier to find. Okay. So here you go, chat. Damien Shadow 88. D A M I E N S H A D O W 88 or Azrael 13. A Z A R E L 1 3. If you could find a blog related to either of those usernames, that would be fucking amazing. I'm I'm just looking myself at the moment. Tonka, how you liking? I know this is different than Internet Blood Sports. What do you what do you how you feeling? Oh, this very very interesting peeping behind the curtain kind of thing here for a lot of people. Uh Plenty of uh, comments in the chat have said this it's is a, a lot. This this is what it must be like when Jim comes across this kind of thing. This is forensic Jim so, videos here. Like inside the actor's studio, you know. That's what it is. <laughs> it's between two ferns with Billy here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we could uh, we could entertain you with the crazy shit that happened to Geek. He got he lost his Twitter over, and that's what pissed him off. God rest its soul. It was a beautiful Twitter. As soon as he, like, I was just like, oh, it sucks your Twitter got stolen. And he's like, yeah, fucking wizard took it. Is that a wizard? He said, yeah, and he's a super soldier. And a super soldier. He said, and a fucking demon. And I'm like, All right, geek, hold on. We, let's, let's, let's go have a power. Yeah, it just sounds like rantings of a, of, of yeah. a madman. I'm just like, saying, a wizard stole my Twitter. <laughs> <It's> fucking... <laughs> you know, it's like, it's hard to take me seriously when those words are coming out of my mouth. He summoned a giant. <laughs> Why? Well, I found something for Damien Shadow. Aries Lasik. Uh, that probably is not him. Uh, what do we got here? Let's take a look under this. Oh, God. Uh, there's, there's a picture that you'll never be able to see, Geek, because you're kicked out of Twitter. Oh. It's, it's a damn Careful. shame. Uh, here, I'll find it. Why, why you gotta rub it in, man? Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna find it, and I'm gonna show I'm it fuck, to you. I'm fucking bubble boy over here. Oh. It's uh, dedicated to you. From oh, our, yay. Our boy, Jack. <clears throat> I love Jack. He's a good, he's a good egg. There, there you go. There you go, Geek. Little screen share action for you. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, he's updated. Before it used to be, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Mystics, please respond. Mystics, please respond. Weather witches, please. Oh, our boys into Minecraft. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh. In between, in in between our file share, and we jump into to a server, and you know we talk. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Talk about the Minecraft, huh? Sure. That's what we. That's what we tell everybody. Uh, you've been tagged in something, Billy, from Altigro Alias on Twitter. Oh, oh, he's it appears uh... to be a blog. Oh. I'm glad I. Has somebody that. found? Has somebody found something already? Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, chaotic, uh, chaotic dreamers Inc. is also another username. He would be correct. Somebody was bringing that up. Oh, there was a blog on Lands of Windia, but I, I think that's related to his gaming shit. I, I or uh, his D and I don't think that is related to to other shit. Uh, he's into Roblox as well. 
<laughs> Roblox. So am I. Coincidence. Oh. We need to share Steam account information. <laughs> I don't know. It, like I said, it, it is interesting, and there's some funny stuff. But I, I, yeah, I need, I need more. I need a lot more Wait, to keep my interest. Joy, come back, Joy. Come back into the light. Maybe he hexed her and she got hit by a car. He cast a, yeah, he cast a, a spell. Maybe a weather witch uh, sent a tornado at her house. We'll never know. She is in the Midwest, man. Tornadoes are a motherfucker. So it must be easier to summon one. I mean, he summoned a fucking giant. I mean, how hard is a tornado? Somebody in your chat said she's busy faking the messages. She'll be back when she's done. Oh, they ain't fake. <laughs> I've seen them. We, we read through the blast. Same ones I saw last night. Then, yeah. And they are quite some messages. Yeah, there's there's cringy stuff, but I, I I need to see like the mother load to be like, okay, this guy is completely fucking insane. Oh, well, that that's when you're gonna want to, you when know. When he gets your... mad that he says the best shit. I I mean you, I mean you could watch my videos. Uh, or, oh, or, nice little plug there, geek. Uh, um, but you know I, I do a lot of jibber jabbering in between. So if you want like the you know. The, the straight dope uh, you would probably want to go to is you now and uh, but there, there's a girl that kind of uh, we decided she looks like a porcupine she's got like a cartoon porcupine face um, and uh, in the uh, what is it uh, oh, oh I'll find the the wizard Trump one I wish uh, failure is here we could just kind of play that you know, we might need some protection given the dark forces we're dealing with, and the only person we really know because Styx is busy, you know, editing his book. We might need a gypsy yeah. to uh, cast some <laughs> magic to protect us. Gypsy's not. I, I've already, I've already asked V if, if his gypsy magic is more powerful than his uh, wizard, but uh, he, he claims the, the gypsy claims that his uh, his power is greater. I don't even know if that's a real site. Occupied Fedora Tales? What? Is, that, is that a real fucking site, chat? What was the URL? Occupied Fedora Tales dot blogspot dot com. I don't, I don't know what that is, but I'll have to take a look later. Occupied Fedora Tales. This is the good. This is a good day. This is a good. This is a good morning. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm looking through the username, trying to find stuff. But it's just a lot of video game shit, Steam account or Roblox, Minecraft, that kind of banal shit. Okay, that's what that blog was about that they had sent. No, no, no. I, I was looking up like the the Azrael username and shit, oh, okay. but it just likes back to gaming stuff. Nothing really oh. interesting. Okay, he, here here is his uh, uh, video called Witchcraft vs. Trump: A Lesson in Stupid. Oh, he has vi he has videos. Yes. Oh, I get to hear his beautiful voice. Wait, he has a video called Witchcraft versus Trump? Right. Get the circle. Where's the circle? Where's where's my circle? Hold on. Oh, uh, you want me to, uh, Well, here, you, you do it so you can Hold control it. I don't it. know how to do it. but my You don't know how to do a my circle. What I'll figure it the fuck out. All right, the producer is fucking I'll dipped out of here. Uh, this looks like a video talking about somebody else casting spells. Right, he's critiquing it. Oh, I, I thought telling this was them him how to do it right. Casting a spell. Oh no, you, you have to go to you now uh, for him talking about casting a spell. But uh, it appears we have uh, uh, Joy Sparkle back. Oh, so sorry, guys. My she, my dog takes a while, and she's old, and I don't want to rush her. So <laughs> didn't mean to uh, didn't mean to be gone so long. But yeah, I have some I have some fun goodies if you like. Wait, I thought you said it was a new puppy. She's new, but she's old, so she's a rescue. We got well. She's new. We got her in September, so she's new for us. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you have the uh, messages? I do. Um, give me just a second. So what I'm gonna sh what what I'm gonna be reading, and like I said, Medicare, I'll have to. If you want, I'll have to follow it up with actually showing you because it's years and years of stuff. So what I'll what I have right now is just a shorthand where I've copied and pasted. But if you want to see the actual stuff, I'm also happy to show that to you. So, okay. Let me. Okay. Hold on. I'm Here, pulling up documents. I will blink out the screen. Just in case you fuck up and show show wrong bits, because I don't I don't know what kind of file searching you'll be doing for your screen share. Oh shoot! 
Would you, okay. you guys want me to share the screen? Do you want me to just to share? Like, okay, hold on. Um, let's see. Give me just a second. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't prepared for this. Okay, so because this is on Facebook. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to dox anybody. Is it doxing if I like if I well, show I our message? Out. Yeah, I blink okay. it out. Nobody can see but the us in the room. Okay, give me just a second. And by the way, it's years of stuff, so it might take me a little bit. That's why I have like a shorthand version. Um, okay, just a second. Is it screen sharing now, or do I have to click the buttons? Click the uh, buttons. <laughs> yeah, still doing it. Okay. It's been a while. Where is he? Okay, there it is. Actually, let's shoot. I'll do see all in Messenger. That'll be easier. I wonder if I can just search our specific messages. I've never, I'm sure I can. I've just never done that before. Hold See on. if you, I can make it easier. To, when you hit the screen share thing, you have to click the share the blue share thing again, and then don't click the blue button once it's down there. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> you might have to. I, I hope I don't screw this up. Give me just like, a second. Yeah, it's been yeah. a minute since I've done this. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I see the button on the left. Okay. Did it? Is it working? Okay, so here we go. So if you can see, this is my Facebook. If you need me to actually like log in and go through the process, because people will say, oh, I faked it, I can do that too. <laughs> like I'm happy to do it. Um, so you can see on the left-hand side, you'll see his name. And so yep. these are the last messages. How do I, and I'll scroll up just so you can see, and it's gonna, it's gonna also take a while to think. It's uh, lots and lots, because it's years and years of stuff. So <laughs> I'm not sure. I know I have the dates on some of it. How do I look this up on here? Oh, and for chat wondering, she's scrolling through it, so it's not like an HTML edit. It's legit Facebook messages from him. Now I do have, I have copy and paste, but I know you're wanting to see the real thing, and I'm sorry, I just wasn't prepared, so this might take a minute, because I just don't know. Let me see, let me pull up my, uh, my other document from him where is, is that at okay so this is some of what i copy and paste let me i'm just looking at the dates okay let's see okay so this one is if you can see up here i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to find the date it's gonna take a minute so it says 9 15 2013. i wonder if i just like do a search for ananaki or anti you guys because. have been talking on Facebook for five years. Ten years. Oh. You, you are not helping yourself. That's... And when did things turn bad between you two? This is where it gets weird. I still have been unsure of what happened. I'll tell you what I think happened, and I can show that by proving messages and emails and things. So when I first got on YouTube, um, you guys probably know what LolCal is, obviously. Uh, somebody made a thread on there, and I like I, I was talking to a geek and Tonka last night, and they understood I'm not internet people, so I was scared of it because I thought it was like a doxing hacker website. I didn't understand it. So I knew Phil knew the weird stuff. So I reached out to him, and I was just kind of venting about, I'm kind of scared. I don't know what this is. And he was like, leave it to me. I've handled people like this before. Put me on your YouNow streams, because I was also on YouNow. And I was like, okay. So I guessed at him a few times, and through that, you know, the people who were fans of me became fans of him. So it's a little bit of a story, but the, the shortened version is that, and this is my understanding of it, is that uh, Onision wanted to debate me. And I said, okay, I'll debate you. And he was just, he vehemently told me, you cannot debate this guy. You can't, you can't, you can't. And I said, well, and he told me why. And I said, well, he was like, it's going to end awful. This guy's a narcissist. You can't do this. And I said, well, I appreciate it. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. You know, I'll see what I'm, I'm going to do. I said I would debate him. I'm happy to. You know, I, I kind of going back and forth, but I don't see why, you know, I can't have a conversation. So I ended up debating Onision. And he lost his shit. I, I have the messages. I believe I can show you guys towards the end, like the last messages. He was upset because I decided to debate Onision, which made me a manipulator. That's literally what I know. So he started this incredible hate campaign for over a year <laughs> of, of all the crap that he did because I did not take his advice. Okay. So that would have been uh, what is so within the last year then? We, uh, February, March. 
Okay. Somewhere in there. Yeah. So it's been the it's Daddy been about a year thing. and it was a, the Daddy O five thing was kind of the impetus for all of this shit to come rolling in this weird way. Right. He started before then, but he funny enough, um, he teamed up with Nick Monroe based Mama and Chambers in this effort. I know because I have the emails and Repsion. This was Repsion's source on my video. This is not a joke, by the way. I can prove this. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> Unfortunately. It, it is indeed not a joke. And I'm sorry, if you see at the top, it's just taken forever to load stuff. I don't, I don't know how to make well, it go through. And we can look at the older ones, too, if it takes a while to scroll through. But do you have anything uh, particularly nutty? You said he sent a death threat recently, right? Uh, is that in the Facebook messages? No, that's actually on a twit long from his Twitter. Uh, yeah, give me just a second. Uh, is here, that here? I'll, I'll find the, the, the twit long. The twit I got it. Longer. I got yeah. it. Yeah, if you, yeah I don't know if you guys Christ. can see it. It's, all, it's up. Yeah, I have... I'm archiving stuff left and right because this is scary. Uh, do you want me to just read it out loud? I mean, I can read the whole, Jesus it's kind of long. Pads. I mean, it's it's fucking lanky. I'm sorry, what? I, see, you know, I, I saw the ass and, and on the advertisement there and also those tabs. But... No, I do. I'm, I'm such a serial tabber. <laughs> I really am. It's like fucking Devin Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, I, I'm looking here. Uh, I don't. I can just. I don't know if you want me to read the whole thing or just try to find it. Um, I, I just want to see like him going off at you uh, from him, or uh, him saying crazy shit to you. Uh, oh yeah, something that, like that. Oh, that's just his Twitter, honey. We can we can just go on his Twitter. Like he has these. He has these. These. He. If, if I remember correctly, there was about four hundred tweets about me and Geek in three days from when I first streamed with Geek and was and we were laughing about this situation. And there were several, several threats. I'm going to ruin your life. I'm going to this. I'm going to that. And a lot of them were, even though like I, they are threats and they can be considered threats, they are pussy lightly veiled. But this one talks about there's something in here where he's going to run my skull over a tire or something. Well, yeah, you can't, and, you can't blue ball me. You can't tell me you send any death threats and then walk it back and it's like veiled shit. I, I need, like, if he's saying he's going to crush your head with a tire, I definitely right. want to read that one. Right. Just, and that one's just, in here. Here it is. I got it. And, and I got it. There you go. Oh, okay. So he says, meanwhile, giving me yet more to hang them with. Like I said, I have a good idea of what Geek plans to throw at. It's only going to throw J Joy Sparkle BS under the bus with the tires firmly parked on her skull. They gloat today, rage tomorrow. And yeah, that's not, that's that not, that's not that's really, that's the, not the, a death threat. Right. Being thrown under the bus, that's not the same. Yeah, that's not, I, it's not a death threat. I gotcha. I understand. So I'm not trying, and so forgive me if I'm not explaining it right. I'm not saying he's given me any death threats, but I am saying there's been a lot of, of very what come across to me and ever people as threatening stuff that makes me scared because he's acting so unhinged so forgive me if i didn't explain that right but that stuff like this where i'm just like i don't know like because he's acting so nutty i don't know how literal this is i don't know what i don't know what's going on with him and that's why i'm scared i can pull up his twitter and show some other stuff why is it that people can't spell my name right look at that geek thulu walks on water silent h fucko you and your silent H. That's what uh, it pisses me off. Let's see if I the can thing, pull stuff up. The thing where he it was in it, we were looking at the messages yesterday. I there were a fucking lot of them, but you had stopped on one where um it was something about uh he was trying to explain to you how to fix your life and he he was using his uh his magical voids, explaining it very magically. Yeah, yeah. Um, shoot. Like I said, I just I didn't have anything pulled up. I have I, I have stuff in a document that I can I can like I can read off and this then is I can why show. You can't talk to crazy people for ten years. Okay, you. Had... I didn't I didn't know the extent. Like, and I was you know, and I've been very open. I was a weird new ager for quite some time. So like, I, I mean, I had never met anybody who went as far as he did. If that makes sense. So I I mean I just. I never kind of knew how to respond to any of this, but I was kind of like, well, I, I was into weird shit and I still like a lot of the weird shit. I don't want to judge him. Like that's always where I've been coming from, which is, I just, I didn't know this part of him. I didn't know this very, Oh, I know. I'll, I'll judge him. I mean, if he's going around saying he's <laughs> that killed the devil. Yeah, no, I'm going to, I'm going to laugh at that. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, if you have, yeah, let's, let's hear some of the weird shit, I guess. Let's, let's hear okay. some of the weird shit he said. Do you want me to just read what I've copied and yeah, pasted? I, I, and, I'll, okay, I'll, okay. Yeah, if you copied and pasted, I'll take your word for that. Yeah. Gotcha. And like I said, I, I just learned this. You, I can download the messages and send them if you need to see for later reference. I'm happy to do that because I can back up no, what I mean, I'm saying. I, it just I takes a while. Screen, yeah, I can see from your screen share you're scrolling through a legit Facebook inbox. Or, inbox, ta or right. Facebook Log inbox. Inbook. I, it's, <laughs> I, His mind's so fucking blown They put so much moment. fucking... 
they put so much no I told you I'm gonna be talking like Mike Thernavith for a while. So they put so much Novogain in me. It's <laughs> I'm fucking struggling here. So forgive me. But uh yeah, no. So if you want to just read the copy paste of shit, let's okay. uh, let let's see let's see. Hello? Oh no, the hex. Oh shit. That was abrupt. Well, actually, I bet she clicked X on the thing instead of Probably. Abracadabra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go? Oh my goodness. All right, give, give it a second. If she's not back in like a minute, then it's a like, oh, oh. It's getting weird. Oh. Fucking but crazy. yeah, no, that 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 was not a death threat. Yeah, that wasn't a death threat. That's, I didn't know about death threats. That was new to me. He, 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 he speaks he speaks in really colorful language. Um, Even uh, if he didn't, that's nowhere near a death threat. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, I agree with you. It's not it's not a death threat, but he he, he always speaks in this very colorful, vibrant language and and, and very descriptive. Uh, it's it's. It's sometimes hard to pick out, you know, what. Well, your your chat is claiming they got rid of her by using the uh, famous incantation "Be Gone Thought." <laughs> oh, so, I mean, maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. They've been chanting it for a while. It's like Tonka. How many is. how many wizards do you have uh, in the uh, Kumite, uh, Kumite community? Until maybe. until this morning, I thought maybe four or five tops, but apparently they they are all. I think I think we should enlist the aid of Gail Korchuler. Maybe she oh, can dear. shield us, and, and then we can possibly get this uh, stream to work correctly. If somebody could tell Gail to put us put us one of those fucking shields like she does for the what for the <laughs> Begoticus Thoticus. There you go. That's a magical Thoticus. combination. It's <laughs> a magical combo. <laughs> Okay, it's been like sixty seconds. Where did Joy go? Do you know Joy Geek? Yeah, you're you're closer to her. She she'll probably yeah. pop, or pop back on. I, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, she hit She's the. Probably X. trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Okay. Yeah, ten years. Woo. There is Ooh, there, lad. There there is smoke. There 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 is. We've seen small fires. What we want is the inferno. But Billy needs an inferno. He needs. He needs to you know somebody something worth you know sounding the alarms about. I mean, right now we can. Put, yeah, yeah. Like I said, like there's, there's the some towel. interesting stuff there, but yeah, I, I need a lot more to be really interested. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I need I need to hear some of those crazy messages, which I you know I, I'm hoping to hear if there's more uh you know voodoo hoodoo. They're hexing in shit. there. It's just she fucking talked to the motherfucker for ten years, so now she's got this. Oh, it's a lot of shit to, to go through. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. I, that would be a fucking enormous backlog to go through for fucking messages and Facebook is shit when she you try to. She landed on it. Uh, like, she landed on it yesterday when she was explaining it. I was just like, holy shit. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I, I've just oh, been shit. reading these off to myself. <laughs> I don't know what you guys didn't oh, hear. Fuck. No, 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 you asked out right as you were starting. Right as you, we didn't hear any of it. Damn it! Are you Phillip? kidding me? I was. It was a good. Show. I did a good read through, and I'm tired. So it's like I hope I can get this out. I know, but motherfucker cast a spell on me again. First the tumor, and now this. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, I didn't have cancer. I had a tumor. The reason I corrected is because him and his people completely spurg out if there's any tiny detail off, and they started saying there was a cancer scam. I'm like, nope, never had cancer, <laughs> never claimed to. So that's why I was being specific. I fucking have to be with these people. Um, okay, do you guys, do you want to try round two? Y'all ready? Yeah, we hear you loud and clear, so go for God it. God damn it, okay. Just, you should do, do that screen share thing. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot, because I just clicked and I'm not screen sharing. Okay, just so for this the is posterity the copy and paste. for Billy here. Sure, sure, sure. This is the copy and paste, and like I said, I'll, I'll get the, the real stuff to you. Is it working? Yep, yes. yep, okay. it's up. Okay, so here we go, and you guys can see it. So y'all can read along. We can have a fun little read along. So it looks like the Anunnaki are at it again. A rather mean one attempted to take a soul hostage and tried to get me to give my own in exchange. After making some things of mine disappear or breaking apart one of my stones in a claw-shaped hole right over my heart, that was before the soul thing. It lost an eye for its troubles, but it's a bit smarter and more battle-hardened than previous ones I've encountered. Looks like they figured out correctly that I'm up to something major, going to literally starve the dark. On a lighter note, at work, my team almost wound up with the name Care Bears, then changed it to Gummy Bear after the show and allowed me to be Grizzly Bear instead. LOL. Thought you might get a kick out of that. But one more thing. As I've mentioned, I'm about to starve the dark, and I'm going to create a massive continental spell. It will affect the entirety of the Americas, and it will be situated in an appropriately catch-22 method. Smiley face. 
Wait, so were those all sent on the same day? Did he go from no. I'm fighting demons to I'm a care bearer to back to... Oh, I'm gonna... sorry, yes, yeah. yes, that part. Yes, that part, yes, correct. Is that, that, that how his conversations thing. usually go? Does he, like, yes. talk about demon magic and then yes. work day and demon magic? Yes, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Like, but like I said, this guy fucking scares me. This is a nervous laugh, and it is funny. But, like, yeah, this is how it would go. And, like, I would just kind of respond with, all right, Phil, glad you're doing right. I, you're, glad you're doing okay. Like, what do you say oh, to that? I, I should probably say this for people in chat because somebody said, is she reading fan fiction? No, these are messages these she are received from, what are we calling them? I, I, I don't want to, just Philip, Philip the wizard? Uh, yeah, whatever you want. Uh, All right, whatever. She, these are messages she received on Facebook from Philip the wizard. So that's what you're looking <laughs> for. Yeah. He, right. he goes by many names. Scandalf the gay. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, stop. Bumbledore. Stop, Oh God! I'm gonna pee myself. I need a diaper. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the lizard, the lizard wizard. Oh my God! I hate you. Build a mort. All right, so let, let's hear some more of the fantastical adventures of Philip the Wizard. Okay, and by the way, this is not all of them. This is just some because it's you know it's, it's even taking me time to get through them all. So here We're we taking go. Taking the Billy to Isengard. Let's go. I don't, I don't have the date on this one, I don't think. Uh, it was around, it's probably the same time because I was just kind of trying to look in different chunks. So let me give you some context to this one. On this one, we had been, um, I was venting about some stuff in my life about, you know, have talked about trying to overcome being sick and some family and stuff. So just so you know the context of what I said before. So this is what he wrote. If you think you have it bad, try imagining yourself as the kid I saved a few days ago, whose mother handed her happily over to a demon as produce that tried to literally eat the soul of the poor Demon thing. Demon produce! <laughs> Life is not easy, but we don't have it nearly as bad as some. And that's coming from the guy whose life has been one big trauma conga line. It says nothing about you and that your mother is an asshole. Oh, and the kid is fine, by the way. Hopefully passes it off as a nightmare. Neither the demon nor its servants is still alive. And Lady got a bitch slapping. Kids warded, so they won't be able to try that shit again either. Shudder. There is light and there is darkness. If you wallow in darkness, you'll be drowned by it. Look to the light. Be the light instead. If they're an asshole about it later, that is between them and the divine. It's not on you. You can't make choices for others. See, your parents are jerks. My one served me up on a silver platter and helped it to where my soul is constantly eroded. That's by his anti. We'll get into that later. Possibly to the point of where someday, any day, I may cease to exist. I face down death daily until I can find the right person, the right bond. Except the chances of that are slim, and the entire world sees me as one wooden alien. And the other? Her good moments are head games and bullshit. Most of the rest I don't know. And they probably could care less. I could literally drop dead tomorrow, maybe a person or two would realize that, say, a week? Let alone care. Shrug. I could fret about it constantly and get nowhere, or I could at least keep on trucking and create something new. Become something unique. The rest be damned, but if I'm going to go out somehow, it'll be on my own terms and flipping the bird the entire way. Fear, pain, loneliness, emptiness. I understand all of these like the common person understands breathing. I also understand that unless you keep moving, that's all a person has. I will not be drowned by my past, but I will use it to motivate whatever future I wind up making. I'm not saying this to be condescending either. It is my hope that through these words you will understand from my perspective and take something, anything to help you move forward. It doesn't make me better or worse than anyone. I do I do uh, want to point out, I do want yeah. to point out um, in, in, if we go a couple of paragraphs up, when, when, when he says, I face down death daily, um, it's not, it's not, you know, death, oh, I died. It's, it's actual death. Well, yeah. he's fighting. He's fighting. Yeah, demons. It's the soul cooking. He's it, rescuing. No, no, actually, it, 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 it's proper name death. Uh, let me explain <laughs> that, where that comes from, just to give you guys some context. And this will this will be in the messages when you go through them. Um, what he's referring to is because he was created in some sort of government laboratory by his father, even though he says his father is actually his uncle, uh, because they look similar. But he is half human, and half of his soul is uh, some sort of like demon alien that's incredibly evil. And, and, and when they merged it together, and in doing so, it was unnatural. So he is constantly in, in threat of dying because his soul, the two halves of his soul and his body are physically at odds. There was one where he talked about having, a, I believe it was a 45-minute seizure and having to stabilize. But of course, he didn't go to the hospital. But I'm faking my illness stuff. 
<laughs> so, so I just want to—I I, want to try to get a grasp of his uh, self-written biography here. So, his father created him in a laboratory, but his father wasn't his father; he was actually his uncle. He believes, and half, yeah. his soul, half his soul is a demon that wants to do evil, wicked things. But he's going to to use that power to fight off demons eating babies on the street. Does he walk up to random strangers and just bitch slap them and take their kids? I, I mean, I met him one time for three days. For three days. I, I don't, so, it, you know, I, I don't really know him other than the internet persona. And what I understand now is that the per, I don't know who he is. The person I thought he was is not the person I know. So, like, I, I can't answer, I don't know. Um, but, and, and by the way, just so people are aware, why did this happen? Because this is from him. When they create super soldiers, they have to do things in this way so they can control them to do their bidding. Cause apparently he was a super soldier that had a lot of trauma and they just constantly traumatized him to make him very strong so he can fight these things off. I believe at one point, I don't know if it's in the messages, but I asked Phil like, okay, I think I've seen UFOs, Fuck, I want to see an alien. Maybe I have. I don't know. I'd love to. I'm not saying I have. I love, I love the weird stuff. I said, but are you telling me you have fought demons? Oh, uh, and wait, wait, uh, one, one second. Um, Aiden Paladin's in the, the chat right now. Uh, Tonka, do you, do you, have you ever talked to her before? Yeah, I've talked to her like two or three times. Would you bring her on? Because I mean, she studied sociology, psychology. Uh, just to get her handle on this guy's mindset might be entertaining. Yeah, if uh, you're not in school or on the bus, uh, or, oh yeah! Like, even if you are yes, on the bus know. and uh, you can come in, like if you can squeeze it in, I'd, yeah. Well, um, uh, quick question for you, Jim. Um, now, where would you uh, rate this? Uh, would Would you say that this man is crazier or gang stalking is crazier? Who gang stalking? What's that? Uh, I I would say uh, this guy. This guy is clearly uh, like it, it's. I don't even know where to start with it, but the whole backstory of traumatic childhood and he's a super soldier genetically engineered to fight evil, but he's got a demon inside him and uh, he's casting world spells and he's killed uh, all these like uh, apocalyptic figures. And it's, it's so far beyond LARP. That's why I thought there would have to be a public outlet. Like, you know, private messages are one thing, but I would figure he would have a video series dedicated to it or a blog dedicated to it. Cause he's, that sounds like the type of person that would. But no, it's it's a step beyond gang stalking where people think like they have a microchip in their tooth or something. Yeah, this is way beyond that. Super soldier, demon, also wizard. Right. Yeah. Um. He yeah. he specifically told me when I asked, I'm like, when you say all these things, are you like physically seeing like aliens and and battling them? And he explained to me that uh, the majority of what happens he does in his sleep. But we also have him on record and stuff saying things like a big blue giant being walked into the room and talked to me when a friend was there. So I, you know, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not somebody who's equipped, nor do I want to judge somebody's mental state or whether or not he has mental illness, but something is, something's not right there. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there's a difference between, well, I had some kind of weird, maybe spiritual or odd experience I can't explain and somebody legitimately believing that you've got well, big the story, blue giants. The story he told you about the baby. I mean, he's saying he walked up to a woman on the street. So it, that doesn't sound like he's describing a dream. Well, see, that's where I don't, this is where it was very, like, he wouldn't get too specific about a lot. Like, he would go into these great details, and when I tried to get to the reality and the meat and bones, I wouldn't get much. So that's kind of how the, the repartee would go with he and I. Oh, you know, chat's throwing out something interesting, Joy. Uh, you talked to this guy for a long time, and he's telling you all this stuff. Um, was They're saying he's just lonely and wants company. Uh, did he try hitting on you? Like, is this is this like some weird guy attempt at oh, uh, trying uh, okay, to get this is pants? where. This is where it's going to get weird. So, Oh, good. I love when it gets weird. Go ahead. So let me say that, you know, uh, when I met him, I was, oh, God, I was maybe 22 or 23. So this was 10 years ago. I was very naive. I can still sometimes be naive when it comes to men and advances and stuff. Like, it took me, I grew up in a house full of women. So it took me a long time to kind of understand men and how they operate. As dumb as that sounds. Like, nobody sat me down and, like, explained stuff. So, um. I, I can tell you what, what I think was going on. I, I, so there was a point in time where, and this was years ago, 
we kind of liked each other. And when he visited me, we kind of liked each other. It went nowhere. It was going did, to go did nowhere. You, did, did, you, did you bang the guy? Did you no, get the no, 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 I'll tell, this is like honest to God truth. Like, I, cause seriously, I have no reason to lie putting did, everything did out Did you there. take a wild ride on the wizard staff, Joy? Come on. No, no, but he is, okay, no, this is what happened. So he came to visit. I also had another friend who was visiting at the same time. Here's his version. His version, he's put this out there. So if you go search it somewhere, his version is he was pretending to be asleep and me and my friend, and I'm paraphrasing, like we were conspiring to figure out how I was going to trap him to fuck him. My version was, what is he talking about? I think we might've given a hug to each other before he left. And then the reason we stopped talking was because his anti threatened to hurt me. This is not a joke. And I, I believe I have this stuff because this is years ago that I can back this up with. And that's why we originally stopped talking. So I'm like, where? So what I, now, the other thing is it was years ago. I don't remember everything. So what I assume, no, seeing how he's operated with me so far, he may have been asleep and was waking up. It is possible me and a girlfriend were like, so what do you think about this guy? Oh, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I kind of like him. And it was something to that degree. So I'm not saying he's like, what he's saying is completely untrue, but he probably took something like that is what I assume. And he's blown it up into how I wanted his nuts. <laughs> you, you mentioned in your story, and you said this before. What is his anti? What is what the hell is that? That's the, the the other evil half of him. That's like part demon, part alien that the government engineered to make a super soldier. Oh, Aiden, I see you're in the call. What do you make of this? Hearing these uh, uh, conversations, he sends people. Uh, he's schizophrenic. <laughs> like just without question, up, no doubt on that. Huh? Uh, I mean, you know, that's, that would be unethical. First of all, I only have an undergrad degree in pure psychology. Oh. So, and that would be very unethical to, <laughs> for me to just I'm diagnose just asking somebody. I'm your personal but, yeah. opinion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds like schizophrenia. Right? I mean, it seems weird, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, <laughs> just for the, the, the just unhinged, uh, incoherent nature, the uh, incredibly elaborate and convoluted stories and uh, like a uh, world that he seems to view himself as living in. That seems, that's pretty typical schizophrenia. Uh, so with the with this guy, uh, and again, I, I, Joy, I, I don't think that was a death threat, but Joy says she feels worried by him. Is, yes. Does he sound dangerous? Could he be dangerous? I, I don't know. Well, you tell me, Aiden, what do you think? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, th these kind of people, I mean, he, he seems to be so inside his own head, I wouldn't be too worried about it. He's Super introvert kind of guy. This. If you're coming up with this kind of like elaborate shit, you're mostly probably living a little bit, you know, mostly internal. Not gonna. No, I don't know. You said you met him. I, I obviously have no idea who this guy is. Or oh, I have no idea who he is either. I've just been listening no, to I... talk about wizards for the last hour. <laughs> right, so right, I don't no, know exactly. What's going on. <laughs> no, but I mean, if if Joy met him, uh, right? You said you met him in person once. I did, and let me say, nicest person. I, I mean, like, just really nice, very polite, very, you know, awkward. But, I mean, he was just this, you know, he was this nice person. Like, that, that, so that's that's the weird thing. And I do want to say full disclosure, I did like a lot of the weird stuff. That was during a time in my life. I was really big into the conspiracy theories. I enjoyed that sort of thing. I entertained. They, there, were, there were points in my life where I thought, okay, you know, I, I had... Like I liked past lives and I thought maybe I've had visions of past lives and stuff. So when I, I do want to just full disclosure, I jumped into the rabbit hole of weirdness back then. The difference is over the years, I've realized the stuff that I look at and I go, oh, that's horseshit now. And I've grown away from that where he's now inch into 40 and he still had burst into this. So I just, again, full disclosure to everybody because I'm not trying to hide anything. I was part of, I did like a lot of that weird stuff, but I never went as far as he did. Like, I never thought I was, like, killing aliens in my sleep and shit. So and when, he, like, when you guys met each other, where did, did he stay at your place, or where was he? Yes, yes, he stayed. I had an apartment that he stayed in. I think it was, so, like, it was two or three Joy, days. Joy, come on now. Real talk. You like the weird <laughs> stuff. You got a crazy wizard that's got a demon baby inside him, and he stays at your place for three days. You sure you didn't... Uh, no, no, You didn't absolutely. cast any spells on that, uh, on that oh date? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> no, I will say, too, like, I was never involved, like, I'll be very clear, I was never involved in any witchcraft, Wiccan, Pagan, nothing like that. I never was drawn to that. So no, I've never done things of that nature. Absolutely, totally not, no. I would tell you, like at this point, full disclosure, I would, I have nothing to hide at this point. I would tell you if I was, no. And, and nothing he didn't, happened. He didn't, he didn't uh, trick you? He didn't say, hey, you need to put on this blindfold and suck on this magical staff? Uh, no, well, here's the thing. We 
okay, so I had a one bedroom place, but the like, I would have to show you, it was a loft. It was like a one bedroom, the bedroom was attached, but it was open and I had a friend who was visiting at the time. So no, nothing happened. He's even said nothing's happened. Absolutely nothing happened. But we did like each other. We did like each other. And we were entertaining a second visit. And then he just his, what, what was it that happened? I made a, again, this is 10 years ago. So like, I, and I have fibromyalgia, so I have to really think back. Um, I had made some kind of joke. He was saying he was, I think he was saying he was hanging out with a, a friend of his, it's a girl. And I think I made some kind of joke of like, well, don't let her hit on you, something stupid. And he took it as some sort of threat and went off on me for like a week. And then he let his dark side come talk to me and threaten me. And I was just like, okay, I'm, I don't know what to do with that. I'm, I'm walking away. I'm done. What, what did that side. entail, by the way? What was the dark side threat? Oh, what, what, what was that about? It was so long ago. I'll have to look it up. I don't like, I honestly, I, I couldn't even paraphrase it. This is, this again, this is, this is stuff from a long time ago. So it gave me, I, it might be, that one might be in emails. So I would have to go do some digging. But uh, if it's needed, I can pull it up. Okay. All and right. Well, I, I, I actually, oh, oh uh, sorry. sorry, guys. Uh, I, I have to take off uh, in like five minutes. So I got to jump early. Um, please continue talking about the crazy wizard messages because I will listen to this when I get back. Okay. And uh, I find it fascinating. Fucking fascinating. Yeah. I love shit like this. And, and Medicare, if you ever, you know, need any information or want to talk, um, I think I, I follow you on Twitter. Like I said, I'm a fan. You don't have to, obviously, but you're more than welcome to reach out because I've got nothing to hide. So I'm happy to provide Well, yeah, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing a video or anything on this guy. I think Geek might be, so maybe you can send the info to him. But uh, you guys take it easy. Uh, I'm going to jump. Oh, nice to meet you. Good morning. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, sir. yeah. What's going on, dude? Yeah, uh, you're, you're listed on the Southern uh, Poverty Law Center's Hate Watch, the SPLC. For fucking what? What's that? YouTube What's blood that? sports in Albright Haven. <laughs> what? Congrats, what? gentlemen. Congrats. What? You're up there with the KKK and Nazis and everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. No. They were started by an engine. Do you, no do, you remember, do you remember that chick who said you needed to be listed? That's the organization she wanted you listed on. So you've made it. Congrats, Whoa. buddy. You are big time now. Wait, so we made the KKK? No, you're you're up. It's the fucking front page of the Hate Watch and SPLC. Your your article, the YouTube blood sports shit, front and center, fucking what? front and center. Shut what? the fuck up! <laughs> no. Oh. Adam and uh, Adam Andy Race Worski is now officially <laughs> on the Hate Watch. Did they ignore the engine again? Well, no. You're obviously a white man. Obviously, a white man, or you have internalized white patriarchy or some shit. I don't know. I like to but fuck I can't, white women. I can't. I don't. I don't think I can stick around. I don't want to hang out with you guys because <laughs> I don't want to be associated with that kind of evil racism. All right, that's terrible. But I, Billy, I don't know no, if Billy. I can even come on these streams anymore. But we, I, I didn't do nothing, Billy. You said I was I, a I good think, boy. I think if you get put on this website, you legally can't enter Israel ever again. <laughs> what? If you ever wanted to go to that country, you cannot legally get in now. I wasn't planning on For it. For real? Okay. I'm banned from <laughs> countries? <laughs> you can never, yeah, you can never enter Israel. That's that's the deal. I got banned from countries <laughs> over a YouTube show that plays cartoons. <laughs> Con congratulations. You guys have... Now, you understand this is just the beginning, right? Now that you've been, you know, now that Right Wing Watch wrote an article in the SPLC, put you on the hate watch, mm. expect a shit ton of media coverage. Good job. What? Do, do I have to call for interviews and stuff like CNN and stuff and go? Oh, no, I'm sure they'll come interview you like that fucking bounty hunter that's trying to track down England for Vice News. They'll probably there'll be a knock on your door in like two weeks with some bug eyed uh, chick. <laughs> Looks like she's wearing Coke bottles for glasses. Yo, yo I'll invite her it's inside. Uh, like, you want some coffee? <laughs> you could try to, uh, you could try to woo her if you like. I don't know how well that's going to work out. I think she's taken, but you give it, you give it a go. I, uh, that girl was supposed to be on. That Claire girl who wanted to put me on the hate watch lists was supposed to put me. Uh, uh, supposed, supposed to be on oh, the no, show she, on Friday. She, there's no want to. She did. You're on there. Congrats. But, all right, well, whatever. I don't care. But well, I, I, Andy, I don't think you understand. You're Canadian. 
There's, uh, I think you know, like you Trudeau's going to get in trouble. Ah, he's nah. going to SWAT team his way into your fucking studio. Here's the thing is, here's you need to move, Andy. No, nah, nah, here's the thing is, they can't do shit because that article, they're going to go, Andy's alt right. And then I have tons of evidence of me being like, well, I'm not alt right. You so. need to start fucking a black woman stat. Andy, do you know what's going to happen? They're going to, okay. This is a thing, gonna, Andy. Like, no, no, no. They're going to be like, hey, uh, this this Andy Worski guy, he's Canadian, and um, they're going to report you to the authorities. He's on the SPLC, and then they're going to be like, well, we should look into it. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding. And you know what they're going to see, Andy? They're going to see a thousand tweets talking about you jihadding the fucking Hasbro building. Yeah, but it's... Uh, look. <laughs> and all those... I'm, I'm, I, I'm honestly... I'm 100% clip. not worried about this. If I was alt-right, if I had said anything... That was what they believe and didn't go against what they believe. And if I didn't clearly have video evidence of you fucking memeing me for the Hasbro shit. I don't, like, I, I, don't know what I, I would be worried if I, it was not, real. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. You're acting like this is some joke that I've set up ahead of time because I wanted to laugh. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing is I'm I'm 100% not worried I'm I'm not all right, so that's it. But yeah, yeah but, but what about that audio that I heard uh, yesterday that they were playing on Destiny Stream, where you were going on a like a twenty minute rant about how you wanted to exterminate Jews? The, what? It was twenty minutes of you solidly saying over and over again, "We must take care of the Jews." That's uh, bullshit. A that's a lie. They that's a lie. Exterminated. Nice try. Nice try. What, You're what trying to make you... me get all sweaty and shit right what now. What part bully. do you disagree with? I I I I don't I don't think we should exterminate Jews. I like the Jews. <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you say that again? Great, what was that? great sell, Andy. God damn it! Nice try, Billy. You piece of shit. You fucking editing cunt. Stop it! <laughs> Just stop <laughs> it, Metagirl. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Because it'll be funny to me. I'm going to take that and clip it where you say exterminate Jews. And I'm oh, going to it right at the SPLC. Don't do that. Come on, Billy. <laughs> but you're not worried. You're not worried. Stop remember. it, Billy. Come on. <laughs> Look, there's fucking things that are funny and things that are like, yo, can I just try to fucking ruin me for like a week? Come on. <laughs> you're going to ruin me for a whole week, asshole. A whole week? <laughs> Just a week, and I have to explain myself and go. This is fucking retard online. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll let you guys get back to your show here. I did have one uh, follow-up question. I heard a little sure. bit yesterday on your stream, and then you were tweeting about it, Andy. Mm. Uh, so, am I to understand that Sargon agreed to a fucking rematch, and now he's telling you, "Oh, when I'm ready"? What the mm. fuck is that? Yeah, he said. Uh, hang on, hang on. What the exact line was? Uh, yeah, I, okay. All, all I wrote, I, I wrote to him. It was directly after. Um, it was basically right after you, you had asked me, and you, you like you were tweeting about it constantly. So I wrote, "Yo, Sargon, people are asking me when you're down for the Spencer rematch." And he just wrote, "Fairly soon, man. I've been busy lately." So fairly soon. That's the time. Fairly soon. That's very specific. Very. Is that fairly soon this month or next year? When is that fairly soon, would you think? Some of that Brock's blogger how soon, I, you know what I'm saying? How, how should I ask It's not him? just you that he ducked out on, is it? I thought he was going to do a debate with Anglin on Baked Alaska Stream. What happened to that? I think so. I heard about that. Well, no, fuck the shows. What about the people? Don't go in front of the people and say this and have them sit there and wait with a dick in the hand for you to do it. I've been excitedly waiting him to debate Mike Enoch. Richard Spencer and Andrew Anglin, and so far none of that's happened. I know D and D is important. Maybe we could get V in here and he could explain it. I don't know. It's mm. it's likely. Is is V around? V's always. Oh, he's around. always around. Say his name three times. V V Lee. Oh, you did it now. The yeah. gypsies <laughs> heard <laughs> coming. But, uh, <laughs> that okay, here, I'm sending him. Uh, All right, Billy. Tiny question: What what kind of advice would you give an engine that has newly been dubbed alt right and it still has no idea what's going on? What do I do? Just oh, oh, it just uh, revel in it. Just uh, revel in it. Just bask in it. Revel in it. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. I mean, or the it's white not every women day coming. They they made uh, the hate watch. Th this is true. It's not every day. It's not every day. You're right. It's really easy to make the hate watch. Paranoid. Not no, as an really engine. Isn't. There's Actually, only six of us. Huh? There's there's only three entries on the Hate Watch, Andy. Uh, Adolf Hitler, 
uh, Richard Spencer. Now you guys, good job. <laughs> wow, <What>? Adam Morsky. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a, it's a great list. You made it. Nice job. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, wait for V here. V should be in any moment, hopefully. You know, Monday and Matt sent us a very nasty message because apparently he's Are saying... Are you sure that... you understood it right? It's hard to probably hear with all the crying going on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's saying that we don't like him because he refused to have blood sports against you. Never mind that he came in here like, I don't know, 10 minutes before well, that and that's, yelled that's, at Johnny I don't Fox. Know, maybe, maybe he's got a point with that. You should have blood sports with him about that statement. Yeah. I would you let's have him. I just think, all right, you know what? We'll have you on and we'll just do a little chat. We'll just, it'll be nice. And when he comes on, we just fucking destroy him. You won't have to. Just throw him a plaque. <laughs> oh, uh, and Andy, are you going to do a round two with Unknown? Uh, you guys had a little bit of a tiff. Whatever happened with that? He was, yeah, he was challenging me, like, for about a week to failure. I called him a bitch or something on Tonka's show. Well, and no, then... I heard the end of the stream, but I didn't know if you guys were going to continue that or if that was like No, he, he's, he's, he, he was writing to me on Discord. I don't want to give you attention. And I'm like, like, why? Like, you challenged me. I called you a bitch. And then, like, now you're upset that I called you a bitch? See, I Come still on. can't tell if you two are having the same conversation because <laughs> the thing where he is talking about challenging you, that's apparently from, like, back in fucking November. No, it's like a fucking... And then, hold on. It's like, last, the month, tweet he last month. Yeah, the tweet that he sends you, that's from here in the recent. No, nah, it was last month. Oh, that uh, was fucking actually, last month. It was when I met... It's when I met... Who did I... Who, what YouTuber did I meet? I don't know. I met, I met someone. And then I remember being in Toronto and then like reading Unknown Archive uh, is pissed at you and wants to challenge you to the Kumite. And I'm like, what? Unknown? I thought me and him were cool. And then I heard him like just while I was driving, he's just screaming. And I couldn't like fucking like it was all snowy. I have no snow tires. I'm almost in an accident. I'm like, I'll call you guys back. He's like, oh, so you're leaving now? You're leaving? <laughs> so, I don't so, know. so, okay, what's the fall? So it's not going to happen? You guys no. are going to have a, a second no. round? Avedim and I are going to have a uh, a battle next week on my show. Oh, ent entertaining. Okay, we'll watch that, yeah. Uh, he said after the 8th, so that would be, we'll set it up for Thursday or Friday. Be a All right, well, nice hey, it's, been, uh, it's been fun chatting with you guys, but again, I don't want to get on the hate watch because I'm a good boy who didn't yeah. do nothing. You're good. No. good boy. No you, you guys I... enjoy your clan rallies and persecution <laughs> no of minorities. Uh, you know, I think it's wrong. I disagree with you. Remember, diversity is our strength. Diversity is our strength. Strong strong statement there at the end from Billy. Someone said aren't snow tires mandatory. I, I honestly don't really drive in the winter at all. It's to the store. It was down the block. You're the fucking worst, man. He's just the worst. So we're on like a hate watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to scream about this tonight. No shit. I mean, we're fucking. We are Nazis. I'm gonna. How did this happen? You know how this happened. You got popular, you goofy motherfucker. Oh. We mean oh. I just. Yeah. I mean, ugh is not really a, you know, bad reaction. <laughs> for it's not the worst reaction, but it's going to take some explaining. People are like, you know, they, they say, okay, so why are you on this thing? And I'm like, well, I play cartoons in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to go. I have debates. Shit. I have debates on my channel, and apparently that's hateful. They wouldn't be doing this to me if I was ugly. I've been... You were banned from Israel? What the fuck? I'm fucking banned from Israel because of you race war. <laughs> the fuck? I like, I, I like Jewish people. I don't know what's going on. This is not what... It's supposed to be fucking a cool stream. It's all it was supposed to be. You ruined my life. You hear me? You ruined We're going to be life. on the news and shit. I'm going to have to go on Fox and go, hey, guys. What's up? Uh, 
Nah, 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 I'm okay with Jews. I'm good with them. I don't know. I'm We're banned from Israel pepperoni? because of you. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Were you, were you planning? Do you have to cancel your Israel trip now? I mean, I was never going to go. It's the principle. I mean, I might want to go one day. If they ever get the shit together. Uh, oof. I mean, uh, bad press is also good press. Uh, I didn't have any press a minute ago, asshole. <laughs> now you're banned from Israel. <laughs> now I'm banned from Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Last week it was Twitter. This week it's Israel. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know you. Oh, you a bad influence. Oh no, Twitter and now Israel. <laughs> How the fuck? Jeez. Oh, fuck, man. I'm like, you know, you know, like, like back in the day. When your parents are like, oh, don't hang out, hang out with that kid. You know, he's bad influence. That's me. Yeah, that's fucking you. <laughs> I am banned from places I was never going to go. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't believe it. I don't even know if they can really ban me because I don't know if they don't know that I'm not blue. I don't know. But they're still gonna ban me from there. Wait, wait, someone's saying Jim's Jim's fucking with you. Who cares? I I don't know. Wait. Is he fucking Yeah, maybe we're not banned from Israel. But even if we were, the idea that I could be banned from Israel because mm -hmm. I know you. I'm still gonna be mad over that today. You're a terrible fucking influence. Oh, uh. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we're not banned from Israel. Someone's like, I don't know if you're on the Southern Poverty. What's the fucking thing? S P C U, S P L C U, Hate Watch. Who cares? I'm not racist. It's it's pretty amazing that you you can make that list. When you're not racist. I'm going to have to. You know what I'm going to have to do Tonka now? No. I don't know. I'm gonna I've have never to, been in a fucking CNN, race war before. When CNN interviews me. I'm going to have to pull Chris out of the closet. And blow off the dust. <sighs> <laughs> now you're, talk, you're talking about blowing Chris. This is going to be a problem. No blowing the dust off of him. And just have him, like, just stand next to me. Hey, Chris, For just what? have a seat there. So, so like, when they're like, oh, we're going to interview Adam fucking Race Worski, I sit down, and then, the, like, Chris just sits on my lap. I have to pretend to be gay and go, oh, this is my lover, Juan. You're going to jail. I'm not going to jail nothing. You're in Canada. It doesn't matter. You have to say something to go to jail. That's the thing. You're going to go to Israel jail. If, if I went to Israel, I'd probably be arrested. Fair enough. In Canada, though, you have to actually be hateful. I'm not hateful towards anyone. <laughs> what well, fucking what? <laughs> I'm not. Well, I, I mean, you can call people fucking pieces of shit. That's, that's yeah. true. You can make fun of SJWs. That's fine. But as per per the extreme views of some of the alt right, I Andy's disagree with boy. their points. So I don't care. Andy's a good boy. I'm a good boy. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Andy's a very good boy. Oh fuck. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to get this. Th Cog sent me a thing, but he sent it to me on Twitter, and I can't fuck with Twitter because I'm an idiot. But I'm trying to get it to work. 
and I may eventually get it to work. We will get it to function. Don't worry. But yeah, it's awesome. It's a it's a new thing. Cog is good. He is good at the shit he does. But anyway, real quick, uh, Andy. Mm. Now that we're kicked out of Israel, um, uh. and also on a hate watch group. Uh, is there, is there any anything else you plan to get us thrown on? You know, like in case I have anything on a bucket list I want to get knocked out. Are you gonna? Uh, hang on, let me just shut the, hang on one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my list here. Uh, that's multiple pages, Andy. N- yeah, no, I'm looking for the ones that may ha- affect you. Uh, you weren't. Okay, you weren't planning on going to South Africa, were you? No. Okay, then we're good, good there. No worries. Uh, you can, can you don't care if certain websites call you gentlemen. A gentleman? Yeah. You look, look, like you don't mind if people don't think that you're not a gentleman, right? Or. No, I, I think I'll be good on that. No, you're good. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm worried about s- the Sweden thing though, because like mm. Swedish girls, they real pasty, right? And they got them big mm. asses. Yeah, blonde hair. No matter what color hair, but the blonde hair is prevalent. Yeah, I know. I think them, like the sw- Swedes and the uh, the Dutch, right? Them European ladies. I'm just saying. I I don't. I don't big want titties, to be like big that. ass. Like Israeli girls, not necessarily my thing. I mean, like how, 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 how much do you want to head to Sweden? Depends on how single I am at the time. Okay, let me check something. When I okay, when I go single, it's 50, like ninety nine percent. Yeah. No, if I go single, at, then it's ninety nine percent. I'm going to Sweden, and okay, then we're looking at fifty fifty. Okay. So, right. so it's you know, we just have to be good from this point. Um, also, also, I mean, we're not banned, but I wouldn't recommend heading to Chicago. Why not Chicago? <laughs> just might be some people who don't like us down there. Is it Laura uh, Loomer? Nah, it's just BLM in general. <laughs> Dude, what is Laura Loomer going to say about this? What, are you, what is she going to tell you? Now that you're... I don't know. I heard she wants to bang me. Will that she, was the rumor going around. Will she still want to bang you now? Or will she want to bang you more? I think more. You know when your parents are like, don't touch that, and then you want to touch it more? When your, your, your whole country is like, don't, don't let them in. She's like, oh, shit. Forbidden cock. It's like the Adam's Adam and Eve story, you know. I don't want to bang her. I'm just saying. I heard there was rumors floating about that she wants to bang me. I, I, I'd buy it. Hang on. Let me just gonna double check it. Yep. There it is. You hear papers? You know I have evidence. I hear lots of papers. That, <laughs> that equals evidence. Mm-hmm. Is, I only bring. The what evidence. happened to us, man? I, remember, fucking last month, we were like, "Fuck you, man!" Huh? Blood sport, so fun. Now <laughs> we're just like, "Oh my god, it's fucking." We're up there with the KKK. <laughs> we're gonna go to Israel jail. We we are like the nicest, racist people of all time. Then at that at this point, because I, I got. I got more minority friends than white friends, which is pretty funny. I'm one of the darkest white supremacists you've ever seen. I I wonder what they're going to think of me. I know they're not going to like me. No, I'm going to... I got my two black buddies coming over for an interview. Like those white supremacist girls who are like, I kind of want to grab that darker D. I guess I'll get mm. that one because like he's kind of one of us, right? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'll get that white supremacist girl. I don't fucking know. I don't know how this works. I don't know how this works. Do you think 
that racist chicks are going to love us, though. Like, you know, we're going to have, like, have, have fans. Woo! <laughs> Holding up signs, like, we don't like PLCs, but we love Tonka and Andy. <laughs> Woo! <I guess. laughs> it's a fucking limo. Oh, just a giant white limo. We just walk in. There's just chicks there. There's cocaine because it's white, right? Just white chicks blowing us. White chicks blowing us. Yeah, that's really that's really gonna sell them. But I don't mind. <laughs> I'm 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 just wondering what like what where that like. I don't want this, but if it happens, you know. I'm trying to think of the upsides to you getting me kicked out of fucking that's, Israel. That's what I'm trying to look at right now. I'm trying to give you, like, a perspective. Maybe some here. white supremacist girls are going to be throwing the booty. Yeah. That's about it, Andy. Yeah. The fuck? I mean, it's kind of weird, though. You can't just go running around getting your friends kicked out of countries, Andy. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I didn't. This is like, like you know, you know, like you fuck over your buddy by accident. Oh, sorry, I didn't invite you. My bad. I was drunk. I was supposed to call you, but you supposed to invite me to the party. Everyone was there, and you're like, ah, this is like a little bit worse than that. This is like a couple. This steps is a little bit that. worse than that. You got me kicked out of a country, Andy. I don't think anyone gave a fuck. Oh, wait, does failure want to... Sorry, failure. Did I miss your... Uh, I don't know if failure wants to be kicked out of a country, Andy. Hey, failure, you come in with your I don't fucking... know if you want to come in, failure. Andy's fucking shit up. Who... who, who I, like, I bet you you're at my show now. It's just going to be me and you. Andy comes barging failure. through your fucking life like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> I, 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 I forced you to be part of this. I didn't mean to. Dude, failure, hop in. I sent him a link. Yeah, failure, you never wanted to go to Israel. Get your ass in here. Yeah, get, get your ass right, in here. We already here. fucked up Billy No Bully's passport. Get your ass in here, too. Yo, this, this is, is what I have to now when I invite guests over to my show. I'm going to be like, yeah, you'll get a lot of subscribers and publicity. You won't be invited to Israel. And, you know, you'll meet some people, have good, good debates. I'm like, what was that last thing? I said that you'll have awesome debates. No, the 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 Israel thing. When when are you gonna tell him about getting kicked out of Israel? You never. Do you ever tell your guests, "Hey, by the way, guys, I I hope you don't need to go back to Israel." Yo, I'm gonna what, use that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that at the end of the interviews. What what the fuck? What do you mean? What the what fuck? Time? I'm the. What's producer. happening? The first time, first thing I hear when I fucking turn on the show. Is I've been banned from Israel? What? I mean, I don't know if you are. What? <laughs> yeah, we don't know if you've been banned from Israel. You might be. But be Andy fair. got me banned I'm here. from Israel. How did you get banned from Israel? Andy. <sighs> you know, fucking just chilling. Just <laughs> fucking <doing> Andy. <laughs> I didn't mean to get banned from Israel. You got me banned from Israel. I... There's. Look, dude, we're at a bar. I walk by you with my drink. We bump into each other. I spill a little bit of no, drink Andy, on your shirt. No, I'm sorry. No. Andy, no, we 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 didn't bump into each other into a bar. We have just been told by the friendly neighborhood reporter that we are kicked out of a bar we have not even fucking went to because you made me a racist engine. That's what we're being told. That's what we're being told. I didn't, there was you know this is gonna be this is gonna become a fucking trailer two friends banded <laughs> <laughs> no we talk back to back and we're like hey <laughs> what the fuck are you do that well, look all right they had one mission <laughs> i i never get kicked out of any fucking where really for as, for as rowdy as you guys may think that I am, I actually tend to not get kicked out of places. Oh, I'm reasonable. Wait, wait, this makes sense. Look, on the How weekend. How the fuck does this make I'll sense? Tell you, I'll tell you. On the weekend, I was kicked out of a bar for, for fucking being a little. 
of being a little bit of a douche, right? At one point. With me, Lauren, Josephine, whatever, uh, and I was kicked yeah, out of the sure. bar. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So, sure. so, we, so we left the bar. I was kicked out, kicked out of there on what? Saturday. And now, kicked out of Israel. It makes total sense. Race war. We need mm -hmm. to get you out of Canada. Do you understand me? Mm. That place is crazy. <laughs> You're going to get dankulated. That's what's going to happen to your ass. You're going to get dank. There I are two guys with one ice cream bar. <laughs> what hijinks can they get up to this week? I don't want to be banned from Israel. I, I Look, here's the thing. is I can't be banned from Canada unless you uh, attack someone for their race or be incredibly racist towards someone. That's the only way you can be Andy. banned from it. I'm right. F wait, fast forward I, to the next. I know month. my hate fast speech. Wait, 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 Andy, Andy, shut up. Fast forward to the next one. <sighs> Yo, Tonka, <sighs> we we've been banned from the planet Earth. We gotta go, gotta go live on the moon. We make and take up refuge on the space wall that nobody finished. Um, I didn't. I didn't want this to happen. I was I thought it was gonna be just LOLs and jokes with blood sports. I didn't think You ruined my motherfucking life, Andy. Why <laughs> did I, I ruin your life? Dog, I'm you, sorry. You know that this man cares about walls. Now he can't go to a certain wall because of you. But wall. You could go to the fucking uh, What? Go ahead. No, of uh, course of course uh, you wouldn't uh, be in touch with the Jewish culture. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yo, fucking, fucking Medicare's, Medicare's new tweet is just, you know, that guy, is that Sam Hyde? Is that who everyone always talks about? <laughs> Who's putting like his finger up? Hang on, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna share a screen. Fucking mm. Andy. Well, Who's this? Not, look at this. Not because of, not because of you, if you fucking uh, Tonka can't go to fucking a uh, certain wall. You'd be like, oh, whoa, whoa. oh, that's right, the fucking Jew wall. <laughs> Fuck. No, look at this, Andy. Uh, always look on the bright side. It sucks we are listed on the SPLC hate watch, but do you think racist chicks will be into us? <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> But, but it's true. Like, do you think that would... Well, yeah, that's what I'm looking at, Andy, because you kind of, you've kind of, uh, you know, that's what you got to go for now. I just, I just, I didn't, I didn't mean this. I didn't mean this. What happens when two guys accidentally become part of the alt-right? <laughs> <laughs> Can someone make a movie trailer? With, with a, <laughs> yo, yo, hey, Tonka, do you have a movie trailer music? Do I have movie trailer music? I've been playing yeah. the Hell March for like the past two minutes. Oh. Well, here, I'll give you, uh, here, yeah. I'll, I'll give you something. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, failure, you better go for like at least. 30 seconds with this dumb right. bullshit because I'm yeah. I'm playing some movie trailer bullshit. Go. Uh, fucking hell. One Canadian. One Hold on, Native Hold on motherfucker, shut up. Okay, go. Go. One stupid Canadian. <laughs> One Native American. Accidentally. Become part of the all right. <laughs> What hijinks did Andy Worski get into this week? <laughs> yo, yo, Tonka, I, I hate the Jews this week. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> you ruined my life, Andy. <laughs> you ruined my life. Yo. We're, not, we're not allowed to dun, dun. Dun. Yep. Hey, hey, Tonka, we, we've been banned from Auschwitz. Remember last week? <laughs> What if, uh, look, what if I want to fuck a Jewish girl one day? You have to fuck, fuck this. You could, but you can't. No, I can't. It has to be a bang and run. No, she's all like, let's go to Israel. And I'm all like, I fucking can't. I'm no. fucking oh, white oh, nationalist no. engine, man. 
Oh, you'll have to do like part of the movie trailer is going to be like, like you know how in movies they can never just admit to someone because of of embarrassment. You're like, sure, baby, I'll meet you at the airport. Then you have to like call like while she's at the airport and be like, I'm under a tunnel. I'm gonna be like, right? And it's like, oh, why didn't you make it to Israel? Sorry, honey. Did it come? Fucking motherfuckers try to sneak into Israel. I'm gonna go to Israel now just to see what happens. Andy Warsk. How about you quit trying to break international fucking laws and shit? How about that? How about that? Oh, there's an idea. They're banned from Israel, but you can't tell them what to do. Undercover Jews. Come in this. Undercover Jews? Undercover Jews. <laughs> undercover Jews. <laughs> give, us a, give, give us a good undercover Jew, Andy. We, well, like what? Like, just say it? No, just just, just, just try to pass off as a Jew. Okay. So okay. Like, you know, okay. Like, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> oh, do you have have some money for me? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, yeah. do you like my sideburns? Sideburns, Count Dracula. <laughs> oh, hey, look at my sideburns. They're curly. Fucking Andy. Oh, hey, look at my sideburns. Over here. I got mud and chops. Oh, I'm a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking New York. <laughs> Fucking Andrew Dice Worski over here. Hey, Andy, you ruined hey. my motherfucking life. You know them Jewish girls, they got big noses, but they got them thick thighs and big asses and shit. I fuck a Jewish girl. You have ruined my motherfucking life, Andy. Well, you don't think my undercover a Jewish... No, uh, I've got this weird feeling. Voice? It's not. It's just not going to cut the fucking mustard, Andy. I've got a feeling they may find us out. Hang on, hang on. Yo, hey, nine million Jews enter the oven, none of them come out. Oh! Okay, now after hearing failures, Jesus. Jew, I think I'm better off with Andy's Jew, actually. So, yeah, we'll go with Andy's Jew and try to break into Israel and get killed because that's a good. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die because you got us banned from Israel. Hey, I, 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 hey, I, I got. Okay, this is me as. Okay, look, when we sneak into Israel, when we're undercover Jews, okay? Don't worry, I I'm gonna. I, By the way, are I you announcing another secret plan in front of uh, over a thousand people again? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter that? though. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, no, I, I, I'm Andy, pretty how sure many that countries shows... do you get banned from a week? <clears throat> One. What? <laughs> <laughs> look, okay, here we go. Uh, when we're look, okay, look, I don't even think this show is loud in Israel anymore. It's probably banned. Oh no, IP shit. Banned. Okay, so so no here shit. we go there. Watch this. I, I know how to pick up Jewish checks, right? Like, uh, I'm like, my, hey, my nose isn't the only thing that's big. Bro. <laughs> like, that's like a pickup line from You're going to get us banned from fucking. Hey, I want to light your menorah. Mm. <laughs> Can I put out your burning bush? Mm. Once no. you go Jew, no Christian will do. Oh shit! Oh shit! They're knocking on his door. God damn it! Oh, there went Andy. I like my woman like I like my dreidels, bottom heavy. Oh, hey! <laughs> I just imagined the Tonka oh. asking Andy, and, and Tonka, baby, I'd I'd nail you harder than we nailed Jesus to the cross. Take it out. <laughs> Tonga just asking Andy, Andy, what what countries aren't we banned in? Yeah, I can't go anywhere now. America, go, Canada. Hold on real quick. I need to call fucking race war and make sure I'm even fucking allowed to go there. The fuck? I feel bad that I banned you from Israel. <laughs> Th those words should have never... What, what did I wait? Am I, am I still fucking dreaming? Did I eat an ice cream bar? Is that what happened? Uh... I, I don't know. How about I play Moses and you play with my staff? <laughs> Fuck! I'm just trying to... I'm just getting ready for the undercover thing. But it, how are we going to go undercover in Israel? Also, lots of death penalties. They will kill the fuck out of us. Then let's just not go. <laughs> that was the plan, Andy. <laughs> we can't... 
can't break into Israel when you announce the plan in front of a thousand fucking people. Hey, guys, hey, we have a little guest that I'm going to in invite in. Uh, a, Are they going to help us break rune. into Israel? Oh, Jesus. No, Braving Rune wants to uh, uh, talk to us and give us some advice. Oh, yeah. I mean, about true. being banned from Israel? Yeah. No, hang on. I'm going to top off my coffee. Uh, hey, Tonka, you aren't like. Mad, are you? <laughs> are you upset at least? You've got to give me a minute, Andy. I don't know how to process it. I've never been banned from a fucking country before. You gotta give me a second. Uh, I will let you know. That... Me either. <laughs> I. This is the first time. Okay, hey, hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll be back. I don't want to top off my coffee. Did the, the, the fucking Israel's Twitter fucking be like, yeah, you, you guys, no more. Israel, Israel's Twitter tweeted at me as a like, fuck you. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. And I was like, oh, I wouldn't even ask it for Dave. I didn't know. He... Whatever. Failure, are you banned from anywhere? Fucking, fucking Israel's Twitter it fucking does hashtag I stand with destiny. <laughs> they hate you so much. Jesus. God damn it. What happened to my life? Well, I was I, doing a bullshit. I said, I said, I said, you know, hey, you know, I'm I'm tired after an entire night of fucking streaming, and did this was fucking emotionally draining, you know. All, all hey, Tonk, are we I still banned or? <sighs> did you? Oh, did you file? Did you file an appeal to their fucking Tonka, copyright Tonka. claim for us in Israel? Is that what happened? I'm okay. Here, I, I don't do. think Israel DMCA no, us. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. We may actually have to talk to someone to get unpanned from a country, Andy. All right, all right, hang on, hang on. Don't worry, I'm on it, okay. You're fine. No, wait, wait, Andy. Yeah, hang, yeah. Andy, yeah. please don't help me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Let me just, uh, I'm going to give him a shout real quick. Hold on, Andy, all don't, right. don't. Hang help. on. Uh, word just I'm, came in. You're, you're banned from the space station. The space station's just uh, banned. No, no, I don't think we're banned from there yet. Hang on. Hey, no, hang on. you think? All hang right. On, hang on, hang on. Let me just... Listen, Shh, it's a space station. Wrong number. I was trying to phone Israel. It's wrong number. No, yeah. no, no. Don't don't prank call Israel just yet. I was doing prank I, I calls. Think... I was just ask him, like, hey, may, I, may you unban me? Maybe throw him an email real quick or... Andy. Israel. You fucking got us banned from that shit. Uh, let me see here. I'm just gonna double check here. Uh, hey, Braving, what's going on, man? You know, I've I've been uh, oh, I've been called a lot of things. You know, I've been called a, a neo-Nazi and a and a fascist and a white supremacist. But I I really you know I realized something this morning. I, I could just never hope to be as extreme as any of you guys. Like you, you're just so much more hardcore than i am you know i've i've never been on a on a hate watch list i'm a good you know, boy like I, <laughs> I i i just i can't i can't keep up with the with the race war here <laughs> fucking <laughs> just cannot keep pace i, I didn't want to be i just wanted to have debates on my channel i didn't want to be okay banned from I, I, I i got a i got another one <clears throat> In a world where the Kumite is all right, <laughs> where Andy Ray Worski has burned down Hasbro, banned from Israel, coming to theater soon. <laughs> hey, Braving, hey, what do you think? What do you think about our banning from from Israel? <laughs> I'm 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 not actually 100 percent sure if that's true or not. I would have to look into that. Even if but, it's not, uh, I'm, not, I, I don't I'm gonna know if assume I could be we're banned anymore. from Israel. I don't want to get arrested at the. I border. mean, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. I just don't know for for sure. If I'm it's not true booking or not. a flight to Israel any fucking time soon now. <laughs> Wait, how, how did you like my my uh, my undercover Jewish character? It was, it was good, right? Hey, uh, it could be it could be a little more uh, uh, a little more gravelly, a little more nasally. You kind of kind of scrunch your nose up like this. And kind of oh, oh. talk talk through your nose, and 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 do do weird emphasis on certain syllables like this. Make wow, sure to talk know. about That's your really bushes. You sound j just like the uh, Kyle's cousin from South Park, <laughs> 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 the Jew. Yeah. Oh God. Oh man, I didn't like. Yeah, just just try to try to talk like Kyle's mother from South Park. Just do do your best to imitate that. <laughs> 
Uh, I, I can't. I can't do it. I'll just coil. Keep, uh, coil. I'll just stick to my uh, my uh, you the know. trademark hey. Andy Worski impression. Look at me. I'm a Jew. Yay. Fucking Andy Dice. <laughs> <laughs> That that sounds more like a like a, a Fonzie impression, like Fon the Fonz from yeah. Happy Days. Like it's well, Andrew Dice Clay is an imitation of Fonz, and it's, it's kind of ironic that it's a Jew playing an Italian uh, stereotype, and we we got a, a Polak playing a fucking Jew. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, hey, hey, did you think that it would come to this braving? <laughs> Uh, I, I honestly did not. I mean, uh, I guess, I guess a little foresight could have, uh, helped us predict this because it seems like, uh, I, I think Tonka's take on it is right. That, uh, that it's the fact that you, that your popularity exploded and you're hosting people with controversial ideas. And so by association, you must be one of those people and you're just as bad as them for giving them attention. Basically. Oh, hold on. Tonka, hold on a second. I got, I got a, I got a paper here. Just came in. Um, <clears throat> official <laughs> word from ISIS. Andy, you're banned from any of their meetings. You're too extreme. Oh, sorry, Tonk. Are, is Tonka you, banned yeah, from you, ISIS you, too? You, you guys hate the Jews too much, even for ISIS. Uh, Tonka fine. here. You're not coming yeah. to my motherfucking birthday party. Wait, are you? Are you <laughs> actually mad that uh, Tonka? You're not mad. Hey, how many look? How many people do you get kicked out of countries on on a daily basis? Is this just it's something like you a, do? It's like a you know two pals you know hanging out. You know, okay, look. This is like know, spilling let, shit on the carpet to you. No, no, dude, 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 dude. Like you remember back back in high school days or college days, you're out with your buddy at night, it's just you and him. You like have a drinking night, and you go out like a night out on the town and get up to shenanigans. This is all it is, shenanigans. You know? And then you wake up and you're banned from a country. Yeah, you're like, oh, I have a tattoo I didn't want. You know, oh, I was banned from Israel, yeah, whatever. And, you know? and, Andy, read Jim's DMs and just do what they say. Andy, call this number and ask them if you're banned in Israel. I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not gonna call and they ask like if that. I'm banned from call Israel. Call a number that Jim, Billy... Medicare gave you. That's yeah, a good idea. So wrong. No, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, like probably I'm gonna go. Like, hey. It's probably like the, the Israeli embassy or something. It will yeah, be the last surviving <laughs> sex line or the Israeli embassy. Yeah. Uh... Hey, am I banned from Israel? <laughs> That's all I'm gonna hear. Yeah, I'm gonna Google this phone number. I'm gonna see what he was trying to make him call. Uh, let's see. Boo -boo. My keyboard. Okay, there we go. Uh, Southern Poverty Law Center. Oh, that's the Southern oh, okay. Poverty Law Center. <laughs> you think I should call them and just go, hey, hey guys. Go, the next I, article, Andy Worski contacts SPLC, sends terroristic threat. They're, they're going to say... <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, hold on, hold on. Did, should we just call them on air? Just call them. Ten fa okay, <laughs> failure, you call. You call. Call. I don't want my number on their fucking. It'd be really easy. You could call through Google Hangouts, actually, and you'd get the audio and everything. Like if you just open, uh, you go go to the Hangouts homepage. You can type any number in there and just make a phone call from it for free. Okay. I oh, it could, there... be, it could be interesting <laughs> if you. <Yeah>. Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at the fucking. Look at the chat. Look at our chat. <laughs> Press one. Press one if you want Andy to call the SPLC live on air. Hey, I'm, I'm undercover get, doing something. I'm, what, what, can I get a bacon sandwich or something? Yeah. <laughs> One's in the chat. I love Somebody this. says Andy's, Andy's going to jail. <laughs> no, I'm not going to jail for shit. And no, ask them me. where they get the fucking sack. To ban like one of the last four engines from any oh, fucking where. Fucking call, please. Please call. 
uh, your failure. If you want, you you call, man. You know how to do this. You're the producer. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed that you guys managed to to out Nazi me because I saw uh, mm -hmm. a couple days ago. I saw this this video from this uh, that rational disconnect guy. He's uh, you, you guys know who that is, right? Yeah. No, I don't uh, know who anybody is. I am a good boy. <laughs> Conker, you're in this. He's you're right. in this now. I threw you in the fucking you fire. You stay away from me, Race Worski. <laughs> I want to be able to fuck girls in Italy one day. Leave me alone. No, no, no. He's, okay, so, 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 rational disconnect is one of uh, Pascal, Pascal Larue's friends, the Geico caveman's oh, friends. Fuck me. And uh, and and he he does this half hour long video about how. Uh, the, you know the the Nazis subverted uh, the skeptic community and subverted the liberals. Talking about uh, you know Andy's fall from grace or whatever. And in this video, he's got a clip of me saying, uh, you know, there's like spooky music, and he's like, uh, he's got a clip of me saying, oh, well, you know, it, it's amazing what 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 a difference a year makes. Like if you had asked me, if you had told me last year that uh, you know Spencer would be debating Sargon on Andy Worski's channel, I wouldn't have believed you. And it's like it's supposed to be like proof of something that I like. I came along and like, you know, manipulated Andy into becoming a Nazi or whatever. Like, it, it's just really weird that they I'm think. I'm not a uh, Nazi. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm. I'm. I, I'm. I'm fucking. You're, you're, well, I mean, apparently, according to the experts on Nazism, you're more extreme than I am, dude. So, oh what, what can I say? God. Well, how uh, I, 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 I admit, I admit defeat. I, I, uh, I just couldn't keep up with the race war. You ruined oh. my life, Andy. You a motherfucking monster. I I didn't. It was an it's accident. All Andy's fault. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. Uh, failure. What? I'm Do you want to call? Andy. You want to call them and ask for us? I'll send you the number no, here. I don't Why not? trust anything right now. <laughs> because you got Andy. <laughs> you got you got fucking Tonka banned from fucking Israel. Jesus. No, just call. Oh, them not, not, just failure call doesn't want to hang out number. with you anymore. I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a super chat a little while ago, maybe like 20 minutes ago. Uh, somebody claiming that Trudeau was talking about the article on CTV or something. I don't know if that's true because I I'm you know I'm American. I don't have CTV, but if there's a way to like check that, you should check that because I you better be I've, fucking kidding. I, I don't know. I have no idea if this is true or not. I just saw it in the, get the super fuck chat. out of my face. That better not be true. <laughs> By the way. Oh, hey, here's where this fucking article is bullshit. YouTube Blood Sports is an alt right <laughs> haven. Google monetizes hate speech using ad dollars. No, motherfucker. It's super chats, fucking dollars. Fucking, they don't give us no fucking ad revenue. I think this is like, uh, it's like 50% being scared of the people that Andy is hosting and 50% being jealous that these people like Jared Holt know that they couldn't host such a successful show. Like he he knows that if he did like an interview show where he's going to interview like uh, you know other other lefty journalists or whatever he he knows that he wouldn't get this kind of attention he knows he wouldn't get that kind of super chat money or anything and it's just jealousy I think it's like half jealousy and half fear. I you ruined my life. Hmm. <sighs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to happen. This is an accident, guys. It's a very happy accident, if you ask I me. I didn't. I didn't. This is what. How is it a happy about. accident? It might be for fucking white boy over there. What the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> I ain't nobody gonna like me over there. Wait, I. I have one. I have one. <clears throat> Whoops! <laughs> whoops hell! Great answer. I, that's all I could say. I don't got anything else. You can't whoops when you get people kicked out of countries. <laughs> uh, hang on. You whoops when you spill shit. The, this is like one of those. Uh, we are see, banned I from see, a yeah. country. <laughs> I had to see Andy as undercover Jew in Israel. All of a sudden getting caught, and there's a mob around him. Fucking Tonka's just like, oh, fucking Andy. <laughs> Andy's just like, whoops, with his hands up in there. Like, eh. You guys, well, you guys, Andy. 
<laughs> so, sorry, this, this super chat is I saw I saw a super chat pop up. This is really funny. Trash man twenty bucks says you guys deserve this for making me laugh so hard. I nearly started crying at work. Let this be the beginning of the legal defense fund. To get oh, look, 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 look at that! Look at that! Those are some Google ad dollars that work right there. Uh, I appreciate. Apparently, we're going to need a legal fund to get back into Israel. That we I wasn't planning to go, but now I feel right. slighted because asshole over here got. I think out. we should just go as a so it's, like. It's uh, like it, it's one of those things where it's like you never thought of doing it until somebody told you you couldn't, and now suddenly you want to go to Israel really bad. I like, want to go is, now. Is is yeah, it? let's. Um, I don't know what we could do, Tonka. I'll fly to wherever you're like you are, right? We'll start a morning kumite on like a laptop the morning, in the airport. The morning jumite. The, yeah, the, the jumite. The morning jumite. And we walk <laughs> through the security while while like being live and see what happens. It's a lot of views. Maybe a lot of super chat dollars. It's a lot of jail time. <laughs> How <laughs> uh, did you even though. do this? They really want us to phone the fucking the SPLC or whatever. You got right. a lot of ones in that chat, and you're not honoring them, the ones. You don't go. Don't, don't disrespect the ones. The the chat demands go ahead, it. It's you. <laughs> go ahead. You. I, I'm. I'm not having them fucking trace my number or anything. Fuck that. Shit. I mean, in all in all seriousness, I am kind of concerned for Andy because he does, you know, Canada is Canada don't just fucking as, play. Yeah, and it, it's just as bad as like you know, like what what did you say he was going to get dankulated? You know that that's I think that's a good way of putting it. You know that that he, is my that's why I want Andy to get the fuck out of Canada, playing these games. Shit. It, you weren't uh, you weren't planning on on going to Israel. Though, let's be fucking completely honest here. I guess not. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me rephrase that. You're not going to Israel. Oh yeah, you are much, not much more accurate Jewish. way to put it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm good on Israel uh, now, Andy. Yeah. Um, people are. Uh, what is this? Tasku reviews five dollars says donation to smuggle yourself in. Thank you, Kar Karanaka five dollars. Uh, fo to free you from Mossad prison fund. All right, thank you. Um, I didn't plan this. I was gonna wake up, just go. Let's just chat about some silly things. <laughs> hey, 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 Tonka, let, let's 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 sneak into into Israel. Let, let's just get into this oven. They'll never suspect two Jews in the oven. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good enough to get banned from t from the fucking country. He wants to sneak in and get killed there too. <laughs> That's a good one, Chip. <laughs> oh, holy shit! Here's another another fucking. The memes are starting to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Truly oh. are the worst ski. Oh, that is <laughs> <laughs> the fucking worst. Oh my god, that's a fucking funny one. Ruined my life, but at least we've <laughs> got memes. <laughs> and at least there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Being fuck. fucking Israeli prison. But at least oh. we still have our memes. Just fucking. At least there's to, memes. Look, you know, to scratch them into the wall and shit. Look, yeah, yeah. Look, there's no, um. Tonka. There's no. There's no way we're getting back into Israel. But goddamn, that was worth it. That one was worth it. Yo, guys. Whoever. Yo, whoever's fucking rocking these memes. Yeah, since we got kicked out of Israel, uh, somebody should make like a video of something that we can play in the beginning 
of me and Andy doing something ridiculous that got us kicked out of it. Something that I can play. Mm -hmm. Put music to some shit. Anything. <sighs> Anything. I'll fucking hire an animator to do that fucking trailer and we'll voice it over. Let's fucking do that. I can't. I'll look, pay look, someone a thousand dollars. Look, look, look at this one, Andy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. That's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, that is fucking good. Well, how did we fucking beat Braving Ruin to this? You. This wasn't my fault at all. This is Jared. This is all Jared Holt's fault. I'm going to make an article that's going to slander his name, but just Where be Where are you going to put an article in? Do you got an article? Well, you know what's interesting is that uh, Tree of Logic, uh, I don't know, I, we were friends. I haven't talked to her in a while, so I don't know if we still are, but she interviewed Jared Taylor on her channel a couple months ago. She's got about uh, 60,000 subscribers, I think, and... You know, it, it's interesting how someone like Jared Holt never went after her because not only did she interview him before you did, Andy, but she also basically brought him on to agree with him. She agrees with pretty much everything Jared Taylor believes. Uh, or, you know, if she does disagree with him, she didn't really show it. Um, whereas, you know, you kind of openly disagree with people like Jared Taylor. And it, it's interesting how... Holt won't go after her because she's not one. She's not as high profile as you, and two, Tree is too black for him to go after. Like he can't, he can't criticize her. It's the same reason. Uh, he looks that like he's T afraid of girls. <laughs> it's it's the same reason that guy T doesn't get fired from his, uh, you know, libertarian magazine that he works for is because he he's too black, so he can say all the racist shit he wants, uh, and you know, and, and endorse fascism all he wants, and they never fire him. They never really criticize him openly. They just kind of let him keep saying shit because he's too black. That's my take on that. <laughs> well, fuck him. <gasps> fuck who? That guy T? I guess. No, why he's, he's he fine. banned it's from just, somewhere? It, I don't. Why it, am I it's, banned? It, it's just funny because they won't. You know, they they won't go after somebody because they're too. Uh, they, they're too. I mean, I don't know. I guess this Jared Holt guy didn't look into you, Tonka, because if he, you know, if he looked into you, then he wouldn't, uh, you know, he, he would realize that you were, you know, your people were the victim of a genocide by uh, by the English. So, you know, so you can't be all right. Yeah, but... You should be blowing me. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore because you're banned from Israel. <laughs> you could feel, how did, how, you. I'm actually, you know what? I don't even you care anymore. Shit. Fuck you, Tonka. I'm happy you're banned from Israel. That was my you, plan all along. No, you, you, you have pulled a <laughs> hell of a coup here, Andy. You, you have managed to get banned from Israel. You're now on a. This a is very ultimate list. blood sports. Come on. Like, oh, we had a little argument about this thing. Oh, we had a little argument. Bitch, I got fucking Tonka banned from Israel. That's real blood sports. <laughs> That's actual real blood sports. Hey, what did you do? I insulted him. What did you do? Got him banned from a country? Damn. <laughs> Nigga, please. That's crazy. That's what went down. All right. That's, what, that's what went down. That's all did did we ditch the idea of calling that? Is everybody afraid of getting their number traced by the crazy people that have banned us from places? I can't call them because then they'll know. Hey guys, it's Andy. You just posted about me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Andy's the worst. At this shit. Wouldn't want to get Hasbroed, would you? <laughs> hey, this is Georgie. How you doing? I just saw you posted a uh, an article about that uh, Andrew Warhol. <laughs> you know, I'd have to fucking. Why you no call? I mean, just block right. the number. That that doesn't work in this day and age. Yeah. Star four one. But no, do, don't ask about Andy. Just be like, if someone happens to find themselves on one of your lists, are they banned from Israel? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> just, just say curious. your name is Adam. Ah. Uh, 
Does anyone like? Does anyone have balls to call? I I don't want them to trace backtrace it and get me in trouble with backtrace. <laughs> Star what? Oh, Star Fourteen Eighty Eight. Consequences in Israel will never be the same. <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't this isn't my mess. I mean, you know, Medicare made the suggestion to you, Andy. So I don't know why you're trying to pass it off on, on oh, the rest uh -huh. of us. Oh, hang on. To block Passing your call, Toxic Gamer says Star Fourteen Eighty Eight, and then <laughs> then your number. <laughs> call from Skype, you idiots. I don't know. Star sixty seven. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you could you could just call from Skype. You could make a okay. You know, it's okay, it's pretty okay. easy to get somebody's IP from Skype, though. All right, let's. Uh, oh fuck me. Okay. Well, I have a I have a VPN. Does that work? Like, does that is that okay? Yeah, it probably <laughs> helps. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Let me just hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, cool. I, I, I'm 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 nervous, but fucking. All right, let's. You're nervous. Let's do this. That's just Let's do star 67. Uh, let me see if this works. Hang on. Uh, da, da, da. My life. I'm dialing. Heart's beating very fast. Two. Okay. Please check the number and dial again. Oh, I need uh what's the uh the area code? I mean, sorry, the uh, long distance code. You press fucking one. Okay, yeah. One eight 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 eight. Yeah. One. God damn it, Dave. Shh, I'm nervous. <laughs> one, five, okay. Repeated as dialed. I, I I can't block my uh. Do I have to block my number first? I don't know if I could do a star sixty seven. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe that's just an American thing. I don't know if that works in Canada. No, no, it works in Canada too. We have it here. Oh. Um, somebody talk. Somebody help him. <laughs> um, how do I fucking block this number? Uh, get your girlfriend's phone. All right, one second. <laughs> 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 Get your girlfriend banned no, from Israel. No. Alright. You you can't block your own number from yourself. Huh? Uh Okay. Okay, here. I'm gonna Maybe wait, do you dial star sixty seven first and then it tell it makes you do the number? Hang on, let me try that. No, you you just you dial it like you put it in front of the number that you're trying to call. Like, right. you dial star six, seven, and then the number, like, all in one shot. Oh, God. Okay. Let's do this. One, eight, eight, four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling. Be completed as dialed. Please check the number. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? It's not... Not maybe, fucking... maybe, maybe they blocked Star Six Seven from calling. <laughs> that's that's Shit. no, that, that's all I can think of. Because maybe, maybe that's like one of their things of like, oh, we got so many threatening calls from Star Six Seven calls, so we blocked Star Six. I'm pretty sure you can do oh, that. Wait, like block maybe private. let me try Star Sixty Nine. I I think it may be Star Sixty Nine. Star Sixty Nine is something totally different, Andy. Yeah, no. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? What is it? I'm gonna try it. I don't give a fuck. You could suck but it. But he's not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Star 69 doesn't work. Shit. Uh, yeah, maybe you should just stop trying before you make this worse on yourself. I don't know. So I want to ask. I want to go. Hey. Oh, God. Hey. Hey. Are you all doing? Oh my God. Oh, yeah, Star 69 is called back. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this motherfucker uh, got me banned from a country. I want to call, but I'm fucking, I'm fucking scared. <laughs> God damn it, I'm scared. Okay, uh, call you from can't Skype. Make a phone call. Got me banned from a country. Mm -mm. Oh, fuck. Okay, <sighs> failure. Just call. Just do it. Don't be like that. Be By the way, uh, be a pal. I'm just reading on Twitter. Uh, our, our 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 buddy, our best friend Kraut, says uh, hmm. that you guys are gonna get uh, <laughs> you you guys are gonna force Google to shut down Super Chat. 
You, you, you're going to get a oh, lot yeah. of angry well, people. He's stupid. You're going to get Shut a lot of mind. angry people. Crowd, crowd says the I'm going to get you banned from Israel too, you fucking two-faced something. Fuck you. Yeah, he just fucking Shut up. his people. Shut your mouth. Shut the fuck oh, up, yeah. crowd. Just, just before that, he tweeted, uh, has, has anyone found any evidence of me doxing anyone yet? Invite that uh, yeah. piece of shit in here. He, he's not going to come on. I, I sent him a Discord friend request like last week because I, I actually did want to talk to him. We have Kraut saying, me. hey, I gathered all that information on the guy. Hey, I put it here. Hey, we have you record. I hate you. Stop it. Well, I mean, let's let, let, let's just get something retarded. straight, too. Let's just get something straight, too, is there's this this new narrative that uh People from from Kraut's camp are pushing is uh, oh you know people said it was a doxing server and it wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, explicitly a doxing server so therefore Kraut didn't do nothing. I don't care. Uh, I never said it was a doxing server. When no, I, I don't give a shit. I, no, I'll say there was doxing going on in the server, so fine, it's a doxing service, whatever oh, yeah. you want to call. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I mean the the way I put it was that Zeph was in there. Zeph was bragging about doxing. Zeph was showing uh, you know boasting about examples of him doxing people. Uh, and then alongside that, you have the weird culty mentality that was going on in there where they have like the whole like hit list of people and everything. And they're trying to find ways to smear people. Uh, they're coming up with these weird like psyop things and everything. And it's just a bad situation all around. It's a recipe for disaster. Right. I never said it was a doxing server uh, because I wanted to be as accurate as possible. Uh, and this is the way they're trying to, to wiggle out of it now, is they're saying, oh, well, it wasn't dedicated to doxing. It wasn't exclusively for doxing, so you can't say it was a doxing server and Kraut didn't do anything wrong, which you know doesn't explain why he took all his shit down and left if he didn't do anything wrong. Mm. Well, yeah, well, well, no, no, Kraut obviously did something wrong. You don't leave, you don't apologize, you don't erase the videos, you don't fucking hide out for a month. He did something wrong. And he like uses Zeph as fucking backup. Get out of here, Kraut. You're gonna get Super Chats banned. No, we're not, we're having debates. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it just YouTube shows monetizes you. me too. They don't give a flying fuck. Well, There's it way worse shit on there. Consistency too. It shows you the inconsistency too, because when, when the shit was going down, he made his little apology video and said, oh, it, it was old Zeph. Zeph is the one who was doxing, it wasn't me. And then now suddenly when he does his, this little interview he had, suddenly Zeph is his evidence that there wasn't doxing. And like Zeph is supposed to be backing him up or something. It's like, okay, well, which one is it? Uh, either <sighs> like, uh, like a month ago you said it was all Zeph's fault and yes, there was doxing and Zeph did it. And now suddenly Zeph is like vouching for you and that's supposed to be evidence. Like Zeph vouching for you is evidence that you didn't do anything. So which, which one? Good news, everybody. Okay. Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> says I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Yeah, it, look, it, it, it doesn't so, make any sense. So, so annoying. It's not even just that, by the way. Oh, by the way, are we able to use Fire RTC? What? This is like a this is like a to is call that? people from your browser, and people use it to not like it doesn't get your um. It's like an unknown caller ID, basically. It takes thirty seconds to sign up. They said. Well, yeah, my point is there was that and there was like that clip going around on uh, about Destin yesterday who was like, I'm done with that side of the Internet. Uh, I'm just going to keep up my subreddit to report spamming like, or to spam. Uh, 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 what would you call it? A reporting like flagging. So fucking if you don't like us, just leave us alone. You fucking you, you, you mean the one that's been uh, taken down because of copyright uh, off of Twitter? Is that what he is that what he did? Yeah. Oh, good thing. Good thing people saved it then. That's a good thing I have fucking fucking four files saved of that. Fucking. You know what? Maybe I don't know if we all have that clip. I'm pretty sure that violates our Reddit's uh, terms of service as well as Twitch's terms of service. Maybe I should send Twitch a a clip of that. And go, hey, why is this uh, user slandering me, doing all these fucking harassing things, and now is creating a subreddit to get me fucking banned off Twitter when I'm not breaking terms of service? Hey, Twitch, and get his Twitch removed. Destiny, get the fuck off. Yeah, you get know, off my it, ass, you stupid it's a bitch. Real shame. 
it's it's a real shame because I, I would love for it to be like everybody can say what they want and everybody can do the kind of content they want and nobody nobody's trying to get each other's shit taken down. But that's not the world we live in. You know, like if people are going to play it like this, if people are going to go around and say, oh, well, I'm going to get my fans to flag all your shit down and, it. you know, that then th this is how it's going to be. It's like, you know, like if, if somebody like that wants to run around doing that, then they can fuck off. You know, I would prefer they just leave. Yeah, you know? just God damn it, fuck Andy. off. Just don't. Oh, 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 boy. <laughs> what? T Tonka. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's the, uh, it's the wall. Are you looking at the chat right now? Oh, I see. At our, at our chat? At the hangout? Yep. There we yep. go. There it is. Destiny has to <laughs> fuck right off. I swear to God. I swear to fucking God, Destiny. I'm trying to get him to just fuck off. And... Destiny, we got we got bigger problems to deal with right now. We got yeah, we are banned from Israel, so. I'm not banned from Israel. Keep talking I'm a good to Andy. boy. Keep talking to Andy. <laughs> I've been nothing but a good little engine, and they don't fucking ban me from injury. So just keep hanging out with Andy. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. You ruining life. Tonka, you know, at least, at least it was a good Kumite. <laughs> it's pretty funny Kumite. We're only two hours in, and you've got me banned from a country, Andy. What else can go wrong today? <laughs> fucking, that's funny. Fucking, we're going to say some jokes, get banned from Israel. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's how you do it. I didn't want it to be this way. <laughs> this was not. You remember, you, you, you remember the terminal? That's what's going to happen. You get, you're going to go for a fucking flight one day, Tonka. And they're going to turn you away from the country because you're banned in the country. And then when you try to go back, nope, you're banned from all countries, sir. you got to live in the airport now. <laughs> Tonka, Tonka in the terminal. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. And, and here, here's the thing. People try to keep Tonka down. He'll, he'll probably start to start his fucking morning fucking kumite in, in the fucking airport still still make it a success Term, terminal b has a uh, morning kumite blood sports <laughs> uh, yeah, your, your guests can just be random travelers waiting in the terminal you can just walk <laughs> up to people mm -hmm. all right i'm getting this uh this fucking this and you just walking around fight. are you a jew are you a jew we need a jew <laughs> Yeah, that'll go over well. <laughs> okay, I'm making I'm making a fucking um A A U with the curly things. You look Jew ish. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm making a password for this thing. A final fucking uh Okay, I have a confirmation link. I got this fucking thing that spoofs phone numbers. Confirm. All right. Now, okay. Now that now here's where I'm gonna. It's a bit tricky for me. Uh, if you have a Google account, you could connect it. No, thank you. Skip. <laughs> All right. Let's make a call. All right. Allow microphone. All right. Okay. So my name is George One One One. All right. And. No, you're not. You're Andy. No. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm going to... First, let me just call my number to see if this shit works. Because I imagine it says andywarski at gmail.com is calling. <laughs> All right, this I'm gonna this call. avatar, this, I'm this call. avatar that you have here, by the way, really was a huge mistake because you look so angry in it and it's perfect for all the memes people are making of you. It's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> like it couldn't it couldn't be more fitting for the Oh Andy shit, to, it's to working attack shit. Ooh. Oh no. It calls oh, from my. New York. Here we go. Okay, so it's working. Okay, now I have to put on voice meter, right? 
Voice meter. Is the voice meter banana uh, a failure? Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, voice meter banana, and then what? I just play, play like a clip from YouTube or something until we can hear the clip. That way we know it works. Uh, usually go to the voice meter aux and, and you make sure like B1 is on. Okay, so are, do you hear me right now? Yeah. Do you still hear me? Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go uh, on the hardware input one, put on my codec. Okay, that's good. And then, okay, so how do I attach the actual desktop audio? Voice meter aux, B1 on. Voice meter. Hey, I'm, I'm going to put a, a screen share here. If you could um, mm. uh, assist me. Okay, where? Where do I move my mouse? Oops. Well, Play play like a clip or something so we can hear. It. Yeah, no, but I'm asking where do I put the desktop? It, it, it's, it's it's fine how it is now. Except okay. I, yeah, uh, go play. A clip okay, so now quick. I have to then. So then I have to just switch this to the audio from here to voice meter output Veo or aux Veo. I wasn't. I wasn't planning to fucking play tech. Hang on, hang on. Share, share, share screen. I'm gonna share my screen here. Make sure. Okay, here we go. Now let me click this. Okay. Oh, um, you're gonna do for the mic, uh, VB audio. This one right here. Uh, yeah, VB audio virtual cable. <laughs> and for speakers. Uh, VB audio virtual cable. Where? This one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and okay, okay. Uh, Actually, no, no, I, I can keep on headphones. All right, cool. All right. All right, do you uh, hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah, All right, perfect. Yeah, now I'll play a YouTube video. Yeah. I'm going to play a YouTube video, make sure it's working, and then I'll call. Fine. Are you fucking happy, guys? Finally. Uh, how's this? See if you can hear this. Yeah. No. 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 Oh my Worst God. Go back to, plan ever. Uh, go go back to the settings real quick because we could hear ourselves before. So whatever you did was right before you change it back to the. Uh, wait. So settings. Uh, share, share your fucking screen, Andy. Sorry the guys, we're gonna. Well, 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 they're begging me in the fucking chat to fucking call, so we're I have to it. do this. So, we're doing it. okay, so so okay, settings here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now go to what? there. Go uh -huh. Click that thing. That this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but now I don't all hear right. you guys. All right. I don't hear you, at all. Um, no, nope. um, can't hear you. Can't hear you. <laughs> Show me your voice meter real quick, Andy. Let me see where you're from. For fuck goddamn sakes, share screen. You were sharing your screen, goddamn it. Yeah, but I have two screens. Kill me. Uh... All right. <laughs> God damn it. That's why I'm saying uh, just fucking you know, call. I don't. I don't have your fucking shit, Andy. Okay. Okay. All right. Hard, hardware. hardware out. Make sure you have your headphones, the one that you have on. Yeah. This is the man that got me banned from a country. A one. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why we? I have that. Okay. A one. Yeah. No, it's already on headphones. Yeah. All right. All right. Hold on. Uh, you got something fucked up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> go to. The is hardware. that is that a super is that a Super no, no, Mario no. Odyssey video in the background? Got yeah, it's some bing, some it's bashing it. Fuck it's yeah. bashing it. It's yeah. bashing it. It's bashing it. It's against. It's a really it's good, good game. game. It's a good game, but then I watched this a review and it made me d dislike it a little bit. Go to hardware input two. Hardware input two. No, no, no. That's a two, all the way to the left, Andy. Left, left, left. Okay, yeah. There. All right. Click that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're gonna. Where is it? Don't tell me you don't have the virtual audio code installed. Uh, 
<sighs> this is fucking garbage. Sorry, everyone. This is like the worst radio of all time. <laughs> All right, maybe you have a hardware input three. Try that one. No, you should retarded. Okay, I, I I'm not calling without fucking um. Unless I call and I just turn the speakers on real loud. Yeah, just do that, do that, Andy. And just okay, do that fine. for fuck's sake. Fine, fine, fine. fine. All, right. All right, the worst. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll put the microphone right beside here. All right, everybody, All right, everybody shut everybody, up. Shut up. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, you guys mute yourself. All right, audience. I hope. I hope. I'm gonna open up the chat so I can read what you fuckers are saying. All right, let's let's call. Let me put my phone on mute because if my girlfriend calls while this is happening, it's going to be hard to explain to her. Yeah, I'm just calling to see if I'm banned from Israel. All right. Let's do this. Uh, all right. I'm nervous as fuck, but let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Answer your fucking phone. Have you lost there? Hey, how you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Hey, I was just wondering, I was uh, on your website today and I saw a very interesting article and me as a concerned uh, citizen, I was just wondering if you can give me some information about the uh, gentleman on this article. What article? Uh, you posted on your website today something about uh, blood sports, the alt-right, or something. It's what this uh, guy, I believe his name was Adam Ray Swarski and uh, Tonka saw. They seem like very evil men. I just want some information. It's on your home page, I believe. Hold on, please. Sure thing. God, are they transferring me? They're transferring me. Your call has been answered by a via IP office. Extension 8. What? Okay, I just hung up. I just hung up. What was that? Why'd you hang up? They're backtracing you, Andy. That was backtracing, no? They're finding you, Andy. <laughs> no, they were just... I think they were just transferring you. No! It said, like, you're being transferred to an IP. Uh, I just wrote you... You wrote no, no, no in the fucking chat. Because <laughs> I was laughing. I was laughing behind the mute. But, but you heard that, right? Yeah. Fucking Andy. That, that's pretty yeah, bad, Andy. Andy, Why didn't you that just <laughs> ask if people who were on their website? Okay, I'll call back. I'll call back. I'll call back. All You're right. gonna call back. Right, I just oh, do one more call back. Okay, fine, Andy. All right, mute, 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 mute. Everybody mute. Fuck me. All right, all right, all right. Try to sound Jewish this time. Try to sound Jewish this time. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, I'm the Jew. Is that no, one of the cake guys? No, 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 no. no, it wasn't good. Oh, oh hey there, I, I, I'm sorry, I just called um, and 
the the line was transferred or something. Oh, was Sorry. I talking to you? Was I talking to you uh, just a second ago? My phone just disconnected. I don't know, sir. I've had ten calls. Um, what were you needing? Oh, I was I was just wondering. I was just on your website, and I was just wondering because uh, there was a few people who I was concerned on your on your page that you posted some articles. I was wondering if you're put on to uh, on your website. Are you banned from Israel? Um, let me transfer you to that department. Sure thing. The banning Israel department. <laughs> yes. Hey there, how you doing today? How are you? I'm, I'm excellent, thank you very much for asking. Uh, yeah, I was just on your website here, and I was reading some of the articles, very spooky stuff you have going on there, but I was just wondering uh, if, if people are put onto your website as a hate group, are they banned from Israel? Are they what? I, I can't hear the last part. Oh, sorry. So I'm saying, are, are, are they banned from Israel? Like the you country? Like you're in a hole. I can't really hear you too well. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is that better? So my phone is a little bit strange. Is that better? Do you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. My phone is a little bit messed up. Fell in the toilet the other day. Uh, no, I'm just asking if 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 people are put onto that website. A lot of scary people out there if they're banned from Israel, the country, for being uh, part of a hate group. I'm not sure, sir. No? Very interesting. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not I, sure on that question, sir. I, I, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, but it's very spooky stuff. Does, uh, what happens to these people who are put onto your website? The is, website is just is giving people information of the groups that are out there. Ah, I see, I see. So basically what you're saying is, all right, they're put up there, might be a, a hate group or something of those sorts, but they're still allowed in Israel. They are still allowed in Israel. Sir, we have no... We have no jurisdiction of Israel. We, we're in the United States. If Israel doesn't want those people over there, we have no jurisdiction over that. Oh, so you can't call them and be like, hey, there's this guy, uh, Adam no, Race Worski. Or... No. Oh, I see. Interesting. All right. Thank you very much for answering my question. I mean, it's pretty You're spooky, welcome. though. I think they should be banned from Israel, in my opinion. I don't want them in the motherland, you know what I mean? Like I said, that country has jurisdiction over that. We do not have jurisdiction over that. Oh, yeah, I, I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. <coughs> All right, we are not banned from Israel. So, so you, you are now on, uh, not, not just on the hate watch list, but now, now you're on a terror watch list as well, I'm, I'm sure. Why, why would you say that? <laughs> you were transferred to the ban from Israel department. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I banned from Israel? I don't know, let me transfer you to that department. <laughs> Andy, I, I was listening oh, in the Billy, audience. Billy, hey, what's going uh, on? You, I, I, did I misunderstand, or were you getting shit because you didn't do a thumbnail properly? Yeah, it took me twelve hours. I'm sorry, Billy. I'll, I'll, I'll delete Wait, my I mean, time. who, who fucking cares? It's a thumbnail. Here's the Jeff thing Holiday is, cares, Billy. Here's the but thing, I mean, Billy. why? What, what does it matter? It's a fucking thumbnail. But Billy, think... he cared so much that fucking six days later, when the, the thumbnail was already updated, he was still fucking passing around. Well, look, he look, he, he didn't. Why, why are thumbnail. people creating timetables for fucking thumbnail development? What, what, what is going seen, on? Have you, seen channel? Channel? have you seen their channel? Have you seen their channels, Billy? No, no, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I've been seeing a lot of pushback against the blood sports thing. That, that's partially why I, I wanted to come on and talk. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. A, a lot of pushback. People saying, "Oh, it's drama." Uh, but I mean, here's the thing: all this shit people engage in on social media, 
But you know how many fucking Twitter fights you see between people or Facebook fights or fucking just any kind of platform you can imagine? The only yeah. difference is you're putting it in video format and giving the audience a chance to interact. Hmm. You, it, it's fucking Jerry Springer. It's Richard Bay on the internet. People love that shit. Yeah, last I, night, I, I've uh, said that's this so repeatedly. Great, eh? The last uh, night, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, last night, and look, I don't even tell Tonka, I don't tell you to watch any of my streams, I don't care, but last night, watch that, I you would enjoy it. It's like, it's the best stream we've had in a long time, it's not about... Yeah, no, I, I, I watched the shit out of it, thank you, by the way, for asking Lauren that question, I just wanted to know if she <laughs> wanted to go on a, a walk through the wheat fields with the doctor. <laughs> wheat. I also yeah. like that she was the only fucking one in that entire call that got that. Yeah, she completely yeah. picked up on what that was, and nobody else had any clue as to what oh, the fuck that was about. I, I, I say, I say fuck right? Andy. I say fuck Andy. Just watch uh, Cronus's clips of uh, the best. No, of no, the whole stream show. yesterday was literally <laughs> a, a man and two women tr trying to murder each other. It was fantastic. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I, again, I, I don't get this. Um, People just don't like it because it's a new thing that's starting to kind of take hold and people enjoy it and everybody's set in the way of their content creation and they don't want to shift uh, production to something new. And it's really what it comes down to or they're not capable of doing well, it. Well, here's the thing, uh, Jim, is is that they... Uh, they cause I remember hearing this yesterday on, on Kumite after I had left when I was in the car, but but they, like, were, uh, a failure in Tonka were talking about how... People want to keep it the way it was, meaning like the response videos or this or that. But the thing it was is, easier that way for them. But but here's the thing: Tonka and failure, they could still do that. It's not like my streams are preventing anyone from making whatever they want, right? Why can't it like both of it exist on the same you know platform? YouTube that has billions of fucking videos uploaded a day. Like, like, it's not like me. There, there's nothing prohibiting you from doing it. Like, it, it's just again, it's it's people that don't want to fucking adjust, or they're pissed off that it's doing well because they didn't think it was going to do well, and it, it's sour grapes, man. They it watch their they watch their numbers go down and your numbers go up. Yeah, yeah I mean, look at your your like last month, uh, Andy. You had fucking crazy metrics. I mean, you had a lot of subs, a lot of views. You made. I, I'm going to assume I don't really fucking tell your super chats. I don't have an hour to listen to you read or to uh, listen to you read <laughs> yeah, through uh, them. Yeah, but I'm going to assume you make a good amount of money doing it. I mean, I know Tonk mm -hmm. is. It looks like he makes a good amount of money doing it too. Um, yeah, and and yeah. so it's it's something people are fucking interested in. And you know, I, I've noticed that Kraut and other people are bitching, saying that uh, this is going to make Google remove super chat. <laughs> fucking Streamlabs exists, so who cares? Yeah. Okay, Super Chat's gone. Okay, big deal. Fucking Streamlabs is there if you still want to get fucking donations from chat. Also, let me show you something here. I'm going to do a quick uh, a screen share here. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, may you uh, point out any of the videos that I've done in the past week or two weeks that have, are demonetized? Yeah, I'm not seeing any. I, I yeah. see the little yeah. green symbol. I th that means it's monetized, yeah? Yeah, so so Jared Heaven Taylor. Heaven forbid example, conversations happen. Well, well, look with Jared Taylor, you would assume okay, that's deep being demonetized immediately. I I hit the you know review button, and within I'd say half an hour monetized. And YouTube knows what I'm doing; like they know who I am. Well, yeah, because the difference is you're hosting a. It's like a fucking daily talk show kind of shit. Again, it really is like the '90s fucking talk shows or morning zoo shit. Mm -hmm. You're not coming out with a political ideology. It's not, you know, Adam Raceworski wants you to become a neo-Nazi. It's I'm having a fucking conversation and we get to listen to people yell at each other and that's fucking entertaining. And I don't think YouTube really gives a shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there was, for example, when you listen to something like The Daily Show uh, with, uh, you know, Mike Enoch, his, 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 his thing is they're giving their ideology and they're very intense and YouTube wouldn't allow that on their platform. Uh, I mean, but, they might, but they they wouldn't. It would be age restricted, probably immediately. It'd be age restricted or demonetized because they've talked about like Holocaust denial and all these crazy shit, right? Uh, which I don't agree with, but they could talk about whatever they want, in my opinion. However, um, on my show, for example, we try and avoid certain topics that I know is illegal in Canada or something like that. But yeah, I don't. 
I don't think I think YouTube. We try to avoid things that are legal. Aren't you the dude that prank called the fucking SPLC? <laughs> I didn't prank call them. I was asking them a question. A I, am I am I banned from Israel? I'm just the, really oh, oh, I, the motherland. You, you convinced us. Did you not hear the first hour of Kumite where that Tom was goes fun as fuck? That was the best episode. I, how was that was not? Nothing. How was that not completely obvious to you that I was fucking? Why would you be banned from Israel? SPLC is not even Israeli. See, now you're killing kayfabe from great radio, Jim. Hang on. Just, yeah, oh, I'm gonna fucking murder it dead. You're, <laughs> Call you're, me Jim Cornette. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna hit you in the racket. <laughs> God damn. Andy, do you I'm think that uh, a lot of these people are just pissed off because you just aren't yelling at the alt right all the time like they want you to? Uh, I don't. Honestly, man, the amount of theories that you can, I think it's like a, like, a, like variables. There's a lot of, a, a lot of reasons. Uh, I think one of the main ones may be jealousy. Um, but again, well, if, if you, Andy, if you, if you really want to light a fire under their ass, did you see the new feature uh, that YouTube instituted with live streams? No, it's that. You and uh, now I've told you guys. I, I think if you had like three or four shows together, you could like create a thing where people could tune in for one after the other after the other. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube now has a thing where you can run a channel and have multiple live streams going simultaneously on the same channel, and hit a button now that will let you switch cameras between each of those streams. Huh? So you could have you could have uh, Andy Worski, Tonka Suff, Failure, and others all streaming at the same fucking time on the same fucking channel. And all somebody has to do is just hit one button and they can switch between each stream. So if you set up like a designated block of time, so like, you know, seven to nine is Tonka and then, or seven to nine is failure. And then, you know, uh, uh, 10 to two is uh, Tonka. And then you got somebody else and then uh, Worski in the evenings. You could literally create your own user created uh, YouTube version of fucking radio on oh, one wait, channel on. and have all the money come into, you know, and, and split it. Well, that's insane. I mean, the, uh, the only hard thing is is who's making what and how would you, you split would it. I, I think it by. divides it up, but I think you each get your own unique stream key, so it's not like you'd be jumping on each other's uh, streams. Oh, okay, so you're doing it from your own channel technically, but it's almost like you're creating a hub for all the cha channels to be connected. Yeah, it's a one channel host all of the content. So you know like how uh, to get into a Google Hangout, I need this stream link to get into it? Yeah. And, and, you know, Tonka, like when you start one up or Andy, when you start one up, you get mm -hmm. the key that lets you specifically stream to that. So it would be one channel where you get unique keys for each of the streams and you give out one to each individual. So they, they'd only be able to interact with their particular stream. They wouldn't be able to take yours over. That's you know what I, I'm wild. seeing? And, and I'm sure you're noticing this too. I'm sure everyone's noticing this. Uh, and I noticed it like when I started these streams and me being monetized and then my subs going back to the positive and you know all this shit happening. I feel as if YouTube is, is legitimately pushing live streams as the main content because their entire thing is they want people to stay on the website for as long as possible. I don't think that was the plan. No, I, I don't think that was the plan, but they're just like, holy shit. And think about it. They're making, what, 30% off Super Chats. Therefore, they don't need ad, uh, have to waste advertising dollars on our shows, and yet we're still making them more money than shows that have the same amount. Yes, yeah, I, I don't do the Super Chat thing. So what is what is the cut that YouTube takes they off of that? They get 30%. 30. A little bit oh, more. So, than so they're, ma they're making more. some good money then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and and also like like let's say somebody's controversial, right? Won't matter because it's the people that fund it. So it's not like oh the advertisers are gonna pull out. If you pull out, that means you're not doing super chats. That's well, how you're hurting the people. Well, think about like this. Um, for example, okay, my last show, what well, yesterday's at, at that thirty six real time forty thousand views, right? The forty thousand views. It's still monetized, so I get that chunk of money, whatever that is, that low amount, whatever the CPM is. But the amount in Super Chats that I have is the equivalent of that video having about 500,000 to 750,000 views. So YouTube is like, holy fuck. And he doesn't even, even have to hit half a million views, but he's making us that same. They don't have to do shit. Money. They don't have to steer oh. advertisers there. They don't have to do a fucking thing, and they are still making bank off of what you do. Mm hmm. Which is, you know, and here's the thing: at first, I was like, you know, the people are like, open up Streamlabs and stuff, and I, I do have Streamlabs, and we'll implement it soon. 
I don't mind YouTube making a little chunk of money. They host everything for free. They make my life so fucking easy. They uh, monetize everything. They're putting me on unrecommended feeds. It's almost like, all right, YouTube, take your little, like, and I'm living very well. You know, I'm not like, you know, money deprived. So, um, and I think everyone wins, you know? So, do you do the sponsor button yet, Andy? No, because you need gaming, YouTube gaming for that, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah you do. You have to have a gaming channel. Yeah. How did I get it? I, is you it because started I started up in something? the gaming category. I, I, when you create the channel, they ask you to put yourself in a category, and I'm guessing you probably just. I've always been in Yeah, all right. Maybe you got switched over. I'm not sure. I used to play games on here a lot. Yeah, uh, that's why it says people. watch on YouTube gaming right above the chat. Yeah, I don't And right that. next to the sponsor button. That's fucking weird. I'll take it. Well, he, he, you got sponsors. Yeah, there you go. I'll take it. But no, uh, Blood Sports is entertaining. I like my Springer. Fuck these people that don't like it. They can go make serious, uh, fucking deep intellectual, uh, deep thinking shit. Well, on I did their own. see crowds <laughs> coming. I did see crowds coming on it where oh, it was no, like, it's the new it. cringe or something. And it's like, the dude, you're the nipple clamp guy, right? No, see, you know, I've noticed this, this tactic before. Do you remember when uh, people started using the term snowflake? And uh, saying shit like that, how it took you know the left or people that the comment was being used against maybe four or five months to start using it. Mm -hmm. Like it was really weird watching some blue-haired Tumblr feminist try to tell somebody else they were a snowflake. No, you're the real snowflake. That kind of shit. Yeah, that's that. That's what's going on with this. Mm -hmm. uh, because they've been called mm -hmm. cringy and gay. They're trying to use yeah. that same terminology and flip it back, like they can use that insult and it works for them. It doesn't. It it's, was a this there was stuff. a Jeff Holiday troll yesterday that uh, posted on a piece of artwork that our our artist did. He does like little comic strips for us, but it's like really well done art. And he he commented on on that with a tweet that tagged uh, Jeff and a bunch of other people. Look look at how cringy this is, and oh. it, it wasn't. It, it it had no references to Jeff or anything. It was a little inside joke about Jeff. Just showed so, up and said. How jealous he yeah. was that it never happened Wait, for on him. Twitter? Sorry, on Twitter or yeah, he said it publicly. Yeah, it I felt bad for Jeff, so bad I retweeted it. Yeah, he he, <sighs> he said, "I'm jealous. I wish somebody would have made a comic book of me." <laughs> like uh, Billy, we we're, we're getting a comic book made of the Kumite. Are God, you gonna? There, there you go. Are you gonna sue anybody if Billy or Medicare happens to appear in it doing anything? I don't give a shit. I I let people fucking re-upload my videos. They're they're like a thousand mirrors, and people monetize them. I've never given a shit. All right, you or, heard or, that optics again. Ken Ashcorp, of, uh, no, you can Ash Corp song. I was like, what the? Fuck? Oh, that's so fucking. By the wow. way, this is how good of a guys we are. Uh, the the comic book artists we let them keep all the fucking profits. We just want to see that comic book be made. Obviously, I I don't care. You can keep all of it. It's his work, right? We're just yeah. characters. We're characters in this. Uh, in this YouTube platform. By, by, by the way, by the way, if if Blood Sports gets banned, we're, we're gonna just rename this the ch Bad Chipper Impersonation Hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll call it uh, not Blood Sports. <laughs> like that one, Billy. You know. You know. Can I ask you a question though? It, it is something that's bothered me for a while mm -hmm. uh, that I've seen you three engage in, and it's something I wanted to ask you for a while. Mm -hmm. Um. Why don't you white niggers respect me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I deserve some fucking respect, and I don't know if I want to talk to you, white niggers, if you're not going to respect me. I'm just, I'm going to put that out there. I, I honestly, you know, when uh, people in my chat, I was screaming when you tweeted that out. I, I was like, oh, fucking Jim, a medicare fucking, you know, took something out of context. You know the way you always edit me out of context to be funny. And then, I, like, I listened to it while I'm on the show. I just muted everyone, and like, like I listened to it, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Why is he calling everyone a bunch of niggers? <laughs> well, what what say you about all that shit, uh, Jim? What, what what do you think about Sargon's? Oh, I don't quote care that he down. said nigger or faggot. I mean, fuck! I wish more people did. I miss the old language of the internet when people would just say shit whenever they fucking felt like it. But no, I mean, just him uh, losing his shit on the chat, kind of the way. The, the thing that the thing that caught my attention was the I'm a human being, I'm a person, and mm -hmm. you need to respect me. And um, that's the chat's me. It just it came off like, dude, you sound. You sound like the people you used to make fun of. You sound like fucking Anita. They unpersoned him. <sighs> I don't. But but here's the thing: is yeah, you know, you can, you said the Anita thing, and that makes full sense because I remember talking to him at VidCon. He was like, 
why aren't SJWs debating us? And then they're like, your fans keep attacking us. That was their excuse is because our, our fans or viewers or whatever keep going after them with foul language. And now it's become, he's now the one like, I don't want to debate them anymore because they're being mean to me. I'm like, wait, yeah, you guys are becoming the new SJWs. Well, Andy, I mean, I heard you say earlier that you think the debate with uh, him and Spencer is off, yeah. I guess. But yeah. uh, isn't he supposed to be debating Anglin on Baked Alaska's channel on the 10th? Is that is that canceled, too? Because that'll give you a better indicator of if that shit's not going to go through or not. Um, I don't know. I, I'll text Baked. I'll ask him. I'll see if, that, if that's still happening. I, I don't know. I, I feel like last night he just had sort of like a mental breakdown. I want to like I'm, I'm going to Skype him and be like, yo, dude, you have to just chill like Half the fucking the audience fucking um, on my channel hates me, you know. Like you're, you're gonna you're gonna have people in chat talk shit. I I don't understand how you don't know that. It's that's been that way since fucking chat's been around. It is. Yeah, the and way it's, it again, is. it's not all the alt right. Like he goes, oh, it's only the alt right. No, there's probably some people who don't. I, like, no, that's the thing too. That. Like him and V, I think both are missing out on the fact that there there are a lot of groups out there that are laughing at some of this shit that are that are not they're apolitical. There's no politics behind it. Mm -hmm. Like you can't tell me the cowboard on 8chan or Kiwi Farms or ED or any of that shit is laughing at them for a political reason. They're they're laughing because there's some goofy shit going on and they think it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cuz cuz here's the thing is like obviously people in in this chat and my chat that are, are trying to rally rile me up and i do get riled up pretty easily easily and people find it funny when i start to freak on the chat because like that's just who i am but i don't ever go like i am done with this i need respect i don't care if people respect me honestly i know i know i'm a goofball you know what i mean oh no that's it's just such a weird thing for sargon to do knowing his stance on most things but Maybe it's that he's he's insulated himself so much, you know, going to Gab. He's not on Twitter anymore, so he doesn't deal with people there. Uh, I, I don't know, guys. Cancerous Bush is being pretty mean to me in the chat. And, uh, you know, I think maybe you guys are supporting this white nigger. Uh, and I need <laughs> some... <laughs> uh, let me go on a 10-minute diatribe about how upset I am. Yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, the funny thing is, and I was thinking about this, was... Isn't he supposed to be like the leader of the liberalists or whatever it's called? Like, well, yeah, but why would you have a leader who's not going to debate people and get upset? I mean, that listen, quickly? if if you want to be honest about it, it's obvious he's bothered by it. There's there's no denying that. I mean, he put a fucking video up where some guy made a comment on one of his videos or some shit, uh, saying I don't even know what he fucking said. But Sargon was like, the guy said, I was a, a sub of yours, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not, I, you know, I have doubts about what you're doing or some shit like that. He used to make and Sargon made a response video him. where he went through the guy's subscriptions, and he's like, this guy isn't a sub of mine, he's just another lying alt-writer. Until other people went to his channel and clicked the subscription tab, which shows you more than just the first four. And sure enough, there was a thinkery and Sargon of Akkad and all this other shit. So, I mean, like... He's. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Maybe it's yeah. just that it's not coming from Tumblr or SJWs, and he doesn't know how to respond to it. But it feels yeah, well, like he lost his ability to banter. I don't. I don't know. Well, I'm. I'm sub to to everyone, like from SJWs to the alt right, just to see what everyone's saying and keep my, you know, my finger on the pulse of of what's happening. I think I it's mean, just it, because it's easier to be like, uh, it's not real criticism. It's all coming from the alt right. Uh, that was the thing that I saw from, um, I want to say, pretty much everybody in Kilroy when the Kilroy thing started falling apart. It was all the alt-right coming after them. And then Andy opened his fucking mouth. <laughs> and then talk, it was... Talk, Andy, I'm sorry. Was there's, the, a, there's another white nigger in your chat. Ken Carl's talking mean about me. I don't know if I can oh, handle this. Oh, oh King Carl. God. There are just too many of them. There's That's two people now. I think this is a oh. plot by the blood sports arena uh to come after me so i'm gonna, I'm gonna say we're all terrible people yeah, yeah Andy, you see, we're all terrible did you see that uh did you see the rumors that uh base mama owes three hundred thousand on on kill right now no way how no. do you do that wait wait, wait. how's this a rumor it, God, i saw the leaked um I thought she was in debt twenty five thousand. How do you fuck up a convention team? worse than dashcon was fucked up without the doors even opening do you think she's sweating? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, and now I'm getting death threats. Somebody said they're going to lynch me. My oh. life is in danger. <laughs> <laughs> My life is in danger. I'm just an innocent race mixer. And this now is... these blood sports cabal, the blood sports cabal, good choice. Uh, they're coming to get me. I don't uh, know what to do. A lot of people say that it is a very dangerous chat, perhaps the most dangerous chat in all of YouTube. I don't know if I want to get lynched. That sounds like it'd be something uncomfortable. It's, it's a dangerous time over here. By the way, how are you? How are you feeling, Billy? You still got a little. Yeah, in? fuck. I mean, I I put up a. So I I'm not dying of cancer AIDS, which apparently is what cancer people AIDS. think. I've got some magical case, case of. I was, I was concerned. concerned I, no, I, like it was like a long message. That was like like it was, it was two music. paragraphs that I wrote to Patreons on a Patreon only post because I figured they should know. But yeah, no, I'm just I, I'm sick. I'm seeing a doctor later this week to get some more. Uh, elaborate tests, in-depth tests, I don't know how you want to put it, which would give me a better idea of where I'm sitting. So, I mean, if, I, if I'm if i sicker than I imagine I am, or if it's worse than I think it is, then yeah, I'm probably going to stop doing videos and just, the, the fucking Patriots tied sick. to What it. do we mean by sick? Do you, like, like disease? Well, it's it's not cancer AIDS, if that's what you're oh, fucking okay, curious okay, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to drop dead in the gutter, but uh, yeah, it's just, I set up the Patreon where the deal was yeah, I'll make videos, and if you like those videos, feel free, you know, feel free to financially support it. So, you know, if I'm getting to the point where I can't really make the videos in a timely manner, like weekly, Do you know then I'm that. probably going to take the Patreon down because there's no point in having it up. I mean, there are people trying to be nice and they're like, "Oh no, keep it up, keep it up." If you don't do videos, but that's not what the fucking point of it was. So, if I stop doing the videos, yeah, I'm just going to pull it down. I'll leave the channel up so people can watch videos that are already up there and shit, but. And you'll still be around, like, to say what's up in, in chats and stuff, right? Oh, Andy's got an emotional connection. Do you I have do. an emotional connection to me, Andy? I, I do. I want to blow Billy. <laughs> oh, shit. You want to watch somebody else blow Billy? Not you, Medicare. Billy. No, yeah, no. Well, yeah, this I'm is fine. Billy. Dipshit. This is awesome. You yeah, You're fine. fucking confused now, aren't you? <laughs> You're a schizo now. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not dying. Jesus Christ. You, you, I can't, you can't I, I, say anything on the internet, Jim. You I was trying do. to be responsible. I was like, oh, you know, I'll put this up. There, it's been a little while. It's been like a week and a half since I put a video up. The patrons probably should no, be but, informed. But, but so when I, you I say it, it no, no, when you say it in a way where I'm going to get the results in next week, I might not be able to well, make yeah, because, videos. Uh, listen, <laughs> I, I always found it gay when people talk about, like, their personal life to, uh, you know, their personal life on the internet just seems stupid to me. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't talk about myself that much. I don't talk about uh, really anything personal aside from shit that'll play into a joke or be a part of a topic. It, it just always struck me as dumb. So I, I don't go into a great deal of detail. I, I put up the minimal amount of detail to explain the situation, which I guess gave people the idea that I am uh, fucking at death's door. with like That's uh, what I, it I sounds like. like. It did, People man. were saying like, "Oh, it's, it's Crohn's disease or irritable bowel syndrome," and he's got cancer and AIDS and yeah, prostate cancer. Is that it? Yeah, just all sorts of fucking crazy shit. But a, no, no, a I sickle cell I, anemia, I, anemia. I won't lie, I sat around thinking you were fucked. <laughs> I, thought I thought you were. Thinking it was, I, I thought yeah, you were. I, dying. I guess when you put the middle, uh, I guess when you put the minimal amount of information up, people assume the worst. I don't, I don't know. That's how the internet yeah. works, man. You're like, well, but you're like. I'm 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 sick and might not be able to make videos. I'll let you know by the end of the week. You're like, oh, it's, he's waiting. Well, for yeah, because the videos are like uh, they've always been more of like a side thing to me. So I mean, like if I, if I get sick to the point where it's just not something I want to do, I'm just not going to do it. So I, mm. it's important to me, at least, to inform the people that are paying money to see videos. Hey, this might be ending. Can I ask you something? Do you, Do you yeah. have any side projects that nobody knows about? Well, how would all right now you can't ask what, what, about what do you mean by side pro do you mean in my own life or are you talking on the internet he wants you to fucking do an andy worski secret thing <laughs> dude do well, you i have won't one? tell anyone oh <laughs> you're gonna keep the secret well i mean it's if you pinky swear on a fucking live stream with people yeah. watching i'm sure that never will get out no no don't worry no 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 everyone here is chill no one's really revealed my secrets before good no you know I, i'm a real simple guy you know i make videos on the internet uh, george soros pays me to destroy the white race just real simple <laughs> shit nice george has always been a great guy so, really those no, checks come in regularly no asmr slam channels oh fucking christ hey, have you heard my mic quality could you imagine me trying to do <laughs> asmr with the fucking mechanical <laughs> buzzing in the background people would go insane uh, did, did you enjoy a uh, mr epsion's asmr channel is no, you know, 
<laughs> what, why am I gonna? Why am I gonna watch Mr. Repsion? Uh, you know, I don't need dirty underwear or socks, so there's really no reason for me to swing by his fucking channel. I'm not into little kids. Oh, bro! So, like bro, the bro, sexual bro. things, not there. Bro, you, did, you didn't see his tendies review? Oh, I no, I didn't see his oh, tendies. <laughs> he reviewed those Wendy's tendies, man. It was the real deal. It was like 12 minutes long. He he he. he yes, he watching Mr. Repsion eating fucking Wendy's tendies for 12 minutes. This yeah, is what yeah. failure does. I'm gonna screenshot this real quick. Look, look at the top row of of his videos. This guy has half a million subscribers. I get. Yeah, I mean, he, he went over the the peak. I mean, that that's common with people that build up a big sub base and then years go on and then the viewership starts to decline. I mean, that's really common. Like, yeah, but he has a, like a normal job and stuff. He's not like a YouTuber anymore. I don't think. Yeah, so he probably doesn't care. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't think he's ever going to see like a resurrection of his numbers. I mean, I've seen that with hundreds and thousands of channels. I think he was forced to get a job because he saw the way that things were going. But I, I, no, the, see, but the, the, the thing is, you the rule book to YouTube, YouTube uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the YouTube rule book, or like how you play this to make it work, changes within every you know four or five months. So people who don't evolve to the new algorithm or how things are are running or the new rules, did did to get left behind in the dirt. So if you he he did he didn't want to evolve or didn't know how to, so he panicked and got his his job. Right, that's how I think. That's how I think it happened. <laughs> well, I can think of, yeah, I, I quite literally hundreds of fucking channels that were big, even four or five years ago, where they're they're getting view counts that are in the you know thousands if they're lucky. It just it it happens to every channel. Uh, eventually, it's it's rare that it's the one will stick around long enough to keep. An audience retained. You have to keep evolving. You have to keep switching. Like I've changed my uh, genre or type of videos, whatever you want to say, probably about seven times. Well, you have to evolve years. and stay loyal at you the know same time. You, you know have to keep the sad. people and gain new ones. Mm -hmm. You know it's going to be sad when when one day we're going to be here in Medicare say, oh, you got to got to check out this uh, new stream. Is is the is the new Kumite. That that old Kumite is it's no longer good. The different you actually <laughs> see people stabbing each other. So I, I am a very selfish individual. Like I like blood sports because it entertains me. Like that's <laughs> that's the fucking appeal of it to me. It's not like I think it's some great art form. It is it's just I want to be I, I want to oh, be no, fucking dude. entertained. Oh, yesterday, for example, it, uh, I'm not saying it was high intellectual fucking rigor there, but. Everyone DM'd me directly after the show and said, yo, I had a lot of fun. Even people who were getting their ass whipped were like, that was fucking fun. Please invite me back. People enjoyed the just uh, fucking, yo, fucking around yelling at each other. It was great. And Roosh V was just, he doesn't give a fuck, eh? Why would I listen to you? You're a woman. Why would your opinion matter? I'm like, whoa, Jesus. Christ. Yeah, I enjoyed that back and forth <laughs> between uh, him, Venti, and uh, is it N uh, Nika? Is that her name? Anika, yeah, Anika. Yeah. And 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 here's the thing is is like you said before, this is, was like what 2 months ago you were talking about this. YouTube ain't the halls of debate. This isn't like university fucking Harvard in like oh, we're going to have a professional debate. No, pe people want to have the debate slash well, for real. How theater. many how many times can you listen to some motherfucker who is barely out of college try to tell you the secrets of the world? <laughs> Because they have Google over. Yeah. Right, that's always fun, isn't it? Uh, it's it's so fucking tired. <laughs> Just stop it, for fuck's sake, stop. So, uh, any updates? Because I've been a little out of the loop. Uh, Andy, are you ever going to have your your second match with? Was it unknown archivist? Who was it that you were fucking arguing with? And then it got oh, cut short. Unknown archive. Archive. There we go. Nah, I still don't he... know what the score is there. He's uh, I I upset him when I called him a bitch on Kumite. He's like, I'm not going to give you attention. In fact, I was on a, I can't remember whose stream it was a few days ago. Fuck. There was some guy's stream. I jumped on for a second. Uh, whatever. There was some beef with, with me and I went on and we, we hashed it out. Anyway, while I'm on this stream, I can't remember who it was. Someone in the chat, if you've seen me on that stream, please let me know. Unknown archive like comes in. Right, and like probably not knowing that I was there, and then he's like, "I'm like, I was about to say something," and then he just left. I'm like, "Ah, oh, fuck." 
<laughs> like he, I must have scared him. He probably didn't know I was in there. And then he saw me and he's like, oh shit, cunt stream. That's it. Remember we were uh, oh, uh, playing uh, Friday the, th the 13th and Tonka's chat went over and said that we were talking shit. So I went over there to calm his nerves because he was almost crying about it. And then UA jumps what in, okay. and then he like fucking like like books it when he sees me. I'm like, yeah, fuck the cunt stream. Now, is there is there going to be a rematch anytime soon between uh, Coach Red Pill and V? I hope so, but Coach Red Pill doesn't want to do it. Well, I, I saw Coach in the uh, coach chat earlier, in, and I'm sure, I'm v. sure V will pop up. Well, not V has uh, he has left Coach alone. It seems. Coach really jumping on V V says nay. Uh, one interesting thing you may see, you, you may have been out of the loop, but Ranting Monkey was up Andy's ass yesterday, and Andy has called him out to have a chit-chat with him. I think that one would be interesting. Was well, that look, the one about the thumbnails? No, well, no, look. So I I kept Sofane and, and Jeff Holiday alone for a month as they continuously every few days bitch about me, right? I was trying to ignore it, and then finally I was like, you know what, whatever, and then I read the, out those tweets, and I just – Tweeted out just making fun of of Jeff, saying that uh, you know he's in the second a, a second stage of grief because his channel is dying, and he's in the uh, the anger phase. And then I I, I bashed Sofane by saying I'm going to continuously take shots at Andy because I haven't done anything interesting in months. And then ranting monkey just starts taking shots at me, saying why why are you responding? Why do you care? Uh, when did you become so thin skinned? I'm like, dude, it's been a month they, they, of them assaulting me. And then I fucking make a little joke and now I'm thin skinned. Ranting has been up my ass. Ed Indro, you know Ed, Ed Indro? Oh, uh, no, uh, Indro? He has a dog avatar. Like the I, I don't really keep track of Twitter people, so no, I don't know. If I I every, I, all I these random I animal know. avatars, how do you not keep up with them, Billy? Come yeah. on. Well, well, him, he's, he was taking swings at me every day. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? Like, I gave him, an, like, I've, I've, I, I keep asking him, like, privately, like, dude, like, do you have a problem? Do you want to come on my show? And then Andrew's like, no, no, I'm just joking around every day. Okay, I, I, I don't mean assaulting. Sorry, I meant insulting. My bad, guys. <laughs> I meant insulting. Uh, anyway, and Andrew is going over and over and over. So finally, I just, like, I just unfollow him. I'm like, okay, like, everything he says is just constantly taking shots at me. And then he's just like, Hey man, is there a good time you are you able to stream on the weekend? I'm like, you can't insult me for a, a month and a half constantly, and me just go fine. I I try my best. Who, who was that guy that uh, bitched at you that you never had anybody from the left on, and then you invited him on, and he's like, I can't do it for another month. Everyone. Oh, no, do you remember that? Do you remember that guy? Uh, yeah, M M Michael Rollins was it? Yeah, Michael Rollins. Right? Isn't that a singer? Are you? No, no, no. Michael Rollins is actually a YouTuber. I know it sounds like a singer, but he's, he's an actual YouTuber who's an SJW as well. He's like, why isn't Andy inviting me on? And then we're like, oh, invite him on. He's like, I could do it in February. Oh, it is February. He must be available. I, I guess so. But, um, ah. well, th th those sound like fighting words, Andy. So are you getting, uh, is ranting monkey online right now? You got to pull him in? Well, well, no, look, I don't hate ranting monkey. I'm just like, 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 I'm like thin skinned. They've been bashing me for a fucking insulting, not assaulting, insulting. Sounds like he's calling you a bitch, Andy. You gonna take that? I think we should bring him in here. Yeah, you know what? Might have to go by and make myself a coffee. Do you want to do the invite uh, yeah. failure? You may make a call to him. I think a, a little peer pressure from Billy Noble. Oh, Henry Rollins. That's who I was thinking. Henry of. Okay. Rollins. I'm fucking Henry retarded. Rollins All right. Yeah, Henry Rollins is a singer. I would uh, crack the fuck up if Henry Rollins showed up <laughs> to go against <laughs> Chance. Yeah. All right, I'm going to just uh, make myself a coffee. I'll be back in uh, five. All right, guys? All right, go, go get fucking <laughs> hopped up on ice cream sandwiches. There, there goes coffee. Andy running away from a challenge again. Shameful. I'm still here. Shameful, Shameful running away to make coffee. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see what we're doing here. I'll be back, guys. Billy, I don't know. Have you... Uh, have you been able to uh, see uh, some of the things that have gone on on Twitter? Like, when when is your cutoff date for when you saw things on Twitter, Billy? I I don't know. I think like the fucking second or the third or wherever the fuck it was. Uh, fuck I'd have to go take a look. Uh, it, it's it's been a good couple of days. Then been a good couple of days. 
Uh, have you seen that Christy Winters challenged Baring to a Kumite? Yeah, February 2nd would have been uh, my cutoff date, so I missed uh, like a week. Okay. Uh, Christy Winters, I, I don't really know who the fuck that is. Who is Christy Winters? I, failure would know this a bit better than me. I'm not super familiar with it, but... Uh, Baron and her have had a history, and uh, she ha she's in the group of uh, the SJWs on YouTube that barely get any views, but are the most relevant SJWs. So what's the uh, what's the beef between them? She doxed him. She, yeah, a bit ago. Oh, I, I suppose that would make Baring a bit upset. I could, I guess that's understandable. Did he, did he want to challenge her? Did she want to challenge him? She is challenging him. Oh, she made Dude, a really? tweet that he shouldn't be on the Kumite. Yeah, she said he he should not be allowed on the Kumite. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. I don't know, Jim. It's so weird. I didn't think she would watch it. Doesn't seem like her cup of tea. Well, is, it would Bering be up for it? I, God, I wonder if you could set those two up. That would be a fucking fun thing to watch. I'm sure no. he would. I'm sure he would. Uh, he has a nickname for her. Oh, what's uh, the nickname? Like well, it's a little a little character he created called the Fisty Splinters. Fisty Splinters, okay. Mm. And uh, yeah. it's caused great. Yeah. There, there's lots of problems between these two, but yeah, it's today's the 10K special, so if she if, if those two would like to jump in, they they're both more than welcome. Ranting should jump in against uh, Andy. That's more than welcome. Uh, Billy's back from the Baron. dead from his cancer AIDS he never had. So I mean, I'm from sure Billy would like to see cold. something. I'm, yeah, I'm I, I'd love to watch I people was, yell at each other. I was I was knitting you into AIDS black and everything. Were you really? <laughs> you warm in those cold last months of my life. Well, that was sweet of you. I was thinking about uh, hanging my YouTube championship belt on your grave. <laughs> oh, is that what you gonna do? <laughs> that's where that's where it was gonna go. Just hang it on oh, Billy's grave. Thank you. It's nice to be remembered with a championship <laughs> belt. Then people that come by are going to be like, was he a wrestler? Fuck, I didn't know that. <laughs> he was everything. He was a little black boy and undoomed in a baseball cap. <laughs> he specifically wanted that belt there. It was one thing he loved the most. Was Nobody it? knew it, but apparently it's true. How terrible of an idea do you think that is? To give me a, a championship belt when I die? No, to turn the uh, 100K plaque into a championship belt. How much does that make you want to just turn this show off right now that I'm going to do that? Why not? I, you know, if you're going to do something fun with it. I uh, I know they give it, they give you a plaque, what, at 100K and then a million and then 10 million? Is that the breakdown now on YouTube? God damn, I didn't know they would give you another 10 million, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's like the... Yeah, the it's looking silver, glass. gold, and platinum. It's yeah, silver, yeah. gold, platinum, but it's all plastic and fucking... Tinfoil. I don't think we'll ever go to fucking gold, but I want to get that silver before uh, a certain few other people get silver. Just yeah, I said if I ever got a, uh, a silver play button, I was going to send it to uh, just some random homeless shelter. <laughs> uh, Billy, <laughs> they get in the mail and like, what the fuck is this? Billy, did you disapprove of us uh, making fun of the mundane Matt unboxing of his play button? I don't give a shit. I, I make fun of whatever you like. Well, why don't you I, send I, your I, play I, button to mundane Matt so we can get another one of those yeah. videos? <laughs> It, oh, I, I don't think Billy saw that video. No, I, I saw the Monday Matt crying video. That that got okay. spread around a bit. Quite a bit. Okay. That thing that now has more views remember. than his actual views <laughs> on, on the video. Oh, yeah. I, at I first, I thought he was just joking around, but then he seemed to really get choked up, like maybe three-fourths of the way through it. Uh, like it was, it was a real reaction to getting that play button. Some real emotion behind that. I don't know why. It's a shitty plaque from an internet video site, but okay. No, it, it, it matters. It matters. He really loves me. <laughs> That's you what imagine, it came off like. Could you imagine if Twitter did that? Like, if you hit 100,000 followers, they'd send you, like, a fucking silver tweet button? A little How dumb silver that bird. A, a Facebook a like, a thumbs up when you hit 100,000 followers on uh, Facebook. Most people do that with the blue check mark. When they get the blue check mark, they bake themselves a cake and, and fucking... Blow themselves. Really? And, yeah. You better be lying. People celebrate that blue check mark, man. Billy, that why don't is, you have uh, Because I'm not going to. Don't you have to, like, fucking give them your name and your address and your phone number and all this other shit and bank account and social security number to get the fucking check mark? You're asking the wrong guy. Failure, is, it, failure. is that the case? 
Uh, you gotta ask Ian about that. He has a blue check mark. All, all I know is it gives you a little bit more power. Like nobody can just like instantly... gives you a little more power. I, I know all these. It, it's the carrot and the stick shit. Oh, you don't want us to shadow ban you? Well, why don't you tell us where you live, champ, and then we'll let you <laughs> yeah. post a little more. No, 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 no. It does. It does give you a little bit more power. People can't instantly, like, mass flag you. And uh, when you flag somebody, it has a little bit more weight because you're, you're you know. But now they know who you are and where you're at and what you do. And yeah, so when you call them all a bunch of white niggers, they know who's doing it down. But, yeah. by the way. By the way, that blue check mark getting taken away from fucking Destiny just showed you like, okay, you really fucked up if they took took your account away. If you, if you have I, I thought he, wait, I thought he was banned. They just took his check mark away. Is he back on Twitter? No, no, no. The, no the he was a blue check mark him. account though. Yeah, the the oh. fact that they sus they don't suspend blue check marks that easy. Well, yeah, it's the lot. punishment thing. Like, oh, we took your blue check mark away. Now you need to be nicer, or else, kind of no, bullshit. But they, they suspended him totally. Whatever happened with that? That yeah, that's another feud. Is that is that died out now? What's uh? I didn't Andy put a challenge up for a one v one in League of Legends. Did he ever respond? I don't know if he did, right. but I know that uh, I know that he said that he's done with this side of the internet. I think he finally tapped out, Jim. He's gonna he's gonna stick uh with Twitch, is he? I think that I think <sighs> that's what he that's what he's saying. I don't know I've... how truthful that is. I still think that would fuck with him so much if Andy just like grinded for a month and learned how to play the game and fucking beat his ass. Well, no, the joke though is it's a 1v1 in League of Legends. That's why it's funny. I, I'm just amazed yeah. that Andy went with it. <laughs> Andy will go with The lovable goof is so naive. It's, it's <laughs> just 1v1 me in League of Legends. Andy, what are you doing? <laughs> Destiny plays player. that every fucking day. What are you doing? <laughs> I have a secret plan, guys. Don't tell anybody. Well, I still think if he grinded away for a month and just did that every fucking day, he, he might be able to give him a challenge. He could if he was a little Asian kid. If he had those reflexes, played StarCraft every day, all day, since he was fucking three, maybe. Something like, like don't, don't fuck with Andy. He has a Switch. He has a Switch. <laughs> Big Bing Low. Yeah. Big Bing Low. Big Bing Low. Uh, did uh, anybody send an invite out to Ranting Monkey? Is he is he going to pop on? Ranting yeah, Monkey no, and Christy. Yeah, no response. And I'll throw no. him a DM. Oh, what a shock! No response. This is all right. This is what's common with this group: is lots to say on Twitter, not much to say when it's like, okay, we'll come and uh, say what you have to say about it. Well, yeah, I just want to be entertained. I want to hear people yelling at each other. If we can get that going, I fucking love that. Oh, I'm I'm not mad at that at all. It's just, it's so strange how this is this is the trend with this group. It's like lots and lots to complain about, but not much. Yesterday to. surprised me. I wasn't expecting much of yesterday with the fucking guy that would just go up to the police and security guards getting yelled at. People got fucking mad. Oh, you, you know, actually, speaking of the, um, because you guys brought up the Sargon thing, did you see the, uh, the uh, I believe it was from The Daily Show, I'm not sure, the clip that they put up uh, uh, regarding the liberalist oh. clip? Oh, that was fucking uh, the uh, the reading from that guy. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about with oh, the spooky music. So fucking funny, man! I was dying yesterday. You should play that. That's a lot honestly. of that shit out there. Yeah, Tonka, have you seen that? You should play that. I, I haven't, really but I know that funny. Viacom doesn't play. Oh Viacom. no, no this there this isn't a, a Viacom thing. Uh, what is it? I thought I thought you said that the Daily Show put it up. What is it? No, no, Daily Show, Mike Enoch Show. Oh, Daily Show. Okay, that's Showa. okay. That's Showa. okay. Yeah, not gotcha. Show. Show. There you I was go. Like, what the fuck is it. the Daily Show going in on Sargon? For? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been even weirder, but yeah, yeah. Trevor Noah just decided to shoot uh, shoot a few across. For the real? <laughs> what the fuck is that about? But yeah, oh, no, I, I put it in. I'll put it in the. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll put it in the side chat for you. Failure. Just play it over your. Uh, voice meter there you go so we don't have to i believe that's it i believe that's it yeah it's really funny it's uh yeah chronos has the clip up on his channel yeah he, he was always doing, uh... does doesn't he yeah because i was i was looking for uh like i said i was trying to catch up and i know he clips a lot of andy's streams mm -hmm. so i went on there looking to see kind of what i missed uh and figure if he had other interesting shit up there and it's one of them so i was like okay it's good i'll take it no chronos does god's work does is failure alive? Failure. 
I yeah, I'm just sleeps. popping up the voice meter. Oh, oh there he is. I he sleeps with the trouts now. Yeah. <laughs> he sleeps with the trouts. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. There is an international movement of intellectuals and activists that is sweeping the internet. It is a phenomenon that has taken over the academic discourse of our best institutions. This phenomenon is, of course, the liberalist society. This digital, modern-day Algonquin roundtable of skeptics is the long-anticipated and highly-touted brainchild of the modern era's most celebrated cultural icon, Sargon of Akkad. <laughs> this revolutionary movement all began just a few weeks ago. Everyone is aware of the recent debate hosted by outspoken Holocaust denier and SPLC prank caller Andy Ray Swarsky, in which white nationalist Richard Spencer faced the erudite Sargon of Akkad, de facto leader of the skeptic community, originally a loose association of like-minded individuals who had given up on the idea of ever getting laid. <laughs> Though many outside of this affiliation believe that Sargon is just one more failed debate away from night manager of a Manchester Waffle House, his supporters remain confident in his performance. According to his acolytes, Sargon, with a wit as subtle as a gay pride parade, deftly BTFO'd Spencer by using his patented anti-SJW debating technique of annoyingly over-enunciating Richard's name. Sounding like the haughty principal in a Solid. British schoolgirl spanking video, Sargon espoused such penetrating arguments as, Richard, are white people even allowed to have tans in the ethnostate, Richard? You don't even know, do you, Richard? And, Richard, have you ever even read Locke's second treatise on civil government, Richard? And, of course, his irrefutable argument, Richard... My dad could beat up your dad, Richard, because he's black, Richard. <laughs> Mentally, as nimble as Gene Kelly on a rainy day and about as relevant as that reference, Sargon wove a coherent argument against the proponents of whiteness, citing famous 17th and 18th century luminaries. Sargon laid out an unassailable series of postulates in logical progression to counter Spencer, such as his ingenious horseshoe theory, which equivocates the alt-right with SJWs. According to Spencer, however, the thing about horseshoes is that it is usually full of horse shit. <laughs> Despite his unanimously recognized victory amongst the skeptic community, Sargon did reflect, as above-average intellects are wont to do, on some of the points Spencer introduced into the debate. After much consideration, he felt that the only way to champion his brand of pure individualism was to unilaterally create a litany of vague principles in order to collectively counter these socialist racists. Much like Gautama, who meditated under a tree for 49 straight days before developing the principles of Buddhism, Sargon spent 49 minutes perusing an FEE magazine from 1984 to develop the revolutionary principles of the liberalist society. Sargon, publishing his list quicker than Paul Nealon in a kosher deli, soon had the internet's a buzz. The first and foremost of his principles is the dissemination of interracial male butt love porn, otherwise known as the Libra Fist principle. Participation in and appreciation of such an art form is the natural inclination of the truly independent mind. Other liberalist principles published on the website include the presumption of innocence until proven guilty and the freedom to practice the religion of your choice and, of course, the complete and utter ban of the Faustian spirit. Sargon also decided to tackle the idea of race realism and man's ethnocentric nature. Delving into his own deeply tanned genealogy, Sargon made an in-depth study of the perfect ethnostate that reflected both his own ancestry and his particular brand of individualism. In his latest video, in which he rebrands himself as Sargon of Wakanda, he is now seriously considering changing the name liberalist 
with the more accurate and ethnocentric Liberianist. <laughs> Despite his long-standing claims of liking chitlins and large-ass white women, some have had the temerity to question Sargon's assertion that he was third from left in the famous dancing scene from 12 Years a Slave. To satisfy his detractors, he agreed to submit a DNA sample for genetic screening. His 23andMe results were quite interesting. 41% showed Northwest European origin, 14% Southern European, 8% Ashkenazi Jew, and the remaining 37% HIV positive. To conclude, <laughs> the alt-right must come to the stark realization that Sargon's liberalist society represents its greatest existential threat since Boomer posting. All we have to counteract this cultural force is a return to our roots, a return to what has given us strength in the past and a vision of what the future can hold. That is, of course, esoteric Jahanism and the oven men who still keep the faith. I have another very interesting... Oh, right into right into JF. Right into JF. I just, I, I, the, my favorite bit in that is the HIV or HIV positive one from the Twenty Three yeah. and Me results. I fucking love that. Okay, the Twenty Three and Me thing with Sargon, I keep getting mixed stories of that. What's the deal with that? Like he said, uh, I don't know if he actually did like, a Twenty Three and Me. I just thought oh. the fucking punchline to that was funny. There, I, I know it's that a real we're thing. talking about him, him claiming to have a, a black grandfather and that his father was like half black, but. Uh, I, I don't know if, what, what's going on with that claim. Andy, do you have any idea? Do you know things, Andy? Andy has muted himself. Uh, he's in hiding right now because he heard Ranting Monkey might be coming. <laughs> yep, it's the fear. He's got monkey. Andy, don't say a thing if you are a giant bitch-ass pussy. <laughs> Andy, don't respond if you are pissing in your panties right now. Just fear in the monkey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Andy, don't respond if your mouth is full of peckers or something. No, nah, Andy, if you got dicks in there, don't say a thing. <laughs> Not a Just bit. mumble a little for us. <laughs> Nothing? Mm. Is he smoking a joint right now? What is he doing? I bet he fucking is. Guys, guys. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> oh there we are. <laughs> Hang on, uh, did, uh, did you take all the peckers out of your mouth or something? Wait, did you not read my uh, my... my a chat just said, I'll be back in a second. I uh, I boiled up some water for an instant coffee, and then I realized I don't have any, so I have to brew some. I'm brewing coffee. So when you say you boiled up water for instant coffee, do you mean that the bong water overheated by accident? <laughs> no, no. I, I I legit ran out of my instant coffee, so I'm uh, I'm uh, brewing up some coffee. It should be done in the, in the second year. Sounds like a terrible so. plan. I, I DM'd ranting, but there's no blue check mark yet. Well, there's not gonna be because he's he's dodging. You think, he's, no, you think he's dodging or everybody or dodges? This is what they do. They just want to make response videos a week later or some shit. Let me see, ranting mm -hmm. monkey. I want to see maybe. Uh, let me see if he tweeted recently, because he might be at work. You know, of course. Blood sports are bad because they make it to where our fucking videos are late as fuck by the time they come out. I, I'm a little disappointed. I'm expecting all these rematches, you know, unknown archive or ranting monkey, or I'm expecting Zeph and Liz to show up, or maybe V and Coach to go at each other. Anybody, it's the well, ten thousand sub yeah. special. Somebody show you, up and have a go. Here? You didn't hear? Liz is back. She made a video saying she's back now. Don't oh, well, bring her on the Kumite. Let's let's hear that go. Well, she yeah, says she's also right moving on. Everybody's moving on. What the fuck? She says she's moving on, but she also said she created me. Oh, yeah, that's part of the video. She created Tonka. I created you, Tonka, and I gave you friends. Maybe you need to, you know, for your 10,000 special, uh, Tonka, maybe you need to pull the audience and ask them uh, who wants to come on and yell at people. Have we, a little viewer interaction. We for tried that, that a little yesterday. You know what? I'll. It's my ten thousand sub special. You're you're here, and you know you've risen like Jesus on the third day. But why don't you pull them? Why don't you pick out somebody who's out there with a fight, and maybe they'll actually fucking pull it off for you. You have the peer pressure power, Billy No Bully. Uh, well, chat. Is there anybody that wants to come on and uh, scream at Andy for smoking bongs right now when he should be talking? There's always anybody, people anybody who wants say to they do want that. To. You oh, can't. oh, well, that's interesting. The side chat. 
a failure. You want to try it? Can you set that one up? Let me see this. Oh. Sad. Hurtful. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. No, no. If that, it, no, you make it clear. If that's, you make it, you get them and let it go down. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll get Wait, you you dig that one, Billy? That's a that's an interesting matchup. I don't know what I I watched that one. Sure. That's interesting. Let me let me work on that one then. Uh, now you got to bring in the veteran first. You got to bring in. The... Uh, you got somebody in chat. I I don't know if they're saying they want to come on. Alternative facts said I do. Which alternative facts? Is it fake alternative facts? I I don't know. Is there a way to check? Uh, open up for their channel thing. If it's fake alternative facts, then for fuck's sake, no parody people. Parody people are so cringe. I'll have like... to wait for him to uh, comment again to see if it pops up. Boy, your 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 uh, ten thousand special is just not working out really well right now, is it? Not at the moment no. because that is a parody. Don't. Uh... Don't start putting on the special just yet, all right? Oh, no, Andy's fucking coffee's not going right. No, no, it's oh, good. No. It's good. We've resurrected is... Medicare, so I'm okay with my special. I'm good with it. I would prefer to get somebody in the fucking cage, though. Can we get someone in the cage, please? Come on! I'm working on it. I'm working I, on it. I find it harder now to get... Um... Actually, you know what might be easier? Uh, Taka, uh, your, your Twitter's not like some... Um... <laughs> well kept secret is it if i put your twitter handle out there and ask them to tweet at you if they want to come on well, it might be failures, easier to failures them. better to do it uh throw failures out there uh, okay well yeah throw his uh tell him what the what they should be tweeting at yeah, he's the one in charge of everything <laughs> check the side chat <laughs> see uh, what i just <laughs> let's see let's see if it, it what's going down oh, all right <laughs> oh uh -huh. I, I don't know if Spoonie One is here right now, so I'm not sure what this is going to lead to, but well, let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> One but not forgotten. Toad versus, versus Coach Red Pill. All right, Chad, if you want to come on. <laughs> God damn it, chat, Andy. Uh, <laughs> no, everyone in chat. No, wow. No, wow. Everyone, oh, e everyone in the chat. I'm reading the chat, you guys. Fucking. Everyone's saying Toad versus Coach Red Pill. We're God, trying. you're like that. I'm you're... working on it, Andy. I'm working on it. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Just, I'm reading the fucking chat. The fuck, like, literally fucking everyone's worst. Saying. You're like that kid on Christmas. You, you know, you're the little kid that can't wait for Christmas, so you <laughs> open up the fucking presents like a week ahead of time and then reseal them. And then try to be subtle like you're still surprised. Like, oh, wow. I didn't oh. see this coming. <laughs> Coach Rodpill, who would have imagined he's here? Oh my god. Oh, I have a picture, aren't I? Yes, you are, Andy. You're the fucking you worst. Your, your fucking secret plans. Jesus Christ. Fucking, you fucking white nigger. Oh, God help Canada if it ever has a civil war and you're in the fucking intelligence community for him. Uh, hey, hey oh, guys. Uh, here's no, I was DM, by the way. Talking about. What's that? Uh, I was DM by someone saying, hey, Andy, uh, Monkey might be asleep or busy with his family. He usually is. Oh, well, yeah, shit Cowarding out. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and sleep through a fucking battle. That's right, ranting. Coward. Yeah, boy, throwing throwing out some shade there, Andy. God damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Andy comes from fucking scalps and shit. Uh not my show. Taco, what do you think on the side chat? Alright, let me let me peep this. See what's happening. Uh well if we can't get the other bout, then yeah. But I mean, if we've got the other bout locked and ready to go, we've got it. Failure. Uh, what, what is your Twitter handle again? Uh, failure hates you. Okay, uh, chat. If you want to come on and uh, do some blood sports, tweet at failure hates you, and uh, he will he will he will pick the interesting ones. Do not disappoint resurrected Billy. He he didn't survive the cancer age for this. Uh, we got one person saying, invite me on. Uh, I was the caller that, uh, I was the caller on Andy's that destroyed CRP. Oh, that's oh, this guy. He went, he went at fucking Coach Red Bill pretty bad.
It's pretty funny. Oh, was that the opening? Was that the first caller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was and, funny. And that actually, was funny. Shit. Actually, he has beef with you, Jim. Oh, well, bring him on. Oh, 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 really? Jim gonna have a go at some. Bl- Somebody's finally gonna show. It. Jim's like two and zero oh for people who just never even came out to the ring. The fun times ahead. Oh shit! I have a problem with Jim. Are you medically cleared, Jim? I mean, I, 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 I put me in, coach. I'll give him my best <laughs> shot. All right, dude. This is real. At the 10K celebration, we're going to actually get someone in the fucking cage with Jim. Fun times. <laughs> I'm ready for this shit. What the? Hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, turn you off, might want to turn, turn your off uh, audio off though. Yeah, you got a little bit of <laughs> echo going on. All right, what do we refer to you as? Because it's giving us a name there, and I don't want to. I don't want to fuck anything up. Let me just uh, figure out how this works. How do I mute myself here? Is this, there's a button here, right? Yeah, the, at the very top, uh, when you're hovering over like the Google Hangout window, you see right next to the little camera icon in the far left. Middle okay, tab. okay. And let me know if I fuck up, if I'm breathing on my mic or anything like that. No, if you, you really want to fix fine. it. No, no, if you really want to fix it, it's the button on the very far right that looks like uh, the, the red one. Mm, the red one. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Me. Okay, okay, Billy. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. You, you gotta and be real with your friends because you already pulled this shit out four times. You know, the the thing is, you feel bad. Pulled what? Pulled what out? No, the thing is, you want to make the the videos that make you laugh, and then when you feel like you're pleasing the audience, you start feeling bad, and then you want to do the whole thing again, where oh, it was never about this for me, my artistic integrity, and now you're pretending to be sick. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever used the phrase artistic integrity. It sounds a little bit faggy to me, Gaston. Yeah, but what you said before is like, uh, well, let me think about the last time you did this. was in Gamergate, wasn't it? Well, when you said, oh, now this when movie I, is when I burned a channel down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nobody's going to recognize me. And then you come back and you get all your fans back and you pretend that nothing happens. Well, Gaston, though, if you remember when I when I did that with uh, Gamergate, I left up a Vokaroo saying, you know, fuck this shit, I'm done. It's not like it was a, a mysterious disappearance. I, I fucking outright said, yeah, I'm done. Goodbye. I even posted on Twitter yeah. saying, yeah, I'm done. Goodbye. Yeah, but the, no, the conversation I had with Sargon, he had a point. He had a point uh, when he said uh, that it's hard. I mean, you said that it's hard for you to make videos that you don't want to make. And now you're starting yeah. to feel that pressure because you're getting Patreon money. So now well, you don't no, feel I've been, like... I've been still making the videos that I want to make. I mean, I covered Randy Stairs and his uh, transsexual <laughs> ghost girls thing. I've covered diaper furs shoving bike pumps up their ass. I covered a whole sorts of fucking crazy nutty fuckers. I mean, that's the I'm kind just, of shit that I've, just, I've always liked. No, I'm just calling in, calling out, man, your problem because you know this is real. You haven't made, made a video in more than a week because you don't know if it's a video you want to make or if you're just putting out there for the well, show. Well, no, I have videos I want to make. I wanted to cover the couch cuck shooter, the uh, Ed Sissop that fucked up his killing spree. I wanted to cover Overwatch and their faggotry with uh, going after their player base and monitoring their social media then, and doing shit like that. Then fucking do it. There are like 10,000 of... Gaston, I, I, I put up that I don't... I'm like sick, so I'm working through that. If I'm too sick to do it, I'm just not going to do it. You don't sound sick to me, man. Well, I'm glad that you have a doctorate in internet diagnosing. Thank you for, for fucking examining me. Uh, aside from the yellow fever? Uh, well, the yellow fever is a severe sick. case. It's fucking terminal. I love that slanted pussy. All right, man. I think I have to, I have to take the L to Billy. I just can't cannot get on this guy's kid. Oh well. Hey, we've got a second. Uh, we've got a second person in here. If you'd like to resume. You know, I feel bad for Coach. I don't want to pick on him anymore. <laughs> I was going to go <laughs> for a... <laughs> last time. Okay. I was going to go for a better prey, you know, but uh, I think I'm still down on the food chain from you, Billy. Unfortunately. I, I like banter. That's fine. No, I mean, if I really wanted to just quit, uh, Gaston, I, I, I would. It's uh, it's just I've got shit popping up, and I don't know which way it's going to break. And 
because people are paying me to do videos, I felt obligated to tell them, hey, shit may be coming on down the line, and if I've got to do this, I'm going to pull this down. Trying to trying to be responsible. Try not to pull a spoonie where I just leave a Patreon up and don't produce anything for eight months. All right. Can I just throw something different like out there? Three years. I think the, <laughs> yeah. uh, I just want to get everybody's reaction on this. I think the funniest thing about yesterday's work screen was how the all the alt right faggots who say you know they are pro tradition are all white knighting for these chicks. I think that was ridiculous. I will say that I thought uh, Andy was it Sinatra that jumped in there. He seemed he seemed to he white knighted a little bit uh, pretty pretty hardcore when he popped into that fucking stream, man. He, he... He he loves him some of the ladies though, that were in that stream. He he must be a Venti fan because yeah he he popped on there with a, a little bit of in or er, indignation going on. Sinatra is all about that a girl. That 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 is his gimmick. That's why he is Sinatra, I think. Hey, hey sorry, yeah, I'm gonna run to the shop real quick. But I just heard what you were saying. Uh, yeah, that's why I kicked Sinatra within like three oh, you minutes. Kicked like, him. Yeah, well, I was like, he's like. He's like, Rouge, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, was that why you wanted the link? Uh, and he's like, yeah. And he's just like, he wasn't really making a point. Love Sinatra, but I couldn't just have him in there. Yeah, he was white knighting pretty hard. Love you, Sinatra. He, he got a little heated. Yeah, he got a little heated. He seemed to yeah, want to pop in there. But I, I thought the I, I liked the argument. I thought it was a funny stream listening to everybody yell at each other. It was good shit. Oh, it was great. Yeah. The blood was was fucking I, I like me and JF, when everyone just left, we just fucking laughed for five minutes. Cause it was just like, holy fuck, that was beautiful. What is more ridiculous to me is that the fucking Obama robot chick, you know? Because if you take a step back, and it's not like I think the Rush is great or anything, but if you take a step back, all we're doing is we're clapping for a chick that just makes robot. How pathetic is this? Really? Why? Wow, which which, which like one her? was the oh, which one was the Obama chick? But, I think he uh, made a robot that shoot uh, potatoes at Obama or something. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we didn't hear that. No, I didn't what? fucking hear about a potato robot. It's Annika, it's Annika. Please, God. Is there video of this? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I would have to. I'd have to ask her. I'll I'll DM her and I'll ask her. I'm just gonna run to the no, shop I, I, real quick, all right, guys? Okay. All right. Her whole point back in was ten like, minutes. I, I I'm a girl and I make robots, and these guys are supposed to be alt right. Are supposed to be for traditional venues. They're saying Roshvi is a fucking senegger. Come on. Hey, I just I just like uh, observing people yell at each other. I mean that that really is just it, it warms the the gills uh, yeah. <laughs> of my heart. I, I enjoy that. It's entertainment. So, uh, it's conflict. It is. It is fucking entertainment. On the most basic human level, conflict is the it's it's the simplest form of entertainment. Two people. I with like an issue. I like the period to spiral. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like people say, I think it's a distilling process. Well, I wouldn't even call it a purity spiral. I mean, I don't think a lot of these people are even really associated with each other politically, to be honest with you. I mean, I think they kind of come from all different camps. I think it's more just fucking Jerry Springer level shit. It's really basic fucking stuff, which is why it's entertaining. It worked for Morton Downey. It worked to them. It worked to them. It well, it worked for Downey until he drew a backward swastika on his forehead. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, until that. I think, is Jerry Springer still going? No, I think he's done. He's, he's so done. fucking rich at this point. Why would he continue doing anything? He's old as fuck, too. Yeah, he's probably fucking 20-year-olds and, you know, fanning himself with $100 bills. Remember remember the Ringmaster? That was a fucking good movie. Now, uh, Coach. Coach, you there? Yeah. Uh, now, when are we getting your rematch with V? No, oh, but why? Why would I bother? Because I fucking I, I just I like watching. Yeah, because you, you it, because it's entertaining for you, but it's well. I, th I think you're starting to get your footing, though. I mean, at the no, first couple of uh, blood sports I, arenas, Kumite uh, stuff, you were a little uneasy, a little unsure, but I think you're getting into the swing of it now. Well, I I, I would I can't say anything intelligent to that. That's very nice of you to say, but I don't think I think that you're totally wrong and just fucking with me to get me to egg me on to uh, to get it, it more of it. No, 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 it's it's a baptism of fire. You've you've got to you gotta you gotta get burnt a little bit until you get used to it, and then once you got the hang of it, you're good to go. And well, I, what, I think when you're did you start? When, when did you start before like streams were happening? 
What's that? When did I what? When did you start uh, doing it? Oh, I've been arguing with fucking idiots on the internet for like a decade now. But why would you bother? I mean, isn't it boring? Oh, fuck no. I mean, You're telling me you don't enjoy telling somebody they're a fucking retard on Twitter or coming up with a funny fucking jab at somebody when you're on a stream? Well, okay, fair enough. Yeah, because uh, yesterday there was this guy, uh, just a fucking moron, just like filming people, filming people at a, at a courthouse and filming the cops and just being a nuisance. And it was just so incredibly retarded. And it was, yes, it was interesting and fun for a while. But people wanted me to get Jim on for that. Uh, that guy wanted to go against you, Jim. I'm not kidding. Uh, he Was, was it a sovereign people. citizen? He's one of those lads who like yeah, to film I, the cops and, you know, they uh, have their rights and... Yeah, he's a silent citizen. He when when people come up to him, he doesn't say anything. Oh my god, I would have loved to have been on for that shit. Yeah, no, that would have been fun. Does he have a land boat? Look, Does if, he travel rather than drive? Is that what we're dealing with here? If he what? is in what? the crowd and would like to have a go at Jim, that would make my life. Because like for me oh, it's just God Ah, oh, fuck the sovereign citizenship. But for you, like apparently everybody's like, Oh, he did the series on it, Jim would go in, this would be great. Well, yeah, if he's yeah alive, I'd love to hear somebody know. tell me their birth certificate is a fucking uh, bond held in security at the Social Security Administration, <laughs> meaning they're <laughs> worth a million dollars. I'd love to fucking hear that. Oh, God. Oh, it was brutal. It, it was a brutal day. I think. Yeah, uh, and then some cop showed up and started arguing with the kid. And the, the kid was sounded just... like Bill Clinton, yes. Yeah, yes, exactly. He certainly did. And well, yeah, there's, just... there's no love loss between those two groups. I know cops fucking hate him. Um, I got a lot of messages from cops when I did those videos saying uh, that, you know, they're always freaked out when they got to deal with them. And there's like special training now for how to deal with a sovereign citizen. They have a special training procedure for police officers now on how to deal with that shit when they encounter it. To be fair, a lot of people disagreed with the person that came on. Well, they like, they may know. have, but like, here's the, this is the funny shit about this is like yesterday when he was on, I bet he didn't think that the very next day they would be like, okay, well, here's Jim. <laughs> yeah, no, if, if, he, if he's reachable today, yeah, I'd, I'd be okay. Taka. I know he ain't got no goddamn job, so get him in here. Uh, he, he, he says give him a few minutes and he'll be here. Oh, oh shit. Okay, chat, start start spamming really happy emojis because this shit's going down. Under the Articles of Confederation, we are going to have some blood sports. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Alright. Yeah, I just I'm yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So Billy, do you prefer waffles or pancakes? I am a waffle guy. You are? Kami. I'm will a waffle guy. Even, will you even but, fuck but they with get all hard sometimes though. though. Don't don't you don't you prefer the fluffy goodness of the pancake? Nah, fuck the fu fluffy pancake. I want a crispy pancake, man. You know, I I think with pancakes they're they're a little too I don't know they're they're just a little too sweet for me to be honest with you. I, I prefer I prefer. You don't, have, well, you don't have to fucking pour diabetes on it. You could you could just have a plain pancake. But they come so sweet as as opposed to fucking waffles that you know. <laughs> I, I kind of get him on that because I don't really like sweet shit either. But I like pancakes more than I like waffles. I think. Let's see, waffles strong, durable, right? A pancake, strong, fluffy, durable. wheat, flappy. <laughs> you know what? What do you think is the soy boy between these two? I'm gonna say pancakes. Motherfucker, get this. The waffle crap is the down. Brock Lesnar of morning pancakes. Keep those in crepes. Get the fucking crepes out of my fucking face. Crepes leave you fucking disappointed. There's never enough of the filling. Never enough of the fucking crepe. Fuck that shit. Do, do crepes give you the craps? Yeah. Crepe Especially crepes. when they're filled with Nutella. Are, are, are you done with Nutella? Is, is Nutella and in, in, in everything at this point? Is it the fucking... They might be. Hold on. I just thought of this. Spice. We may not have a chance to get any more of these, but before we get this crazy dude in, Failure, can you, could, could, could you grab some of the signs that were taken away from the crowd? Because there may be about a thousand at this point. Yeah, yeah. There, there might be a fucking obscene amount of signs that... Uh, are in the backlog. This is as close of a thing uh, as to a break as we're going to get. All right. Uh, Pop TV says to him, this probably looks like uh, it takes less work than what he does that may piss him off. Uh, talking about Sargon, I think. Trashman for two bucks says Sargon, bitch. Fragile Eagle, great impression, Andy. 
Uh, Janice Phillips of Five Bucks says, Tonka, I think that's why Sargon started doing live shows. His first uh, one sold out fast. YouTube is changing and he's trying. We'll see if he succeeds. Uh, Kenny OMG says, uh, for 10 bucks, uh, the only thing I dislike about the alt right is the ball licking and the dick sucking. It's pretty gay. My limit is when people start uh, fantasi- fantasizing about giving Richard Spencer a rim job. Fucking hell. Super Bear is 81. Andy, no doubt. <laughs> the the attacks come from jealousy. WHM says, uh, who cares about the death rattle of Jeff Holiday? Raven Ruin says, like I say, it's a uh, ankle biter season. Uh, do not concern yourself uh, with these jealous uh, losers. You can't monetize Twitter whining. Corbin Thomas says, how dare Andy address things on his terms? Uh, Crucial Bunny says, uh, hey, Jeff and crew, uh, make better content, sluts. Uh, Exceptional detective. I bet you Jeff is a part of uh, the cannibal cannibal community. Uh, Black D Dragon says, let's tell Andy he owes me and Azu a hangout. Uh, Kenny OMG, Andy, why are you always talking beyond people's back? Burger Lord says, so when Soy Gone called the chat white niggers, does that mean he knows what white is? Toxic Mouth for 20 bucks says, congrats on 10k. I've only started listening to you guys a few months ago. Love the show. My question is, why are there so many bitch made men in this community? It's the one thing uh, that still bugs me. It must be the Soy. Um, Kenny OMG says, uh, V is my god and Billy is his prophet. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Billy? The prophet of V, Billy. Uh, no, no, that's <laughs> Billy didn't even have shit for that. He's just like, ah, no. <laughs> well, Walter Javis says, let's get, let's get to the real issue here. Is Jim okay? And where do I donate this pile of money to cure his cancer AIDS? I would the Lord for five bucks says, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, you can you can donate that money to uh, Monday Matt. Uh, feel free; <laughs> he's gonna need it. He had an emotional breakdown uh, when he got his plaque. We don't know if he's okay, so it'd probably yeah. probably do him good. Yeah, Andrewski's uh, stream freedom of speech in its pure form, <laughs> purest form. Uh, Septics preached my halls of debate, but only bring on low hanging fruits as a burger lord. Um, American Gadfly for five bucks says it kind of it kind of is though between Andy Show and the Kumite and others I don't have time for boring ass response videos. Uh, Andrew Wilson says Medicare is far sighted in recognizing uh, Atanka and Andy's new innovative uh, blood sports format. Uh, as the Spencer Sargon chat proved, it, it it can move political discussion development forwards. Keep this format going. Uh, Lama Dirk says, uh, Andy brings a harpoon to the Whalen Wall. <laughs> Black D Dragon says, Andy the Fag Worski. Uh, Cody Turner says, I pay Andy lots of money to insult him. Welcome to the internet. Uh, by the way, you'll get your stream one day, Cody. One, one day you'll get your stream. Uh, Andrew Wilson says, Andrew, white nigger Worski. <laughs> Toad McKinley says, press one of Jeff Fuel can't melt steel beams. Uh, Wolf says Jim is a glow-in-the-dark CIA nigger. <laughs> Fuckwad says poor Jim is three days away from being a bubble boy. Uh, Crackbot, fear the <laughs> finger. Right, yeah. Fear the finger. <laughs> Ultra Grade says Andy, did you, me- did you get my message I sent you? Again, Ultra Grade for two bucks. Andy, did you get my message I sent you? Trash Man for two bucks says press one if Sargon takes the internet too seriously. Water Dragon says for five bucks. Tonka, as you would say, the Kumite and the Kumite chat is razor blades and lemon juice. If you stage dive into this crowd, we're taking our pound of flesh. Uh, New Age Culture says, Hi, Billy. Would you <laughs> like a balloon? I got a lot more in my sewer. Come on, I won't bite <laughs> your arm off. Ha 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 ha. Marty Spard just says, uh, Jimmy is going to stop. Oh, Jim is going to stop making uh, videos because he has allergies. Uh, Lemon Sister went down smooth. Uh, says CEO fear, uh, CEO fears V. Uh, American Gadfly, I do. Fucking ranting monkey. Uh, Destruction Jenkins, Toad versus CRP deathmatch. Uh, is that going to happen anytime soon? I don't know. Let's see. 
Trash Man says for two bucks, Matt worked in Hollywood. Look at his IMDb. Dragon Strike uh, Thunder Force says, uh, tell Billy he's a, fa- a faggot nigger. Hey, Billy, you're a faggot nigger. Message received. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Dog Bath says, every drop of blood spilled in the Kumite helps Jim get into a Somali Valhalla. Uh, don't listen to AI simulation. Jim is as dead as six million Navajo samurai. Worst that I might ever says, hold on, I had to take a conference call. I thought Medicare was either dead or suffering from AIDS flare up. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, Trash Man says, Andy, tell Jim how Liz's meat flap and garlicky butter are special pizza taste. Don't Yummy. the maggots make it taste better? Mmm, mm, delicious. Worst that might ever says, get get profit for all time's sake. Fuck the profit. Uh, Corbin Thomas is a new sponsor. Welcome, welcome Corbin. Uh, you Appreciate too can you, have, uh, you know, the special emojis, the, the failure head emoji, the vamp head emoji, even even the Tonka emoji. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get a Medica emoji in there. But you, you, you get um, them. Uh, no, we need the scared Medica face or the happy Billy <laughs> face, one of the two. That'll be the next emoji. Good call. Or angry yeah. Andy with the toboggan on. That'll be the next one. Yeah. I, I got five more signs, and then we're done. Worst that I might ever says, gas to boomer. Crackbot says, Billy, shove a bike pump up his ass. Uh, Pop TV says, Jim Belgian waffle or normal? Uh, I actually like Belgian waffles. And Tankfish. There you go. Getting to know but Jim. But Billy... Billy, as, as the anti-bully, why are you bullying a poor, delusional, sovereign citizen? I don't bully anybody. It's all love and friendship and hugs and shit on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Cody Trenner with one more says, don't get my hopes up and then take them away, failure. I can't handle the emotional turmoil that it will cause. The, you can't be fucking with people's, you know, their emotions like that, failure. That's just fucked up. That's just dirty. Uh, gonna jump over real quick from insane hippie hippie insane. Here's ten dollars for the Kumite belt when you get to your button, Tonka saw. Appreciate you, bud. And Fug donated too to say Destiny's minions have been raiding Discord servers and recording voice chats. Mm. Let uh, I have I have a sign, a backstage sign, which a I don't backstage know. Backstage sign, but uh, but Chrono says uh, Medicare, wet bread or beef curtains. Say that one again. What bread or beef curtains? I choose suicide. <laughs> suicide, Sibuku. I can be your second. Uh, we we got a response oh, from the ranting Thomas monkey. Side. He says, "Ranting monkey says no, but thanks." About oh, there you go. Andy's challenge has been denied. Another day, I guess. <laughs> All right. Not that it matters because Andy is not here. However, mm, somebody no. else's challenge was most definitely answered. Billy, no bully. No, oh, we got we got the challenger. All right. It's the boot here. Yep, the boot is back. I'm not here to unperson people. Oh, I think Billy's gonna unperson the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I am behind the times. So what are we arguing about? What uh, what what's on the plate for today? Um. How should I put it? I, I deal with civil rights stuff. I go around and I film government buildings, police officers, law enforcement, security personnel, all all that stuff. But uh, of course, everybody likes to assume I'm a sovereign citizen. No, I am not. I, I don't. Well, you, do bet, the... you guys just cock tease me. You told me you told me he was a fucking sovereign citizen. Let him talk. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Pro- <laughs> the most famous videos I am known for on my channel, and yes, it's a very small and bullshit channel. Um, is for giving people the silent treatment where I'll sit there and film and I'll have people come up to me and try to ask me questions and I just completely ignore them. I don't respond to them at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second, wait a second. You, well, have like, like, you, you have like 10K subs. Are you calling Tonka's channel a small bullshit channel? Well, no. Uh, he, th- he's different. He's going to No, 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 hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. I think I, think I heard those words come out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. Did you say that Tonk is a fucking small bullshit channel? Or did you just come inside his house and fucking spit on the carpet? Is that what you did? No, no. He gets, I put out a live stream. I get maybe uh, 50 to 100 views. He puts out a live stream. He gets over 1,000. He's a bigger channel than me. He is a bigger channel than me. I will admit that I, right I, here. And I now. still think you came in here and spit on the carpet. My brothers, spit on this <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, are we going Uganda Knuckles in here? 
let him let him let him talk about his position real quick. Just just. Well, yeah. Let, let's hear your position. So you film people and don't talk to them. Okay, and. That's pretty much about it. I mean, I just exercise civil rights and deal with that aspect. That's, that's not all. Of it. Uh, see, I mean, you guys, CRP you guys got me was all here. Hyped up CRP or was here yesterday, and he he was able to pull a little bit more out of it. It's just. Oh boy, he's being drenched. Uh, well, coach, coach, do you want to tell me what I'm missing here? Well, I think that Dave himself could answer better than anybody. Uh, Dave, oh, wait, Dave, you need a towel. You need we a were towel. talking. You look mighty wet. We were t talking yesterday about. Um, I was asking him, and he was describing how he would stand outside of courtrooms and other uh, 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 public venues and just film. And usually, like the police would go up to him and ask him to remove himself or step off the property or what have you and there'd be like uh well dave why don't you tell us i mean what would happen you okay. stand there outside of a courtroom and you're filming and what happens next like, um, your case. big difference it's big difference a courthouse not the courtroom um but okay. nonetheless Excuse yes me. i'm standing in a public area of a courthouse um filming uh courtyard area and uh the mo uh, more recent uh, video that has gotten big uh, on my channel was me getting forcefully removed off uh, the court ho uh, courthouse property grounds um, by U.S. Marshal. Uh, that was a little heated thing between me and the U.S. Marshal there. U.S. Marshal's definitely in the, long, uh, uh, in the wrong for uh, how the laws and uh, policies are all written right now. Uh, for that specific issue, and, and has been with the DHS um, Department of Homeland Security. What about the thing where you're like screaming for him to give him your badge number? Uh, you know, I feel like I'm missing the punch of this. Is there a video we can watch of this? Can you fill you, me you in go, with go that? To the, go to the video where he's like, "Give me your badge number and shit like this." Fucking. Oh, oh, you want the cringy part? Okay. Well, yeah, that's well, the fucking yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I yelled at them to give me the fucking their badge number and all that stuff for the other people that were around there that obviously worked, but they ignored me and walked off. While the only uh, the one that actually, well, uh, the, one of the two that put their hands on me that pushed me off, only gave him me his uh, name and badge number. So the guy that removed you gave, gave you his badge and name. Yeah, well, only one of the uh, two. There was one other person. Uh, but I had, uh, what was it, there was three courthouse personnel. I'm pretty sure all three were marshals. And then um, there was some uh, uh, city police that were uh, present that were called to the scene. Well, I mean, this just, it, it strikes me as, I, I don't know, dumb, but I, 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 I need to see the video, softer. I guess. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something that you all have been exposed to that I have this not is, been This is a much softer approach than we had yesterday. I have a feeling that, that he may have oh. refined his way of... His way of coming well, into this. Do you, do you want me to go? You want me to? Uh, we can do the video. Failure can do the video. Yeah, let's get, give him the thing. Cause uh, how should I put? It? I, I'm pretty tired still. I was after yesterday's thing. I had to go run errands and uh, bike ride most of that. So I'm pretty well. And, and yes, from that. we want blood sports. And yes, we're talking about the cringy <laughs> shit. You know that's what okay. we're talking about. Well, I, 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 well, I'm just explaining it. I mean, I'm waiting for more pushback. That's the thing. I mean, I, I got to get ramped up here. Well, yeah, I'm not I mean, hearing anything that's striking me as like I get it. Okay, he's outside filming shit at a courthouse. I, I, I mean, yeah, it'd probably be annoying, and he's gonna run into cops and shit. But if he's not a sovereign citizen, talking about his land boat and the Articles of Confederation, it's two different things. So I need to see the video to get a better idea of what we're dealing with. Failure, can you screen share that? He he was shouting. It was the thing about rights and give me your badge number and like you were doing all that shit. That was what I was like. Oh God, dude, come well, on. that was that was me and um uh Josh there that was going back and forth. Um and then uh, Ichabob because Ichabob hopped on me uh with a citation from the Fifth Amendment. I mean not Fifth Amendment from the um. Fifth Circuit Court uh, ruling that I, uh, as one of the citations I put there, uh, that put out there. And then uh, Josh there was stating that if I'm standing there two feet behind him and, film, uh, and filming behind the cop, uh, if he was still a cop at that, uh, he would um, tell me to back off. If I didn't back off, he would uh, say it's a lawful order. And if I still didn't, he would arrest me right then and there. And I point out that that doesn't work necessarily that way. Oh, it looks like Failure's got this up. Failure, do you want to unmute yeah, okay. yourself and put it up on screen share so we can see what everybody's talking about so I can get clued into what's going on? Yesterday, he was, he wanted you specifically. We just, we couldn't, we couldn't get you. Okay, so this is, this is the courthouse thing you're talking about? 
Yeah, this is the the one that the uh, the most recent big blow up that I have. Okay, let's let's take a look. Filming. No. Okay, uh, I'm gonna tell you one more time, please, uh, to exit the federal grounds with the camera there. I think you're pretty ignorant on the law. Okay. Um, anything else? DHS memo, 2010. Go look it up. Come back to me when you have. Okay. Are you leaving? Sir, are you leaving? I said 2010 Sir, DHS I'm, I'm, memo. I'm going to take this Which, from you nicely. No. I'm going to take it from you. You cannot be on federal ground. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Name the, yeah, yeah. Sp uh, name the specific I'm law. I'm not naming anything. Name the specific law. I'm not, I'm not gonna and I need it. your badge I'm number. not going to I'll give you my badge number. I need I'm it not, now. I'm not going to get I need I'm, it now. It's not coming right now. I need just, it now. Just relax. I need it now. No. I the need it now. No. I'm money and I want it now. <laughs> But we're gonna, we're just gonna walk you off the ground. We don't want to take your stuff. You are. I'm act, gonna give you. This is a legal I'm, I'm, action. I'm gonna give you. This is an illegal action. No, it's not. I'm gonna yes, give you my badge is. number. Is this there is anything a, I can do? That this will is stop an illegal you? action. Is there anything I can do? This that is will stop an illegal you? action. Okay. DHS memo 2010. Go look it up. Okay. Go read it again. Okay. Now. I'm I'm listening to you, brother. Do you understand what I'm saying, though? Do you understand okay. what I'm saying? We're, we want you to walk off the grounds. There's other courses of action if you feel that your rights are violated. When we get off the grounds, I will give you my badge number for sure. Go look it up. I'm not looking anything up right now. Is there anything I can do without force that we can talk about to get this camera off federal grounds. This is an illegal uh, move. Get your hands off it's my It's an illegal camera. move. You got the steel chair. Get your hands last, off my last, camera now. First, I'm going to take your camera. You guys don't okay. appreciate it. I'm going to take your camera in a not a physical way. Okay. Once I take your camera, please don't do anything that's physical. I see that you're shaking. There you go. There you go. There you go. Badge number. I, off the ground. Badge off number. The ground. Ground, badge Stop number. It. Don't stand here. it is completely legal. Double. Listen, sir. Look, you're in a weird. Right, you're go, right. How about this? Go check your CFR and photography you're, right now. You're in a weird spot. No, I am I, not. I don't, I don't like you being in this spot. I would I hate for you to fall. Hey, okay. uh, how about this? Go check your CFR okay. and photography Walk right now. This way. Walk hey, over hands this. off. Okay, now. Hands off. Don't do it. Okay. Hands off. Walk this way right now. Like, Hands off. What way. you're doing is completely Please illegal. Walk to walk. Hey, if you put any I'm more not, pressure no on the pressure. Hands off! No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay. We're going to walk all the way down, all the way out. Make sure Who is your supervisor? Ground. Talk about it when we get off federal grounds here. Just give us a minute. This cop is polite. He also was completely in the wrong. Walk right over here. Nope. Hands off. Okay. I'm on public sidewalk. Okay. So there you go. Name badge number no, now. Listen, listen Who is your supervisor? To what I'm saying. No. Listen Name to badge what I'm number. Saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. We're gonna go back on here. If you come back on this property with this camera right now. We're going to place you under arrest. Under what law? That's the last thing I say. Under today. what law? 4926 is my badge number. Kenny is my last name. Carol, C-A-R-R-O-L-L, -L, is my supervisor. Please don't come back on the property with that camera. This is your last warning. Thank you very much. Badge number. Badge number. Badge number! <laughs> Jesus! He's shouting at him. He's Wait, still there's, there's still, there's it's still, like a spurt. There's Tyrant still alert. Minutes. There's still that was, that was the most. Video. That was so anticlimactic. Okay, so he told you he'd arrest you if you left the fed or if you came back on federal grounds. Did you go back on? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm planning on going back, but right now there's a current uh, investigation going on into uh, this specific incident. So I haven't uh, decided to mess with that or interfere with that investigation. Well. Well, no, I mean, at the time, if you knew, if you believed you were in the right, if you, 
you know, believe the oh. DHS memo or whatever, why didn't you just go right back on? Um, how should I put it? Uh, I wasn't uh, for, how uh, I would if I didn't have something going on the next day, uh, where being arrested would interfere with it. Yeah, I had uh, prior plans for the following day, and I was like, "Crap! I want to go back and go ahead and get the uh, push the arrest." But I what, had what were your plans? So, wait a second. What were your plans? What was your plans for the next day? An another protest or something? No, no. It's uh, family matters. It was a family get together kind of thing. So I, let me understand so, it. Let me, let me understand it. Your, your 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 principles, you know, take a second place to your inconvenience. Is that how it works? I thought you were a principled guy. No, I've been arrested for this kind of stuff. It's just you pick your fights when you when you're able to do it. I'm not going to yeah, sit there and have dinner. It's a it was a bigger event than what I'm just saying. I'm just giving a basic understanding so this way you guys have something to say. Hey, yeah, I well, had no, no, I'm just I'm on. just trying to understand. Yeah. So what was the point of going on there in the first place? So you go on the federal the grounds wherever you were, the courthouse or whatever, yeah. uh, and you're filming stuff. What was your statement? What was the statement of doing that? It was just me documenting to see how uh, how they would handle my civil rights in the first place. So once you how... see that they're going to violate your civil rights, you don't pursue it to give a concrete definition and have them arrest you so you have a case and can say, hey, look. No, there DHS is a case. Memo. As I said, there is a case. It's being investigated right now. There's and you went to court over this kind of stuff before, you said? Yes. Uh, back in, what was it, 2014, uh, me and the uh, Department of Homeland Security went at it uh, uh, for Anchorage, Alaska. And, and what, this... happened with, what happened with that one? Um, uh, they actually... Uh, tried uh they pushed uh charges against me and then dropped them they literally okay, is like you, did you pr like pursue a civil litigation against them if they violated your rights what did you do with it no i did a follow-up investigation they never caused any further problems um i walked in i filmed multiple times within the in the federal courthouse within the federal courthouses um up in alaska and haven't had any problems since well, I guess I just don't get, like, if you want to go do this and, you know, um, show off your, your civil rights or whatever rights you're, you're exercising here, why you wouldn't take it to, to the fullest? Like, when you have them at the point where you're saying you're, what you're doing is wrong, it's illegal, and you could just set one more foot back on the ground, you're already there doing your demonstration. Well, I, I, I've already, how should I put it, I've already gotten the document, as much documentation as I needed for that point. If I really wanted to give it a Hail Mary, yes, I could uh, I could have done that, step back on there. But I had other plans uh, established, and for me, I, I got what I needed for an investigation to go forward. But then they uh, dropped I documented the, it. But then they dropped the investigation. No, not with this one. The investigation's still ongoing. But, by the way, I'm sorry, just, just for context, when was this recorded? When did this event happen? September 11th of last year. David, what's the best possible result you can achieve with this investigation, in your estimation? Um, that there will be a reissuing of the um, Department of Homeland Security memo, except specifically dealing with the U.S. Marshals, and um, it, well, and having hopefully that reiterated and better stated to uh, courthouse personnel, security personnel, so this way they understand it, because this is not the first time. There's been other people with federal courthouses that have had uh, similar run-ins. Oh, okay. Um, so what, what, up yeah. this, uh, memo. What's the memo? Uh, it's the 2010 Department of Homeland Security memo. If you give me a second, um, I can actually link it to you guys real fast here. And uh, it it's, uh, stems from a, uh, a case back in 2009, 2010. Uh, while you find those, uh, let me read some uh, signs real yeah. quick. Uh, Sono uh, WSKE says, uh, Jim, how do you how do you feel about the blue waffles? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Fuck no, mm -hmm. no thanks. Uh, Pop TV says, as a former security guard, this man is a cunt. <sighs> um, no Kenny, o <laughs> Kenny OMG says, I just read the memo, and he's actually right. And worst item I ever says this cop is a fucking saint. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Remarkable restraint. I mean, he oh, really okay. did. I'm, I'm reading your memo, right? And under Title 41, Section 102, it says uh, that you're allowed to do this unless otherwise directed by regulations, rules, orders, or directives. 
Uh, that's specifically uh, dealing with the inside, um, and this also stems from a uh, what is it? Um, uh, it the uh, was it uh, the New York ACLU was involved in this, uh, getting this memo issued in the first place. Okay. Yeah, but uh, and the thing is, is there is restrictions on recording inside the courthouse, but not outside. And uh, that specific uh, legal case that uh, that memo came from, this is almost the exact same situation. I'm standing in the courthouse there, uh, in the the uh, public courtyard area, uh, which the prior person was arrested twice on uh, for that. And why the heck are all the archive ones I have not popping up properly? Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I uh, listen. I, yeah. I don't have anything against you for wanting to prove a point uh, legally, but it just <laughs> like I don't think you're proving the point unless you get arrested. Like, if you're going to go there and do this, you need to get arrested to prove your point. You have to make it go through the system. Yeah, you have not to just make an investigation. Well, well, the thing is, is the uh, um, there's an investigation on that part, and there's there's a potential for a civil case and depending on how the investigation goes um a civil case might be pushed further yeah but so, you you already stated that you had a a similar run-in or a prior run-in uh where charges were dropped and you said alaska or something like that but you didn't pursue, pursue civil litigation yeah why because, would you do it now because uh i'm pretty sure in this case that Yesterday there's you said it was for the views thing. but huh didn't you say yesterday that it was for the views and to have entertaining YouTube videos? No, I didn't say that. Well, that's uh, what no. I that was a question. That that was well, no, I, no. You video. guys assumed that I said if I was doing this for the views, there's a lot of different more ways I can do this to be more aggressive and all that stuff. Yeah, but for me, I I do it more on the education stuff. Um, do the fact that I cover a lot of the case law and I provide uh, support also with other uh, activists that have been hemmed up by law enforcement and stuff like that for just filming. Okay. Well, well I, I, I got to say I'm bored with this. I thought you were a sovereign citizen. They built you up to be something that... Uh, yeah, I, I know. I, he I built there, himself built up, up that way yesterday. I, I did not build myself up there. I sat there and I said there's a line in law that and where it's at, and then me and Josh were arguing specifically where where that line All was right, at. Hold on real quick. Chat, if you think that he was coming in a whole lot hard, more hardcore yesterday, throw me a one in the chat. Throw Jim a one in the chat if this dude was coming in 100% harder yesterday. It's going to be delayed. It takes like a minute for them to catch up, so we'll yeah. see. I, I, I think it's... I feel I feel a lot of a, a reserved <laughs> version of yesterday. Listen, David, let me just give you my personal experience on this. I think you're a spoiled child. Okay. I was at Lebanon once visiting, and I was at a taxi taking pictures. I took picture of the famous hotel, which uh, name I cannot remember now. And then the army chased my taxi down, brought me out, and said, look, Lebanon is a beautiful country. There are many, much scenery here for you to take pictures of. But please, do not take pictures of uh, where you have uh, guards standing by, because Israel may shoot a fucking missile any, any time. And they took my phone and deleted it and uh, checked my contacts to see if I was uh, messaging anybody. And they were very That's polite. Not... They said, you know, no, have a nice day. And you're you're just acting like a spoiled brat because if you're going to get... Uh, okay, stop there. Stop the there. I'm a, I want, I'm a, well, let me finish. Thing. Let me finish. That's me finish. Lebanon. That's Lebanon. This is the United States. If you, if you are getting something positive... Film. Let me fucking finish, David, you fucking brat. If you are getting something positive <laughs> for the American citizens, then yes, your work could be valid, but your work is both pointless and... Too boring. Did we lose him? I, it, no, he's here. I, uh, no, no. Well, he, he like he, it sounded like his sentence got cut off there. Uh, yeah. But no, the thing is, this is the United States, not Lebanon. We have a legal right to film anything we want inside. Well, from a public area or a place we're legally allowed to be at. I think. Yeah, but you right don't have the right to be a nuisance. Uh, no, no. The, he does have the right, to CRP, to be honest. I think his main objection is that you're. It, it would be that you're boring and pointless. Was his main yeah. objection? Yes. Uh, okay, so I'm boring and pointless. I never said I was exciting. I never said everything I did was great. I I read legal paperwork online of on live streams that maybe get about fifty people to watch or something like that. I am not that big famous kind of guy. I'm not some dude that pulls in a thousand people on a live stream or uh, 400,000 or whatever. 
I just do with simple stuff, boring stuff. Very few, I mean, very few times, it's a very exciting. I sit there and read case law. I listen to lawyers talk about legal issues. Yeah, but so, lawyers why? do that sometimes because there's a benefit to advancing the law and to the public or to the government to, to you know, uh, have seen things determined. If it's this way or that way, you're achieving nothing. nothing yes, we, I, I do achieve something. I, uh, if I find something, I can report on it. And if possible, and in some cases, it can turn into a case law, like the Turner v. Driver, which I cited yesterday. Turner v. Driver was done doing the almost the exact same thing I was doing. That stemmed from a guy that was filming a police station. And I haven't had a chance to go back over because I think Ichabob I was actually misquoting the, the citation part, and I still got to go back and read that sentence through. Yeah, but I everybody knows if you, if you go there with a sign or with a note and you deliver to the cop, this is the case law, this is my what I'm doing, this is the project, he wouldn't do anything. He might not even push you outside. The, so you don't do that on purpose just, just to act like a fucking spoiled child. The thing is, is I'm testing to make sure they understand people's rights. I'm not sitting there and trying to educate them. I want to know if they're going to be able to handle it without the, uh, the knowledge beforehand. Because what if some random idiot that doesn't know much about it gets hemmed up for doing something similar. I'm just going to take a picture because this looks cool, or I have my friends here. And then some security guy or some cop or law enforcement personnel gets a freaking stick up his damn ass You're and says, I, am I a liar? No, I'm You're a liar. Liar. I have. There's You're videos of this kind of shit out that happens out there. You know why you are a liar? Because if your interest was knowing if the policeman was educated or not, you would educate him. You purposely don't educate him. Just to it's show not your my job head. to educate them. I'm testing. Then the why are you doing this? That. It sounds like Scarface is like so pissed. <laughs> as is, as is, I'm testing what their knowledge is and to see if they're up to par. If they're not up to par, then it's on their department and the training schools that train them that get them trained back up to where they need to be at. I'm just being the guy. I'm just the 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 instru well the instructor that administrates the surprise quiz at the end of the day to see if everybody was studying their homework. So you're not a sovereign citizen. You're a citizen instructor. <laughs> something like that. Or something like that. I, I'm the guy that's issuing the tests. That's what I'm doing. He, he's testing it. So you, so you're like the citizen proctor. Yeah, I, I guess so. I feel like there's a little bit of history here. Maybe I missed out on more fire talk yesterday. You did, Josh, because like like when Josh was on, he has like a complete guys. What would he call himself a proctologist then? It's, I feel like we're getting we're getting a um a much softer boot than we got yesterday, and I, the chat yeah. agreed. It is yeah, a much softer I, I, position I, yeah, just, than yesterday. I I I just I'm I'm trying to get uh, get into the role, but I just how should I put? It? I feel like I'm doing more explaining than having to. Uh, uh, somebody in the chat wanted me defend. to ask you. Um, did you say that being a cop wasn't dangerous? It, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not as dangerous as people make it out to be. It's actually one of the safest it, uh, uh, professions out there when it comes to you know, work uh, on the does job. Does anyone injuries. remember his quote yesterday? Because that was a pretty. Uh, Pretty fucking you. You were definitive on that shit, and it pissed off Joshy quick. Oh yeah, uh, Officer Clinton was not happy. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> how how is it not a dangerous job? What do you what do you mean by safest? Uh, okay, if you look at the um at the professions in the United States that uh, have the highest workforce um uh um like death tolls and stuff like that, it doesn't even make it into those. Yes, they are in a position where they're at a higher risk for potential injury, but more often than not, because they're allowed to defend themselves and stuff like that, they have the ability to rest and call in numbers to uh, help back them up. They suffer a lot less in that uh, degree. You're more likely to get harmed or killed doing like commercial fishing or logging or something like that. Wait, would you say working at McDonald's is more dangerous? Um, no, I would say being a convenience store clerk would be uh, more dangerous. Actually. More dangerous than being a cop. Yeah. Uh, what were in the top uh, rankings for jobs that were on that list that cops didn't make? Oh, well, I, I already stated two. Uh, logging, um, commercial fishing, construction work was actually in there too. 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna pull it up right now. So the profession's where big heavy shit falls on you. Pretty much, or something. Something can easily, uh, well, the environment's out to kill you, or something like that. Okay. Uh, so would you say, actually, would you say being, being a cop is easy? Easy? No, it's not easy. That's why they get paid a decent amount of money. So much softer than yesterday. I feel like I got nothing to work with here, guys. This is I don't, so I... marshmallow compared this... to what he was doing yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. I don't... Failure, you uh, were I... here. CRP, you were here. <laughs> Tell me if this is not just fucking... No, it's that we need uh, we Officer Clinton. Because Officer Clinton riled him up. Just the, just the mere fact of him riled him up. Because, I mean, like, look, I, you know, Dave, I, I mean... I think what you're doing is completely pointless, right? Uh, and I, I think that how you handled yourself there was it was like a spoiled child, really. I mean, you kept saying, you know, you know, what's your bad number? Bit, what's yes, your, it, was, yeah, it, was, it was definitely on the cringe. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, but but yeah. the thing is, see, it, what you're doing is socially useless. It's just a waste of everybody's time. Uh, and and the thing that was interesting to me, at any rate, was that yesterday, you started to have like a meltdown when Josh started uh, arguing with you. And Not there was something was about the military stalking him too. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like Wait, no, you have an issue with like, authority. No, let's get, uh, you, you glossed over something there that's interesting. Well, who's getting stalked by the military? <sighs> Oh, uh, that uh, uh, the J Bear video. I actually had um, OSI. Oh God, no, no. <laughs> they, they followed me. Uh, they followed me for about a quarter mile. Until I ducked into the woods and they refused to follow, and I was like, "Oh, that's a little bit disappointing." Why were they following you? Because I was filming the uh, the military base. So you're filming a military base, <laughs> and then they decide to investigate you. You can't tell me that didn't. I mean, that that can't be shocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't shocking. I was actually sort of chuckling at the fact they were following me. They well, followed me well, of course the they're going to follow you, you idiot. Of course they're going to follow you. They want to know what they're what you're doing. I mean, well, which military yeah, base was this? Uh, was joint Air, uh, joint uh, Air Force, uh, um, joint base, uh, Elmendorf, um, J Bear, uh, Fort Richardson. Uh, what was it? The military police, or was it that uh, that uh, fucking uh, milk dud looking dude? It, it, uh, do you mean the one with the plaid shirt? Yeah. Uh, no, the 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 security so guard. Awesome. Oh no, no, that was FAA. If if you're referring to the video yesterday, that was FAA. No. Uh, and the uh, J Bear one happened like a year prior, and with that one, I had OSI, which is sort of like the equivalent of the FBI, but within the military. Uh, well, within the Air Force, that uh, two of their guys followed me. Uh, so after you're, I got you're, filming, you're filming an airbase, <laughs> and they see this guy standing out there, dead silent, filming their fucking airplanes. <laughs> So they have two guys checking out. Hey, make sure this guy's not wearing a turban with a bomb up his ass. <laughs> and they follow you for a quarter mile, and they're like, "Well, he ran into the woods, so I guess we don't have to worry about that." Hey, hey, I, well, they sat, they stood there for a little bit there. They, well, they, I would yeah, too if I got some guy stalking around my military and wait, wait, then wait, dips so out. Wait, 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 wait. So you're testing their security by recording not... stuff, and then if they they question you or anything, they're they're not doing your jobs by not letting no, you. No, well, I stated this yesterday. If they come out and ask questions, that's not a violation. Uh, that is actually within their right and actually proper security procedure to have someone go out and acquire information from them if they see something suspicious, kind of thing. Where, it, but what I'm testing for specifically is any potential rights violation where they sit there and say, "You can't film this. Turn your camera away. Turn your camera off. You have to delete that." That's when they uh, they step over the line. Did they tell you that? Uh, they uh, the guy in the plaid shirt for that uh, J Bear video. Yes, he sat there. He's like, get your uh, get your camera off of me. Get your camera off the gate. Quit filming the, the military the base. The J Bear video. That's the military base one. Yeah, that's the military base one. That's actually the most. Uh, that's the biggest uh, video on my channel right now. Okay, so he told you to fuck off. Oh well, he he's uh, cursed at me once. There, he's like, get it, uh, get your uh, fucking camera off, uh, off of me, and that's after he stepped in front of the camera. Stop. Okay, so did, did you stop recording at that point, and then they followed oh, you? Oh no, I, I kept the camera rolling. I don't turn that sucker off. That stays rolling until I'm done. So what was the conclusion of the video? I'm just trying to get a an idea of how you got chased in the woods. 
uh, I got done. I spent. I got the footage that I needed, and uh, after the MPs walked up and sat there and said uh, three or four times that I had stepped on the property, that I would be arrested on the Air Force uh, military property. And uh, after that, they parted ways. I parted, and then I turned off my main camera and uh, walked off. And then I looked behind me, and sure enough, I had two guys, the OSI guys, following me. I'm just like, oh, this will be fun. I'm going to take them on a little walk. Now let's uh, see how far they're going to follow me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just reading the chat, and a lot of them are raising the question of what, what is the point of this? I know you said citizen inspector, but you are eventually going to get shot in your fucking head if you keep filming <laughs> military bases. You know that, right? If they shoot me for uh, filming a military base, uh, that's going to that's gonna cause all kinds of hell. Nobody's going to know. You're going to be dead. Nobody's going to have your yeah. I know people are going to know because I, I got um, – there's methods of document – well, having a live documentation or having backup either um, with people that uh, – what I do is we'll either have a live stream going or we'll have um, – Didn't you say you were in the military? Like, you know this. Yeah, I'm former military. Oh, right. I've forgotten that. You're right. So, so – I, I mean, uh, you would know how they would feel about this. I don't know. I, just, I, I know how they feel because I've done similar. I've done those guarding positions. I've guarded gates. I've sat there and pulled security. I've well, wouldn't you realize and... how how incredibly annoying it is for somebody like you, if you were like manning post and you know protecting whatever, and some moron like you is filming and just you know causing a nuisance? Don't you it realize how annoying it, it would be? You know what? To be honest, all the security details, I, I would find it entertaining. I would be sitting there chuckling and uh, joking with it with the other guard. We'd sit there, no. be making jokes about it. We'd take what a note, obviously. The... What, what was started you on this road? Um, a, uh, another military veteran getting uh, shot in the head with a tear gas canister over in uh, was it Oakland? Uh, it was over in uh, California uh, several years back. That was sort of like the kicker, and then eventually, I sort of. Uh, it just uh, fell into the role of film because I was originally just filming politics. And then I was like, well, you know what? I'm also start filming police because this other guy that was filming um, police and doing some other stuff, uh, he was just talking way too much. I'm like, God, he talks way too much. I need to show him how it's done where you don't talk. And so I just started like, well, I might as well get some practice. And then uh, eventually I started uh, alert. I came up with the silent treatment where I just, don't talk to uh, the security or law enforcement. Let them ask their questions, and I just don't respond to them, and then uh, they'll usually go bugger off or whatever. Quick comment from yeah. somebody who says they're former uh, Navy. I don't know if they mm -hmm. want that doc, so I'll just leave the name out of it. They say that if they would have seen you pointing something at them from several hundred yards away, they would have shot your ass. Yeah. And they you would definitely be in big trouble then. If you don't amp it up, you're just going to be boring. Well, and, and the thing is, is I don't, I'm not aiming to be entertaining. I'm just going out there and testing and documenting it. I mean, there's people that are involved in this same, the same stuff. All they do is go around and submit uh, public records requests and get all that stuff. And their footage is just as dry and as boring as most of mine. Okay, okay. the chat is spamming. What is your MOS? What is my MOS? Communications. By the way, what do you do for a living? I mean, how do you pay the bills? I pay the bills. Uh, I'm a disabled vet, so part of that is covered. So, and then I do odd jobs and uh, whatever stuff that comes in from donations and stuff that I from when I do video gaming or some other things. Okay, people uh, in chat are saying to... that's not an MOS. What? People in your chat are saying that's not an MOS. Hold on, I dipped mm. the chat. Let me check. Let me check. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, let me... Chat's losing Hold on. Mind. Now they're spamming fa uh, fake LARPer stolen valor. Oh, Give me a second. I got my DD214 over here. I'll, right. I can't on. remember Hold specifically. Hold on. Wait. Okay. An MO. Somebody get. What the fuck is an MO? Hey, huh? everybody, stop the car yeah. for a second. I don't. I'm not military man. Yeah, speak, What's speak, an MOS? Speak, speak. What, what is that, MOS? Billy, do you know what an MOS is? Look, I only played Call of Duty one time. I don't know what uh, the fucking MOS is a is. job code for uh uh what was it? Uh, it's a job code that you get for your jobs while you're in the military. 
where the hell did I put my DD forward? Oh, it might be in here. But uh, oh, oh, here oh, it is. God. Oh, I'll, I'll, God. Give me a second, guys. I, it's what been a long time. Take your time. Coming. Take your time. Yeah, this, uh, this, can, this is going I'll nowhere quick. MOS number it should be on here. Oh. Okay, what's, 20... a, what's an MOS? The, like, what does they're, they're that stand for? They're saying your service number is your service number. The job it, it's, yeah, it's 25 uniform. That's what it was. 25 uniform. Okay. I know some stuff uniform, about the military from my grandfather and other family members, but I don't know all this shit. So why were you disabled? Blew out my joint. Uh, blew out my knee when I was in the Army. Did, uh, while I was halfway through my tour, I, uh, my knee gave out. And I can no longer continue service. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you're walking three, uh, three to five miles a day with gear on and stuff like that. Mm. And then you go and you go into the military with bad knees already. Uh, let's see. Thomas Mayer Jr. is asking 25 U. What level? Uh, 10, 20, 30. Okay. Is there why are why would you mistake? MOS is a number, right? Like, apparent, everybody's it, saying it's a number. Why would you mistake that for communications? Because I work on communications equipment. And my job... No, I mean, why would you mistake the term MOS for communications? Like, you even repeated the question back before you said it. Yeah. No, as I, no, as I said, it, it, literally, I work, in, I work in communications as in I'm dealing with communications equipment. It's radios, computers, uh, computer networking. It is uh, computer networking, and then also I get called in time to time to uh, actually make sure that the cryptos, uh, the encryption, and all that stuff is working for the important stuff. Uh, Tennessee Marine is saying you're lying ass motherfucking punk bitch. Uh, Any well, other like? Things they, could, like they can go ahead and accuse me if they if they really want some validation. If they, I can, what I can do later on, failure is I can uh, uh, scan up a uh, censored version. This way, my uh, certain important details are not uh, shown, and I can. So this way, you can see my DD two fourteen. And Jack keeps I'll, saying the stream needs yeah. the marine. Do you have somebody in your uh, audience who's a marine that wants there to come on? There are several marines. I'm touching. Yeah. I'm gonna touch base with like three or four of them real quick. See, see who all can make it. Because this is a conversation out of my league, so if you got something, I don't know what the fuck an MOS is. So yeah, I need I need someone familiar with it. I'm I'm tapping. Let's see. It says we should get Officer Clinton. Officer Clinton would know. Hold on, hold on. Officer Clinton was on yesterday. Let's see if we can. I let's spread the love. Let's spread the love. See if we can get somebody new in here. Hold on, hold on one second. So not really gave me the definition of MOS 25U. Obviously, in a combat situation, the jobs within the USA AC, ASC uh, are especially crucial in order to detect enemy signals and jam enemy radio transmissions. But in any scenario where large numbers of troops are moving, the signal support system specialists are important to keeping everyone in contact. The job involves to perform signal support functions and technical assistance for computer systems, providing technical assistance for local area networks, and doing maintenance on equipment, terminal devices, power generators, and vehicles. So would you say that describes what you did or, or is... Oh, uh, yeah, that's exactly pretty much what we covered. There, there was, I did all that under the sun pretty much. It's uh, We're a jack-of-all-trades within the thing. We're not specialized in anything, but we work on everything. Oof. Using very broad brush terms there, and that's that's what's weird is in it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it a minute. Let's see. Let's see who we can. I'm talking to a few people. See if anybody makes it, because this is some shit. And like I I rate Bear is ex-military, but I don't I, know I would, I him. But he's British. Brit the the Brits don't fucking count. And they got a whole <laughs> different. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> US. You're right. It, yeah, the the way the laws work over in the UK are different than how they work over here in the US. You're losing your audience, Tonka. They're they're getting bored. <laughs> you need to bring in something here. Well, <laughs> how many fucking military <laughs> people do I keep on tap? Is, need uh, to have like a a Rolodex. Full I do. Of I need a yeah. I really do. I need a Rolodex full of uh, correspondence for everything. Well, you, you already this got is, uh, you already really got weird. me added in there. So, 
Like, uh, every time uh, Billy's shown up here lately, we start off with one thing, and we end up somewhere else. Like, we'll start off with a wacky wizard, and we, <laughs> we end up on a pedophile. got somebody in here. And a uh, gun. Uh, they, they might have had some problems on their settings. Oh, I was maybe. fighting out with my voice meter earlier. Maybe. The only reason you get retards like this in the U.S. is the over-judicialization of petty problems. Because if that arose organically in a real problem in society, it would have a fucking point. But you've got all, all of these fucking Jew lawyers trying to, to get rich, so they pick on little issues that citizens and the government have between the, themselves, and then you get retards like you trying to make something out of it. Go do something else, man, or amp it up. <laughs> oh, you want me to amp it up? Well, I could point you to a few people that are already amping it up. I'm getting ready to go to school for law, so... Who is Wind Who Tunnel is approved here? Uh, <laughs> Theo, you there? Hello? Yo. Who is Theo? Hello? Oh, this, I, is, I uh, this is this is Theo Cuxtable. I run a uh, I run a small academic YouTube channel, and I'm uh, I'm here to make Coach Red Pill's ass look like somebody punched a cherry pie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, because you uh, you canceled you canceled two live streams on me, man. Two weeks in a row. I don't know who you are. This is uh this is a uh, oh sorry this is a. Uh, Listen, I'm I'm freaking out because I'm I'm in front of the big dogs. I'm gonna put my friend on. What? What? Uh, uh, what? uh, uh, uh hell, hell, hello. Is this is is this Coach Red Pill? Who is this? I'm almost afraid to ask. Uh, this is uh, this this is V Mandro, and uh, I, I'm here to I'm here to finally end the mystery and tell you what uh, what Sargon's uh, Sargon's uh, cum tastes like. Uh, okay, please tell <laughs> us. We are all very interested. It's a, it's a, it's a sweet, sweet cinnamon crunch. And uh, if you would all like to uh, join the liberals movement, I would, uh, I would like to uh, in invite you right now to say the pledge with me. Uh, I am enlightened by my own intelligence. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm reading the wrong paragraph. Uh, uh, um. They're stealing material in, from Marduk, man. In, 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 <laughs> in this, in this, in this moment, I am euphoric. Not because of the blessing of any phony god, but because of Sargon's uh, fat, fat, juicy cock in my mouth. Oof, I think the crickets killed themselves. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> the, cr the crickets off themselves. Even, even the audience is just like, get rid of them, throw them out. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Toad McKinley, and I had to create a fake account to get on here, and I'm using... Uh, Using some headphones, so. And now that uh, he's unmasked, the crowd cheers. Yeah, I've I've hijacked this uh, at, at my job, and so I'm guessing yeah. that that. Uh, Great! Now we have discount you, metacor on. You you remember you remember when you deleted your channel? Maybe maybe yeah. it should have stayed that way. Yeah. Oh. This is. Oh. This is, you gonna this, take that line down, Toad? Uh, you know, this is uh this is discount Jim, and everybody loves me. Uh, happy I could assist. Yeah, it's it's weird to see you two in the same place at the same time. It's fucking me up. But yeah, actually, act actually, Jim writes all my scripts for me. Uh, I I just I, I read mail them out. I mail them out. He, 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 he mail. pays he pays me in sweet sweet Jew gold. I've got I've got a whole fucking uh, vault full of it from Nick Denton a long time ago. Yeah. Sent yeah, me a whole actually, shit ton of it. He he actually uh, he actually recommended that I uh, that I do these YouTube channels because he's my boss at work at the uh, Kharkov and Camel factory. Kharkov and Camel. Yes. So when did this turn into the fucking Wednesday night at the Yuck Hut? <laughs> are you coming on to fight Coach Redpill? What are we getting at here? Yeah. Uh, no, Coach Coach Redpill really did cancel on me uh, on me twice for a live stream, and I'm really uh, it, well at the time I was trying to promote my channel, but I just hit uh, 14 uh, 1488 subscribers, so I'm not actually uh, accepting anymore. That's the line of subs. Fuck yeah! Andy's back. Andy, oh we've already got a chipper in here. Hold on. So, <laughs> God damn. Sorry, there's a so, form out. Mr. Mr. CRP Mr. dipped Mr. on you twice. Hold on, Mr. Medica, more like Mr. Mediocre. Am I right? Oh, Fuck yeah. Chipper. There you oh, go. Fuck. So, Wait, coach, no, uh, coach, why why'd you dodge the streams with uh, Toad here? No, I, I wanted to. I mean, it was uh, unforeseen. I, I 
actually forgot why why they got canceled, but not because of Toda. I think that he's great. You know, he's great when he's not taking them them bad drugs. Just say no, Toad. Did, just did say he, no. Did he just leave? I think he dipped out on a stream <laughs> with you now. Oh fuck! All right, weren't, weren't we trying to find a marine or something? That's rough. Rough. Holy God, can we get a moment of silence for the fucking Hindenburg there? That crash and burning. <laughs> the humanity. Oh, God, that was fucking tragic. Okay, so anyway, back to the stolen valor thing. Did we find military people? Because there's like 1,500 people yeah, here. There's, there's a few. Nobody... There's a few knocking on the door. Okay, so. No, no, there's, a, there's a few knocking on the door. All you right. want me to pick one of them? Hold on. Jesus, I walk in and it's just, just rough. What happened? Fucking Billy oh, showed up rough, and well, people just had just to be crazy. That, uh, yeah, the years after the Cosby show have not been good for Theo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Cringing. Are there anybody besides those two? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple. Good. Beautiful. New blood. <laughs> well, I, mean, well, I gotta give you credit, Tonka. I didn't think anything would top Andy's uh, roast night stream as being fucking awful, but your 10,000k special is really getting up there. <laughs> well, no, it's, it, it's fucking jumping wow. up there. Boots is like, no, no, I don't want to bring it today, but by the way, think, kind of I stolen think people are actually trying to refund their super chats right about now, which is a first <laughs> for me. <laughs> Tonka, you, Tonka, you want me to pick one? Yes, get a fucking military person in here. We yeah, probably stole a dollar thing for I, I 20 minutes. I, I'm buying a boredom here. Come on, guys. I, I, c come at me. Why are you being weird? You did the weird thing with the stolen valor a minute ago. What are you doing? I'm not stealing any fucking valor. And as I said, I can prove it. I will have someone validate it for, uh, for you guys if need be. But it's... Uh, it's okay. Talk, it's ask more... him a question. I, I was okay. listening to in the car and while I was shoveling snow. Um, why, why do you just film... A government building. It's got so much further than that, Andy. No, okay, I, I heard that, and then he was asking for the um, for the badge number and all that stuff. Like, why do you do, do that, may I ask? It's a, it's a test of civil rights to see how uh, law enforcement and security personnel will respond and if they're going to respect a person's civil rights that might possibly be passing by and filming or take a snapshot or something like that. And do, you have a it's job, just, do you have a job? I just do odd work. I'm a disabled guy, so. All right, David, 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 yeah. you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's going on, man? Okay, so um, I was in the Marine Corps from 05 to 09. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions that might help uh, quash these stolen valor um, attempts right, for, here. First, first, uh, real quick, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just say, and before people start saying that you're stolen valor as well, so we're going to, we're, I'm, I'm just calling now. We're going to have to call in a third person to, to see if you're, you're still that's, oh, that's, fucking hell. that's fine. Um, okay, David? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so, first, you, what years were you in? Uh, 2007 to 2011. And were you honorably discharged? Yes. Disabled. Discharge. Medical discharge. Medical discharge. And you said you didn't, and you didn't know your MOS whenever you were at I, I, d I didn't remember it, I've been out of the service for almost 10 years and so I had to pull out the paperwork to re uh, the, uh, remember the uh, specific what type uh, of radios uh, did you work on uh, Harris radios Harris okay, okay. Um, like if you what, want like to... a brick 18 what oh god it's been a long time uh, I, I don't remember the nomenclatures on the thing but uh... okay um, yeah. I presume you knew your job yeah. I'm, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna all right. So I'm gonna ask you a few jobs related into the communication field. How do you say Q phonetically? The letter Q phonetically. The letter. Uh, so go back. As I said, it's, I've been out for ten years, so uh, there's a lot of shit I've forgotten. Uh, no. From, no. Oof. Oof. November. Yeah. As I said, I, I've. Okay. Quebec, I, think what, okay. Quebec, I think it was pretty sure it was what, Quebec. What about what about P? Papa. All right. So what about why? Yankee. Okay. All right. So you got a few basic communications questions down. Do you know what, uh, so you don't know what type of radio you used. What type of, where, where did you deploy? Uh, Taji, Iraq. Taji, Iraq. About five, about five kilometers north of Baghdad, if I remember correctly. Okay. And you went on patrols much? 
Uh, no, I was a poppet. I, as in, I stayed on the base. Yeah, you. But you pulled security. Not uh, while deployed. Only uh, back home. Back home, what? Like on guard duty? Yeah. Like you would stay up in your uniform and you would just, like, what? Were you working with MPs? What were you doing? Aviation unit. We had uh, to take uh, our units had to take turns uh, doing guard shift for How long the, were you uh, the gates. Was it three months? And then, uh, the, if you wanted to know how long the training was, it's about uh, five months. I, I guess I'm just curious why you were disabled and you were discharged and you stayed in the full four years. No, I I was signed up for five years. Oh, you were signed up for five years. Okay, all right, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, I was actually signed up on a five-year contract. Well, um, okay, well, uh, I'm not going to lie. Those are just the, the first couple of questions. You kind of fucked up. You sound like you were really shitty at your job, and you sound like you didn't really do anything. Um, but you sounds like you were in the military. Um, I just seriously doubt your – I mean, especially if you're coming on here saying that, you, you know, your, your general lack of respect towards authority – I have serious doubts that you did anything of note in the military other than some poke ass shit where you just like, I don't know, fuck, fucked off on a base, fucking fucking with a radio that you don't even know the name of for four years. I, you know, as far as I can tell. So well, that, the thing that's is, all I, is I, I end up dealing more with computer network communications and stuff like that because I already had the certifications to be able to do that stuff. Okay, and so, so you, you asked me more about the like the okay. computer side of things. What was I the would thing be, you said I, you did overseas yesterday? Uh, the communications, uh, radios. That's what I did with over, overseas. Oh fuck! It. When I'm deployed. So you worked on radios, but you don't know what radios. Well, no, radios and computers and stuff. I, I just say radios I'm, because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know computers. I I worked with radios quite a bit because you have to know radios if you go out on patrols. But yeah, that, I, 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 I was I was in the military. Yeah, I, same I worked, in, I worked in the Salvation Army. Can I just say what? <laughs> I mean, I really hope you guys don't go to war with Russia because you're all sound. Like <laughs> yes, we would fucking wreck Russia. Wouldn't even be close. I got like a hundred medals. Oh, and I shit. Listen, man, your line of questioning was weak sauce. I could open up a PDF with the phonetic uh, alphabet. Come on, man. Yeah, well, you gotta ask, you yeah. gotta ask you gotta ask basic general questions about their job. I'm not gonna sit here. I, I wasn't a comm guy. I was an 0861, which is a scout same observer. Here. Same right. here. Yeah, same here. Yes, hold on, for real. I, yesterday he I said. Yesterday he said that he did security details. That overseas. as I said, no, I didn't say overseas. I I said I pulled security details. Yeah. It, it, what some does that people, mean, some on people base? may have misconstrued it as I did pull, pull security when I was overseas, but no, I did security back at home, back uh, when uh, at the the place I was uh, stationed at, and I did I watched security cameras and I pulled gate guard. Those are the two aspects that I pulled, and so I know how it is to be sitting there. And not doing much except for wait, uh, looking at the cars, looking at the badges, and stuff like that. Have you guys thought that y your tax dollars go to pay for his disability? Just thought I'd Man, throw that out there. Well, here, here's the thing. I, I, I did my service. I got injured on the job. Am I entitled to that, uh, that uh, paycheck because I got injured for the work that I uh, did? Am I asking something? Uh, a serious question. Uh, you said that you were like on base and fixing computers and radios. Like, how how are you injured? As I said, I was working about three to five miles a day overseas. No, no. How you how were you injured? Uh, I blew out my knee. Oh, how? Walking, a lot. I my body just wore out a lot faster than a normal persons did. I went in with bad knees in the first place, but they what gave me a referral for that. What type of unit were you in? Aviation. I was on an airfield. And you were okay. I'm not gonna pretend to know. All I know is the air guys that I know that we're not doing is, that kind of shit. Is there anything that we could we we could have him asked to where we could know definitively what's up? Because people are gonna give me shit if I leave there's, this hanging in I mean, the air. There's a, pretty much there's everything. Another, there's another person I want to She says she's in the military right now. I don't know. Does she have questions? Does she have some? We need yeah, something. She, yeah, I mean the the questions that I was asking was strictly related no, I, to the job. I think I think you, know. you did well. You gave it basic cursory 
questions and you don't want to ask anything long, and be wrong. I can understand. How long have that. you been a How long have you been with Vet Ice? Uh, I've been. I was in from 05 to 09. Okay. Okay. So pretty recent. Well, he, he got years, out before me. Years. So. All right. Well, still, I would know the yeah. type of radios and stuff you were working. If with. someone's mad at him and wants to question him, get him in here. Yeah, all right. I'll uh, I'll clear some space for you guys. You guys take take right, it cool. easy. Keep up the good I work, guys. I appreciate you, guys, Kuzi. Yeah, take it easy, man. Peace. I, I'm really enjoying these people. Are like, oh, he's lying. He's lying. That's not good enough. I, I hey, just Kelly. find it entertaining. Hello. Hey, I am actually currently in the military, and I kind of think I know what you're supposed to be talking about. So, do you have a DD-214? Do you know what that yeah, is? Yeah, I'm sitting here and staring at it right now. Okay, do you know what a retrans site is? Retransmission site? Yeah. I mean, where they go out there, set up the antennas, have two radios that uh, it, uh, pull in the signal and then retransmit it out uh, for whatever direction that needs to go at. Okay. What other radios yeah, I was were you using? Uh, Besides Harris, there's, the, there's more than one former radio. I'll try to remember. There was the satellite ones, which used the KU band, and if you put your hand on the antenna, you end up microwaving it if you're not careful. Um, as I said, it's I didn't really touch too much on the, uh, the on the radio side. I did train with that stuff, and I was at least up to par when I was uh, when I was in the military. But I've forgotten a lot of that information. The most of the stuff that I ended up retaining was the stuff I worked on majority side, which was computer networking, dealing with Zipper and Nippernet. Okay, then this one should be pretty easy. Where did you go for your AIT? Fort Gordon. Okay, guys, I don't think you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in the he, military. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, think I mean, he's stolen I mean, valor because most um, anybody that works with uh, communications like I do, they go through Fort Gordon. If you have a DD-214, there are different types of radios, and most people, if they're lying, would not know what a retrans site is. So it's like the other guy said that he's probably just shitty at what he did. That was just a really weird slip up with the uh, MOS, and he says communication instead of giving a number. And like he even repeated the question well, I didn't, back. That was weird. Well, well, no, I, I, well, I couldn't remember off the top of my head. As I said, I haven't really looked at this stuff. Uh, honestly, in though, years. Uh, here's one thing that that like, had me kind of shaky on you is the fact that you didn't know what key was. Like I'm a civilian, and I know that just because I've worked security. Yeah, oh, as I said, it's been uh, I I don't deal with phonetics uh, anymore. It's been a long, long time since I've been dealing with this, and I'm studying a bunch of other stuff, so I'm naturally going to forget a lot of things. Were you National Guard reservists or active? Full Army, active. Uh, it's kind of weird that you forgot what your MOS I, was. Though. I I know phonetics. That's whiskey tangle foxtrot. <laughs> yeah, Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can give me shit for it. But I, I mean, I, I fully aware. Yeah, I forgot it. But as I said, I forget a lot of things. Guys, he he forgot one thing, like or two things. It's okay. Well, he did answer all the questions that I had, and I went and those are the. I same mean, if you want, I can easily, in. I can easily give you uh, an idea inside of Fort it's Gordon like there. Out of ninety, so it's not a bad percentage. Do you remember how long you were at Fort Gordon? Because that usually will tell you how what MOS you had. It was about, it was about five months there. I was like, I think uh, in the the communicate, well, in the the radio communication side of things for training wise, uh, I think my MOS was uh, the was second longest. Twenty five U or twenty five Bravo. Twenty five U. And right. someone was. He's clear. <laughs> He got, he got, he checks out for you. Yeah, he does. Cause I, I hate the one of my pet peeves is uh stolen val valor stuff, and I will call anybody out on it. Imagine. I got seven valors. And someone asked which fob in the chat. I as I said, Taji was the uh, the fob that I was at for deployment. There is a Taji. It was closer to Baghdad. Me too. I hate I hate stolen valor. I served under Taji slaughter. Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hey, uh, good job, chat. 
You said that this was boring as shit to begin with, and now you've derailed us on a 20-minute stolen Valor thing where the guy didn't steal any Valor, so... Thanks, chat. <laughs> Good job, crowd. <laughs> oh, Jim just roasted the chat. <laughs> a, bi a big audience full of good boys out there, eh, Jim? Uh, yeah, Taka, this is right up there with that roast stream. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> it's... Really? Okay, thank God. I don't feel as bad now for that. Oh, you don't feel as lonely over there on the road? No, you, well, you, the fucking chat decided he stole a Valor. Yeah, I, I, I get a chuckle at that. I was like, yeah, go ahead. Come on, bring, keep bringing them on. I mean, if you really want it, I mean, I'm willing to uh, provide some paperwork to show that I, I am I think military. they just hate you. Oh, I, let them hate me. I, I enjoy, There's times when I enjoy being the bad guy. You got to have someone to hate. Come on. Hey, Andy, how many medals do you have? Why I got I fucking you? 444. I got 1488 medals. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 filmed mili I filmed military bases. That's the main reason why they hate me. Oh, quite a few people. So. Now that's done fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> in the United States, not overseas. But oh, the thing so is, in the United States, yeah. you're going to get your happy little ass shot if you keep doing that. Oh, here's wait. Here's my question: Why did you want to go at Jim so fucking bad yesterday? If when you I, finally I, no, get it today, I didn't say I wanted to go at him. I would yes, love to have did. a conversation with him. I, I was wondering if he was going to be able to have anything at me. I, I'm 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 sort of sad because he's usually able to roast anything, but I guess I didn't provide anything enough for him to grab on and go with. I was promised a sovereign citizen, which you are not a sovereign citizen. Yesterday, so I'm, he I'm was a little annoyed. Like that yesterday. I was told I'd have somebody talking about the Articles of, or Articles of Confederation, yeah. Yeah, and well, I don't well, have that. Do hey, you Billy, want me to get uh, you one? I might be able to find Billy, you one real quick. Uh, well, I mean, not, not this short notice, uh, but I could find you one. Well, I was on the, I was hearing this in the car, or, or while I was shoveling snow, and then I hear uh, you asking if he was a sovereign citizen, and then Failure and Tonka were like, yeah, but yesterday, this guy said a million times that he wasn't one. Tonka, Failure, oh. comment? Oh, I said he acts like one. Just let him talk. Oh, he acts like one. I... <laughs> hey, hey, Foxy, do, do they have uh, pizza huts on, on the fort? Mm, some do, some don't. The ones I was at had a, a Burger King and a Popeye's, and that's why I'll never eat at a Burger King ever again. Well, yesterday he was shouting about his rights. Yesterday he was talking about, oh, police don't have a dangerous job at all. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, all I, I would be stuff. remiss if I didn't bring this up because chat sure as hell is bringing it up. Uh, the military lady, what's your name? Foxy. Foxy, are you a furry? No, I just cannot be doxxed because I'm still in the military. So you're using the furry avatar as undercover? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Undercover okay. furry. I had a she friend draw just, this, yeah. so I use it because my friend drew it for me. Oh, there you go, chat. All right, Tonga, I'm going to drink some fucking bleach. You need to, yeah. you need to pull something out of the bag here, champ. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's got to pull something out. Thank, thank you for coming by, th by there, though. But, but, but the chat has disappointed us today. They, they said oh, you're throwing it on the chat? Yeah, they said CRP and Toad were going to have an epic battle. What happened with that one? Toad left. And then, uh, mm -hmm. what's-his-face, uh, Ranting Monkey uh, messaged that. He's in the middle of editing a video, so he won't Ranting show up. I'm monkey like, ran I'm like, away. Hop in, I'm like, hop in for five in minutes. He's like, no, my fans come Andy, first. Andy, let me say something. I want to come on your show and uh, defend the values of uh, Islam treating women like they do. <laughs> what? Fine. Okay. That sounds like a fun fucking thing. I did. I'm going to trash the fuck out well, of you. Why don't you dude. do it now? Give us, a, give us a speech now. Give us a little preview. All right, all right, well, before you get into the juicy bets here, I, I'm, I'm going to jump. It's been uh, it's been something. It's existed. <laughs> happy happy 10,000 10, subs there, Taka. Thanks, Billy. Glad you're, oh, glad glad you're back. More shows like this or you'll never reach 20. Yeah, apparently, I yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you, I just listened to you oh, literally said it. Is. Oh, yeah, I, I, I heard we're having blood sports, but apparently somebody named Tommy wouldn't show up. I, this guy, and apparently after me bashing him for 20 minutes at the end of his stream before he cut it, he goes, I like Andy and I respect him because he made fun of me. He says, uh, I'm not going to give Andy the time of day. I'm like, oh, so I went off on him. And then apparently at the end, he cucked out and said that he respects me. So uh, quartering. So what is the salt mine you're referring to? Where was the uh, salt that was coming from me? Oh, well, it appears to me at least, 
that you're taking this criticism pretty personally. But maybe that's just me not being fair. I don't know. But I don't really see a lot of criticism. Well, point it like, out to me how I'm taking it personally. Show me. Well, you shot a 20 minute video in response. Yeah, to faggots trying to ruin something fun. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound salty at all. No, that sounds realistic. I hate when Redditors <laughs> stick their nose into something and then fuck it up with their dumb critiques that really don't have any bearing on what the audience wants. So, so who's a dumb faggot? Well, you'd be among them. You've said a lot of so, dumb fucking shit. So, so I'm a dumb faggot. Yeah. So, okay. So now we're getting to some high quality. Some high well, sure quality we are with your passive content. aggressive. Oh, Jim's being salty because what Andy made fun of your Magic the Gathering game. Well, I After don't think you know what oh, passive Jim's, aggression Jim's, is. Jim's Jim. been Jim's been fair to me. But oh, all of a sudden, Jim's got a salt mine because you read me talking about people in my comment section and thought it applied to you. Maybe that says something about your mentality more than what I'm saying. Well, your your tweet didn't say it was in your comment section, to be fair, did it? My tweet didn't say it was at you either. You read into it. Yeah, that's probably fair. So you're saying that you don't think I'm, oh, no, no, I, I'm a faggot. Trying no, yeah, to ruin I, something I, you yeah, like, right? Yes, something no, most definitely. Something pure. I, I've noticed people like you like to use the we language a lot. Like, oh, we and us and stuff. You're not a part of this yet. You're not hosting blood sports. Who cares what your fucking input what you, is? What do you ref uh, It's entertainment. Why would it have a goal in the long run? So, Jim, am I not allowed to have an opinion? You can have an opinion, but it's fucking retarded. So your, your analysis of what couldn't have been a softer critique is that I'm a faggot trying to ruin something. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is my analysis. Yes. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that is my analysis. 100 percent. Yes. I, I guess I can't argue with that. I mean, that's some solid logic. Well, I know I like to be sound. I like to use that rationalist, skeptical mindset. <laughs> that That's how I like to approach the Internet. Yeah. I also thought a lot of the other things you said in your video were fucking dumb, too. I mean, you went on about the uh, it was uh, wrong for Andy to show Skype messages from Sargon. Why? It is fucking wrong. Why? Should he because be a bitch? Should he, he be a bitch and he let somebody lie about, about me? A... He lied hey, about let me. me. Let, let me and Quartering sorry, have our talk. Sorry, Dude, you're sorry. Should, should he be a bitch and be a little beta and let somebody say something that's not true? So you're saying that there's no implied confidence when somebody's skyping another person you're talking Every to fucking people on the you're talking to people on the internet did no, you did you sign a fucking, somebody did you sign a non-disclosure agreement is there is there a privacy notification when you're dming people jim you're trying to compare like a public tweet versus a personal skype conversation i didn't say it was illegal i said that it's immoral so so quartering could i just make up a bunch of shit about you and then if you had information that that wasn't true from private conversations you would never use that have i before if Hasbro or Wizard said shit about you and you had an email to talk about it, you would never share that because that's a private correspondence. Well, an there's, email there's from implied privacy, Hasbro. Right? Jim, an email from Hasbro is not the same thing as two friends talking on Skype. You if, can't possibly well, think a, it is. How much is of a friend argument? is he if he's going to lie? You don't even, he didn't need to show anything to prove his point, did he, Jim? According to your uh, mic is a little bit fucked. God damn it. I don't... And also, also, uh, me and him ain't pals. We're acquaintances on YouTube. Th that, that's good, Andy. Mute, mute yourself. But yeah, how much, how much of friends would they be if he's going to lie about him in front of a large audience? Is that fixed? Yeah, you sound fine. Does anybody else have that happen on Hangouts? Like after hey, that, Hangouts like, are dog seconds? shit. It happens Google a lot. You just have to refresh the page. Fucking awful. I don't understand why that it seems to happen to me like I think it must be an exact no amount of time like a minute 20 or something it fucking glitches out all the time so wait how do I get angry again oh yeah okay so you're you're saying I mean I I think I said the wording used in that video is that is something I wouldn't do I don't do that I don't think that it's fair to say well you leak an email from Wizards of the Coast that's the same thing as emailing or sharing DMs I don't agree with that that doesn't mean uh, I'm right. So, so what should agree. Andy have done? Just sat there and taken it? He didn't even need to acknowledge it, did he? Oh, so he should be a good boy and keep his mouth shut and just not acknowledge it when somebody Jim, talks shit about Jim, it. Jim, that's not what I said. This is What this are is... you saying, Quartering? What should I'm Andy saying... have done in response to being lied about on a live stream by Sargon of Akkad in front of, like, fucking 8,000 people? What should he have done? He didn't need to show up. I'm not saying the guy should go to jail. 
I'm Nobody's saying he's bringing up criminality. What should Andy have done? That's that's all I'm asking. He can address it without sharing private conversations. He did not need everybody in his chat believed him, and everybody in Sargon's chat believed him. That's the way it fucking goes with this shit, right? No, so no, then I nobody guess he had changed minds by showing he had proof. His that, that Skype conversation was far from proof. Andy, even, okay, I'm gonna let Andy interject here because th there is one follow up to this, and he mentioned it when you guys talked about it on stream as a follow up. Andy, you had previous conversations with Sargon nailing this down, didn't you? That was the last part of like a three or four part interaction with him. Andy, this is where you unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Damn I went it, to, Andy. I went to grab some food and I'm listening on my phone and I'm like, fuck, fuck, and I ran back. Uh, sorry, what did you ask? I, I said that the Skype cover, or the DMs, whatever, that you had shown talking to Sargon about nailing down a Spencer and uh, him rematch. That was the last part of like a three or four uh, part interaction with him that spanned over a month, was it not? Yeah, I'd say a month and a week. I asked him. And you, you had confirmations from not only him, but V, that he was interested in doing it, that he was going to do it, that it was going to happen, correct? Yeah, well, actually, he was the one who told V to message me to set this up. And then I asked him, I think twice, and then I also asked V a bunch of times. And then when you brought it up on Kumite a few weeks ago, which was February, whatever, that's the last message. I'm like, hey, man, people are asking when you want to be uh, doing this stream. And then it, he said fairly soon. And I was like, cool. And then when he was on Baked Alaska stream, the only reason I was pissed off was it's been like a month and a week of fucking uh, pure jerking around. And then he said on Baked Alaska stream, I never told him I wanted to to talk to spencer and i but, was like okay that's but bullshit. not only did he acknowledge that he wanted to do it he had v reach you. he had v contact you to set it up well you don't know that do you he did yes you know that is, v, is v, v lying i don't know i'm asking i'm not saying i know better I'm well that was the whole birth of the idea so you're saying like, hey andy it sounds idea. like you need to bring v on <laughs> he's probably around it was live hey on, Anne. i know no he was trying that. to get it set up Quite a few days on the Kumite a few weeks ago. I don't, I don't remember how many weeks ago it was. I have, to, I have to let people know. I know there was no date set. I never said there was a date set. All I'm saying was he wanted to speak to Spencer. And then on Baked Alaska stream, he said he never said that. So now that he says he wants to, fair enough, cool. You let me know when you want that to happen. Okay. But don't tell people you never said you wanted to speak to him because you did. Well, That's this it. whole thing is a semantic argument, right? It's the same thing where he said, oh, it's a debate. I wanted to have a conversation. Well, it's supposed to be a debate. No, the quartering. He said he never told me he wanted to speak to Spencer. That's not semantics. That's a straight out lie, right? And then when I brought I wasn't it up. was there, Andy. I don't know. Then he was. Right? And, then when, and then when I brought it up, he was like, well, there was no date set. I'm like, I wasn't talking about a date. I'm just talking about you saying the original point. And he's like, well, that's not a promise. I'm like, but that is a commitment, but fine, whatever. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now let me know when you want it to happen. Don't tell people. That's like you saying, hey, Andy, I want on your show. And then you saying on your show, I never said I wanted on. And then I go in front of everyone, well, you did say that. And you're like, I didn't set a date. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, yeah, I know we're not talking about dates right now. We're talking about you just wanting to just be on generally. No, no I get it. it. I, I understand that you wanted to prove that you were, in your opinion, you were telling the truth or whatever, right? Yeah. But yeah. I'm saying it's just a different set of standards. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm saying I've been in the position before when Boogie was fucking ass blasting me. Did I release his Skype conversation? No, because it's just not fucking worth it. Being right is not the end all be all. You could have just said, in my opinion, Okay, whatever. You're I'm sorry. Lying. No, no, no. Hang on. When I'm, my job is this. So when you slander my, my, my job, basically, that I can't set up debates or I don't know how to talk to people. Like, look, it's not like he yeah, was like. Is that what he was saying, Andy? Is that what he said? Yeah, but he's making me seem like I'm lying when I'm setting up debates, which makes me look bad. But don't most it's of your fans call him like Sar Sargoy or something like that. Like nobody, nobody in your base gives a fuck about what he has to say. Don't you think? Uh, I wouldn't say all. Uh, that's convicting the loud minority for the majority. Is it? Okay. 
I mean, I'm reading chat and all I see is, you know, nonstop puns on. So I don't think they well, really give a shit. Well, that's oh, the people, people who are in the in chat, chat, though. Chat? Hold oh, on. No. Hold on, though. That's the people who are in the chat. That's kind of reflective of the thumbs up, thumbs down ratio. A lot of people just like to watch. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you would say that you think it was imperative for you to. I mean, I'm not saying you did. Like I said, I wouldn't have done it. That was literally my point. You if you watch the video, I couldn't have been kinder about it. It's not like I called you an no, asshole. It's fine. It's, fi it's fine. I know. I said I don't share personal conversations that I don't think other people should either, especially if it's just. Can, can I can I say right? something about that it's real quick? Not Hold not on, real funny. quick, Andy. Andy, I I do have an objection to that. You said you don't release personal conversations. Yeah, I would prefer not to. Yeah. Oh, well, you said that you didn't. I didn't. Oh, I didn't say. I'm not. I'm not going to talk about uh, the Magic the Gathering thing. There's a there's a conversation that V talked about you releasing between yourself and Boogie. That would be a private conversation. Never right? released it. V is pissed off at me because I didn't. Oh, I thought you like gave. Yeah, he yeah. said you gave it to him or something. No, we were on a we were on a uh, playing a game and Boogie was fucking blowing me up and I said in the game Boogie's blowing me up and he wanted me to release it but I wouldn't because it's just not worth it to be right to me. I mean, it would have been very damaging for him. But what's the fucking point? Just to make him look bad? Like that's just. It's no point to me. Yeah, but hang on. There's a difference between what he did and he me made a show, video. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Me showing one message saying yes fairly soon. It's but what like, you say? Yeah, okay. It's I not mean, like well, he's fucking yelling at me or anything or swearing or it's damaging to his. It's just him. It's just me proving that I am saying the truth. That's all it was. And to be there clear, was, you know, I don't think Sargon whatever that video was where he showed uh, Coach Red Pill's docs or whatever on that website, I think that's fucking stupid too. Like, I, I, I don't think... message sent him, him saying fairly soon, much different than a docs, and also he was making me look bad that. in front of 8,000 people, so fuck him. So and it wasn't uploads anything. a video, so it's just a different set of standards is all, right? Yeah, so Buddy uploads a video to what, 3 million people? He probably has a couple hundred thousand active out of that just shitting on me and I have the opportunity to, to be right, but I don't do it. So I am just saying I live by my own standards. Okay, not, so, so it sounds okay. douchey, but I'm not yeah, like, I, I, do would, what you do. I would release it if, if it was in front of 3 million people, fuck them. But I didn't. I'm just saying, I don't think it's worth it just to be right on the internet. I, it's, well, I, I think if right I, wrong. my name and clearing my name is, is, is more important. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying you felt like it was necessary and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I disagree. Right. I don't think anyone gave a shit that Sargon was waffling on whether or not he said it was a debate or a conversation or if he had officially yes. agreed to it. He came on the first time, didn't he? I, I mean, I'm not privy to these personal conversations. I don't want to be like being quartering, quartering. Yes, he did come on the first time, but don't tell 8,000 people that you never spoke to me about that. And then me show one message that obviously proves you're wrong and then change the goalpost saying, I, I was talking about the dates. Yeah, I know that you view that message as, as uh, vindicating and maybe you're right, but it read to me as like, a, yeah, sure, when I get to it. That's how I read it. Yeah, and, and he said on Baked Alaska stream that yeah. he never spoke to me about that. Is that what he said? I never spoke to you? Yes, yes. He said, I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. Then I hop on and then I'm like, look at this message. And he's like, I didn't say a date. I'm like, I'm gonna talk about fucking dates. Talk about you just generally being on. Okay, so, so could you- If he doesn't on. want to be on, whatever, I, wa I would like him to be on. That would be a very awesome round two, plus he's the one who brought it up. That'd be cool. I would want a round two if I were him too. <laughs> huh? I said I would want a round two as well. Yeah, but no, exactly. And it'd be very uh, fun and interesting. So I was down for it. Uh, but don't like head on in front of 8,000 people say I never, but, I'm done with it. If he wants to come on, send me a date and cool. That's it. That's that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not in his head, right? I'm just saying yeah. could have come on. Look, we're not going to agree here and that's fine. My point is just that you could have come on and said, "Look, Sargon, this is what you said. You didn't need to expose I it. could have done a lot of things." Sure. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm a you different could person have, than You than could have bombed so. him. Or huh? you could have flew a plane into his building. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a lot of things I could have done. Okay, uh, Andy, you get that out of your system? No. <laughs> you um, <laughs> also, you do your I'm, just 
I'm just like, go ahead. I'm going to make some food. Back to the corner. Yeah, but uh, if I were in Andy's position, I'm not going to let somebody fucking <laughs> run their mouth and make shit up. And then if I have evidence that they're making it up, not use it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's certainly you're right. But I, you, you, would, you would say that, that would when you're having a... Right. I, I don't know anybody that would allow somebody to <laughs> blatantly lie about them. And if they could easily prove that it's a lie, not use that I mean, evidence. Far, far more people would not do, would not release personal Skype conversations to win a gay ass internet argument. Really? Far more, you think yes. far more people would allow themselves to be lied about if they could easily prove it was a far lie? Far more people don't give a shit for some, about for internet some drama. Weird, for some weird thing. What, what, you keep saying internet drama. So he's he's lying about him. That's just internet drama. If you people make sure like it's it was... internet drama, you're going to let it slide. You're not going to respond. No, but you're acting like him. whether or not he hard agreed to coming on the show was some slight at Andy's reputation. Well, no, you're making it sound like it's some moral quandary to be able to be like, yeah, this guy's full of shit. Look, here you go. There's the evidence that he's full of shit. My point it's is that, quandary. so Jim, if I know your real name and you, mm -hmm. and I said, this is Jim's name. And you said, no, it's not. And I just published it on the internet. You're like, oh, that's cool. You told it to me in a Skype chat. So it's fair game. It's on the fucking internet, right? <laughs> you could do whatever you like, man. Oh, okay. So you would be okay with that. Quartering, if you want to try to dox me, go ahead. Oh, okay. So it's about doxing. My point is that when you You have... just said if I know your real name and I want to release it, let's well, not try... dance around what you're talking about here. If you want to dox me, go for it. Knock yourself out, quartering. Well, I'm I wouldn't do that. That's not my standard. But I'm saying you you would your argument is that when let's say we are on Skype, whatever together, that what we say together to each other on Skype, there's no kind of unwritten rule of uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, you know, like privacy. You think that everybody, it's a Skype conversation between internet personalities, whatever word you want to use, that it's just like, it should be assumed that this shit just put, get, can get published at any time. You're, you're comparing some really weird shit here. He, he had somebody say a lie about him and he proved with a simple conversation, a screen cap by showing it that that wasn't true to... Releasing personal information, I, I, it feels like you're grasping at straws here. Again, it's not a moral quandary. If somebody makes something up about you and talks shit about you, and you have easy access to information that shows that they're full of shit, who in the right mind wouldn't use that? What, what kind of what kind of soy mindset would that be? It just seems weird. Why to is me. it a soy mindset? Because you're to... being a little beta bitch and letting people run over <laughs> you when you don't right. need to let them do it. It, it's, well, it's I'm calling being, it what it is. That's that's what it is. It's being a bitch. It's bending a knee for no reason. What is bending a knee about not feeling an endless, unsatisfiable need to win every argument in life? You mean defend yourself against somebody against lying about what, you? Against what, Jim? Defend yourself against somebody lying about you. What I, is what, difficult what, what, what for you to words? understand about that simple statement, Quartering? How were how was Andy's business, as he puts it, affected by Sargon in any way? You mean how it blew up? Well, how how would a guest that's coming on day? a show saying that the host lied about po or private communication, setting up a date to come on? How would that affect his business? Yeah, Shit, I don't know. How, how, how would way. somebody saying that the car you sold me from your used car lot exploded? What the fuck are you talking about? Has if Andy's he had running any a business and his, on. and his live stream is his show. <laughs> And Sargon is a potential guest telling people, I never talked to the host. He's making shit up. It's probably going to adversely affect his business. When other people say, I don't want to communicate with Andy Worski, he's a fucking liar. Sargon of a right. God told me that, that, he happened, that he never that set happened? up. How is that? What the fuck oh are you talking God. about? That just did happen. Where? What? What? Who backed out because of, because of what Sargon Because said. I came on and I showed that he was lying, people knew instantly that he was bullshitting. If I didn't come on, people would think I'm a liar, therefore potentially ruining future shows. And don't compare doxing someone's name to showing a message that says, yeah, I'll do it. Fucking God. Well, Jim says it's fine, right? If Jim tells me his real name in a Skype chat and I have to win an argument- Doxing is different than going like, no, he said yes. Yeah, he did say yes. I know, I said, he said yes. So don't compare fucking doxing. <laughs> I would I'm never compare it. Maybe that wasn't it. So if I showed a message that, that had someone's name on it, I'd probably blur out the fucking name. You would. I'm sure you would. I that's yes, probably not a great example. It it should have been something more sensitive, but not a name, right? That's that's probably a bad example. It wasn't to win an internet drama argument. Oh, it sure was, it was a blatant lie. 
Quartery is a fucking lie about how I if run I go my back fucking and business. To that stream, you guys hash yes, it out, go ahead. right? He said I didn't say that. Here's a message that says yes, I did. That but makes it, me look hor horrible. Yeah, but I, you know, I remember watching. Maybe I need to go back and watch it again. But when I was watching it, here's what I heard. I never agreed to that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Like, it wasn't that he was blatantly ever denying. It was oh a, a 30 minute semantic Am I crazy bullshit. Right now? Am I crazy and what right now? you showed was more semantics, right? He wasn't saying, if you would have showed, oh, yeah, I'll be on Friday at 7 p.m., that proves your argument. Not sure when I get to it, mate, or whatever the fuck it was, right? Are you kidding me, dude? No, do I sound like I'm kidding? Like, like, I don't know why you're fucking virtue Jim. signaling about me showing a message that said, yeah. What do you mean? Jim brought it back up after you were done talking about it. I was responding to him. I don't give a f You can share whatever you want, right? I would he, only, if you're going to ruin me in front of 8,000 people. When you know, I now he ruined you. It, when I, yeah, well, it makes me look horrible. Come on, yes. you're being a, you're not saying you're being a, a bit hyperbolic at all. You're completely fine. Not ruining me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of pissed right now. When he's trying yeah, to make okay. me look like a liar, I apologize for exaggerating. When he tries to make me look like a liar, and he's been jerking a, a, me around for a month and a week in front of eight thousand people. Yeah, I came in a little bit hot. Yeah. And yeah. I showed the message. If I don't you don't want to show messages, that's fucking fine. That's cool. If, if that's not what you do, but that's but, all I said. It. I didn't say. Okay. It. I, that's okay. All I said in the video. But 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 you keep saying why 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 right now? And my why is you made me look bad in front of eight thousand people. Here's well, a message that proved you wrong, and then you change the goalpost. Now we are where we are. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I felt okay. like I said what I you know. Done. Yeah. Me too. I yeah. was done with it the first time, but I was just responding back to it. Like Andy, you should check your DM real quick. Did you get your boy, Tommy C? You want me to jump off? Oh, fuck. I doubt it. That guy's never going to come on. He was going nuts early. He's drunk as fuck. That girl was on a, on a roll. I never heard so many motherfuckers in a seven-minute span in my life. I verbally beat the ah. shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Get your fucking ass on here. Hey, quartering. Hey, quartering. Hey, quartering. Hi, Jim. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joy, joy. Quartering. Yeah. So you would never ever in your entire youtube history ever show a private message is that what i said andy because this is the this is the blood sports gotchaism right that's okay, not okay. what i fucking said man okay okay then what did you say he said he wouldn't yeah. do it to win an internet argument okay and if i did it was a mistake right this is the oh. whole gotchaism that i even talked about in the video right show me a fucking screenshot of me showing something go ahead uh you I actually tweet it out publicly so, so I can retweet it. No, I, I'm I'm not gonna send any personal information from other people. I don't know what the argument is about. All right, now hold on. I don't run like that. Now you hold on, you label it a <laughs> you label it a gotcha, but hold up. You label it a gotcha, but don't you think I mean when your argument is it's a double standard for your for Andy and not someone else, don't you think that's a double you applying a double standard and not him? No, that's not my argument though. That was my, what you were saying my, earlier. All right, I'll, I'll give you a chance to clarify it up, but that's no, no, what I was I'm understanding. Saying, is that I don't. Yeah. So if it's a Skype conversation, I don't think it should be shared. Doesn't mean I made that. I've, if I made that, if I've done it before in the past, it was wrong then too. Is that fair to say then? Better way to to, unless it's to save somebody from like physical harm, in my opinion. Like I believe I shared one with the cops when I thought someone was gonna commit suicide, but no. I also didn't. You know. It's an internet argument, so never mind. What's that? Oh, okay, so I get what you're saying. You're saying people shouldn't share messages, even though you may do it from time to time. You still I shouldn't, shouldn't do it if I do it either, right? I shouldn't be doing that shit. It's not so, – I feel like at least with Skype and DMs, obviously if it's like on Twitter or whatever, who gives a shit, right? It's already public. You did say you wouldn't do it. At some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I mean, right. I did say I sh it shouldn't be done or something no, like that. No, no, I didn't no, say I no, never no, did no. it. No, no. Earlier you said you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I would not. Now I, you wouldn't. I would. 
I did. God damn it, Andy. Right? I, I'm, not, I, I'm just trying to be like, just, I, I want to iron everything out. You said you wouldn't do it. It's not, you, it's not cool, that, like, okay? If, if you want to now, call me beta for saying it's not cool, then that's cool by me. You know, that's fine. You should, people should do whatever the fuck they want, right? But I feel like if I'm DMing, some, DMing somebody, I feel, maybe maybe other people don't feel the same way, but I feel like there's there's some unspoken rule of like, this is private for a reason, right? Is that why you released his DM? Or you mean like right now you wouldn't release it? Now Who's DM? it's not cool. Who's it DM? Like, it was a message between you and uh, some guy. <laughs> some guy? Give me some. I, I, give me I some have it right here. I have it right here. Okay. Uh, let me give me some. Give me a hint. Uh, da, 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 da. Does it have his name? Uh, an MTG subscriber of yours. And I shared their DM against their will. Maybe his they. Name, some... His name may start with. It seems like J. you had J. caught him in something. With yeah, the white, his name starts with J. Guy. Oh, I don't know. You have to. You have to maybe tell me later or something. But I'm not saying I've never done it before. His name starts you. with J, ends with Y, and rhymes with Toey. Are you that. talking about fucking? Uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna send you a name. That's cool though. I understand. I shouldn't have probably done no. that either, right? I, if this is who I'm thinking of, what is his fucking name? Wait, no, no, it's not Joey. It's not Joey anymore. Stop running Joey. That's not what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he Joey. said Joey. No, no. It, but, but it wasn't Joey also. <clears throat> wink, wink, hint, hint. It's on the real Joey name, eh? Jesus Christ, Danny. That was good, right, Tonka? Nailed Go it. On. Nailed it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks. I was just anyway. That's all I wanted to to, to do a little step in there because I just found it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I sent you irony, me. irony. I love irony. Well, it's not irony, right? It's it would be. Uh... Wait. Um. Uh. No. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> check check a DM. Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know his real. I actually can't think of his real name, but is that? I know his real name. name. Starts with J, ends with Y, and Oh Jesus Christ! And <laughs> Bowie. I think he's public about his name, but there's really no point to bring him. No, no, this. no. You showed his entire like a big message thread between you and him. Through, uh, I don't. I don't no, think it wasn't me and him. It was me and somebody else who he somebody else shared his message with me. But yeah, I shouldn't have shared that either. It's fucking stupid. Didn't need to. The, the, uh, he was, uh, I, th I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into it, but yeah, if I, I know who you're talking about and I probably shouldn't just share that either. I think mm -hmm. it turned out that that message, that Facebook message thread might have been faked too. I didn't really know people could do that back then. <laughs> yeah. So, but I think somebody went and edited it because I don't know. Yeah. It's uncomfortable now a little bit, it's a little bit for me. Here. Yeah. No, I'm very comfortable. Okay, okay, cool. People, I mean, Andy, people make mistakes, right? I Me mean, too. I make mistakes every day. Yeah, I, I, you know, I shared that shit because the guy was faking videos. Uh, and and I shared that because some, some guy lied about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have shared. So we are allowed to share things if people lie, is what you're saying. No, I'm not. I'm okay. saying okay, no, when no, I sure. shared it, Mistake and I shouldn't have done it. I don't put words in your mouth. Oh <laughs> That's God. why I corrected it. You're gonna well, kill this that table. Fun. This is this has been a fun conversation. So Billy, what do you think? What's your thoughts on uh, the whole sitch? Again, if somebody's fucking, if somebody's fucking with you or lying about you or whatever, and you can easily prove it, uh, is not the case. I I, I I don't see the fucking issue with doing so. There's this weird politeness. Really weird to me. It's yeah, like they're people are polite people on the about internet, that. right? You know, like, oh no, oh no, my YouTube friends. Oh, but oh, they're the not even the friends. Twitter club aren't gonna like me anymore. Like, what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? I'll never get my blue check mark now. <laughs> Holy shit! I and I mean, those are <laughs> just I don't, I, I, I'm a, I guess I'm from a different fucking part of the internet. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. Well, yeah, but that's okay, right? I mean, what's okay? 
that I mean, I'm not saying you can't have your opinion. I just I don't share. And I'm not saying you can't have yours. I'm giving you my yeah, yeah. opinion on your opinion on my opinion. See, it's like the commentary community used to be a commentary on a commentary on a commentary, but we switched it up a little bit. Now yeah, we've now got we a live go. chat and viewers. Yeah, we have to um, in inception c c commentaries. Uh, so nobody nobody thinks that it's. I mean, so there nobody would agree that. I don't know how many people are even on here. I'm not watching the screen. But nobody would agree that when you're Skyping somebody that there's any unwritten rule there that, you, you know, this I wouldn't is kind agree of that no, no, no. when someone's lying about you, I think it I think that all bets are off when someone lies. About OK, you. I, I assume that every private conversation I have with somebody is going to be published eventually. That's yeah, you mind. do come from a different school, though. You come from like an era. Of, I'm just, you know. An era of fucking Gamergate and sh doxing and all that shit. So I don't. I'm not surprised to feel that way. Well, the the era of sounding the alarms over everything. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't, I don't fucking trust shit. You said earlier too. You thought I was just sticking up my for my friends. Listen, I like blood sports and you know, Tonka and Andy are okay and stuff. But we're not friends. We're not yet yeah, sleepovers together and doing barbecues and shit. I don't talk to them on the phone about the girls I like. We're really? not friends. I, I just watch their streams. Yeah. I've got I've got about five people that I would consider online friends that I've known for a decade. So maybe in ten years, Andy and Tonka and I will go and hold hands at the park, but until then it's gonna be a long fucking wait. Yeah. All right. If we're really friends, we're not going to the park. Oh, we are going to the park. God damn. And you're gonna wear your YouTube uh belt and we're gonna wrestle in front of people and make them think that somebody put acid in our Kool-Aid. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Well that that's the thing. Like I've talked to uh, Billy, like maybe twelve times ever. Uh, like I, I hang out with Andy some mornings. We we have so, some yucks. Yeah, yeah. You guys are responsible for school shootings. I didn't see that one, um, but I just had not seen any. I thought my opinion or criticism was extraordinarily fucking light, and I just yeah, never I know. I, you went in there. You went in there and cupped his balls before you said what you thought. I went, I uh, but my my point of my I video like was I, I see a influx of criticisms from multiple different angles. I never said you said the school shooter shit. That was fucking uh, Jeff Holiday and Monday Matt and uh, what's the other they're, fucking they're one? Good, Dusty. But, yeah, Cult of Dusty. They're a little doing just, and just retarded shit. And, and then you got people, you got people like uh, Sofane, I think. Um, David Sherat. Uh, th who's that fucking guy chick that gives you a lot of shit, Andy? Teresa something? What the fuck's the, his name? And Theron Meyer. Theron. I think that's Theron. it. Yeah. Uh, Theron Meyer. A bunch of other people that fucking, uh, like, oh, you're platforming Nazis and the world's going to end. Then you got Mouthy Buddha, who I, I I still can't wrap my fucking head around him talking about mean comments in the chat. I thought you like, guys <laughs> ironed it out, though. Didn't you? I'm, I'm not these guys. I'm giving my opinion no, in the no, video I mean, I as a you, viewer. I thought you, like, directly criticized him and he responded. Am I not? Did I not see that thread? Did I, I, Mouthy I, Buddha? Did has Mouthy Booty responded? Uh, <laughs> well, like, backpedaling <laughs> isn't a resolution. It just means that. Well, now not only did you say some bullshit, but you're spineless too. Yeah, but people can change their minds sometimes, can't they? So Is, to get back on my point, I look at this as something I like to watch. I like watching people be autistic on the internet. I like watching Spurgs <laughs> flinging shit at each other. That's my goal. That's what I like. So I want to help facilitate that. So when I see yeah. people coming in from the fucking uh, bleachers with their opinions on how things should be run or how they could be better served, uh, that just seems like they want to soften it up, shit it up, and make it uninteresting. Then I don't get to watch people be autistic fucks on the internet for my own goddamn amusement. It's a purely selfish goal on my part. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I think that's totally admirable. I, I, think, I think I said you're either friends with them or you just like the show. Maybe I didn't word it right, but I would do the same thing. If I mean, I didn't, I'm not, I'm unaware of people saying you need to deplatform people. I don't see that stuff. So, I mean, I think that's stupid. I mean, you should have on whoever the fuck you want. Yeah, the criticism was either you shouldn't bring on the guests that you're bringing on, or you should bring on better people to counter them. But, but the, the problem is, <laughs> well, the only ones like... that have accept the only ones that have accepted would be uh, Sargon of Akkad, Sticks, Hacks, and Hammer when they did the debate with Spencer. You had uh, Tariq Nasheed when he went up against Jared Taylor. That was and unbelievable. I think, and I, think I couldn't even believe that happened. The liberalist stream that JF had done, where I, I I don't know their names, but it was a guy from like the Discord or the Reddit or whatever. But they came on. So aside from that, but all the people talking all this shit about, oh, this needs to be shut down. It's terrible, and giving their bullshit reasons. None of them want to come on.
So who, it's, who do you think they want on the left? I don't know, but right. what, I find, left, right? what I find amusing yeah. is is if race realism and the alt right, you know, the ones they're focusing on when they give these criticisms, if they're such shit, if they're so fucking stupid and easily beaten and made fools of, then what is the risk of coming on and doing just that? I mean, the internet exists. You talk about, about gotcha that, culture. Uh... Well, wait, wait, you talk about gotcha culture, but that's like a founding principle of what YouTube is. I, yeah, I, I'd is. say 80% of the videos that exist on YouTube are gotchas in one way or another. And that's not a political alignment. That's not left or right or center. That's everybody. That's just how we function. So is, I don't uh... see how these YouTubers saying they don't want to do this when they <laughs> subsist, when they exist just for that sole purpose. It strikes me as a little bit disingenuous. Yeah, well, I haven't seen anybody who's who's not coming on. That doesn't mean they don't exist. I just I don't know who these people would want. I certainly it's somebody on the left, but I don't know. What about that dude, uh, <laughs> the Jew guy? I hate to remember him as that, but I don't remember his fucking name. He was on there, right? He was going yeah, Hal Halsey came on. Yeah, he he came on and he debated uh, Nick Fuentes, which is funny, and then he came on and he debated uh, Enoch, which is funny. I saw the uh, Enoch Halsey, one. Halsey's had he's had no fucking issues coming on. You can say what you like about the guy and about his politics or anything else, but at least he's stepping up. He's jumping in there and doing it. I thought he, I thought he held strong. I mean, I can't say who. I mean, the, I, uh, I thought know. against uh, Fuentes he did badly, but I thought against Enoch he seemed to control the conversation. Like every time that Mike tried to talk, he'd be like, "Let you know, don't interrupt me, don't let me speak." And he had a he had, he was kind of in command of that conversation. He wore him down near the end. You could just see he was fucking tired. Yeah, he, you could t you could tell uh, Enoch was just uh, he he was starting to get tired out by Halsey's constant uh, debate tactics, blood sport tactics, whatever you want to call them. But he did have a good plan. Uh, yeah, he, he, yeah. Nonetheless, he went in and he did his thing. But Halsey at least shows up. Um, so Does again, it goes back now? to these people that don't want to do it, huh? Does he have a YouTube channel? I don't know who he is. I, I have no idea who the fuck the guy is. I, I I watch the like I said, I like watching autistic people scream at each other. I don't know who Halsey is outside of just the blood sport shit. Andy, who do who do they want? Who do uh, parentheses 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 they want to come? We've had we've had we had the opportunity to ask uh, Spinosaurus that question just last week. I saw and, he was on. Yeah, yeah. We sat there for a couple of seconds in complete silence before he just admitted, "Well, that's a really good question, and I don't think I can name anyone." The reason hey, sorry, being sorry. that they want a special you, person to show up who's going to win no matter what. They don't want a specific person. Who do they want on person. your show, Andy, to, to make it pure? Uh, I fucking, I've asked them a million times and no one's given me uh, any answers. In they fact, don't want to name a name. Today. They do not want to name a name because once they name a name, that person shows up. They don't do so hot, then they're fucked. Don't well, name well, a name and just said, keep complaining. I just said the funniest thing. Remember uh, Kumite the other day? other day we got david shred on aka spino and i asked him i'm like he's actually fine with the blood sports thing he thinks it's cool he's like yeah whatever no it's cool uh and then i was like uh well a lot of people bitch who are like on the left or the center about me bringing in the wrong people to defeat the alt-right or whatever so i'm like do you have any suggestions he's like can't think of anyone so yeah not, not on youtube him. anyway yeah, but he's like, I'll I'll do it, and I'm like, fucking awesome, done. How much money would you someone... need to pay Franny? How much money would you have to pay her to make it happen? Pay for who? Franny. Uh I wouldn't pay ten, her ten for grand. Franny. Franny versus so, the alt right. No, she'd have to pay me and suck my dick. <laughs> uh, but no, we have actually on 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 Tuesday as well. So tonight's gonna be joy versus uh nick but we also have on tuesday is actually an anti-blood sportser who's going to be on an anti-blood sportser so it's my first debate it's the first it's the first show that it's me as the, a debater uh with jf as moderator who is uh, oh you want to say who it is probably nah his name is yusuf or something oh oh so sorry, nobody, nobody i might know yeah, but he ha has the balls to jump on and tell me why blood sh sports should be shut down. Well, and maybe, so and maybe I. And he's black. I that? Has, has to do it. <laughs> and, and, and he's black, but not that. That, that has to do with anything. Whoa, and, yeah. <laughs> also black. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you should put that in parentheses when you put the title of your video in there. Just mm -hmm. put his name and then put. He's black, by the way. The. Uh, <laughs> I feel, I feel like uh, maybe I see a lot of. Um... He's a nobody. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm, might be my neighbor. <laughs> yep. He's a nigga. No, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. No, no. I think I feel like uh, I don't think I think blood sports is popular for a reason. I mean, I the only the only annoying thing, and I don't think I get this from you directly. Unfortunately, I have a line to you. Is that like a lot of people mischaracterize? Well, I get lumped in with you know everyone else, like Sargon of you, which isn't exactly a fair criticism because I feel differently about it. But I never said it needed to go go away. I said it's good. I said it's po- it's just popular for a fucking reason. Um, but then I get fucking people spurging out on me all day, which I guess I'm not used to. About that's saying, what I deal with every day, quartering. <laughs> My entire I'm really quarter close to getting on Twitter. They're okay, you know, I had DMs. Bit. People are like, all, like all the yeah, Andy, 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 Andy. Mm-hmm. Put your put your tampon in. Take a my doll. It's the internet. Everybody gets screamed at for something. No, no, no I'm fine with it. Don't, don't compare war stories about mean comments. Jesus Christ! What are, what no, are you no. People doing? no. My point is, my point is, I'm so desensitized to it. I know this is his first, his first outing. Uh, it gets easier. I'm embracing the not <laughs> Your Thanks, holes get fuck. wallowed out, Thanks. you know? Yeah, yeah. You'll have a fucking Nazi tattoo on your fucking left chest in no time. Yeah, who says I don't? You don't know, Andy. You, maybe you do. Yeah. You could be behind. Hashtag me too. Yo, yo, this is new hashtag me too. People are mean to me as well. Oh, God. That should be a fucking thing. Mean comments. Uh, you know, according to the, there was one other comment you did mention because after your your salt mine comment, I started looking through shit. Uh, yeah, you had yeah. said that uh, uh, you know I don't even want to misquote it, so I'm gonna go look it up and then. All I'll right, let me it. grab it. I gotta, I gotta grab water quick. Hold. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm gonna before. continue making food. Um, I have a I have a is feeling. That, is that all you ever do, Andy? It's like I'm... you're always taking a break to do something. Making no, food, I, making I'm, coffee. I, I, I've been trying to make this this fucking food and every time i'm like almost done i just hear hey andy so what do you think of that and i have to run to the computer <laughs> like so i'll be right back well i guess i guess it's just us oh well what would you like to talk about best friend <laughs> i not that match that we're gonna have in a park <laughs> in i think years. it'll be fun you know I'll hold your belt, and then you can film me crying about it while I look at the YouTube plaque that's centered in it. Mm. And I could talk about how much it means to me and how it deeply affects me on an emotional level. I'll have an emotional connection with it, and then we'll wrestle. You know, I'm getting, I've, I've, I'm about half masked right now, so I think I'm down. Think Are I'm you, down. you enjoying that? Yeah, you think about I'm it? Now I'm down, yeah. You down for that? You've talked me into it. I'm sold. Jesus well, Christ, what is go. it? Did he fucking shut a dungeon? Did you hear that? <laughs> Somebody got shot. Bloodsport strikes again. Another innocent victim has died. I, uh, think there, back. I think there are people who really do think there's some bloodshed that happens with some of this stuff. Like, they act like people really are getting hurt. Yeah, it was uh, some entertaining shit uh, listening to those comments from uh, certain individuals talking. It was just stupid. Cult of Dusty was the worst. I think Jeff Holiday was just trying to just, you know, have a like a little gotcha, like a needling jab kind of thing. He'd love to and get I don't know. I don't know what Monday Matt was doing. He had like a, a long. You guys were arguing about that shit for like a day. Matt's mad at me hard because because of the the YouTube plaque thing. I don't know if it's what that. Happened? Oh yeah, he's very mad about that. He's tweeting about it today still. Okay. He's a puss. God, nobody has anything nice to say about Matt. <laughs> Fuck. Oh uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, this was the one. Uh, this isn't even really a criticism. I'm just trying to get your mindset on this. All right. Yeah, my fucking uh, soda's said, frozen. That sucks. You said there's a huge fallacy in the video. Uh, he correlates subgrowth with large scale improvement or, intra- or uh, approval or interest. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when you're looking at Tonka Saw, Andy's, or even Baked Alaska's channel, and you see that large uptick, that all corresponds. It, it does correlate with them starting to do the blood sport stuff. I mean, what what else would you think could possibly explain those three particular channels having a large growth pattern? When they're all yeah. engaging the same new type of content, maybe that wasn't worded correctly. My point is that sub growth doesn't necessarily mean, you know, people are subbing because they're into it. I mean, Steve Shive says what fifty thousand subscribers? 
that, that well, was I could have, I, I could have made the the money argument. I mean, and this this is my speculative guess. I can't say because I don't have access to these. Well, the money spending. argument is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, you know, I'd say Andy probably somewhere between fifteen to twenty thousand. Taka probably ten thousand. Baked Alaska probably five to ten thousand. Uh, yeah, you know, the money people, is undeniable, people, right? But I I also tried to go out of my way and not because I think a lot of people are criticizing that. I don't think that that's fair. Like, I, I, I I'm indifferent to it. I don't use super chat. I know people who do. It doesn't fucking bother me one way or the other. I mean, if people are going to have ads on their videos, if they're going to have a Patreon, I don't see what the difference is with the super chat. I don't, I don't have an issue with it either. I, I think, uh, good, good on them. Who the fuck cares? I wish people would use Streamlabs though, because YouTube's getting rich, taking thirty percent. I'm sure they will use Streamlabs eventually when YouTube starts cracking down on super chat, which eventually and inevitably is going to happen. Very, yeah, I think, I think it, this year still, it will get. I mean, you can look at what's going on with Twitch. People are running for the hills right now, shutting down accounts left and right because uh, shit's about to hit the fan tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, Twitch so. is going to be. I thought Twitch was going to be a, a safe. Uh, in 2018, I was going to try and spend time growing Twitch, but then I saw their their new TOS come out, and it's just another fucking doomed to die platform. Yeah, it's pretty much dead. There are no alternatives, though, right? There's what's the one that Venti used forever? I never even heard of it. Um, stream it? No. What the fuck is it called? Hitbox. Hitbox, yeah. Do people, do they have traffic? That, that went under. Oh, did it? Okay. I, from what I understand, it changed its name or got bought up, and then I, I think it closed down. I don't know what the fuck it's doing right now. If I could, some Twitch shell company probably just bought it and shut it down. More than likely, they could have shut it down just because they didn't want the competition. I mean, it's a possibility. I'll buy it. Some fucking... I don't know. It's, with... Is is I don't know. Do you think Super Chat has nothing to do with it, or do you oh, think uh, it's... Tonka? I sent you a DM. Can you confirm if you're coming to my birthday party or not? Oh fuck's sake! I mean, we are best of friends. I don't get that mindset. I, do you, am I the only one in this room that thinks that's pinata. weird? Like to, to have internet friends, or, or am I alone on this? No, yes. I'm I'm with you. <laughs> I no, I don't. I don't do the internet friend thing. There's you, you don't know. have friend people you're friendly with online. No, well, there's a difference between being friendly yeah. towards someone. And yeah. being friends, I mean, I mean, I'm friendly with people that I run into at the supermarket. Doesn't mean we're going on dates together. No, but I also didn't say you were their best friend. I just said you're friends. Yeah. I would consider Andy a friend, you know, even though we don't like go to the bar or whatever. But you know, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe it's just gay. Probably is. I think a lot of people use that friend thing so that they can, when it, you know, when someone eventually calls them out, they're like, oh, well, they were my friend, so now they backstab me. I think that's you think so? You think people think that far ahead? What makes people fucking friends on the internet? You both opened up a Google account? I hate everyone. If you have regular <laughs> interactions with somebody, what? I would say that that's probably two-thirds of what makes somebody a friend, other than the real world. You're saying people can't be friends if they don't see each other every day in real life? Well, no, you, you can be friends, but you're not gonna, you're not, everybody on the uh, internet who you speak to and interact with, you're not friends with. Well, no, I don't. Most I don't of agree them are not. I don't think so either. I don't either. Yeah, you know, I don't even like JF. <laughs> it's like as a person, so whatever. <laughs> I just like you as a person. Nice. <laughs> Worski's gonna be interesting tonight. Nice, Andy. We got something to watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I blame. This is like a Facebook mentality to me. I mean, there's some weird shift that took place. I'd say like around 2010 where people started acting like the people they talk to on social media are friends. It, it, it's kind of weird. But, but why isn't, if they say they're, if they both agree that they're friends, then why is it not? No, Just I'm saying it's, it? I, no, no, I'm saying it's weird that they would agree to that in the first yeah, place. Yeah, okay, that's fair. And I, I yeah. would counter with that for the same reason that two people who get together and say that they have bugs living in their eyeballs are not correct. People are wrong. You just blew my mind. They they get delusional sometimes. They buy some to shit. To me, it's no real. different. It's no different than like I I live in a small town and there's a bar. You know, I go to the bar here. I see the same fucking people every week. I would consider, you know, you're at the bar, you talk because you're in the bar together. You're kind of whatever. But I don't hang out with them outside of the bar. It's the same thing with internet culture. Holy you shit! Know? I, I'm trying to imagine going to the bars I go to and talking about internet things. I'd probably get fucking. No, hit. I don't. I they don't bring a bottle over my head and call me a fake and throw me out the door. <laughs> yeah, no, no. We don't talk about internet things. But I'm just saying, it's the same way. Like, I don't hang out with them. We don't go to the movies together.
but I would still say I'm, you know, friends with them. But I guess I just maybe I'm, you know, it's all that soy. I, no, I'm just I'm, saying it's a no, different really. mindset. I, I, it really is. I don't know. It's a modern thing. It really is. But um, it's just it struck. It strikes me as weird, and I'm setting my ways on this particular thing. I mean, that's fair. What are you about a hundred now? You're a hundred in internet age. Right? About internet that, years? yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just it ties back into my point. I mean, my blood sports to me is my form of entertainment. I want to watch people spurg the fuck out and be autistic as shit. And so it annoys me when I see people coming in, or what I perceive is coming in, uh, to try to tinker with the uh, formula that's providing me with my entertainment. It'd be like if somebody went in and I'm trying to think of like something comparable. It'd be like if somebody went in and started locking down accounts on DeviantArt. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like don't you my access it. to Spurgs. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I get it. I, I get it. I mean, I would defend content that, you know, look, I came on. I, you know, I stood, I stand by what I said. I, I just, I don't think it's bad. I never said it was bad. I just, I worry about the, and you guys don't, and that's okay. It's not my fucking show, right? I mean, I worry about people getting burnt out on it, but maybe, so what if they get burnt out in a year and then they just do something else and who cares, right? It people got be, burnt out be, on it, it could be a complete fad rather than a trend. That's fine. But I want to enjoy it while it's here. And yeah. if it burns out, let it burn out. Uh, you know, if it sticks around, let it stick around. But I, I do find it entertaining. Uh, you, you know, it's just something that draws people in. It's the reason that shows like Springer or Povich or the others were popular and watched. It's the reason people like fucking Morning Zoo Radio. Uh, it, it's kind of that attitude that develops around it. I mean, you can look at the chat right now, and you're going to see people calling all of us faggots. So you got a whole mixture of our audience <laughs> participation mm -hmm. on their viewpoint of what they think of the show. But the point is, they still like interacting with it on some level. Um, yeah, you know, it's, not, it's not like some groundbreaking formula. I mean, it's just, it's a fucking live stream. There's nothing solely unique to it. It's just a different kind of mindset going into it uh, that allows it to be a little more entertaining. Uh, and, you know, if it lasts a year, it lasts a year. Yeah, I mean, fuck, how long was Jerry Springer? I'm trying to see how long Jerry Springer was on TV. It had to be like he was fucking on 20 years. Like 20, 30 years. Yeah, he was on forever. <laughs> all, all of them were. Anybody that was in the 80s was on for a ridiculous amount of time. Donnie 26 Hugo, years. And before even Jerry Richard Springer, Bay, as yeah. local as he was, was on for a while. Before Springer, there was Morton Downey Jr. I mean, after yep. Springer, Boy. fucking didn't Steve Wilkos pick up the mantle? <laughs> I think Wilkos is still on. And then there's more Povich, too. That fucking guy's been on forever, right? People will always line up to watch conflict. I mean, the fact is, if you take and you go into the middle of the fucking town right now, and you just nail up a poster that says, Today there will be a hanging at 5 p.m. No name, nothing of the sort. No matter how grim you, you want to look at it as, there will be people there at 5 p.m. to see that hanging. They'll be there. Same thing with a fight. People want to see conflict, even if they know fuck all about it. They want to see yeah, conflict. Uh, it's the appeal. I mean, if you look at the compilations on, even like I say, like YouTube, you enter something like, uh, you know, uh, fight or uh, road rage or any of that shit, fucking you're going to find karma comps. Yeah, Crazy videos that haters. have millions of views that have been up for a day. You know, I mean, people love that shit. Uh, Live Leaks is a website is dedicated to that premise. World Star Hip Hop, some of the biggest videos they have are their fucking fight compilations. Mm -hmm. People oh yeah, good family undeniable. entertainment. And you know, I can't speak to what other people's criticism was or is, but I felt like I was pretty clear. Not that I keep, need to keep defending myself, but I was pretty clear in saying like <laughs> the numbers are undeniable. Like I'll never have. Look, I mean, Tuck has got almost three thousand people watching. I'll never have that many people on a live stream. You know, regardless of how big my channel gets. So you can't really argue with that. But, yeah, Tonka's but, channel's done really well. I mean, he's got... What are you sitting at right now on subs, Tonka? I, I haven't even checked. It's 11. Yeah, 11K. I mean, nearly 3,000 watching, if that's what it is. Uh, it's, that's a pretty good metric. I I couldn't pull 30% of my audience if I did a live stream. Yeah, I, no you know, I'm a, I'm a, it, That just wouldn't happen. 10. 10 is like the standard for old, old, old head YouTube channels. Maybe 10%, if you're lucky. Yeah, well... <laughs> Maybe no, I wouldn't even, I, I don't even think I'd pull 10%, shit. I mean, if I've got 200,000 subs, 10% be, well, I, I don't know. Monday yeah. and Matt gets about 80 people on live streams. Well, <laughs> like his channel is also, you know, I have a channel like that that's old too that barely gets any engagement too. I think there's, people get sick of you, but also I think YouTube stops kind of giving a shit about older channels. 
so the Matt thing really, the, the, the fact that you laughed at him, that unboxing video is goofy. It's funny. And that's really what's upsetting him? I think it's a mix between that and he, I don't know, he used to come to me and Failure all the time and tell us that we were the only people who actually treated him like friends. Like, I never told him he was my friend, but he always told me and Failure were his friends. And he was like, you guys, you guys are the only ones who treat me like friends and that I can listen, you know, that'll sit here and listen to me and stuff. And I was fine with it. I've never really had anything against Matt until that day when I said something about Jeff and he starts losing his shit about it. And every well, since then, this morning about his cry video. I, I never really understood why people up upload videos of themselves crying because I know that you have to then export the video, edit it. You see yourself crying. You decide to keep it in. Some people put sad music over it. Yeah, and it's then not like he live streamed it and like yeah, sat yeah. there and had That'd to pull it over. Thing. Like, yeah, th this was something he actively was like, okay, this is what it's going to be. What's wrong with watching a video and going, ha, fucking pussy? What's wrong with that? That's possible. I mean, oh, you mean, I was, I thought you were I'm saying not saying that you're saying it's wrong. I'm just like, just generally. Nothing's wrong with it. Yeah. But it hurt his feelings, I'm sure. Yeah, but it's it's a funny reaction to getting a, a YouTube plaque. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. He feels like it's an accomplishment, but it's, it's a fucking goofy reaction. I don't understand why that would bother Matt so much. All right, they, hold on. This this is I, I hate to do this, but I've got to make this more hilarious here, Billy. It, it's not your. He's not crying at the plaque. He was crying I thought, I thought at he was a crying about the plaque. Oh no, he's I holding the plaque, but he's crying at a fucking stock letter. You oh, from YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Yes! He's like, he's like, you have changed. He's reading at the words of a stock letter. When uh, can I ask you what date this video went up? By the way, you haven't Two seen this? Ago. No, I've seen I've seen the video, but I, I didn't really like why. So some started to cry. I chuckled a bit. Thought it was funny. You just funny, start laughing I, through all the shit he's doing. You kind of lose yourself in the hilarity. Well, no, because I find it weird. He he wasn't like this video wasn't up after the adpocalypse, was it? And no. he got really fucked in the ass by Google. He got crushed. Yeah, he got crushed. Oh, yeah. God, he do you think that'd be the response if he bitches about ad revenue? They just send him the video where he's crying, thanking them? Like, <laughs> where's the admiration now, Matt? Savage. Oh, God. YouTube would do well to be a little bit more rough like that. Yeah, yeah YouTube needs to hire that Wendy's chick. Probably oh, the fucking Wendy's, whoever runs their Twitter account. Yeah, get her in here. But yeah, I, I saw Matt. Uh, what I did see with the interaction between you two, uh, I, I did not the crying thing set it off. But uh, he seemed upset. He was like, he, he was he. Am I getting this right? The gist of it, Taka? Was he trying to say that you needed to be more responsible with your platform? Yeah. So is it more or less to that effect? That nicest way to put it. It's that. But also, I'm uh, salty and I'm irrelevant because blood sports has outgrown me. Whoa. And... That's that's pretty icy. He won't come on the show and talk to you, though. No. No, he, he's refused to talk to me. Oh, he, he's been on the show before, though. Well, when he him came and, on the uh, show Johnny to talk Fox to Is that him. where the, the to real, to I'll fight you in real life meme came from? Yeah, 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 that's where that came from. He wanted to fight Johnny Fox that. in real life. He doesn't want They're to They're going to meet up at uh, Kilroy. Yeah, that's a really, really bad hill to die on. They, I was scheduled to speak there. I had signed the fucking paperwork and everything. Oh, so you're but, gone uh, now, too. Aren't they still? I, yeah, I backed out immediately. Yeah, I backed out when um, when I think I signed the didn't paperwork. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Like you, you and I were talking. You're like, "What do you uh, make of all this?" It was after I made a few streams. Yeah, I didn't know about it. And I, and had I was to like, eat. "Yeah." I so I, I, I had to explain everything. I'm like, "Woo, where do we start?" <laughs> it's like an yeah. I didn't know. I just was like, "Oh, this is a a cool like opportunity," and then I saw Andy make a video, and so I. I had to DM him like, uh, "What's up with this?" And then I just dropped out. And the next day, you were like, no, "Yeah, I'm fucking out." Yeah, it's still happening. Think... You know, the people that, um... yeah, yeah, oh, I know. I... Yo, yeah. you know, it's so funny that night. Uh, I forgot who was bitching. It was either Repsion or Monday and Matt, like one of them of that group, Rucker or something. Someone's like, "Yeah, whatever, Andy. Like, you're fucking over your friends. Quartering's coming," and I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> they were, all right, they have updated the website and removed the quartering from the guest lineup. But I just noticed that Monday Matt actually has his Patreon in his little 
Like, there's only... Like, it only has, like, your at for Twitter and your YouTube channel in your description. But Matt's has his fucking Patreon in it, too. Ugh. I think I said I was still going to go to Arizona and, and get hammered with Andy and Sticks, but I don't think either one of you guys are going, right? I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm sort of like, I don't know who's going or whatever. I don't, I don't anybody's waste... going. Yeah, I don't want to waste my money, man. It's I'm an expensive pay... fucking ticket, too. For if yeah, nobody's yeah. going there, don't do it. I'd rather I have to LA or something anyway. and just hang out and just like fucking, you know. Or take that money that I would have spent there and just fucking have a wild week here in Canada. Huckers and blow, you know, whatever. No big deal. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Yeah, secret plan. I, I don't want that being leaked. Send it to me in DMs, dude. I'll keep it. All right, one second. Hang on. I'm just one of those <laughs> weird motherfuckers who wants the internet to stay inside my computer. It's that kind of That's game. where it belongs. I'm telling you. I know, right? fucking go and hang out with people from the internet. What do you do when you... You don't even know if you've got the right person or something. What is that? He's like, well... What's <laughs> up, raccoon lover XD440? <laughs> That's oddly specific. I don't... People have the dumbest fucking names on the internet. <laughs> Everyone has a dumb name on the internet. Like, could you imagine walking around... Like, with a person, like, face-to-face, -face, calling them, like, I don't know, like, I'm going to walk around and call you the quartering. How weird would that yeah, be? Yeah, it's fucking awkward. How yeah, awkward is yeah. that? That feel weird? Yeah. Like, somebody just sitting there face-to-face -face with you. What's up, quartering? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's cringy, but also, you know, what about with other creators? You wouldn't want to go hang out with other, like, you wouldn't want to kick it with Andy? I mean, uh, War Ski Show? I, I don't want to meet people on the internet. Maybe one day down the line, you know, you know somebody like real well is like, okay, yeah, sure. We'll get together, have a few drinks or some shit. Way down the line. But it's not like, oh, I met someone cool. Oh, it's time to go hang out with them in real life. I just started really hanging out with Andy like two months ago. Yeah. You what am I heading to your birthday party? I swear to God, <laughs> your birthday party. Yeah, parties. what happened to that? Yeah. Oh, actually, you uninvited me because the the Israel thing, right? Yeah, you fucked up Israel. Oh, you're having your party in Israel? I'm going to go to Israel instead of fucking Arizona and see what happens. Just take a selfie with uh, the wall yeah. the Israel sign. I'm going to suck my the... dick on that wall. <laughs> Holy shit, oh, Andy. They, they, fucking you. Yeah. they will gonna gonna fucking come. put a bullet in your head, Andy. kill the fuck out of you, Andy. Yeah. I'm going to go, Ove, as I'm blowing oh, the fucking... Ove? Oh, <laughs> Ove? Hey, check this out. That's my Jewish accent. And it would be epic. I mean, it would be one hell of a way to go out. Just make sure somebody films it at least. Don't be a, don't fucking deprive us of that. Yeah, put it up on Live League. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Who fucked with Jesus here, huh? Adam Ray Swarski shot mm -hmm. to death today in Israel. Mm -hmm. For the crime Hasbro. of dicking the wall. Fall Fallus attack occurred today at the Wailing Wall. Mm-hmm. What about going to the Dome of the Rock and just doing a helicopter with your dick in there? Would you do that? I'd fucking do anything there. You would die so quick. I'm going to put fucking posters up with idea. Tonka's fucking uh, face and his link and go, this guy hates Jews and just put it all over Israel. Oh, I was about to say, if you put it all over the Dome of the Rock, they're going to praise me as a hero. Yeah, how many, <laughs> how many fucking posters do you think you'd get up before maybe... What's your runner half. on that? Ten? None. Zero. He'd get zero up before he was completely killed. <laughs> completely killed. <laughs> they would they check would, his they would, they would cut him into pieces before his completely no, killed. No, yeah, no, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna hire a bunch of Palestinians to help me out. Oh that Oh work. yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be in on that. Yeah, that'll work. Your life yeah. force will be terminated. I'm gonna go it's like I'll have them all around, I'll have them all one poster each, and I go, and then they all run. At the same time, and put up post up at the exact same time. Fucking book it to the airport. Done. You're gonna get tea bagged by the reaper so list, hard. Dude. Uh, I, me either, it was man. that woman. It was the woman, Andy. Yeah, I know Claire. Yeah, who, who's supposed to be on this show but then canceled? I wonder why she canceled. Well, she doesn't want to associate with somebody on the hate watch. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put her on the hate watch. How the fuck are go, you she... gonna do that? 
Wow. He's going to change his avatar go. to her picture and start talking with a soft, feminine voice about how he wants yeah. to murder Jews. And eventually yeah. it'll work. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be like, I don't know. She's on DMs with me, just saying nigger all the time. And I'm like, whoa, calm. Calm yourself. What are you, Sargon? What are you, Sargon? <laughs> <Just trying. laughs> oh, vey. Okay. No, okay. yeah, it, it was her. Uh, I, You know, she started talking about it. And then the uh, whatever website that was, Right Wing Watch or whatever it was, wrote the article mm -hmm. like a day after or two days after she had talked about you and wanting you on a hate list. Uh, and then the next day after that article, it got put up on the SPLC. Yeah, actually, are you on, uh, are you on right wing watch, Andy? Uh, yes. may, maybe. maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they have, uh, it should be uh, uh, a real name. It should be yeah. They use his name. Uh, it should be YouTube Blood Sports New Alt Right Phenomena. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm also on the SC. Hey, Medicare, you're on there prominently featured too. So are yeah, you? They, they don't. God uh, damn it! So am I. <laughs> so yeah, are you? you. Yeah, you are on yeah. that pay picture too. My baby. face is on the fucking right wing walk. Congrats. Hope you're okay with that. People told me to not be friendly with you, and now look, I'm on. Mm. God damn it! Uh, -huh. mm -hmm. uh that's I wish they would. I really wish they would have used Adam Morsky. That would have just been the best. Yeah, yeah. I uh, no, I'm. I wear it as a badge of honor. It's right. It's right next to my hood. Uh, you know, Andy. Um, I, I was thinking what might make an entertaining show if you could swing it. Uh, because you've had you've had Fuentes on right before. Yeah. You times. should have uh, you should have Fuentes and James Alsep on together. Why they hate each other? I oh, just no. think it would be an entertaining show if you could. Oh swing my it god! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll set that up for uh, not this week because he's all booked for this week. N next week, Keebler Elf GIF. You know, Halsey and fucking <laughs> Enoch are doing a rematch next week on on, on a on Tuesday, twenty seventh of February, wherever that is. I'm like, what? It's already been booked. I'm like looking through group chats. I'm like, oh, I guess we have a show. They've been going back and forth in this group, in this group chat forever. So, all right, but I'll set up a fucking. I'll no, I think it, I think they'll have a very friendly conversation about the issues with you. It should be great. <laughs> uh, I don't trust anything you say, Medicare. Oh, come but, on. Okay. I'm Andy, I would saying, never, I, Andy, not... I would never lie to a friend. Come exactly. On, yeah. Our good oh, friend BFF? Billy here. Yeah. BFF. No, no. Look, I don't trust you, but I, I, I like, like all those questions you sent me and I just say it like, it always starts like the USS Liberty. I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about, but I guess I'll ask this question one hour later of yelling at each other. I'm like, Medicare was right. That doesn't sound like I, someone so who wants to come to the birthday party. That Lauren Southern was the only one on that fucking stream that got the question I was asking. Nobody else knew yeah. what Murdoch Murdoch was, but she instantly picked up on it. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't trust you, but I, I trust that it'll be fucking a disaster, which is great. I, I think it'll be good. Yeah, there, there is a dispute between them. Yeah, they have a little bit of heat between each other, but they mm -hmm. both do streams all the time. They're both well-spoken, so it should be... Oh, shit, my pizza's gonna burn. One sec. Oh, fucking, fucking stoner. Hey. Fucking stoner. He's fucking burned it. See, look, this is what I'm talking about when people bring up Andy in the ovens. He doesn't know what he's doing with the ovens, lads. You, you need to you need to let somebody else man the just, ovens. Just running straight out. All right, well, I, I got to jump. Uh, it's It's been fun. Um, yeah, good time. You're probably not going to get that Tommy guy on today, huh? It doesn't feel like it. It, it feels he like he's me. talking himself He DM'd out. me. Oh, he did. Oh, did he? What did he's he say? A I owned him. He's not showing up. He he's said, under the ball. So I wrote him. I wrote, you said I'm not worth it to be on my show. Fuck you. You talking shit about me. I was a little bit heated. Uh, I gave you the chance to defend your position and you become a coward. And now you shit talk me. And then he wrote, shit talking you. WTF. Did you even watch? And then he sent me a one minute and 14 second video. Uh, but I haven't watched it. It's going to be I, that I can, bit at the end where he says that he respects you after he... Oh, well, I, I can tell you this. Probably starting the DM with, uh, hey, motherfucker, you should talk to me. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. No, no, it was... No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Billy, you're misrepresenting me as you You're usual. misrepresenting me. <laughs> okay. I, I said it like this. Correct the record. Ver it for Andy us. Andy the okay. diplomat. Yeah, no, no, this is how I said it. Hey, motherfucker, what's going on? Yay, I heard you're shit talking to me. It was like that tone. Hey, what's going on, motherfucker? Hey there, motherfucker. Hey. Oh, hey, is it that tone? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Howdy yeah, ho, motherfucker. You really convey that to him, did you? It's just hard when you read <laughs> when you read the text, but it's, hey, hey, 
Hey. Andy, wait, wait. Explain to me how the secret plan was any different than you going to the chat and calling him a faggot. Like, if you're just calling him a faggot in the DM, what's the difference in the plan? Uh, I mean, you make a point, a valid point there, but... That's a valid point. You know, fuck? I learn every day. Uh, I tell on. you to go read. I tell you to go read the Prince, but you'd probably think it was a musician's autobiography or something. <laughs> like you're never gonna, you're never gonna learn deceitful tactics, are you? <laughs> you're never gonna learn yeah. how to manipulate people. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I know there's an excuse somewhere here. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, it's because he wasn't watching the show. There you go. He wasn't watching the show. His entire mm -hmm. chat was. Tonka, are we? I thought we were BFFs, bro. I thought, I thought you were coming to my birthday party. Um, <sighs> it's it's a pipe dream now. Uh, dude, I don't know, man. Like, you don't birthday know who's your, who's your real friend on here. It's like, yeah, it's like you don't All know. All right, I'm going to hop off. Take it. I got to go, go make some shit videos. Yeah, you're not yes. coming to my All birthday right. party either, Quarter. So just, you know. <laughs> Come on, man. I Hi, give Quarter. good gifts. I promise. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, yeah see ya. Peace out. All right, I'm gonna bounce too. What uh, a it's been, homo! It, it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, another Andy secret plan right out in front of us live. Gold. I just, I keep... Holy shit! Enjoy, enjoy your burnt pizza, Andy. Have fun. What's up, burnt? I was smart. I turned off the oven when I came back in here, thinking I would forget about it. So it's not burnt. I'm a pro with ovens, you know. Well, oh, he, he, he fucking left. He didn't hear my joke. I th he may be better off. <laughs> no, am I safe here? I, I don't know. I heard the alt right will target me if I come on the show. I don't know. Do you have the protection of the GG police? I, I hope so. Hashtag GG police, please, please protect me. Oh fuck. Mm -hmm. I, I, I heard. I heard that. that, uh, that so I heard that the all right. I heard that the all right put grease on V's chair. It's all part of the nefarious plan uh, at the alt right headquarters, cow, uh, to target to target V. Yeah, you know, it's it's tragic, really. So I, I don't know. What were your thoughts? You guys watch or no? Oh, we we watched. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, I I I want to say that he gets it today, but within a couple mm -hmm. of days, I have a feeling he's gonna be back on the fucking boards and doing this shit again. Like I don't think that. Like I think you got the point through to him. Like he heard the point. He was like, oh, that makes sense. But I don't know if it was, it, it took hold. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I just, I noticed from him and some other people, uh, a lot of people dropping the uh, suggestion that if you show up on the Kumite or on Warski's stream or probably even Baked Alaska's, I guess, if you still had it, uh, that you're going to get doxxed and harassed just for showing up, which is fucking stupid. Uh, Tariq, like the same people, that same board, right? That That's where Mike Enoch was doxxed. I, I wouldn't know about that. I just know that Cal likes to fuck with pretty much anybody. It's not a political thing. It's just whatever they find funny. Like that's the, yeah, that, that's what everybody was telling. You. There's nothing political about it. It's just if you react, you're who they're gonna go at. You're who they want to play with. If you if you're gonna play back, then they're gonna play with you. Yeah, essentially, if if you give a reaction, yeah, you're gonna get fucked with. That that's the whole purpose of the board. I mean, it's literally called, it's it's called fucking lolcow. You'd think that would be apparent to anybody that, that stumbled on there that, oh, okay, they're looking to fuck with me. But uh, apparently not. Apparently some people are just unaware. I, I wouldn't have thought V would have been that unaware, especially as much time as he spends there. Like, look at the <sighs> other boards they're doing. Are, is everyone there a political target? Well, that, that's what I tried to explain to him. I mean, it, it, the fucking thread titles weren't the alt-right. It wasn't Blood Sports General. It was the rational YouTube skeptics shit. You know what I mean? I'm trying to explain to him, like, maybe maybe you've drawn the attention for another reason that doesn't have anything to do with debating the alt-right, per se, or showing up on the Kumite or Worski. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's other shit that's drawn your, you know, their attention, but um, it, it, I don't know. I don't know if I got through to him or not. I, for, I forgot about the rationalist movement until uh, last night somebody pointed it out to me. Like, they, they've tried this rebranding thing a few times, apparently. You know, the rationalist, the liberalist, like, there, there's a there's a, a need to rebrand. Do you have yeah, any yeah. clue where the fuck that comes from? <laughs> like, they all, they want a label. Like, they hate labels a lot, and they, they bury that shit. But I, I, I don't know. 
I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't. I don't know why the name changed every six months. You, you, oh, wait a minute now. Are you safe? Are you sure you can come on here? Oh, I mean, I don't, want you to, I don't want you to get hurt. Fred had invited me. But but did, did you listen to my after stream? Uh, no, no. I, 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 I hopped out, so I didn't hear your after stream. I thought you were just going through Super Chats. I... I... <laughs> I, I want to apologize uh, here as well, because I did on my stream, right? So everything I said about the Kumate, right, about people coming here getting docs and shit, is, is not, I, I take it back, okay? It's not on the Kumate. From what I saw, it's, uh, it's only on Andy's show and only when people went against the alt right? And I maintain what I said. Um, I, I gave you five people that, that had shit happen to dub. You gave me one that did it. I, yeah. I, no, I gave you five V, three Kashid, yeah. the three NT that went up against Mike Enoch, and there was another one that I listed. If you go back and listen, and, and, and we considered, okay, if you go there to make a complete ass of yourself and you say that your dick is a weapon of mass destruction, I think you're not going to be a local. I think you're. Safe. I, I got two questions for you, V. Uh, okay. The first question is you you mentioned in that tweet that we we have people on here saying nigger Jews. Uh, is that like a, a thing that you often hear in the in the Kumite? And if so, who has been saying it? Yeah, well, if, if you want to have a place where saying nigger is allowed and saying Jewish people is allowed, then if you're going to call the police for hate speech on that, uh, don't be surprised if people don't go up. Uh, it's not the Kumate, but it was on uh, on the Worski stream, for instance, where, where you know, he, he, like, for instance, with Jim, right? He, he t uh, tried to get me woke on the Jewish question on my stream, right? And not at all. I, I was unfamiliar with the subject. I still can't believe that. Okay, Jewish so, so, so you're not familiar with the subject, right? It's very difficult for me to explain the subject when I know there's an army of trolls that are willing to call the, the hate police on you, right? So <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, th there are some decent people enforcing uh, hate speech around, so I, I can't really talk about the Jewish question then. Is that fair enough? Is it, uh, <laughs> is it a good explanation of what's going on? Yeah, but uh, V, this would go back to what I was saying earlier. I mean, you can't put this on Andy and you can't put this on Tonka and say, oh, well, if you want to host a show where you can say nigger or kike or whatever and then call the police, because Andy Worski didn't call the police on Sargon. No, Tonka I, didn't call the police on Sargon. You can't attribute that to their audience. Again, you've got to... My, 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 point, is, my, my point is, if people don't well, want to go... Wait, V, oh. where did you see that they were going to call Sar uh, the police on Sargon? What particular place on the internet did you see that claim? Okay, the police was called on Sargon, and there's video oh, evidence of it. Oh, okay, oh, uh, did you see that claim pop up anywhere before that happened? Uh, look, Jim. What, what? Where did you see it? No, where did you see it pop up? Just okay, I, I did say, say, okay, so if it pops up on call, do you think the police will go, well, this is an anonymous image board, there's no reason for us no, to No, but what I'm saying is, I, I explained <laughs> to you in that stream what what is going on. So again, if if you're saying I saw it on Cow and then it happened, well, I, again, like I said, you're walking collateral damage if you keep interacting with them. I understand, but but and, and I will stop. You know, after today, I will definitely stop taking uh, what what Cow does to me, and I will stop responding to it. Uh, but what I I am trying to get because you know, friend did ask me a question, so I have to respond to that question. It's it's today only the day where V answers questions. After this, I'll say, well, I can't talk about it. Uh, but but it's the idea that if this is happening, when people say, I don't want to go on the worst to debate against Richard Spencer or to talk against uh, alternative hypothesis, I would understand why that person chooses not to go. It's not because he doesn't have argument or he's afraid of Richard Spencer or that Andy will mistreat him or anything like that. It's that, you know, having a conversation where the Jewish question pops up, maybe the person doesn't want the police to come at his house. Because the police doesn't care that it's coming from Kyle, it doesn't care that it's coming from anywhere on the internet. They they get a report and they have to file it and check it out. Mm -hmm. So what happened with the police? Yeah, I I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh no! Now I'm in. <laughs> you can't say it's that. Very... I don't want to talk about it. No, you, you you can contact Sargon and you can ask him what happened with the police if you want. Oh come on, come on, Capo! What happened at the dawn? Is he no, okay? I... Is he in the big house right now? <laughs> Is he in Leavenworth? Uh, you you have him on Skype. You can contact oh, him. Here we go. Contact. Here the shit show started. Okay. Andy, Andy you how's take it that shit. You know, what up, bastard? Troll leader. Yeah. Yo, yo, I won't have um, I, I I won't have access to a good mic right now for a little bit. That's fine. But uh, yeah, if this is okay, I don't know how how shit it sounds. 
Yeah, you, all right, we, leader. We family? Actually, um, Andy, I might need to leave. I heard being around you is dangerous, and I don't want to get attacked by the all right. Ooh, so. I know. I, I keep hearing that. Sorry, Jim. I apologize. Well, I saw your big alt right stream where you had uh, Joy Sparkles and Keemstar on. As I know, they're all very political, and that entire mm. discussion is super political. <laughs> well, the, I also said like joining a non political discussion isn't going to get you uh, a win to the low cost status. Like, here's my beef, Andy. Right? Joy Sparkles um, was already low cost. Are you kidding me? They have fucking threads on Kiwi Farms, and on, they've had them on Eight Chan about her. I didn't know nothing, that. Not, nothing politics about her. The thing is that you're trying to make, Jim, is that you think, I, I believe the entire cow board is political. And I don't. It's just that particular thread, and, and I noticed the pattern, right? Uh, but the thing is, I, I had the discussion on Andy's channel. Jesus Christ, Andy, are you okay? Who's breathing like that? <laughs> he's, yeah, trying to calm him, he's trying to calm himself down after failure put up this uh, post showing the list of people <laughs> no, no, that, sorry, haven't, is that... Uh, that haven't been doxxed. Tariq Nasheed... Uh, Brownie yeah, uh, yeah. of Opinions, Failure Terminated, The Liberalist from the Discord, Bronx Blogger, Kevin Logan, Mike Tokes, Laura Loomer, Halsey, PSA Snitch, Friended Forever, Distributist, Academic Agent, Tim Blake, and Six Hexenhammer. I, I think uh, you got I, the, I, the whole list there. No, it's I a think big failure. I, I think failure was actually uh, Docs, though. Failure, were no, you? Not were failure. You sorry, sorry, no, 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 my bad, my bad. No, Kevin failure's Logan. in the call. That's Kevin a good Logan. <laughs> failure, were you doxxed from showing then up? I, on the I, I corrected myself instantly, right? I was talking about Kevin Logan. Oh, like, he was actually bitching oh, and complaining about that. You that mm. You're comparing nah, me he to wasn't doxxed. Logan motherfucker, kick, kick me. Kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kevin wasn't doxxed. I don't think he was doxxed. And well, he said he's down to be on my show. You know what? You know what? I, I no, hope but I'm he wrong. DM'd me and he's like, yo, whenever you need someone, just, uh, let me know. I'll hop on. I'm like, all right. You know it was what? just we're, you, we're uh, you and Sargon were the only ones who were, uh, who were who were talking about my channel like, oh, if you're on the channel, you'll be like ruined. Mate, I hope I'm wrong. Okay, listen, I, I honestly do. Like, in a month, we're going to see if I'm right or not. I mean, look, the last time I went there and I had this conversation with Spencer, you, it went really well. I, I, I think it was, you know, one of the best debates I was on. Uh, I, I think that um, I, I enjoyed talking with Spencer, and I think you were an awesome moderator as well. Oh, thank you. And, yeah, and you know, so what was the, the, you know, what the, was the, the whole problem? Yeah. The problem is that... I, I talked to Arch, you know, hey, let's do another one. Because cause I, I thought this one went great. Let's let's do another. Uh, and maybe we can talk about, uh, you know, some of our uh, principles and shit like that next time. Because we didn't get into it. And Arch said, no, mm -hmm. because I got docs and shit. I don't want to go. And it's like, okay. Oh, really? If, if I want, yeah. I mean, he, he tweeted it out. You were saying, you were saying he was, uh, yeah, he was a docs, what? Like his, his address or what? Yeah, his address. They contacted his dad as well. And, you know, he's not reacting to it, which is, I guess, what you're supposed to do. Um, but the thing is, like, I, I would really like to come back on your but, channel and have a debate. Who, who can I debate with? Who, who's going to join? Huh? But, but was it directly after our debate or was it before? After. Because I know you were saying, you were it, saying it before and after. that there was a post, a, a, a post before the show, before it was really even, like, like, it looks like, what, two weeks before with, like, his face or something, right? Yeah, but, like, before you announced it, they showed his face, and that's fine. It's like, you know, it's just a fake. Who the fuck cares, you know? But the contacting his dad part is after he came on it. Um, And, and the problem is, like, okay, I, I want to go. Who's going to be my debating partner? Maybe, maybe I can get Jim. Maybe maybe he can uh, educate uh, Richard Fesser on the Jewish question. I don't know. Was his stuff <laughs> out there before, Arches? Um no, it's just his face. It was from a stream with Sargon, so that was it. Yeah, like I didn't complain about that shit. That's fine, you know. But but his address mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, you, you can talk to Art yourself. You have him on Skype. Well, I did message him. He was just like, I, I, no, I, I, I think I think he tweeted out as well. Yeah, he tweeted it out as well. And this is what I'm saying. It's like if I want to talk with Spencer on your channel, you know, I can't get people to do so with, and and it's fine, you know. But I just have to stop talking with him, but not because he has arguments that you know I I don't want to engage with. It's just that I have to ignore the trolls at this point. Mm hmm. Maybe it's because you, like you've been reacting the way, you know, like for example with Sargon, his his reaction is always just so over the fucking top. Like when you guys did your post stream, which. You know, you had a great debate. I, I think I was even saying to you, I, I messaged you that that was awesome, whatever. And then, like, the post stream, I just hear all these clips of you and Sargon just taking mad swings at the show. And I'm like, 
are you serious? Like, guys, your reaction is what they're they're looking for. Like what um, a medicare was saying before, it's not like the alt right message board. It was the skeptic. Uh, what was it called? A uh, medicare? The skeptic. Uh, fucking. Are you talking? Are you, are you talking about the uh, thread title? Yeah, I think it was like oh, what uh, eight ten. YouTube rational skeptic community. Yeah, yeah, and they're always focusing now on on UV and on Sargon, and I think it's because the reaction that you guys like give right after it's this over the top like dramatic yeah, I, like. I, I, oh. I get it. Um, I, I don't think you can separate people's personalities from their ideas, right? So if you want one mm. of us to come, we're going to have the personality as well. And the solution is to ignore the trolls, I agree. I, I hope that the mm. other guests aren't going to get the treatment that I got, and I hope you're right. I, I hope, you know, well, that yeah. this is just... Uh, did you read the comments on that on that uh, show? People, uh, like, it, it was split 50-50. A lot of people liked you. A lot. Yeah, I, I want to like, you know, yeah. I, Honest to God, like, you know what? Maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, but it, it, who, who am I going There's to... There never has to be 2v2. I mean, it could be... 1v1 like it doesn't have to be too you yeah, know I what i mean it doesn't <laughs> yeah no i don't i understand people get a little bit antsy and you know, believe me it it sucks that there are people doxing and and being horrible but like i i find with um i don't know i've had how many shows on my channel in the past two months a lot right and not, not many not people are, are getting attacked not not yeah, all but, of them are but, political but, uh, uh, but even the political ones, a lot of people aren't doxxed or whatever. Well, what was the Jewish guy's name? You know, what the fuck? Is he... Uh, Ozzy? Yeah. Is he, is he yeah, a he, liberalist as well? I don't think he is. He He's fucking... He's ready for the next one. I think he... It's March uh, 1st, him versus David Duke. The guy is awesome. I, I really enjoyed listening to him. Yeah, yeah. It's him and some other Jewish dude versus David Duke and some someone that David Duke is bringing on. He made, like, a whole Photoshop of it and stuff. Like, he... He he wants the blood. He like photoshops it like with like blood in the background, and he like when he fight, fought Mike Enoch on Valentine's Day, his Photoshop in the background is just fucking President Trump holding Mike Enoch's head, like severed head with blood pouring down. Like he he is a true internet blood sportser. So I, so I like someone that shit. in a DM, it, wait, his wait, girlfriend uh, walked in during the call, and you could hear in the background it stinks in here. Do, do, do you leave your office, Andy? V no, um, I wait, 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 I want to ask, uh, I want to ask V something. Yeah. Uh, mm. v, okay. So you said, you know, uh, just don't make me fall off the chair again. Yeah. Why? Uh, no more Pratt falls. You're fine. Why? Uh, you're like, why would I engage with them? You know, maybe I'll just stay away. Uh, right. Like you and Sargon are saying that. Yeah. But what if they continue to fuck with you? I mean, are you basically telling people like, hey, if I don't want V or Sargon to debate anything in particular, all I've got to do is fuck with them and they'll associate it with that and never do it again. But but here's the thing, Jim, right? On, on one hand, I've been on the Kumate a lot and people ask like, why doesn't Sargon come here? Why doesn't he debate? And, blah, 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 blah. and then on the other hand, you're like, okay, why aren't you ignoring the trolls and shit like that? Yeah, I'm um, saying ignore the trolls, which is 8chan. But what I'm saying is if you're making a declarative statement not saying... Or the cowboard. What uh, what I'm saying is, if you're making a declarative statement saying, all we, you know, basically all these people have to do is fuck with me enough, and I'll never engage in debate again. Why? What if they start doing it when you debate feminists or SJWs or what about liberals? What if they well, start I guess, doing it? Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's pick your battles. You know, it's like how much do you do you think about that particular engagement is going like cost benefit type of situation? You know, if, if it's just going to be something that's not really needed to be done, then you know you can choose not to engage. I mean, I'm not going to debate a bedroom feminist if I know that people are going to try to get me fired. You know, I think I could. But uh, on the other hand, for instance, I would debate an Antifa professor even if I know people are going to get me fired. Is the you know like the person you're also debating like the risk versus the reward? Like, if you what the fuck pwn a bedroom feminist, like who, what what exactly do you accomplish, right? But if you have a talk with an Antifa professor, you manage to expose the ideology to the world. I think that's more productive, and then I would take the risk. Okay, so if Antifa started doxing you every time you had a debate with Antifa, you would keep doing it? Yeah, absolutely, because I think Antifa are actually a cancer, and that they're actually 
a problem that's being sold in, in a very nice, compassionate way to people. And they, a lot of people don't even understand their communists. And I think everyone that goes against Antifa and exposes their ideology to the world is doing a, a service. That's weird. All right, man. <clears throat> I, I just wanted some clarity. Yeah, well, when, when you take bike locks and you have a university professor cracking the skulls of people in the streets with a bike lock, yeah, I think that's, that's disgusting and, you know, it needs to be talked about. It's not, it's not something that's funny anymore. It's not just trolling or whatever. It's not an internet movement or some shit. When, when you listen to the by any means necessary survivors, like kids that were taken from their parents and they were uh, taken from school and, and taken somewhere else and hold against their will, indoctrinated to be revolutionaries. Yeah, I think that's, that's fucked up. I think people need to talk about that shit. I actually thought it was interesting one thing you were saying in your post show after the, the, the debate about the alt right in particular. You and Sargon were saying something along the lines of like, oh, they're starting to, you know, like lower their aggressiveness, you know, the, like they're trying to like uh, be more rational and talk more politely. And this is a tactic they're using. Um, like, do you uh, uh, believe that like they're just acting polite now just as a tactic? I don't know. I, I, I do think that they're a little bit more moderate. Like three years ago, you'd hear the Andrew Anglin opinion a lot more often. It's like, yeah, let's use tasers to zap illegals and drag them out of the country and we won't fire a single bullet and shit like that. And now there's like, oh, well, what if we build the ethno state without everyone getting hurt? You know, what, what if we do it later down the line? And, you know, well, what if we just wait for America to just collapse? And like, yeah, I think this is a lot more tame than the things that I personally used to hear. I think, I think that the, like they aren't using that as like, just a bullshit like response. I, I think what JF was saying is that they're um, they're learning how to debate better, and they're trying to like find more of a middle ground so their shit doesn't sound so extreme. I don't I don't think it's a negative thing. Oh, and by the way, you said JF's five hundred year plan. Yeah, what that's is that? Not, what, what is that that's, you, you, <laughs> yeah, mad misrepresented, dude. Because uh, they say cause, that in five hundred years the white race will die, so or something like that. Well, well, yeah, Medicare was talking about you know Sargon's what twenty year, like couple, <laughs> couple decade plan uh, to destroy the SJW. Andy, stop, uh, stop! It's a secret. What are you doing? Oh fuck! <laughs> it's it's okay. I'm sorry. You talking? I'll be um, like erase that part real quick. We'll fix it in post. Okay, fix it in post? Cool. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, uh, no, his, his, he doesn't have a 500-year plan. His, his, his statement is possibly in 500 years, white people won't be around. So they have, uh, we have to do what we have to do now to prevent that from happening. But start it now. Not like in 500 years, we have a plan. It's if we don't do anything now in 500 years, I, I still shit might be fucked ridiculous. up. I, mean, I think it's before 500 years. You know, if you think about it with birth rates, the way birth rates are right now, and the way fucking everyone uh, fucking, um, in uh, uh, North America are just handing over everything to like the leftists, and obviously there is a pushback now, finally. Uh, it could get worse. You know what I mean? So that was his exact... Uh, Point. By the way, did you, did you hear Sargon's plan, Jim? Because he told it to JF, and this is why the police was uh, contacted for him. No. Impossible. It's a secret. It's a secret. Uh, Impossible. It's a secret. <laughs> no, he, he actually explained it. Okay, was that the, Wait, was that the one where he said, fuck Jewish women and take their money? Absolutely. It's like the, the Tariq plan, you know, the, the, the Jewish conspiracy of replacing white people, but switched around. But wouldn't that make you a Jew? <laughs> what? Oh. No. You, you would just you're have, Jewish no, if your mother's so Jewish. Jewish. No, no, no. V, that's the most retarded black. shit I've ever heard of. Hey, listen, you're, you're considered a Jew if your mother's a Jew. That you just makes more Jews. Jews. What are you talking about? I, I well, listen, Jim. That's the, the dumbest shit I've ever heard of. V. Come on. Wait, wait, wait can you well, clarify well, well, this? Well, at one so point, I know it's going on that down the line. But listen, Jim. Right, you're doing the plan. You you found the nice uh, woman that's a person of color, a minority, right? And you're going to whiteify the children, that they're going to be more white rather than Asian. Yeah. And you need to okay, teach your v, kids v, to... V, v, let, me <laughs> yeah, v, let me stop you there. I watched Bullworth in the 90s, okay? I've heard the secret plan. That's literally his fucking speech. That's his speech at Bullworth. Is we just got to keep fucking till we're all mulatto. Most underrated <laughs> fucking uh, movie. 
fuck it ever. That was good. Yeah, but I've heard this. This isn't a secret plan. This is a movie from the 90s. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think, I think it's in my comp. I think it's in my comp where Hitler goes around and he says that uh, wherever German soldiers went, they improved the genes of that particular population. Uh, this is amazing. So nah, his if they're not the really Jewish, the Jewish, Jewish, Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> idea is to make more Jews. That's brilliant. <laughs> All <laughs> right, plan or what, whatever it's called. Wait, v, v, is he being? He's obviously being hyperbolic when he says I'm that. Sure he was trolling. He was absolutely okay. Trolling. Okay. And, and okay. Okay. So, so, so you don't know the plan. Like an argument. Like, like v, just tell us the plan. Argument. V. 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 Between us, normal. Like, I, I won't say shit. Medica, Tonka, failure won't say shit. Just tell us the plan. Well, no, it's just a troll. That uh, so between right, right, right. So, so, so the idea is that it's a troll that the alt right, the the people in the center, and the progressive. No, 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 dude, dude, dude. I mean the actual plan. Just tell us the right, actual. Well, plan. If if everyone does what Jim does, right? They they find a, a woman of color and and they have kids with her, and the kids are going to be more white. And Jim is going to educate his kids to date another decent white girl from a respectable white family. He's going to give white privilege to the whole race, you know, like and then. Right, a person of color who doesn't do this no, is actually doing child abuse for not doing for not v, giving my privilege to her kids. The v, I mean, Sargon's plan. Her, no, 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 no. V, you're mischaracterizing. Out. You're mischaracterizing my plan. I'm going to make a happy or a happy uh, Hapa army of Elliot Rogers and make my <laughs> empire. What the fuck are you talking about? Happy gentlemen, uh, damn it! Happy gentlemen. Supreme well, I, gentlemen are going to take over the United States. But you, you don't need to do that, Jim, if everyone gets white, right? It's going to be one earth with white people. It's going to be call uh, Africa is going to be a good place. You're going to have food, democracy, white culture all over. Didn't you hear that genes and cultures are tied together? So basically, there's going to be no more. See, that's adorable. No I love your geopolitics, but Africa is <laughs> going to be Chinese in about another three decades. What are you talking about? They've already taken over the East Coast, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, but now you're being a liberalist, mate. Now, now you're just trying to argue, you know, against race, and you don't understand that people are a collective. No, I'm telling you, the race that's going to be reigning over Africa is going to be Asian, not well, black. That's, that, that's why white. I need to send. That's why I need to send like ten golden ones into China to start seducing their women and have more more children over there. <laughs> Well, yeah. I, I, I need to know, I need to know the secret plan. I, I really do. I need yeah, to know the secret cool. plan. Just not listening. V, I'll help you out. Just tell me the fucking right. plan. What is well, you're thinking that's like a liberalist talk? Plan to Andy, damn it! You, you, you're I want to know and see if it's worth it. No, I want to see if it's worth it. If it's worth even waiting, like holding my breath for this plan, because it sounds like you're going to destroy the SJWs in what? 20 I mean, years? If, if, there's going, if there's going to be white people all over the world and it's going to be done legally and consensually, you just seduce women of color and you're going to have more white kids and those kids are going to have kids with other white kids, eventually... This is not his plan. Get more racism. There's this not, is not, not his plan. <laughs> this is not his plan. <laughs> this is not Sargon's plan. Fuck other who's, races who's, who's of people. Is, yeah, just just have kids with other pe people of color. Eventually there's going to be white people everywhere. Gotta be the best. Like, what, what is the anti? What, what is the alt right argument against it? Go on, tell me. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll give you an argument against it. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you an argument against it I'm not yes. even. I'm not even an ethno nationalist. So I'll give you a fucking argument right. against tell it. Tell it. All right. Imagine you're a painter. All right. And you've got the primary colors. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah. You mix them together. But do you still have the reds, the blues, and the yellows? Well, yeah. I mean, they're still there, but they're not really but, there. But are then, they? that after you mix them together, you add another dash of white, and then you add another dash of white to that, and another dash of white, and another dash of white, and eventually it's going to be white. How do you think you make black, V? Have you ever painted before? You're going to okay. No, I, black. I actually, I actually did the paint before, but uh... so no. Wait, I want to. This is a brilliant. Fucking we're, analogy, we're talking v. about no, 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 no. <laughs> You've got a brilliant analogy. Let's follow that through. Okay. So you mix uh, you mix two colors together. Let's take I don't know yellow and blue. You got a little you got a little uh, you got a little color there. And okay. your solution to get it back to blue is just to keep adding more blue. Well, if we're talking genetics and we're not actually using uh, the color analogy, um, every person in the world has uh, mixed ancestry. And if you're just going to have sex with white people over and over again down the gene line, you're going to be like 99% white, and you're going to have like that one percent spread into whatever genes your uh, ancestors came from. So how many dicks in, or dickings is it going to take before that black chick uh, and her kids turn white? Babe? Well, like, I understand it's five. Yeah, I understand it's five hundred years until the white race dies off. So if if people keep doing it constantly, you know, like for five hundred years, I think we're going to be safe. Okay, v, v, v. <laughs> okay, I, I understand you're mocking JF's uh, plan or idea, right? I'm actually I, taking I, the white I, genocide and I'm flipping it around. <laughs> like this is what I'm doing. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 
I understand that you're doing that. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Now, now, with your plan to destroy SJWs, right? You guys haven't even given us a hint of what that may be. There's going Without to be white people being... all over the world. There's not going to be racism. There's not going to be white people. You're, Jesus, wait, everyone you're will bullshit. Have white you're people. joking. See? Again, you're joking. Uh, okay. so you're just, you, you, want, you want me to be serious? Being... You, you want me yes, to be serious? Yes, for okay. one second. For one second. Okay. So, so, so the way of destroying a culture is by using a counterculture. And I, I talked with Jim about this. It's only when... Uh, people as a whole take a different culture in mind that you are going to be able to push the current one and in the case of this culture is coming from universities i already gave the example of berkeley university suffering majorly because people are aware of what's going on and they're not sending their kids there and they're defunding the university you have another one missouri a lot of these universities that are being exposed capitalism does its job the economy does work they're being defunded people aren't going there their professors are being fired their departments are being shut down it's not authoritarian it's within the law Okay, so you're gonna go and uh, have have talks there. Well, for Talk instance, Ma- yeah, like, like Malo Annapolis went to Berkeley, right? And people didn't expect to see uh, a terrorist organization dressed in black setting fire to that shit. They didn't expect to see university professors using bike locks to crack people's skulls. Uh, <clears throat> and all of that is because Milo, a gay Jewish uh, person married with a black man, went there and he was labeled a Nazi, and, and that's how deranged those people were. Yeah, I, I think it's a really good way of uh, pushing back against this kind of culture just by being there, by, by being the presence and causing people to chimp out. And it will take about 20 years of doing that until it's well, dismantled the, or maybe culture, more or less. The, the current culture didn't happen overnight. Like This, this is what yeah. you need to understand. It's, it's an organized effort in order to push for a culture. And, and the only way to push it back is also through an organized effort. All right. Fair enough. Okay. I get you. I get you. So, uh, by the way, Jim, uh, why did you call my channel medium sized drama channel? Piece of trash. <laughs> it, uh, it was in a banter I was having with a person from the alt right who said that they're winning, that they're taking over the internet, and uh, everyone else is going to be pushed aside. <laughs> uh, and I, I was just using it as banter, right? I know, I know. I, I'm just fucking with and you. I was like, yeah, you just, you just took over a YouTube channel, then took over by like, you, you're allowed to have your talking heads platform there. Right. Oh, and, yeah, uh, can I interrupt for a second? Uh, yeah. Could could everybody in chat give a, an F? Uh, we've lost, we've lost someone. Uh, Dark Side Phil has been banned off Twitch. So no. Can, no. Oh my God. No. Oh, oh, no. That, that, oh, shit. What, like, is, I, put an F in the chat for Phil. He could really use your love and support. <laughs> Am I the only one who feels bad about this? Like, uh, and by the way, Jim, your your bright side Bob videos. I wish you'd make more of them. God damn! Like you streaming him playing what was it? Uh, Bloodborne. I think that was excellent. And his cooking videos. Jesus fucking Christ! I amused the hell out of my girlfriend with those. Oh, it's so <laughs> it's so God, funny. But not forgotten. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what Phil's gonna do now, but I have a feeling it's gonna oh. be a massive meltdown. <laughs> it I, I was so funny watching him suck. Him. Like he, he snapped at you for, for exposing the catfish thing, and I thought you did him a kindness by doing it. What are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you a little gonna bit do? nuts. So. By the way, uh, Devo Short Fat Otaku wants uh, to, to send a message to Jim. He paid the super chat for it, and I didn't uh, send it. Um, oh, well, send send the message, Cap. Yeah. What's, Tell what Jim you, I wasn't want? interested in manipulating him and making a JF video. I was just want to have a laugh at his expense. I've been following Jim a while, and I know this type of tactics wouldn't get him to make a video. Well, t- t- I guess say thank you for the money, Reddit, V, because you got paid for that. <laughs> Thank you for the money. That was, um, <laughs> why was fucking Dark Side Phil? Like, what was the exact thing? Did he, uh, I have, I have no there? Uh, No, somebody just sent me a link and I went and looked at it. My uh, channel's gone. Has, the they, masturbating they, on stream, the retroactive no, they, 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 put their, uh, they put their new uh, policies in yeah. place. And I know a lot of Twitch people are scared shitless right now about what's going to happen. Like, people are locking down everything. This, well, I told Brittany to do hop anything. on YouTube ASAP. Hold on. What, does Phil actually do anything against terms of service? Like, I know he's a fucking dipshit, but does he actually... Well, do well he did jack off on stream. <laughs> 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 I think that's probably in the term of service. Good. Uh, yeah, but hold on, hold on. That, that, was, that was ages ago. Like, did he do anything? Oh, it doesn't matter. No, no, no. The Twitch, the new Twitch rules are if you do anything on Twitch or outside of Twitch that they don't like, they'll ban you. It's very... Yeah, even retroactive. Okay, okay, even on, retroactive. No, v, 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 v. Retroactive and v, Even retroactive. Yeah, so basically, if you've done it before, then you are 
are also so still guilty, I guess. So do they want no people on Twitch anymore? Jesus fucking Christ, like, he did it by accident. Obviously, he didn't oh, want Oh, obviously, to yeah. No, I'm not so fucking so defending that. Like, they're shit. fucked, man. I'm telling you, Twitch is going to be fucked. They're going to have, like, no one streaming. Because when I was doing my speedruns there, I was swearing and saying horrible shit whenever I died all the time. I, like... I don't know. Like, I would definitely be banned if I was on there doing a speed run. Well, yeah, this I, I, the... I know um, I, harmful. From what I understand, shut down. He took down all his videos. He took down all his videos. Uh, cleaned his Twitter. Like, shut down everything because he was freaked out about. It. I know other Twitch uh, streamers that are doing the same fucking thing. They they want to create an environment where yeah. people don't have any more banter in video games. It's like you, you just play a video game and you're acting like you're a gentleman, you know. At the uh, yeah, that's so boring. Twitch IRL shit doesn't like uh, the fucking the big names like the Andy Milanakis. He's always talking about other streamers. Like, are they gonna shut them down? Oh, the black community that are playing Maybe. fighting games. Holy shit! Like every one of them is going to get shut down. How the fuck can mm -hmm. you play a fighting game and not say what is this? Yeah. yeah. The, the guys say, like, Digger every 30 seconds. They they use Digger as a punctuation site. Okay? Oh, you know, I'll do that. that. I'm right. We might, uh, we might have some good news. It might only be a 24-hour ban and not a permanent one. That's what oh, I'll phew. Oh, oh my God. I, I honestly I don't want to watch him play some Grand Theft Auto. Auto. Like, there's two reasons I don't want DSP off the internet. I legitimately feel bad for him. Like, I know I know people why it's say, dude, it's like, what, compassionate? But no, like, legitimately, the guy made such idiot decisions that he is in this position right now. And secondly, he's he's really funny to, to watch. Not not his channel, but the videos that other people make about him. Are, are oh, hilarious. no, I think, I think <laughs> just watching him in general is funny. Like, him playing Grand Theft Auto was probably like, some of the most entertaining things I've ever seen in my entire life. Because he just doesn't know how to play. Does not open a door. Does not do anything. Whenever he dies, he's just like, "Oh, fucking game is glitched!" And I just start. You just laugh. He makes me feel like the, I'm the video the back. games. I think he's exaggerating. <laughs> yeah. that. Honestly, like I, I think maybe, maybe, yeah, different. maybe that's his. Yeah, maybe that's his thing. Where it, like he knows people like to watch to hate him for sucking. So maybe, yeah, but it's entertaining sometimes. Obviously, after a. A few streams, it just gets a little exhausting. So yeah, I, I, I watched him in the beginning. He was one of the first less players on YouTube, right? And that's why a lot of people watched him. And uh, he was playing Street Fighter 4 back then when the game was new on PC and I was trying to, to get into fighting game. He was decent, okay? He wasn't shit, but he wasn't good either. Like, he was somewhere in between. Um, <clears throat> and you can see that he kind of guessed the game, but the, him constant complaining about lag and like when he would beat an opponent, he would trash and act like his God's gift to Street Fighter. And then when he would get beaten, it's always lagging him, and that got exhausting really fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After a half an hour, you just want to be done with it. What do you think about his cooking of, uh, videos? Like his his cooking. Videos never, no, 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 I never watched any of those. Never watched any of those. <laughs> I think Jim I'm, suffered through it. <laughs> his stomach through. I am playing yeah, that. It, it, was, it was fun it watching uh, some of. It was fun watching some of his stuff and making fun of it. But it got old quick. That's. I did like maybe five six streams on him, and then I was like, eh, whatever. I went. How, how much I watched your games. battlefield. <laughs> I watched your battlefield one, Jim, and like after. 45 minutes of watching you watch him. I wanted to kill myself on the uh, <laughs> him throwing a, a grenade in the same area for like 20 minutes. I'm like, how is Jim just watching this right? <laughs> He's just throwing a grenade at the same area where there's no one over and over. I'm like, oh, Jesus. But, uh, that, that's, that's, uh, that's part funny. of the fun is he's he's fucking awful at video games. I mean, I'm sure he does. Uh, he, he plays up the complaining about him, but he is pretty yeah. fucking awful at actually playing. <laughs> I love when he was blaming his his sniping on the pole, and he's like, "Why is that pole there?" And then you just go off for five minutes about how a pole that's not moving. He's complaining about like, yeah, half it's to the, the left, the... half an inch to the right. <laughs> Here's the a question for Jim. How, how much money would someone have to pay you to, to have a dinner with DSP that he could? DSP would I'm, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna meet fucking people in real life, so that's uh, that would be. No, like, uh, okay, okay. How much money would you pay if a DSP dinner that he cooked would be mailed at your house so you can eat it? Oh God. <laughs> I, I, the guy flushes fucking bacon grease down his toilet. <laughs> I don't trust him to cook anything. <laughs> He's like he's like a uh, he's like a less retarded or he's like a less retarded version of Masiokas, right? He is not. Like he hasn't reached that level yet. On that fucking place. Yeah. That's I, so I funny. Know, I don't know what he's gonna. Somebody said it was for e-begging, which I can't believe that he get a twenty-four 
24 hour ban for e begging because that's all Twitch is. That's what I was going to say. Is that like you're on Twitch? He's like, send me bits. He, he, he wanted to get, he, he, like, his girlfriend was sick and he wanted to get uh, her to cook for him while she was sick. And I thought, okay, the reason he is doing this, I, I think his girlfriend wants it. Like, she would not eat his cooking. Like, if, if she's sick and she eats his cooking, it's going to kill her. <laughs> so she would rather come with the flu, go into the kitchen and cook while the fat ass is playing video games just so that he doesn't have to cook for her. Uh, I know he was making he's making pretty good bank on Twitch. I mean, he was making pretty good money per day. Uh, it probably added up by the end of the month and the Patreon and stuff like that. So he transitioned right out of YouTube. But oh I don't know if, if if you get three twenty four hour bans, aren't you gone permanently from Twitch? I don't think so, and, and I don't think he even reads his super. I'm not sure. No, no, I could have sworn didn't Vente complain saying that you know if she got one more ban uh, from them that she'd be permanently gone. It might be a new thing that they have. I, I don't know. I don't think like just the like, perimeter. Did it change his chance, Honestly, uh, Twitch his just seems like useless now. But, but I, <laughs> I think of Twitch now, I'm just like, it's useless. Why don't, like, like especially uh, having a super chat on YouTube, just stream your games on YouTube. Who cares? Did, did the progressives took over? What the fuck happened? Like, why, why are these draconian laws all of a sudden? Well, because it, you it, fucking it, Gamergate police didn't do your fucking job, did you? I, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't know, like, the <laughs> thing is, uh, it, it's really dependent on this Delmore lawsuit on Google. Like, if they win, um, it would probably cause a chain event so more people sue these companies. Uh, and if this keeps happening, this would be, like, a really interesting blow against the... But who? Who exactly? Uh, uh, sue. Suing Google. Um, and he's saying that uh, they were discriminating wi uh, white males in it and shit like that. And if he manages to win... I, I don't know. It, it's really dependent. I hope he does. He already lost one trial, but there's another one on the way. <laughs> so things aren't looking that great. But if he manages to win, then maybe other people will, will be willing to step up and sue these companies. Because I guarantee you, uh, where, where there's like progressive sure. CEOs and shit like that, that there are people being definitely uh, oppressed. Like, they were talking about, and I, I told this to Jim, they, they were forcing people to listen to furries that are dragonkin and and how it is oppressive to live as a multi-planner being. In, in Google, in a fucking corporation. It's like, this is what they were putting their employers to listen to. And if you look at yeah. Breitbart, then you, you see the opinions uh, that some members that went there anonymously and said they're, what happened to them. Like a guy got punched in the face because he argued with the diversity officer. Uh, there was another person that um, was told that the only reason he got the job is because he has a dick. Uh, you know, it's like working in this this interesting environment. A lot of people will have losses that uh, can be brought up, and, and it will be costly for the company to to maintain this parasitic industry, which is uh, diversity, and, and to corporations like Google, like Twitch, like YouTube, like uh, Facebook, make it costly for them. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. How about that uh, when they were? I, I forgot what day exactly they were like. Subscribe to Black People Day on YouTube. <laughs> like shit like that. I don't know. I've been okay. I've been fine. I don't know. When I, I had Baked Alaska on, talking about his um, his band, I was I was telling him how how we do it. Like, when you joke about something, you have to always just say, yeah, you're joking. Or sort of like, you know, certain things. But Andy, acknowledged I, don't was, that I don't think he was banned for uh, not, you know, adhering to the rules you do. I, I think it's pretty obvious that Anglin's on a blacklist and that any gentleman mm -hmm. that goes on is going to get hit. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I was telling him that, too. It just seems like, uh, like, he was either, like, targeted, which I don't agree it would be because he's already had streams with, what, Tariq Nasheed. I can see Tariq Nasheed's people at least trying to flag him. Stuff like that. But, yeah, it was... Oh, the Anglin thing was the was the main uh, the eternal thing I was Anglin. thinking about too. Yeah, but I, I was still telling him you still have to like, you know, sort of hint, hint, wink, wink, certain jokes. You know, just don't just. Wait, drop I, I, me. I am willing to bet money <laughs> that the reason super chats are censored are because of your streams, Ed. Hundred percent. One hundred. Hey, to, hey, to, look, look, look I'm fine this. with that though. I'm fine with that though. Like, like, like if that was because I, I think Kraut was the one who's like, and he's gonna get super chats banned. Well, I got him censored. Which, if that's the extent of what happened, fine. 
I'm okay with that. That is totally cool in my books. But and if my people thing. are angry at me, sorry, apologize. But at least we still have super chats and uh, offensive, controversial screams. I have a question for you, Jim, and I think the chat is going to love it. Yeah, go ahead. If Kraut wants to come back on YouTube, and he actually talked about this, how would he be able to do it? Like, what, what would your advice be? And I have a serious <laughs> advice. Okay? Like, just 100% serious advice. Okay? I, I've, already, I've already answered this question, V. I uh, answered this you? question. Or, uh, I, I've said this. I think I said this in a stream with Andy and shit when they were <laughs> saying, well, if he apologized and he came back, just fuck, if you want to come back, just fucking come. It's the fucking internet. Well, what do you think will happen, though? Mm-hmm. Like, if he just comes back tomorrow and makes a video on Islam or some shit. Well, if he comes back you... and makes a video on Islam, he's probably going to get shit because people are going to want to fuck with him. So, yeah, have you seen his... uh, if he's got the balls to walk through it, he'll be fine. If he's he does, gonna he's going to have to do the same thing that you are going to have to do, V. He's going to have to learn so, to so know just so. ignore it. Well, well, yeah, like if you think about it, like if you look at his most recent video, hit the comments, hit most recent, and then people are, are just, first of all, laughing at the fact that he didn't block the comments, but they're just trashing him. And that's the shit you're going to have to deal with until i guess it fades or it never fades well, it's like dsp him, for example a lot of people still hate him no matter what so he'll have to deal with it that's the what internet. i told him is like mate find a new audience just make different type of videos like i don't know make history <laughs> videos or make some shit and and, and yeah, gather people a new will audience. still go and hate him of people course, will still of course go they, and will, hate they him, will but but he will at least get new people in that probably don't know about his uh oh they'll know they'll oh, know when every other oh, comment no. explains it to him <laughs> or just deal with it just fucking go through yeah. like a lot of the comments of people who watch me like hate me even my newest stream people bashing me for for changing my style and for not bashing sjw's anymore like it's just constant and the low yeah. iq piece of shit and the why is he here but i just deal like i just go with it i don't care in fact if they hate on me they're still commenting they're still watching so i'll take it i'm gonna fuck can you stop telling people about our personal DMs? <laughs> You're being a failure. Sorry? Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, Tonka. Wow. Tonka. You know what? I, I fucking... Okay, remember the whole... You know, okay. Well, obviously, Jeff Holly had nonstop, Sofane nonstop, right? And then we were talking about how Sofane always trashing me, blah, blah, blah. And then you were asking, hey, Andy, would you have... Sophane on your stream to talk about this shit, right? Even though we did the the blood sports debate, which was a fucking sweep. It wasn't. It was just destruction. So I get a bunch of fucking messages from different people uh, DMing me. Uh, I don't know about like ten people. Sophane apparently has been trolling me, and he's like, "I have a secret plan. In two weeks, I'm gonna go on." And every, I've been trying to build up evidence. So he's been being a dick on Twitter to get me to snap, to trick me into snapping, I suppose, to get me on my own channel. And there's like yeah. DMs of him like, <laughs> he's, so he's, trying to, right he's, he's trying to bait you, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, he's been baiting me. the whole, and, and all I've been saying is fuck Sophie, and he's annoying me. Because he just nonstop tweets about me. He's like, I got him. Yeah, okay, if you tweet about me 19 times in the span of four weeks, yeah, I might snap a little bit. Uh, so I spoke to JF about this, and JF's like, Andy, we already had the the stream about internet blood sports. So no stream about internet, um, um, internet blood sports, especially if it's baiting. And I'm like, all right, fair enough. So, Sophane, you are uh, trying to trick me to, I don't know, embarrass me in, into being upset, which I'm upset all the time. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? The amazing French Canadian has laid down the edict. Uh, I don't know, Andy. More fake, fake arguments in the public space. Are you are you gonna be are you gonna be a little bitch and run away from Sophane? Are you gonna? You no, gonna no, no. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Maybe he's talking well, to have to, sit here then. Yeah, well, I, that's what I was going to say, because I have, I have to know, like, is this about internet blood sports? Because, like, here's the last stream. I don't know if you watched it, Jim. I know you were upgrading your stuff or some bullshit, but this was the last stream. Um, I'm fucking ranting monkey. You guys, uh, 
a little bit unprofessional sometimes. People find it funny. Yeah, well, it isn't really, uh, you know, pro a, a progress stuff. Okay, but uh, it's entertaining and we have cool debates. He's like, well, I like your stuff, but, you know, that's like, a, it was an hour of that. I was going, what's your fucking point? In fact, Yosef was like, you know what? I'm sorry. He apologized. He said, I like internet blood sports. And he, he signed up for the next one. <laughs> He so if so, drive. so I can just yeah, well I, I I could see like I want to talk to Sophie I don't care if he's baiting me fine but if he hops on my show and it's just five minutes of him being like ha Andy you snapped and me it's, like it's me like but yeah, you can yeah, kick him not, like you you, you can you, but then, really but then I'm in the middle but then it's just me and JF sitting there like now we have to change the entire show while we're live yeah I guess. I have to have some sort of topic, I guess, backup. Maybe I'll take calls or something. I don't know. You, you can call know. him at the end of the show, though, and be like, okay, what, what is it you want? Okay, and, 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 is that it? Okay, bye. Chat, uh, the chat True, fair enough. Spamming shit from the chat, they are saying that there was a stream about you last night. Of course there was. Uh, who who streamed it? What? Sophane, probably. No, Jeff Holiday. I, I think they said it was on their channel that they were streaming about this. I don't know. I haven't Who? seen it. I don't know what they said. So, I mean, they could have. Who, though? No, I think they. Fuck, I have to scroll back. Andy, you can't, you can't say that they're trying to bait me into reacting and then be so eager to see what they're saying to react. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm, cu I, I, I'm a curious motherfucker. That's Worst right. Goldberg <laughs> ever. Hey. Hey, I'm hey, a Andy, curious you motherfucker. Wanna, you want to know who tweeted about you recently? What? We need to run a little Who? fucking search on uh, I, 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 I think I'm real tweeted about you 30 uh, minutes ago saying that a, a, a music channel is more entertaining than Worski Live. But, but uh, remember, but they, they aren't constantly thinking about you. Oh, uh, okay. This is, this a music is why channel? Cool. You, add music. You, you need to That's add music. Cool. Add yeah, you know what? I have, I, I, I have some OBS stuff in the works with like an intro and blah, blah, blah. But you know, but, not, I mean, but, uh, I know you're being sarcastic about the music thing, but if he finds a music channel entertaining, oh, Andy, that's fine. I'm being for real. I'm being for real. Yeah, that, that's the tweet that he put out. No, no, no. I'm saying about like V saying I should add music to my channel to make it entertaining for Hi. I think I'm real. Hey, if Hi, I think I'm real, my ch I think my channel's not entertaining. I I don't think he, I, I've never watched one of his videos in full before, so. Mm -hmm. I guess it just goes both ways, and I don't uh, like think he should shut his channel down. He should. I'm sure people do find it entertaining. So yeah, yeah. have fun. Hey, I hey, think hey. real. Hey V, uh, so are you gonna face anybody in the Kumite in the future, or, or are you done with uh, Kumite? I, I don't think Kumite is the problem, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably try to stay away from this um, for a while. Uh, but you know, if if there's something interesting going on, I I won't. Uh, there, there's two, there's two people that want to, to challenge. Who? Who? So. Yeah. Oh, who? Uh, are they pulling it out of their ass? Uh, one you. Oh, hold on, type right. him over. Type him. I over. think it's the straw man guy. Uh, I invited him to my yeah. channel and he said he doesn't want to. So it's like, okay, so you're not interested in. Oh, like, the, you, you just... Why? Hold on. All right, why would he not do that? He was trying to talk to you for like a, a week. Yeah, or he, he said that he's into blood sports or shit like that. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm not interested. Um. Uh, if you want, if you want, like I was literally streaming right, right when there he said go. that, and it's like, the side chat. yeah. If you want to come, you can come on my channel, and he didn't want. To, there, so. there, there's the other guy in the side. I don't, chat. I don't know who one of them is. All right, Director, thing... I, I, I can also have on my channel. Like I had him on my stream before. He's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I, I completely. Uh, well, V, I, if this is your last go on the Kumite, you might as well go out with a bang and do one of them. Yeah. Uh, no, because I promised him I'll play Street Fighter. Not about two on one. <laughs> Fighter, it, well, if Straw Man wants, he can come on my channel. Why? Why is he being a pussy? Why? Like, yeah, if this yeah. is about me and he has legitimate concerns, come on my channel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how, how did it feel like to be kicked uh, by your chair? I watched the GIF again, and it is amazing. Um, I, I wish it was someone else, but if it had to be me, it had what to be me. happened? <laughs> what, what, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Um, well, saying you're a faker. There, is, there is this setting on the chair where it allows you to wobble it, and it was placed on one. And when I moved forward, I uh, I got kicked. <laughs> 
a wobble setting. Yeah, oh, no, a, lock, so it's yeah it's, it's, a lot of people, a lot of people are saying you're a phony that you faked that. Is there a conspiracy now? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, phony? Like, what is he calling someone? Is there a guy with a gun that's going to come into my house to see if the the chair is wobbly or not? Is, is that going to happen now? Uh, is it going to be on Alex Jones? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be saying that. Uh, it, it, even it, hyperbolically. It's, it, it's yeah, completely it's, fake. I I agree. CNN, uh, CNN CNN wants him off of fucking YouTube, so don't don't talk about him on here. Well, Jim is here. What, what is your opinion, Jim? Did I fake it or not? Because you were with me in the stream. You were the only one who could actually see the fall because on video, like, it cuts to you and then when it cuts back, you just hear him yes. crack and he's in the floor. This is why I'm asking Jim. He's the only one who can confirm. The only one who fucking saw here. anything. No, I, I wasn't watching the video uh, until I heard you make an oof noise. I don't know if it was a prat God or not. damn. I, I can't tell you. I, if people think it's a prat fall, it's a prat fall. I, I, I can't help you with this. There was crazy. another chair on the grassy knoll, Jim. Oh shit! There's maybe, a second year. Maybe, maybe I'll start a, a prank really channel soon. I'll, I'll start the prank channel and go around, uh, you know, faking these if I'm still good at it. Or actually, I'm bad at it if people already call it. So they took him out from the book depository back there. <laughs> All right. No, well, uh, no, the, the fall is legit. I, I genuinely fell from my chair, by the way. <laughs> well, uh, rip, rip and pepper. Uh, hopefully you recover good enough. But um, I, I got to jump. I, I've got a multiplayer game I'm supposed to be at. But uh, oh, yeah, have fun. Yeah, go play. I'm gonna go raise some. Uh, gonna go raise. Gonna go raise uh, some women's uh, dinosaurs. Maybe. I don't oh, know. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Just Peace. Take it easy.